That's my go sound. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're like, okay, I like it. Unconventional. <laughs> your Already voice, starting so off with an extremely awkward note. Very good. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know, because it's not quite, like, when you when you hit go, it's like, I think the stream starts like a few seconds after I've hit it, so I don't even know what they'll hear. They might have just heard me breathing as a start, and then they're like, okay. Yeah. We gotta go back to talking about Will Smith. <laughs> you know what you need? You need like a big crank that you pull down when you want to start the stream, like... <laughs> <laughs> I need an announcer, I need bells to ring throughout my, my town. And so the fapping begins. Um, Fap time, brothers. About about Will Smith, yeah. Because was, was, you mentioned Gemini Man. Has anyone here seen that? Gemini Man. <laughs> Some people don't even know it exists. It is a 2019 <laughs> action film. It stars Let's Will Smith oh. twice. Oh, is it? Is that the one with the blue? Oh, movie? the clone. It's the clone one. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, good. Oh, yeah. I'm not okay, so, that, no. so uh, Will it, Smith, Will Smith continuing his his quest to never get an Oscar. Listen, <laughs> that film, Gemini Man. I will have you know that film lost 111 million. Oh no. So, oh, no. so who knows what he's up to? Oh no. I think he. I think he got beat out by, um, the the film. It made seven and a half million on its first day. To be fair, Gemini Man, starring Will Smith. Well, I mean, I've never made seven and a half million in one day, so I guess that is something. I think oh, even wow. if you spread it all out, I haven't made seven and a half million. You know, in in years. Eh, maybe, maybe. Ever. Yeah, you can't I really made seven know and a half for sure. Yet. Think of all probably the times you've not. bought like a coffee or, or had a snack. Put them all together, seven million probably. Oh well, I went to Starbucks once, so I feel like I spent seven and a half million. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they're proper cheeky fuckers. They um, they <laughs> proper were, cheeky no, no, no. fuckers. No, no, no. Uh, we're here with like, the Independence Day lingo, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, no. But seriously, um, since they started doing the whole, oh, you have to order your drinks on the app, um. Like everyone else, you just uh, you know what? put your credit card in, and then you oh for, because of fucking COVID shit, you have oh. you, you for us you have to go for the drive through, but you also have to use the app to order it. And like like McDonald's or KFC, where you just you know put your credit card deals in and then click pay. On Starbucks, you have to put a ten quid deposit in it. You have to put ten quid in just to buy your five quid coffee. It's a bit of a piss take, honestly. Good thing I don't hmm. like coffee. So yeah. they have to like hand you the coffee and everything, right? Oh, don't start, dude. Don't 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 ask questions. You're bringing them <laughs> They deliver it with a little robot. To, hey, you hey, don't have to I, touch them to order it. You just you you speak to them at a distance. I'm no picturing hey, them I'm... like making the coffee and pushing it with a long pole toward you. <laughs> <laughs> well, they yeah, have those little grabbers. Here, the, the here in Canada, grabbers. here in Canada, that's they've been put, using long poles with like a tray on them oh. to like hand. Hand you your coffee. It's quite joking. precarious. All right. Oh no. We make your coffee in a bread baker. I was about no, to say, did they ever drop them? They're like, oh fuck. Yeah. Was, <laughs> oh yeah. They almost they almost spilled it in my lap the first time. But oh Oof. shit. Yeah. Oh, close. So close to never having to work another day in your life. So close. Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe next time. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's after I have kids. I guess. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you can yeah. go ahead and sterilize me now, it's fine. Daddy, how come yeah. I don't have any brothers or sisters? Blame Starbucks, son. <laughs> Let me tell you about a little shop leg, called Starbucks. Right. It was that double shot macchiato that did it. That was mocha frappuccinos. <laughs> so, um, hello, welcome to EFAP 93. Getting closer and closer, oh man, it's scary. Yeah. 100 Oof. number. Uh, 93. Oh, okay. We're... Wait. Oh no. Weekend Warrior, you're, you're even quieter than you were. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to stand on the other side of the room. You could come closer. Dude, yeah. it literally I sounds like your, it. it literally sounds like your laptop is in the garbage can <laughs> on the other side of the room. And he's yelling at it like, why don't you win? <laughs> That's the only corner of the room. It gets reception. Uh, is it working? No, there. I see the green circle, and yet no words. And yet, right here. <laughs> and yet, I have a green circle. Yet I cannot scream. Weekend Warrior has declared independence from his microphone. 
Yeah, it's just, it's lightened up, but nothing now. It got even worse. Yeah, there you go. Well, you know, I'm just glad that he's here. I don't feel so <laughs> Everyone, hey chat, say hello to Weekend Warrior. He's here in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> His little thumbs up, like, hey guys. <laughs> um, while while he's fiddling with that then, I guess, we'll, we'll start with going, uh, yeah, first time new blood guest of Rooney, Mr. Armored Skeptic, how do you do, sir? Yo, it's an honor to finally be on the show. I've seen it several times. Oh, Thank that's you. Nice. Yeah, I've been watching been watching you since uh since we were all riffing on Last Jedi. You oh, were that movie was so awesome. <laughs> yeah, you were, I you, loved were it. Col you were colloquially known as the watermelon guy in my house for about a year. <laughs> I was there. There was a couple of people who were like, How come you didn't keep the watermelon? <laughs> I was like, Oh, I mean, Why didn't you keep the watermelon? It just, it seemed like a one-time thing. Um, Fortier is the only person who would actually know about this. He's been on EFAP a couple of times. Uh, I was talking to him while I was editing, and I was like, I don't know what to put as the visual, because it can't be the movie, because back then I didn't know how to correctly get past copyright efficiently. And I was like, what if, like, what if, like a metaphor, like a rotting piece of fruit, and by the end of the video... <laughs> Do you think that'll be subtle <laughs> enough? <laughs> I was like, it's simultaneously overt, and it makes it so I don't have to do anything else with the visuals. Woohoo! Not even like trailer on re repeat, and it and it, it it gave across the point. I think I was uh, I was very happy with it. A lot of people were, and then the next video comes out, no fruit. What's that about? I don't know. That's how you evolve as a well, critic. Uh, speaking of no fruit, happy July, everybody. Oh yeah, we made it. Uh, what's what's the tune we should we should do for that? Like uh, make firework noises and. Sing the Patriot yeah. theme song. Yeah, oh, that what, was a, I was doing well, a gay thing, but four days yeah. ago was Canada Day, and none of you said a word to me about it. So. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's how bad. Yeah. <laughs> when, when, hey, Canada Al, when's day. Britain Day? Do we, we get one? <laughs> or is that the rest of the year? Day, uh, we had VE Day like two months ago, but isn't yeah? Isn't Britain Day just the Queen's birthday? Like. <laughs> We don't really have one. Like, well, whatever it was going to be, I'm sure it would be called racist anyway. Oh. So, uh, I would mean, <laughs> say that. Like, we're, we're probably too ashamed to like, celebrate it right now. It's colonialism yeah, I'm, I'm day. not going anywhere near. Not that I ever do, but July 4th is not the day for me to go anywhere near the shithole that's Twitter. Yes, I just want to yeah. enjoy the Independence Day. I want to reaffirm. Yeah, that, I only ever use Twitter to snark and to contact people. That is it. So. Hooray! It's like, it's like, are there like fires and shit going out behind your your house rack? You know, is the city burning down? No, there? it's nice and uh, nice and quiet around these parts. Everyone's yeah, carrying along, crazy, getting together. I don't know if you live in a crazy state or not. No, no, not at all. Um, we you rarely ever hear about all sleepy Arkansas. Every uh, it's weird if yeah. if you don't if you if if you don't get political, everyone just gets along. It's kind of it's weird. Fucking hell, Co oh, humans man. coexisting. Can you imagine? <laughs> Yeah, um, what were, we, what were we gonna, we would do something we were gonna mention, uh, oh yeah, so I think I said before, but, um, EFAP is, is vaguely influenced, uh, in operation by, uh, drunken peasants, and if I remember correctly, uh, that was, when you first guested on there, you, you, you did, like, a, a face reveal, right, uh, Greg? That was, that was my face reveal, that's right. Look at that, sunrise, like, sunset, all these different shit, connections. Yeah, <laughs> like four years ago now i think so. yeah man i was yeah. watching i remember being like oh my god no way <laughs> this is actually yeah. a thing yeah yeah I and mean, you've been sliding in my dms ever since absolutely just uh just just looking to get that armored perspective on lord of the rings so. <laughs> <laughs> i mean i've been keeping track of your uh your Hobbit media stuff as well the uh you're not happy with star wars uh, <laughs> as it currently stands that's <laughs> my impression yeah <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how that kind of became the thing on that channel, but that's just like everybody's favorite thing is when I make fun of Star Wars. And <laughs> that's fine by me because I mean that was the the IP I grew up with. Oh yeah, it's I was I was just like, who did like the Rise of Skywalker? It's gonna be tough to find. You check out all the reviews, you're like, nope, Monday nope, Matt. Nope. <laughs> Monday. Uh... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will have you know. Did he get up a uh, Hollywood Reporter poll to prove that you know fans were did like it? Or something? Oh my god! Yeah, money, so it must be good. So to remind everybody who doesn't remember, he when trying to prove that Game of Thrones season eight finale was liked, he had what was it? Sixty percent of the the poll said that they liked it, and yeah, he poll, found and some. Like, yeah. yeah, and it was it a was poll. Found the poll. 
It was a poll of, I think, 3,000 people, and, um... It, it was a small number, and it was, like, basically just in California. I don't even like, think... Hollywood I think it was barely over 1,000. Oh, I think well, it was, like, 1,100, maybe. It was, like, super small. I don't even think it was that much. Yeah, no, well, like, either way, the, of, the hilarious part of, was that a, a large portion of them had had chosen the option. It, the option was, like, are you a fan? Are you not a fan? Are you, like, halfway in between? And, like, the majority of them chose not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, but forty like percent of the people surveyed were like, "Oh, I'm not a fan of Game of Thrones." I, I like, oh, good. Like answer them, these questions. I swear, like a third of them, I just, like put down, haven't watched it. So it was like of the people. <laughs> it's like most useless it. poll. <laughs> well, here's and, an and, unpopular. Oh yeah, sorry. Continue. Oh no, go on, go on, go on, dude. Oh no, I was just gonna say here on, an unpopular opinion though is I think that uh, the writing was on the wall that that something like that was supposed to happen. That one of the dragons was supposed to destroy the city. Like that. That is kind of like part of an old, uh, like yeah. It was, there's pieces it's of foreshadowing of an, that imply that King's Landing is going to get fucked up by a dragon. I mean, it, it is literally biblical. Like it's supposed to be the great dragon destroying the earth at the end. Like that's the point. And then like Jon Snow is Jesus, you know, killing Cersei, the one he loves, or whatever. Like it, uh, our, <laughs> how is that like Jesus? <laughs> well, I, well, it's like there's you know how parallels. Jesus would there's, just fucking kill the people well, he loves. Well, yeah. I mean, there's parallels because he is. He, I mean, the point is the writers fucked everything up because Jon Snow didn't even kill the uh, the White Walker. Uh, kings so, um, none yeah. of none of none of the uh, the character arcs in the last three seasons made any sense anyways that's but, the thing but if you were told they, you have to get daenerys to kill everybody i'd be like we can maybe do it it's gonna be tough we well to there, yeah they, it was it is set up in the books like it's more obvious that that's the direction it's gonna go in but the yeah the show writers obviously did not give a crap yeah unfortunately the last uh chapter of daenerys she's having another one of the hallucinations and, it, and it's the whole remember who you are, you are a Targaryen, and then, you know, you're like, oh, ominous, and then if fucking George got on with the books, you know, uh, nine years waiting, George, come on, please, hurry up, please. Yeah. Well, we... I'd, I'd rather I'd rather wait than get what we got in the Absolutely, TV show. Yeah. <laughs> I know, no. but it's, it, it's just weird thinking that the last book came out when, well, 2011, and it's just like, mm -hmm. Yeah, the, um, I think I told Rags this recently, that the, uh, I got into Game of Thrones, being like, ooh, next book is gonna be, you know, soon. That book still isn't out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. Welcome I do think it's interesting ride. that nowadays, whenever people talk about Game of Thrones, it's only about how it was ruined and how terrible it is. That's the that's the topic that dominates the conversation whenever Game of Thrones. Yeah, is rather than up. talking about the insane scope of the story, the influence, all the great production values and acting. Uh, what, what did, um... Well, because obviously doing this whole lockdown bullshit, um, I think HBO like showed off like their like streaming numbers and Westworld and uh, the Wire and the Sopranos were higher up in the most viewed than Game of Thrones. You know, which would be the the perfect time to watch all of Game of Thrones through, and nobody. Well, I say nobody, but you know, everyone wanted to go watch the the Sopranos instead, which is well, they should, but <laughs> yeah, that's um. We were out with Game of Thrones. We, we we often mention it's like, remember that show? Yeah. Well. Yeah, I'm not bitter or anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, we can worry. How's that? How's that microphone doing? Excellent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, he's he wrote in our chat here that his microphone literally got busted. So. Damn. For what? Possession? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> It's a crazy time, crazy time for police right now. So you can't knows? have you can't have friends like that around you, man. <laughs> They'll drag you down. Um, are you able to? You got any other backup mics? Or I feel I feel bad now. Yeah, fiddle around with some settings. Just keep messing around with stuff. And if you yell hard enough, and... our other microphones might be able to pick you up around the world. Yeah, we might just be able to hear you. I'll just open my window and mm -hmm. yeah. Little delay, but should be fine. Um, so yeah, our our other guests before we can worry, I guess is uh, Smile Coming coming back uh, once again. I forget which one we were last off. Was it the uh, the Monday Bat one? Was it like a no, no, um, no, uh, shit. Okay, I forget which one I was in. It was no, it wasn't Monday Bat. <laughs> it wasn't Game of Thrones. I forgot which. There was another thing. I forget. All right, well, he's back. <laughs> Sorry, yes. Yeah, so, so I was pondering for this. Um, and yeah, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings is a is a well-traveled topic between 
uh, Smiler and I over the years. It'll be interesting to hear some arguments against it, because, you know, maybe it isn't perfect. Maybe it isn't the, sh the, the, the best set of movies that ever graced this planet in, in this cosmos, you know? It's, uh, maybe there are... Maybe there is one don't, flaw. Don't, don't entertain them. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is one major glaring flaw, and that's it. Only the one. We'll allow them have one, yes. That's true. <laughs> um... And of course, Rags returning for another episode. Hello, hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm back. Can't and, get rid um, of me that easy. And Weekend Warrior. Say hello. We did it. So um, I was very excited to have Weekend Warrior on. <laughs> <laughs> because he and I have been buds for a while, and this, is, this was supposed to be the first time we talked. This was supposed to be a happy occasion. <laughs> <laughs> it's going great. Just give him a sec. He's gonna. It would be funny if he like heads out to buy a microphone just to be well, able he, to yeah, talk. He, he told us to be patient, so like he'll, we shall. he'll be by eventually. Um, it it is Lord of the Rings, so we have plenty of time. This is true. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, what? Because the the video isn't exactly short, so we probably should just you know do do a thing, kick it on with it. Is there anything else anyone yeah. wants to talk about before we chew into this wonderful topic? No, let's uh, let's dive on in. Let's take a look. You have been provided a link <clears throat> to watch together, gentlemen. Yeah, love I to get wanted, a. Uh, I just wanted to let everyone know I don't have the microphone anymore. That made my voice sound like the voice of Sauron. I'm sorry. Damn. Oh no, that before been anyone asks for it, it's, it's not there. Um, what else is? Oh yeah, so Rags and I actually rewatched uh, the three Lord of the Rings films ahead of time for this. Uh, we finished yeah. Return of the King today. Mm -hmm. Um, they're really Extended good films. Version, yeah. Like they're really fucking good. Just putting it out there. Holy shit. Uh, yeah. We are lucky that we're in the timeline where we got the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Like, of course, there will be timelines where they got to have all good things or whatever. But we'll be sitting here like, hey, we got Lord of the Rings. Did you? And if they didn't, we're probably better off. Um, why, who's playing the cat video? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I want to see the cats. Damn it. Okay, I mean, I'll let you see them for a little bit, actually, because I gotta, I gotta remove this. They've, they've changed oh, the watch together slightly again. They always do this to me. Are you sure we could watch? Um, we could go to the, the watch together shorts, like Big Buck Bunny. Oh, Big Buck Bunny? That's damn. I don't know. We need to de dedicate a whole episode to that. Big Buck Bunny's like one of my favorites. Well, Big Buck Bunny looks like. Uh... Uh, an abominable snowman mixed with an old person. Uh huh. Uh, it doesn't. He's a very, very odd-looking rabbit there. I feel like the abominable snowman probably is pretty old. So you don't need to specify that it's an old person, okay? No, like a like an old human. Oh. Like they're mixed. So like a yeah. cross between a, a abominable snowman and a human, then. Uh, tired of being picked on by Frankie the Squirrel and his band of puny forest creatures, <laughs> JC the Bunny finally decides to fight back. Oh, jeez. We can't show violent shit on EFAV. What, what is he fighting back against? Hunger cravings? <laughs> I don't know. What is I guess all this? he fights yeah. back against the squirrel and his, his band of puny forest creatures, which seems like the, the description is trying to, to paint them, trying to poison the well. Yeah, uh, by describing those puny forest creatures, and it also it doesn't make JC the bunny seem heroic when he triumphs over the creatures because they've already been described as puny. So it's like, well, I mean, you, I, I, I hope you should win against a band this of should, puny forest creatures. Should, the description should just be fat rabbit smothers <laughs> enemies. <laughs> it's like after a after exposure to radioactive waste, a bunny grows to three hundred times its normal size. And can fly and gets laser eyes and uses it to destroy the environment. See, that's what we do here. We fix stories. We've just fixed that one now. Way better. He uses his newfound powers to destroy all the puny forest creatures that mocked him before. Much more satisfying narrative. It's in Australia too, so you could that's how the wildfires got started with JC the bunny and laser eyes. Motherfucker. Oh my god, don't tell Friggy. No more laser <laughs> fires. Um, but yeah, this one has been requested since, like, early tisms in, in Lord of the Rings been in the backlog, and they were just like, uh, it, it, EFAP, sorry. And so, so people were like, when are you going to cover, cover, cover? And I was like, you know what? 
we have to just we have to get the right guests at the right time to really you know you know, nail it. We need people who like Lord of the Rings, okay? And all four of us, I'm pretty sure, do. I w I would have been saying five, but you know. I I hope he's all right. <laughs> like if he's panicking, he's running it. around like F physically, I'm sure he's fine. You know, unplug, replug, fiddle with settings, and it'll it'll it'll. I feel like he probably like really excitedly plugged the microphone in and then broke it. He's like, no. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Oh, so Brie Larson is in two of the popular video selections on Watch Together. Well, she made a YouTube channel, from what I hear. Yeah. So. Which is always something we're very, that, very, uh, very happy with when when big movie stars make YouTube channels and they're like, "Hey, relatable." And you're like, eh. "Yeah, YouTube is like, you will definitely watch these celebrities." Meanwhile, us us people, we're just like, oh, oh, "Okay, you turned up a Lord of the Rings, Brie, get in the way." Yeah, I love when seen it. artificially inflated channels created by easily digestible existing Hollywood stars come in and siphon all our traffic from us. I thought you were about to call it <laughs> artificial people. <laughs> well, that's what a celebrity is, basically. Kind of. Yeah. No, it's, that, that, it's an artificial what person. To say. Wait, so what's an yeah. internet celebrity then? Like, <laughs> super artificial? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, nothing. A real G <laughs> who made it big. Yeah, yeah we're cool. They're I mean, not. Okay, guys? Okay, I'm glad we... Yeah, good. Um, Self-made people. Weekend Warrior, how you doing? Is, is a thing different? So I guess we're just gonna dive right in. Okay, let's. Do, yeah, we're gonna stop this I video. Um, it was. It was. I think name. The video's name was much more critical before, um, but he, oh. he changed it to just movie review. Um, it's a review oh. of all three films, and uh, it just goes through. I think a lot of the the issues in them. So we will be able to finally experience something like that because you know, I'd like to hear. What was the what was the original title? I don't remember. Um, I just remember it not. It was. It was definitely antagonistic toward the Lord of the Rings rather than neutral, uh, um, which back, is fine, by back, the way. Some backpedaling, then was it? Mm. Possibly, or maybe it was like, you know what? Better to be neutral. Hopefully, it'll get people to give it a chance, which we will. So uh, I'm just gonna just gonna bring it up here. I don't know if we'll, uh, like, what kind of copyright stuff we'll have to deal with, but hopefully, if he managed to get his video up, then we shall be all right as well. Is everyone ready? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's dive in. Let's yeah. roll. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh my god, what? <laughs> I heard him! Oh, wait. I heard him! Weekend Warrior. <laughs> Weekend Warrior, you he's okay? Get out of the trunk! Where are you? <laughs> yeah, he's closer. He's closer. He's somewhere near the house now. I, I, I managed to... <laughs> wow, you are so insanely quiet. Um... Go go to your window settings and turn the level of your microphone up from one to like at least fifty, and then we'll give that a shot. I already have you on one hundred sixty three percent, so <laughs> this is. Uh... He actually sounds like we're all in a house, and he's just outside. <laughs> it 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 sounds like you are outside whispering through a closed window. Oh, it. Oh, you're trying, but I just I've got like, it. I see the green circle, but. Mm. Hello, hello. Ooh. Hi, it's better. Yeah, that's it's like better. a little bit better. Yeah. Better. Wait, wait. Okay, he's in. He's in the hallway outside of the room now. <laughs> yeah. uh, how about now? How about? Now? Yes, yes, better. Yes. Yeah, better. Hey guys. How's hello. it going? That All right. Experience like. Now I get to better. say it. Now I get to say what? it. What Finally. is it? <laughs> Finally an honor to meet you there, Weekend Warrior. Finally an honor to meet you too, Mr. Skeptic. Yeah, killed the climax on that, but... You know, yeah. <laughs> we got there eventually. We got there eventually. That's, hey, that's... It, it's not the climax that counts, but getting there is what's important. <laughs> <laughs> and actually... we did it with friends. Uh, yeah, the friends who did <laughs> along the way that... <laughs> we actually did like a he's we slowly coaxed him inside the house and into the room <laughs> so like, Every, everyone that came hi, along hi everybody. we had to trail a, a peanut butter candy along the way we just followed we did it. it hey you got me with peanut butter man it's like oh i'm oh, fucking no. there just in time too because we're about to start this wonderful video are you ready i don't think this video is gonna be peanut butter no <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here we go.
Rob, you have to face your fears. What an interesting looking Account person. <laughs> hey. <laughs> They're counting on you. And for what? To unsubscribe? It took me long enough to get these subscribers. I don't want to oh, risk losing them all Clean your hands before you hit that light. Yokes on you, I'm not subscribed. <laughs> Damn. You hate Lord of the Rings? What the fuck is wrong with you? I hate Lord of the Rings. Review it then! You know, he hates it. Okay. Hate it? <laughs> Jesus wow. Christ. Wow. Oh, no. oh my that, goodness. Damn. That is harsher than I expected. Okay. Wow. Yeah. My, my, right. my, feel, my feelings are already hurt. My feelings are hurt, and like I, this is this is not what you advertise. Yeah, I've been offended now. No, I'm not reviewing it. Oh look, it's Lord of the Rings fans. Ooh. Oh, oh, we're oh. 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 oh, that's that. Oh, that's a bit funny though. Like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of the Jared flashbacks from the the light the the light switch on the wall. Is that wait? <laughs> um, oh yeah. Well, there's a hole in his wall, but there, right? Pipes. There's just a huh? hole. There's a hole in his wall. Is there? Oh my god, yeah, there yeah, is a yeah. hole oh, in the wall. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's from wow. the door being slammed against the wall. I'm guessing Where the door slammed, yeah. <laughs> you, ain't got a, you ain't got a door stopper, that's um... That's... Oh, yeah, it's, it's supposed to be representative and of the anger. he's got a handle in the wall. The anger yeah, However, yeah. to his credit, if you push the door handle through the wall, the door can become even further open. Yeah, yeah, there are benefits to this. Let's not ignore yeah. them. Yeah. You gotta be fair and balanced. I, just, I don't know. I don't know. He hasn't got a door stop, but how can we trust his opinion on all the doors? <laughs> I just feel like if exactly. I was doing the video, I would have been like, we don't have to film this like at this specific spot. <laughs> <laughs> we can lift the camera up just a little bit. There might this be is... a slightly cleaner room we can do this in. <laughs> Anywhere else. <laughs> Maybe outside. Cleaner. Just go outside. Do you really think people are gonna give a shit what I actually have to say? I do. What do you mean? I mean, I haven't even started the review yet. Look at that dislike bar. Oh. Uh oh. 46 uh. and a half million views. All right. Uh, 46. <laughs> that's a, that's Sorry, 42 and a half. <laughs> hey, man. I think he's confident. Sorry, yeah. I forgive Muller. He's Welsh. Yeah, we don't do numbers. <laughs> but everywhere I'm you having... go, everywhere, people always say, everyone loves Lord of the Rings. They it's do. such an arrogant statement because, surprise, I don't. No, everyone does. Uh, you do, you're just unaware of it. Yeah, you don't, and communists don't, but that's about it, basically about it. I'm trying to understand the logic of this skit. Like, how did this conversation happen? <laughs> why are they in this specific room having it? Like, I guess why is... The whole Every point of it... decision that went into this is wrong. <laughs> this, this is literally coming from a guy who puts exceptionally overly long intros at the beginning of every video, and I'm... I don't understand why I'm watching this. Well, I was gonna say, like, he's clearly trying to be like, okay, look, I know it's beloved, but I'd like you to hear me out. That's gonna be the main point of this, trying to make it funny as well. And I'd just be like, just go, just go into it. It's all right, just go. Just tell me why Lord Dang sucks. It's all right. Self aware cringe. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. <laughs> Do you think people are gonna give a shit about my actual reasons? When I first watched them, I'll put on Facebook. Maturely, he's, he's, my actual... I can't tell how old this person is. <laughs> I don't know what the age of this person is. He's the oldest young person I've ever seen. See, why like, is he standing alone in an empty room up against a blank wall? Like, why is this happening? Hey, it's a dirty blank wall, to be he's, fair. Yeah. He's so like... It's shot. He seems it's shot like, or reverse shot. Uh, uh, this is the face of, you didn't pay me to do this. <laughs> Cause, oh, cause... This is the face of, you paid me in drugs to do this, and I need this to get to be over. So. It is, it is yeah, shot, yeah. reverse shot. It is shot, yeah. reverse shot, but at least they're not breaking the 180 line. Yes. So yeah. Basic, no, not, basic not filmmaking skills. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> they're adhering strictly to the 170 rule. <laughs> My actual reasons why I don't like Lord of the Rings, and friends flipped out about it. Since when have you ever gave a damn about what others think of you? Oh. I just... Bruh, you've come this far. Bro, <laughs> do it, bro. Everyone stuck with you, this bad. You have to do it. We all believe in you. I believe in him too. You can do it, bro. Also, Mr. it's weird because when when this guy here is looking at drug addict men, he's looking to to the left, so his right, which doesn't really match. Like, you know, like it it's weird. I don't know. This is an interesting. Maybe. I'm just hating. I believe in you. Okay. 
I kind of love this video. <laughs> it's, it's definitely I, I, I interesting. Love acting, to be honest. I, I'm all, I, I actually am excited to watch the rest of this. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's looking at. He's just like, yep. Oh, I gotta go to my other <laughs> dirty room now. I gotta go Why? to the toilet. This is the Lord Why? of the Rings reviewing room, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what the entire- this entire universe only has two doors. <laughs> Many doors, yes, kid boy. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there, that's go. a set. That's a reviewing set. There we go. Because BT root to that? Yep. Yeah. He's gonna say it. He's gonna say, I hate it. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Is that the cover from The Revenant as well? Yeah, that's The yeah, Revenant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really gonna regret this one. You'll be right. I have chosen death. I think somebody's already super chatted that. Like, saying Lord of the Rings is bad, so you've chosen death. It's just like... <laughs> you've chosen <laughs> death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess this is an intro. To be fair, we don't have to worry uh, about intro <laughs> music copyright because there has to be music for that. I assume. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. 1937, best-selling author J.R.R. Tolkien wrote his famous and successful novel The Hobbit, but just a few years later, between 1937 and 1949, he wrote one of the best-selling written trilogies of all time, The Lord of the Rings, which sold over Woo! 150 yeah. million copies worldwide. I've read them for Yay. English class back in high school, and I didn't like them either. Just oh, throwing that out like there before you... Oh, no, he didn't I like didn't the books like either. I didn't like them either. <laughs> Wait, did he say... He read them for English class. Yeah. Damn. I, I guess they may have. That might have been like the the. I'm trying to okay. think of like the years project was, was Lord of the Rings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is that's criticism number one. Like this is actually a problem I have with video game reviewers too. Like they try to log through the game as quickly as possible. They're not really like experiencing it the way it's supposed to be. Like books like Lord of the Rings. Like I don't. I don't, I had the old one that was all three books in one volume. Like you're supposed Whoa. to put that shit down sometimes you know like it's yeah a, it's, it's an adventure to read those turning things. it into homework yeah. can give you a bit of a it, different experience like you, you could do this as a book report but like obviously his experience with it was negative because he tried to read it as fast as possible wow so he doesn't you can't you think he can't possibly have good reason for disliking it uh he could <laughs> it's interesting <laughs> that he said i didn't like them either well he's, yeah he's, he's assuming He's assuming the audience or some some people watching don't like Lord of the Rings or reading or, through it. Or may, maybe he meant like the first time. He also didn't. Well, like I think it the first time. Or yeah, as in yeah. like he, he's as in like he's such a hipster. He didn't like it before it was cool. To I think he was like. saying it in case people say oh, you'd like the books. Like, well, you, oh, you'd, yeah. you'd like yeah, the books the book. though. Uh, okay. I love this. Literally, the video is only like thirty seconds in. We're arguing <laughs> over oh. what he means by what he's saying. Great. No, okay. no hard feelings, Mister. Uh, I think it's cinematic venom. I, I'm I'm looking forward to the arguments. I really am. I'm ready. We'll say you need to read the books first, just so you can okay, appreciate you the right. films more. Hello, no, did you we're read right. Lord of the Rings in high school? <laughs> no, I had sex in high school. <laughs> Due to its success, obviously. I don't actually know people who say that you need to read the books to appreciate the movies. Yeah, no, no, no not for Lord of the Rings. Yes, I would, I would even stand. I would say that they're even like totally different experiences. Like, well, one thing that, that was always jarring, I find, for, uh, I think, from books people was the whole that it takes like five hundred odd books, uh, not books, five hundred odd pages for Frodo to actually leave the Shire. It it is a slow slog at the start. It takes ages. It's like. Like it's like eighteen months or something like that of like time passes between Gandalf showing up and going, "There's a ring and it's bad," and then like Frodo actually. Mate, he was on high. Come on, <laughs> he was. He was like, a bit mm. like, and they you know, sang a song for Boromir, right? Like in the books. I... Hello. That... Oh. <laughs> it's just like nobody responded. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, it's like they sang a song. It's like what the fuck is happening anyway. Um, I mean, some people think that the opening for Lord of the Rings is too long in the movies. Well, yeah, it. Well, not only is the opening too long, but remember, like the Hobbit came before it too. So it's like the universe was already set the fuck up, and they still took forever to get the adventure going. Yeah, in the, the books book. or the movies. In the books. 
Yeah, I was going to say, because the movies wouldn't have the benefit yeah, of The Hobbit. Tolkien's like, um, yeah. writing is long-winded, and it is dripping with description. It, you know, it, it's like, I, I love them, but <clears throat> it, is, it takes a while to get through them. If they're not swift reads. Much the same as Mr. Martin describing every apple and uh, chair in a room. Every, every fucking feast. <laughs> every <laughs> feast. Film adaptation was chicken. A... Yeah. Oh, it works. I'm surprised it took this long, actually. But it was huge hits with groundbreaking effects like Jurassic Park that made director Peter Jackson, who made two of my favorite films of all time, by the way, realize that these films were now possible to make, and he began work on the first, Fellowship of the Ring, in August of 1997. Richard mm -hmm. Taylor and the Weta Workshop, sounds like a porn studio. We never speak of it again. <laughs> We're helping in order to create okay. the vision of Middle Earth, and the right. director wanted it to look as plausible and believable as possible, perceiving Middle Earth in a historical manner. Filming took place in Jackson's homeland of the beautiful New Zealand before being released on December the 19th, 2001. In its opening weekend alone, the film grossed $47.2 million before totaling $870.7 million worldwide. Yeah, that shit was uh, wow. phenomenal. I remember it the was, hype. It really was a phenomenon when it came out. And fucking wait. I still remember watching the opening for Two Towers and being like, oh my god, Gandalf, we get to see him fight the fucking Balrog. This, oh! <laughs> the first one was good, the second one's even better, the third one's even. It was just that sort of bore, bore, give me bore. Everyone fucking loved that shit. Lord of the Rings! And then they tried it again later and it, and it didn't. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny he mentions the, the whole weather workshops as well and the emphasis on creating the scenes and all that. And I was like, yeah, it, this could be another video on like why the uh, the Hobbit shit was shit. But never, never mind, never mind. <laughs> what did he say? While it's not a true visualization of Tolkien's Middle Earth, it is a work for and of our times. It will be embraced, I suspect, by many Tolkien fans and take on aspects of a cult. It is a candidate for many Oscars. It is an awesome production in its daring and breadth, and there are some small touches that are just right. This movie version of a beloved book should please devotees as well as the uninitiated. The playful spookiness of Mr. Jackson's direction provides a lively light touch, a gesture that doesn't normally come to mind when Tolkien's name is mentioned. Did he misspell gesture? Uh, yeah, he gesture. Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. I don't know if that was like a British thing. Gesture. If, no, if, no. if you gesture, if you gesture, gesture. Um, no, we add we add U's in armor and stuff like that. But no, it's <laughs> turn that A's to gesture. <laughs> <laughs> the cast take to their roles with becoming modesty, certainly, but Jackson also makes it easy for them. His fellowship flows, never lingering for the sake of admiring its own beauty, every detail of which engrossed me. I may have never turned a page of Tolkien, but I know enchantment when I see it. This is it. Mortensen has stride it as a revelation, not to mention downright gorgeous, and McKellen carrying the burden of thousands of years worth of the fight against evil is positively Merlin-esque. Jackson's movie achieves what the best fairy tales do, the creation All right. of an alternate These world. These are reviews. Cause... I was gonna say, I'm yep. not sure what, where we're going, what's, what's happening yep. here. <laughs> No, he's, he's, he's gonna say they're. He's gonna say they're all wrong or something. Yeah, like yeah, he, yeah he, he's like this. This is the hipster thing. Like I, I had a feeling he was gonna set this up. Like I'm so like, I'm so contrary. I'm so like against the grain. I'm, I'm, I'm going up said. against all of these massive names. Here. I mean, he really is. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how he does. <laughs> yeah, exactly and persuasive where the young can lose themselves, and perhaps in identifying with the little hobbit that could find their better selves. Peter Jackson's adaptation is certainly successful in its own terms. It's a motion that makes fellowship stick hard in the memory. Jackson deserves to revel in his success. Why does he not? This is the second time he's done it. He doesn't put a space after fellowship and then the next word. Mm. Is that because it's like, well, it's italics, it's like slanted. It might be that there is a space and yeah. it just looks like there isn't. Well, then he needs to put another one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just yeah. really weird. Yeah. He's made for a film that leaves you wanting more. No, thank you! There is a strange possible wow. plot okay. complication, an absence funny. of anything unfolding. All the more disconcerting because of the clotted and indigestible mythic backstory that we have to wade through oh, no. before anything happens at all. Wow. Oh, yes, I remember it. Fellowship of the Ring received a whopping 13 Academy Award nominations, successfully winning Best Cinematography, Best Visual Effects, Best Makeup, and Best Original Score. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. gonna put I it out there, how, good. Yeah. Yeah. All the power to you, Lord of the Rings. Oof. Didn't win enough. Should have won best everything. All of them. Best. Best movie forever. Should have gone um, home with all the women. Well, it's not just they should have <laughs> ended the Academy Awards. They said, "This is it. Yeah. We, we did it, guys. It. We're not doing any more. We had a good run. Golden Idol. Yeah. We, we <laughs> well, found yeah, it, everybody. Um, they also. <laughs> in, I said it well. They didn't invent one, but for Andy Serkis in Two Towers and, well, Planus Gollum, 
they created a new award for that because I think it was like for like, you know, CGI motion capture or whatever, because it was such a well awesome performance, but it was never done before because well, nobody had done a green screen with a little guy in a gray suit kind of thing before. Yeah, was, you did but amazing yeah, yeah, work. They, they, they literally had a new award uh, made for the films. <laughs> It won the 2002 Shamanic Presentation, the Empire Best Film Award, and five BAFTAs for Best Film, Best Direction, the Audience Award, whatever the hell that is. I don't have any answers. Best Special Effects and Best Makeup was nominated for an MTV Movie Award for Best Fight between... Willingly. <laughs> that, that unintentionally hilarious scene? Sorry, sorry, we'll get to that, but really, no, that one. Okay. Mm, Alright, yeah, we'll get <laughs> to it, I guess. Why is it funny though? Like I, I can't see it being funny. It's well, funny. I, I can. I well, can see it being funny. <laughs> we, okay. Ra Rags Wolf and I created a in our coverage of it created a a bit of a a, a weed allegory, and the idea is that Gandalf weed. imagined all of Lord of the Rings, and he's just spinning in a warehouse somewhere on the floor, <laughs> and so we we can get fun out of that. But I mean, if you take okay. it, you know, <laughs> literally funny, yeah. as to what is happening in that scene, Saruman is beating the shit out of Gandalf using it, magic. So yeah, he's it being just, spun it, around, disoriented. It is sort of silly seeing two geriatrics being like fake flung across a room or whatever. Like, but I mean, mm. the the point the point of it you are it is a movie. You're supposed to suspend your disbelief. We know that they're yeah. Not. Well, in the movie, it checks out because they're yes. ageless wizards essentially. They are they're, they're angels. Like yeah, exactly. So like. I mean, yeah, because this this, this this goes into a category of criticism where, where someone's like, a fucking dragon? I can't take that seriously. And I'd be like, okay. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, okay. kind of knew <laughs> that going into the film, though, but all right. In the war. Let it go. AFI selected it as the second greatest fantasy film and the 50th best movie overall in history. I won't bother second. explaining the plot. 50th? Boo. 50th? <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Top five we will die. Let's murder all the other four <laughs> Murder all the other movies so it can only be one. Kill him! <laughs> the it's literally the, the Highlander. Drink their blood. <laughs> same for all three. Some hobbits have to take a ring to Mordor to destroy it in order to save the world, and a bunch of random shit happens in between to try to stop them. Nine hours worth of film just summed up in one sentence. You can do that with everything. Yeah, you can do that with anything, yeah. Like, we could have summed it up faster than that. Destroy a ring. <laughs> <laughs> Destroy oh. a space ball. Exactly. Yeah. It's, uh, Little people go on a big quest. It's weird how... <laughs> I, f I feel like we, we, we've done this for so long. Like, lots of people roll this out, and you're like, it's n never something you can't do with something else, you know? This is always... Everything can get boiled down. I don't know, what's the point? That was just a detour. Positives. The scenery looks gorgeous. You can really sense the amount of effort in set design, direction, and even costumes and props. Artistically and cinematically, it's a well put together film, and the budget clearly went more into production and less into screenwriting. The acting miniature. performance what? was most okay. Miniature. That, those were amazing miniatures, though. Uh... Oh, they were insane. They're amazing. Um, it's kind of weird though to say budget clearly went into them and not the script. It's like. Budget going as into if a you script? Could just, as if just money spent on script equals good? Yeah, like, that's not that, how that works, really. That's actually totally, totally the inverse. Like, normally the more <laughs> writers you have, the bigger of a nightmare of a story you end up with. And I would say, look at fucking, what's the, what's the, what's an Star example Wars. of the most affluent production in recent history? And it's like, also, <laughs> I'd ask for an example of the worst scripts in mainstream recently. And you're like, oh, <laughs> they kind yeah, of like yeah, their own yeah, Star Wars. How many, uh... How a Muller, Muller, you you need to understand what he's saying. That the miniatures cost more than the words <laughs> on the pieces of paper. <laughs> <laughs> the ink in the printer. <laughs> this was back in the in your ink shortage of two thousand and one. I shall only write my script with a, a pen from the the days of old. <laughs> it's like a huge expensive thing. <laughs> like, okay. We must just use a typewriter. The Crush the embers of coals from the rare <laughs> eucalyptus trees of southern Australia. Must create your own paper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Best writers, of course. Mostly good, but yes, it has some really bad ones that no one wants to confess to as well. Why shouldn't I keep Like, it? which one? Why shouldn't I act? Oh, what? I think he was saying that was an example of bad acting. Oh, he says that's bad acting. <laughs> wow. I mean... Uh -huh. Fuck you. 
<laughs> of all the times to cover this after Ian Holm has recently died, Ian so Holm, god damn it. Yeah. Uh, so try to be as, as fair as possible. He's um he's losing his shit in that moment. He's uh he's getting well, uh, yeah, the, it, the prospect of the ring might... taken away from him, and so the the golem element, right? That's that's what it's often associated with. It's like it's going to eventually turn everybody into a, a golem-like creature. It almost develops a second personality that's uh, desperately intent on 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 taking the ring for itself. So he's yeah, it's just coming out in the voice. Like I don't I don't really have any problem with that delivery. Anyone else? Um, I think it kind of nails it. You see this with Gollum. You even see it with Frodo. You see it with Boromir. You see it with, um, obviously, with Bilbo here. You're not quite yourself when you're focused on the ring a lot of the times. Mm. Almost like that's a thing about it that makes it dangerous and evil. Well, I mean, this this isn't like, this scene isn't even in a, like, uh, it's supposed to be, it's set up with the whole dinner beforehand. Like, and you can tell the guy, he's like acting manic. If you know what somebody is yeah. like when they're man, a little, like, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So like he's overly excited, so he isn't acting rational. That is the point. I think you've had that ring quite long enough. You want it for yourself. <laughs> you want it for yourself. What's wrong with that? Oh no. Yeah, oh, what is wrong with that? Literally, literally, the fucking point of the movie. <sighs> <laughs> it's not, yeah. This is not going to be him just doing cheap reactions. This, to the, 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 this the, is this is the main mechanic of the film. <laughs> I mean, I I'll just move the on. The ring I makes you like, distrust know. other people, and that's what's happening here. He wants to hang You're on to it. Just doing a shitty version of Ian Holm and saying that it's bad. He wants to hang on to it more than anything else, and wow. so the idea that Gandalf's like give it up, he's like, D uh, you know, what what are reasons why I won't give it up? You're just trying to take it. That's that's why you want me to give it up. And of course, Gandalf is offended as fuck because this, this, this is how addicts act. Yeah, is, I, I, you know, their yeah, yeah. brain their brain rationalizes that that kind of behavior as an attack against them. But it's all right. He's not like said the whole movie is bad because of that one moment. I just don't really agree that either of those are bad acting. I, I do just hope he's yeah. not just going to do it like well. This is going to be the whole video, just him just reacting to the scenes. I'm like sure that. we'll get no. substantive. I know. Hopefully, hopefully. The outburst is so random and out of nowhere. Which what do you mean out of what? nowhere? It's not random oh, and out of nowhere. <laughs> so Gandalf is established to be a wizard. He's we literally... have the ring, which is established to be corrupting. It's got I mean, Sauron's personality is poured into that thing. Yeah. All of his well, cruelty, malice, and will to dominate all life. Well, just, just keep in mind that you, you know how sure. he started off with the whole book thing, or like, oh, you gotta read the books bullshit. Well, before this scene, you already know that what happens to Isildur. You know how Isildur literally fucking yep. jumps himself into a river to get the ring because he's so fucking... Well, again, like it, it is like an addiction because it poisons and corrupts the well, mind. He, he yeah. jumps to the river to get away from the orcs. Sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Because he's invisible at that point, yeah. Destroy it. Yeah, thing. He, he didn't destroy it. He wanted to keep but, it. But, like, this 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 criticism is, like, nitpicking. Like, I'm, I'm, we're nitpicking. But, like, the point, again, this is the beginning of the film. Like, like yeah, it does seem like Gandalf is, like, doing this out of nowhere. But that's the point. This is setting up how important I, this is. Is that Gandalf is literally willing to go full ape shit on this guy for not relinquishing the ring to him. That's how important this is. I mean, I, I wouldn't agree that it's a nitpick of his, because I would say that a nitpick still has to be accurate. That's why we're actually passing it out. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's, <laughs> it's my misguided. Like, it's okay. But but like, we're, we're all we're all okay with nitpicks here. We'll just check them out. Be like, say for example, it's like there's 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 that scene in the original vision that has the car in the background. If someone pointed that out, I'd be like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a yeah, that is a nitpick. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. editing like mistake. Yes, yeah, production <laughs> error. Um, as for as for. You know, we already knew Gandalf. This this part's really shocking because Gandalf's been nothing but kind and bubbly throughout this whole sort of film, and suddenly he's like he makes everything go dark and talk really deep, and he's trying to he's trying to send a very strong message. I am not trying to steal the ring, you fuck. Yeah, this is this is less about Gandalf's character and more about the importance of this ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah really we, establishing to Bilbo. We've already how... seen the forces of good and evil fight over the power or the or the, well, yeah, well, Sauron and the and the power of the ring. We've already seen that, and Gandalf's already shown to be, you know, you know my dear friend Bilbo. Uh, so uh, this is not out. Fuck off. <laughs> I, 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 and I, I he's still like Bilbo's saying friends that a lot. being firm. Maybe he was in the bathroom when the intro rolled. I don't Shut know. Shut up, like... sheep. 
Yeah, that's I mean, what I thought. Gandalf specifically says, "I'm not trying to rob you. I'm trying to help you." Yeah, oh, like this is all yeah. done for Bilbo's best interest. I just think it informs yeah. both of them in this scene quite a bit. This, this is how. This is also. This is also how you treat a dog that won't drop something. You like start off, get drop it, buddy. Drop it, buddy. Buddy, drop. I it. am not like, <laughs> trying to rob you. Yeah, I just don't. Want, I just don't want you to swallow the chocolate. <laughs> Now, Cuddles, I'm not trying to rob your bone. <laughs> I'm trying to play fetch with you. Yeah, you're already, like, wrist deep into the dog's throat, pulling it out the fucking... <laughs> I'm not trying to rob you. Um, Stop trying to swallow it, you fucking druggie. You and yeah, it's a, me, I wouldn't have to rob you. It's a wonderful little moment where he's, like, gets spooked, and then he's like, oh, and it's like, oh, you're right. Oh, hugs. It, while someone who's basically too far gone would probably have, like, ran away. <laughs> Be like, oh, my God, Gandalf, give me my ring. Now that I think about it, all of dildo scenes are. It's weird for a film. You call them dildo. <laughs> uh, you yeah. Call them dildo. Never. Oh, no. That's never. That's uh, Bilbo Baggins is a saint on this podcast. He's a okay? hero. Don't be he's calling him dildo. He's a sweet hobbit. He I deserves so be much better. He's like one of the it's best characters good, uh... in the three films in terms of altruism. He did such a great fucking job. He's such a good guy. Hanging on to that I'm horrible, like, poisonous the, uh... thing for so many years. And I've the heard insult is called that word dildo <laughs> or called dildo. It's, this is a great joke. Great joke. <laughs> dildo. dildo. The insult Baggins. is so. The insult is so juvenile. Also, it's like that's the best you could do. Let him the have name. the dildo. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. He can. He can have it. <laughs> Luckily, he can do what he, he, luckily, do what he wants in it. This is not an this is not an integral character in the film, at least. Cuddles, drop the dildo. I'm not trying to rob you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. How do Focuses we so it? much on dragging out sequences for as long as possible, which I'll get onto. They rush what could have been quite an interesting transition. Also, they after rush? Dildo vanished from the party, why does it take Frodo until nightfall to check out his uncle's house? It may was night when he disappeared! Yeah, may, 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 <laughs> may I point out that this is the first time in human history that anybody has ever accused Lord of the Rings of rushing anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent point. He just spent the fucking oh yeah. my god. He says <laughs> he said it takes till nightfall for Frodo to turn up. It's like wait, but it was night when he disappeared. Like Rags says, like what the fuck? He yeah. How <laughs> do you... he left at night, and it took him until night to go to his also, house. Also, I'll be honest with you, right? If 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 Rags disappeared, I would like go. Oh, he must be at his house. <laughs> 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 if he, if he vanishes in front of my eyes. It's like mm, he's probably in his room. <laughs> I think I think it's fair to assume that people will eventually check there, which is why Bilbo was only going to make a pit stop. He's just going to go there, get his stuff, and leave, which is fine. And of course, people would eventually turn up, which is why Frodo does, which is a useful uh, thing to be able to use because that gets him to talk to Gandalf. It all follows. I, I don't. Why is that an issue? It's weird. Mm. Everyone's pointed this out, but still, it's as far as we no know, one... it's like a minute later. As yeah, far as we just... know, Frodo went immediately to Bilbo's house. But it wouldn't matter if he didn't. If he searched around the whole area first, that yeah. would make a lot more he sense. Yeah, behind the tree, in the tents, at the buffet. You know how Bilbo is. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not like he immediately found him there. We don't know what he's fucking doing. I'd also like to point out, he also said, I can't believe no one has pointed it out yet. Like, something like that. Oh, when I think he, I think he said that other people have pointed it like, out. I wonder <laughs> why that is, though. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, we'll roll it back. See what he said about action. You want it for yourself. The outburst is so random and out of nowhere, which now that I think That's about it, all is. of dildo scenes are. It's weird for a film that focuses so much on dragging out sequences for as long as possible, which I'll get onto. They rush what could have been quite an interesting transition. Also, after dildo vanished from the party, why does it take Frodo until nightfall to check out his uncle's house? Un Everyone's pointed yeah. this out. Un until, <laughs> until nightfall. I love that. Uh, he has candles he burning. Like yeah, at the was, party, there are candles. There was burning literally and fireworks. Everything. There were fireworks. You cannot yeah. see fireworks. No, that's a daytime <laughs> thing in the Shire. It, that's yeah, a Hobbit yeah. tradition. There was, there was literally fireworks. It encourages people to make them really bright. I don't get how he could do that. But he literally had to edit it and you know, snip the fucking scenes together. Yeah, and then not, go, oh, right. 
How, not, how did he not? How did he fucking not see that? And then he went, and then he made a whole point about it. <laughs> but it looked like he was about to follow up and say, "I know a lot of people have pointed this out." I just want to, I just want to see if that's what he actually said. what could have been quite an interesting transition. Also, after Dildo vanished from the party, why does it take Frodo until nightfall to check out his uncle's house? Everyone's pointed this out, but still, uh, everyone. stop. No one. I've, I've literally never, never heard that before. before. Never heard that before. <laughs> everyone pointed it. What? <laughs> <laughs> If it was daytime, like they were having drinks at daytime, and Bilbo disappeared then, and then it cut to Frodo walking into the fucking uh, Hobbiton, then, so yeah, then I we mean, would... even <laughs> even then, I guess, you know, you can vaguely believe that's a possibility. I, I probably would be like, it seems strange you took that long to check his house, but um, you can't make that claim it's here. Not. You just can't. <laughs> it's not. It's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. I mean, in, in the images you show of the party and the close up of Frodo, there are candles burning. To light the place. You do that like, at daytime, idiot. It, yeah, to make the, it helps the sun. So the sun uses the reason, less power to light things because you're helping it out. The reason it was dark yeah. is because they were using dark works where they fire little things that <laughs> just shattered, put darkness everywhere. That's how it's, it's a Many fantasy. Black okay. holes in the sky. Yeah. Really dumb. That was good. Elijah Wood is so it, bad. The oh, screen is dark. <laughs> the screen is dark. <laughs> With Mary and Pippin, you're... He just said Elijah have to Wood. to the actors so you can see them. I guess this is like the acting oh. section. Or something. Fucking hell. I don't know, but he just said Elijah Wood's really bad. It's like, oh damn, okay. Oh, fuck. That is objectively wrong. <gasps> El El Elijah Wood is one of the best parts of the series. It's like... I think I think he does pretty excellently. I don't see... It. I think he yeah. encapsulates it's the uh, the Avery man actually, who doesn't... The... He's not ready for this kind of responsibility, but we'll take it head yeah. on. You know, he, this is actually the only role that I really like Elijah Wood in. You didn't like him as the crazy, creepy, flesh-eating killer in Sin City? Oh, that was his best oh, that, role. No, that's actually no, that's true. That is a that is a. You guys ever seen Maniac? <laughs> I he's have. He's crazy killer in that too. He's he's also awesome in that. Watch that then. All right, added to the list. Fine. Fine. <laughs> we will watch all of your favorite Elijah Wood movies. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing he says sounds genuine, and everything he says sounds feminine. So. What? What? Oh. oh my god, I don't even want to address this. Can we please not? I was just gonna say, like, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm happy with that. Please. I'm happy with that. Too. Yeah. We'll be here. We'll come. And then we'll all do our hair. Just our let him bury out. himself. Damn. Yeah. Bury, your, bury yourself, son. Put it out, that's nice. How is that feminine? Ow. Put it out, you fools. Oh, no. I mean, I I don't even know what to say in response to this. <laughs> exactly. Like, I'm just, a little bit at a loss. We just Where watched the man begin. We just watched the man cover himself in earth, and we, just, <laughs> <laughs> we let it happen. Oh, <laughs> Green no, Street. Green 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 Street. That's another film. Elijah Wood film is good. Or at least yep. what I remember. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, but I do. Think I, I guess we have to not... start with why is it bad that he if, if he does sound feminine like this? Why is that? Bad. It just is. He just said. All right. Is. All right. Good. Oh, fair enough. Fault. How do you make dialogue like that sound natural? Put it out, you fools! No, put that it out. That is natural. What do you? What? Why would you pick oh, this uh, of all the lines? Uh, put it out, you fools! Well, you should have said, "What are you doing, you fucking retard?" <laughs> hey, dude, put the fire out, man. Fire bad. Stop. Stop. In the fire bad. In the olden times, the Middle Earth. Fuck off, retard. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see that version. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what to do with that. It's just like, yep, he's terrified at the idea that they'll be spotted by the fucking, the Grim Reapers on horses. So he's like, put that shit out, alright? Meaning the fire. I, I, I don't know what else. Yeah, alright. Also, mm -hmm. when people are suddenly introduced to moments of potential peril, they're not going to sound like, quote-unquote, like themselves. They're just going to get words out. Hence why I think he's more aggressive in that moment than usual. Frodo is very, very, you know, like fairy taley. Yeah, well, well, yeah, no. Frodo is the, the he's the he's very soft, unspoken, or the unassuming hero because that's this whole fucking character. He's a hobbit. <clears throat> he lives in a radius of like one mile, and he never leaves his home. Well, he's he's fucking... he's also he's also supposed to be like an archetypical child. Like the point of him being a hobbit is that he is essentially like a child in this universe, and like, mm -hmm. for for him to act sort of quote effeminate and to have like his best friend and they like love each other so much like what that isn't like yeah sh sure you could say like uh you know in, in modern terms we'd say those are effeminate features but the, the point of that is it's supposed to show innocence 
Yeah, well, well, yeah. I mean, we've already established that hobbits just want to live a peaceful life, gardening and playing chess, and literally just getting drunk and smoking weed all day. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Know, we no, no. Yeah. It, it, it's literally it, in the intro with Gandalf's talking about the Shire, and it's, no, no, it's you know what these characters you are. are right, yeah. Ba um, ba basically, this guy is complaining about basic film uh, language. He's not even complaining about the, the film itself, but the the type of language that it's chosen to use. Yeah, and, yeah. It, and and these are like these are like staple things that people like some of these are like as old as the you know Greek plays. Like these are established ways that we communicate these things. Yeah, I I'm just I'm looking forward to him to fucking shitting on more iconic lines like fly your fools or you know uh oh. well, any any of the more iconic uh, lines from any of the films. It's gonna be great. I can't fucking wait. When he says we fight before the Black Gate fight, he's like we fight? Do you mean we are going to fight? Idiot. Like, sure, do, you, do you mean we are currently fighting? That is not the case. Who talks like that in a fantasy <laughs> film? I was actually going to say, yeah, this is the other thing that this film has that I guess other uh, films do not, is that these are fantasy creatures, uh, so they can actually use language in very alternative ways if they wish. And they can get away with it. Yeah, it's, it's you an odd complaint. Who's it's a very odd... Thank you, Captain Exposition. And again, he's surprised. Wait, yeah, he's surprised. He never saw an elf before, you, <laughs> you person. It's the, and, that's the point. And in this movie, Sam is even excited to learn that they're going to Rivendell to see elves. Didn't, hasn't Sam yeah. never left the Shire? Yeah, Sam has never left yeah, the Shire. Yeah. He's never gone further than that scarecrow. Yeah, he uh, said, this is the farthest place I've been in the Shire. If I take so another step. All yeah, this shit is shocking to him. He's like, whoa. Yeah. And even I mean, when they get to Rivendell, Frodo says Sam wants to leave and go back to the Shire because he thinks yeah. they're finished. And Frodo's like, "But I thought you always wanted to see the elves. Like this is something you you know, as we've established, you know, already. I'm reiterating, this is something that you really wanted to see is see elves. Like it makes sense that he does this. Like this guy didn't watch the movies. I guess it's weird. It's weird because he's got like clips from them, but I guess he didn't watch them. They're they're clips. Yeah, yeah. Like he, he literally just watched the whole hour sequence and then just for. Oh, this this dialogue. Oh, this is funny. And <laughs> I guess. this dialogue, all these even. problems, they they go unnoticed, right? You know. No, but they're not problems. <laughs> I, don't, I feel I feel like I'm fucking. I just lost my mind. Like, what problems? Yeah. He, no. He's he's right. I haven't noticed. <laughs> I haven't noticed these <laughs> non problems. When, when other films do it. Have you ever noticed that Wilson's only job in this? Why are you referencing the sound oh, critic? No, 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 no. Dory is stating the painfully obvious. I didn't do it. These carvings are really creepy. I just think Dr. Marrow's up to something. Okay, the, why even bring this no up? Context. Yeah, we don't know the. Movie. This is the haunting, funnily enough, from the Liam Neeson oh, movie. Yeah. I uh, I have no idea. I've never seen this film. I have no context you know, for it. I all no I remember the nostalgia critics video. All I remember is the spooky ghost and Owen Wilson gets his head chopped off. So yeah, <laughs> oh, no. Owen Wilson just plays himself, just going, "Whoa, creepy!" Wow. I wow. cannot I cannot believe that this Lord of the Rings review includes spoilers for haunting. I I know it's, it's messed well, up. It's really more Mahler. Yeah, I kind of did it. <laughs> um, I, I like that he's brought this up just to say. So, so we didn't need this. We, he'd already highlighted the issue is that it's expository dialogue, we, like over it. That, like, that describes this whole video. We don't need this. Well, also, <laughs> I would like to have him go to the zoo and see how many people say, "Oh, look, a fill in the blank animal that they have just seen." And Rags is like, "Wow, exposition!" <laughs> like, "Oh, look, at Captain Exposition over here!" <laughs> Like, oh, and it's like a, a six year old going, Ooh, look, mommy, a giraffe. I'm like, Oh, like, I guess the rest of us <laughs> just don't see it. It's just invisible oh, for the rest of us. So pointed it wow. Out, it all Sorry, Sorry, do you know why? Six year old. Do you know why it's not a. It's not even what I really consider exposition anyway, because her being an elf isn't necessarily like useful information to us. She's someone who's going to help. Yeah. She gets Frodo out of there. Yeah. Like, her being an elf doesn't really do anything for us at that point. Um, either way, so th th this is what I'm getting at in terms of structure of video. He established the problem was overt dialogue plays it. We, we, we've we pulled it apart to see if it really was or not. Established character, whatever. And he's like, do you know why this is bad? Because other people say overt dialogue is bad in other things, but they don't in this. And, and we're already like, no, no, we, I got that. Like, we that was the whole point you were making in the first place. Like, you don't need to do this. Who cares if Nostalgia Critic did or did not notice 
overt dialogue in one thing or the other. Like, it doesn't... Uh, I definitely got a soft spot today. for Theo. She's an elf. Spinach is green! I'm just throwing that out there! My problem arises with the okay. writing. Okay. I, I just oh, want to no. say as well that for Sam, in the, in the box, he literally cries at the, at the thought of meeting elves because, the, believe it or not, hobbits don't leave the Shire. And it's really, you know, it's 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 a big, big world out there for them, and they've never experienced it. And Sam and Frodo, and Merry and Pippin, they are like some of the first people to ever leave. In fact, do you know? Remember Bilbo, him leaving the Shire? He, he was considered he was considered kind of fucking a loony for that. Yeah, you know, bit of a, bit of a radical. Yeah, uh, the, the, and the, the elves are like demigods. They're like, they're the lore is that they're like they're sort of bound to god's laws on like totally free will being so these are supposed to, this is supposed to be a connection to god so it, it is sort of like meeting a god for the first time like yeah you, you you would be surprised if you met a real elf in real life i think that is a fair thing to say unless you're using that as just like a, an alternate word for little people <laughs> well yeah yeah it, well yeah well, i even then i would be surprised i guess it's not a normal occurrence yeah, Tol Tolkien's elves are all taller, well, taller and stronger than, and more beautiful than men. They're not little goblin shit things. We got them. <laughs> Just because it's a widely successful, universally loved blockbuster, doesn't mean you can't look at the writing instead of just. No one's saying this. <laughs> just, uh, just FYI. I, yeah, you're you're kind of on your own out here. You're on your own little island. Just give me give me yeah, the quote of someone saying, you know what, the films are so beloved and did so well, you can't criticize them at all. In like, n not I, I, ironically too, please. Not like a joke. Have I never seen this guy's channel or anything? If you told me he just straight up just trolls every uh, big film or big beloved franchise, I, w I would believe you. Well, we still got plenty of arguments to come. I'm sure he I'm sure he's going to tear him down. Can right quick. Blindly accept is amazing. Ask yourself this. Do any of these characters genuinely have any, well, Character in this one? Oh no! No! Oh my God! Oh! 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 Anger! Fury! Oh my God! What is this? What? Ah! What am I listening to? Who is this asshole? Oh my God! The the cast is unhappy. Let's put it that way. Every we were watching this I hate. I hate that he was looking. Oh, oh my god. He went oh, to, wow. Dude, showing Aragorn and Boromir when saying that? Literally, you fucking kidding literally me? Literally Aragorn was on the goddamn screen when he said that. I am so angry. I, when when Mahler asked me when we were... Yeah, it was yesterday when we were watching Two Towers. He's like, oh, Rex, who's your favorite characters? I'm like, man, they're all so good, but I really have a super soft spot for the Boromir-Faramir brothers. There's a lot going on there in their relationship with Denethor... And there's, there's a lot going on with these characters and what they do and the story and how they interact with others and talk to others about this relationship. There's a lot there. All of these characters from Elrond all the way everywhere. We, we constantly praise this movie of how every character, Theoden, Eowyn, Faramir, Boromir, Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, they all have aspects of character in this film as long as they are. They don't waste time with characters either. Everyone gets moments. Everybody gets to bring in their attitude and their perspective, and we get to learn so much about all the characters. That's one of the great triumphs of these three movies, mm -hmm. is that it does such amazing work with the characters. I mean, shit, you know when uh, uh, at Legolas and Gimli say, uh, how, how I'd rather die uh, fighting side by side with a friend, and Gimli goes, aye, that'll do. Did your heart not melt? Mine fucking did. Uh, everyone's hearts exploded in the cinema when that happened. It is, you know. Yeah, it. Yeah. It, is, it is not just like, oh, oh god, those two are gay, and they? Look at these effeminate people. Oh, yeah, yeah, these yeah. These effeminate yeah. creatures. No. Effeminate creatures. It's like, I, if this, if, if these movies don't do characters well, I want to know what you think did them well. I have to know where your, your, where's your bar? But let's here. Is he, oh, has he got any videos on Star Wars? I love. I, I bet. I bet yeah. Ray's his best character. Go on. It's going to be something like oh, that. Right, let's go. Oh. No. And That's also, like, but yeah, like in the first movie alone, we got the Boromir arc. You, you don't really have to go far for great characters. Well, that's that's like, why I'm offended. He was on the screen when you were setting this up and said, yeah. like, do not even suggest that Boromir doesn't have a really strong characterization in this fucking movie. Or the, or the Sam and Frodo relationship. Now, it doesn't, it doesn't get uh, kind of as developed in, as in the books because 
in the books. Um, I don't know if you guys like actually remember, but Frodo is Sam's employer. Like, you know, Sam is his gardener. Um, because the Baggins family are quite affluent in uh, in the Shire, and one of the things that Tolkien I mean, did in the books was he wanted to establish that during times of war, people from different backgrounds or different class structures can still be well, they you know, with a common enemy that they can you know become the best of friends because that's their relationship blossoms when they go away to well on this epic grand journey. But no, they're yeah. characters. Well, it's interesting when when Faramir does ask sam who he is to frodo sam says i'm his gardener and yeah, it's pretty for it's, jokes but it's true <laughs> but it's I mean, but that's how sam sees himself they don't see themselves as adventurers and warriors and saviors of you know mankind and everything their yeah. their mind is still in the shire their mind is still kind of innocent still in a way i'm yeah, his gardener that's what i am they are the most unlikely of heroes that is the whole fucking yeah. point but and and yeah, and if you and remember that at the end of uh, the fellowship, uh, when Frodo is like, well, after Boromir's death, Frodo like about what he ditches the fellowship and he tries to go on his yeah. own because he doesn't want anyone else to die for the cause. And Sam's like, oh, I'm coming with you. And it's like, yes, yes, Sam, fucking do it. Even if you can't swim, you stupid shit. <laughs> and I just, I, I was like, I was saying to, I, I think I said to Mahler when we were watching it, my favorite deleted scene is the one they took out of Two Towers where Faramir is remembering. Boromir oh, yeah. at Osgiliath oh, yeah. and Denethor is there yeah. and that so much character work is in there that really fleshes them out so well yeah, it and is. I to, to show Boromir and to say oh there's no characters in this it makes me like who are these fucking people <laughs> I, I keep in mind that Faramir is like really is a side character he is not like he's, yeah like, he's not a main character but there's so much going on with him and how he wants to please his dad and how he wants to do the right thing and how he works hard and he works hard and he works hard and he was always kind of living in the shadow of his brother and his father's eyes but him and his brother got along really well and him and his brother kind of didn't even like Denethor that much yeah. and there's so much going on it's almost as if like you know there's actually got like a real you know human relationship you know like this there's, there's actually something there not just fucking hello Farabia, son of Denethor hello <laughs> I must I, stop you because the story needs me to stop you. Oh no! And I, I also like, like two Faramir throw out ring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, what, should we do a story. quick, quick uh, run through the five of us? Favorite singular character if you had to choose, gun to your head from the oh, Three my... Lord of the Rings films. Oh, Arag oh Aragorn. All, all right. Well, we'll go from left to right then. So I'm next, and it's Boromir. He's my favorite. I'll, uh, don't at me, Rags. <laughs> <laughs> um. Can I can I put in the Boromir Faramir bros? Can I put them I, both I in? Guess, as my I choice? guess we can allow it. Uh, uh, it's like I it's guess, like if people were to put in Merry and Pippin as their own because they're they're a pair, and so much of their character stuff is relating to it. It, their... it is sort of a continuation of the characters through, yeah. through the I'll allow brother, it. I guess. Uh, I'll go. <laughs> oh, uh, Gandalf. Yeah, fair enough. And we can warrior. I like Frodo. He, he, he's so tragic, but he still tried to do the right thing. That, that, that really hurt. Did home. Curly Eyes really just say the T Rex was his favorite part? <laughs> the T Rex? <laughs> the T Rex? The I, my, I think my second is safely Samwise, though. Uh, Samwise, Samwise, yeah. Not yeah, the yeah, T Rex, okay. Two. No, it's Sam, not, Sam is my second favorite character. Yeah, Sam I mean, is. Uh, who would not want a friend like Sam? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who would fucking legend? Like exactly. He's the most and loyal. He's the most loyal character in the entire film. Yeah, he's yep. the chadist. <laughs> he fucking kill, yeah, killed. Yeah, killed Shelob. He goes home. The, the the lady waits for him. They get thirteen babies. He he has a <laughs> garden. He's like king <laughs> king shit. Yeah, yeah. Of I'm the king of the artichokes. That's true. I mean, it, within Shire logic, he is king shit. He's got yeah, he is. The Apex Hobbit. Yeah, Apex Hobbit. Yeah. Yeah, like for all we know, he's the mayor of the town after Frodo. Yeah. Like, yeah. He looks down on all the little people. Really, he does. In all his magnificence. Anyway, then. The man killed hmm. Shilob, Or Can Gilead. we not go with the video Shilob. and just talk about why well, X is so great? The crazy thing is. Yeah, fuck it. This is this. He's he started the point. He hasn't actually substantiated it because we're all so upset okay. at the idea of substantiating <laughs> oh, that yeah, point. Yeah, I forgot about that. If he does a just kidding after this, I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> 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 
Now this is simply the introduction to the story, but it is three hours long. That's more than enough time to develop character substance. But the only wait, is he saying uh, yes. Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, is the introduction to the story? Therefore, the characters should have been established over these three hours, as if they aren't. Yeah, I think that's what he's saying. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, that still uh, wouldn't. Even if he was taking in this this film, this video is about the trilogy, and even if he was focusing in on only the Fellowship. Having Boromir's face on screen still here is, I mean, there's so much work. Um, uh, it's, well, but it's by, the, nuts. by the time this scene hits, like this scene finalizes the establishment of several of the characters that are in this circle. Uh, and then and then we get to see the establishment of Boromir. And uh, well, I yeah, guess. so this like is after where we this, meet this, Boromir after this and point, Legolas, so, like, he yeah, is literally yeah. compl he's complaining at the establishment point that the characters are not established. It's just kind of a kind it, of it is weird, like yeah. the hour and a half mark or so, isn't it? Yeah, this is what I I still remember this being the uh, the break in the DVD Can when I you just... put this two in. White horse <laughs> down said, "I relate to the Uruk being bored as I hate Mondays too." <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, screaming. The, um... <laughs> I'll actually, uh, the, the fellowship section is basically the, it's the halfway point for the first movie. I'm looking at the time bar right now. The yeah. halfway wah, point wah. for the first movie is the fellowship. And scene. we've at that point really learned no just under or over around half the characters of the fellowship. And then they very, very efficiently get everyone going on who the rest of them are. Because of course they only just joined. The only one to get even a smidgen is Boromir and maybe Gandalf. Smidgen? <laughs> why did you smidgen. when he said Gandalf it showed Frodo? Like <laughs> why did Also in this scene, like we learn a lot about Boromir in yeah. this scene. At least he's allowed us to have Boromir and Gandalf. We're allowed Excellent. them. Thank you for that. Thank thank you. That's something. It's better than nothing. Although Gandalf's only job is to literally introduce everybody with their full names, just for the audience's point of view. No! <laughs> no! 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 no. The, none of the hobbits know any of these fucking people. They've never yeah. left the like he has to. Yeah, he has to let the hobbits know, and through extension, we can know. This is this called is writing. This is a really familiar <laughs> thing I, I in media. Never, he's, he's literally complaining that the wise man character is wisely informing the character. <laughs> <laughs> like this is this is a it's kind of a staple of its world building is that well, we learn through uh, characters. So this let's is just... basic hero's journey. Well, if we basic, were Ryan's story, basic basic hero's journey. The five of us no, Ryan's I mean, scene, and I'm like, wait, the audience don't know who Glungal is, and it's like, well, neither does Frodo. So we'll just have Gandalf say like, this is Glungal of of Grun and Shime, and it's like, hello, and Frodo's like, oh, hello, and it's like, now the audience know, and he said they're like, wow, exposition. It's like <laughs> if we want to. If we go back oh, to on. the Hobbit, right? If the Hobbit movies is really similar, where when all of the dwarves show up in the Shire and they're getting introduced to Bilbo, it's like, yeah, he needs to know their names. They're gonna go traveling together. It makes sense that we would learn alongside Bilbo what all their names are. It's really well done. That's the, 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 yeah. the gold standard of introduction of a character is you introduce it to someone else. This is why a lot of people advocate for having a character who has no idea what the fuck's going on. Because that one yeah. will have things explained to him. I take a guess which one that is. Oh, it's Frodo. Ooh. Oh shit. A wizard is never late. Frodo Baggins. Samwise Ganji. Mary Edok Brandy. Okay, so it's pretty. No <laughs> when your mother, when you were growing up, and your mother used your full name, you knew you were in fucking trouble. That's what that is. The yeah. same thing applies to when a wizard pulls you out of a hedge. Yeah. I, li I like that he's using this as an example of like over exposition when he says Mary a Doc Brandy Buck when nobody calls him that throughout the rest of the fucking film. It's Mary, yeah. It's, <laughs> so it's say like, Mary and Pippin, not Mary and Peregrine. Yeah, he's not like this is Mary and this is Pippin. It's like no, no, he's yeah. he's you. <sighs> and he stares at the camera for a moment. <laughs> No, he it, he literally Explorer learned the Explorer. He, he literally learned what exposition was the day before he made this review, and he just thought that exposition <laughs> equals bad. I was gonna so say, like, oh, that's a big word. Exposition yeah. is complicated, and we don't like it when it's so. So, an example of what I think is uh, bad exposition, because uh, it's in TFA Part Three, coming soon, I promise. Um, when oh Snoke is talking to Kylo in The Force Awakens, and at the end of their conversation, for the first time we see them, he says. The droid is aboard the Millennium Falcon in the hands of your father, Han Solo. 
And it's like, why did you say that like that to Kylo? Like, he's fully aware of who his dad is. Like, we didn't know at that point, and so we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> this is like awkward exposition, I guess. Why would he announce Han Solo to Ben Solo? It's weird, but it's just... You know, some oh, people... Oh, no, that, that happens all the time. Whenever I'm told, uh, it's like, oh, uh, you know, hey, Rags, go get your sister, in whose name is Sally Cummins or whatever, <laughs> and tell her that dinner is ready in the kitchen where we live at 1234... Street, Adam's Drive street, street. or whatever. <laughs> One, yeah. two, three, four, street, street, you know? It's like, like, why are you doing this? Yeah. You're testing me thing, to see if I'm an alien? The other thing to keep in mind as well, it, at, um, a fucking, well, at the gathering of, uh, the, the, of, the, of the races, where it's, you know, it's elves, dwarves, men, they're, they're all coming together. It's like, it's, a, it's, it's formal, but also a lot of these people don't get along. They, there's, there's a, I, and I get it, you know, this is fucking that boring backstory but these races haven't always had the best relations with each other and until there was a common enemy you know the dark lord sauron some of them didn't like each other so when they came together it's it, it's fucking almost required to actually like go look this person's this person this person's that person it's fucking chill. I mean, they, they establish <laughs> immediately that gimli hates elves uh yeah like... yeah well well elves and dwarves they all yeah <laughs> always hate each other go, go hand in hand with hating each other and Peregrine took Bill Murray. Who the hell does that? Eric Matthew Bohr, son of Rob Bohr, age 20. He's this ancient fucking he wizard. Just said his... oh, oh, he fucking... just said its name. Oh. This... It's, not a fil... it's not a story in fucking modern times, you retard. <gasps> People do that in real life when they yeah, see that... someone, especially they've missed. They're like, ah, John Smith. I haven't seen you in... Yeah, how long has it been since they've seen each other? It's been a while, right? Like, we're talking yeah. a while. <laughs> getting there. We're getting there. Five, owner of Cinematic Venom, going out of Ashley Elizabeth Burney, born July 25th. Why does that kid have a dot on it? Is he Indian? Yes. And he is, also he a, a... is it a Hindu? Ross is a little creepy sometimes. Oh, it's... What Perhaps the fuck? What? I've thought of a better use for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No. Like, if you want to interpret that in a creepy way, it's, go for it, only, I guess. It's only creepy now because you said the word creepy before showing this. Well, yeah, you could so, do this with pretty much anything. I, I would say, if anything, Gandalf's uh, intimidating. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, the, this This is supposed to be, like, this is like a Dutch angle. It's supposed to be an awkward... It is it is showing that he is looming over him and that he, that he's intimidated by him. Yeah. Like, that is the purpose of this show. I mean, do that all the time yeah. in, this, in this movie. Keep in mind that credit. Gandalf is, like, three foot tall of all of them. Yeah. And, yeah, he, he is a very powerful wizard. <laughs> yeah. And he, he's like, you know what, Sam? You'll be pretty helpful, actually, because Frodo's going to need it. Pretty simple. Yeah. Did he just want Sam to bone Frodo right in front of him? Yes, that was. Hey, yeah, yeah that's I, what he meant. I hate to point this out, but I believe this man might be a homophobe. <gasps> yeah. Oh, no Listen, way. there's nothing wrong with wizard it, hobbit love. Well, I was going to say they cut it, away, so I'm pretty it, sure that's what happened. It bothers him a lot when men express emotions with each other sexually. <laughs> <laughs> express emotions sexually. <laughs> I mean, he, he yes. seems upset that, like, you know, Frodo has a feminine voice. Yeah? Yeah. Ew. Okay. Creepy old man. I also can't I see... Can't. How I would you... Why would you get that context? Like, it's, it's, weird it's because his problem. Yeah, it's such, yeah, it's such a weird freak. problem. To Almost have. every like, person ever is like, Gandalf is so wonderful, bubbly and cuddly and happy and wholesome. Uh, yeah. And it's like, nah, he's yeah. creepy. You're like, okay. Yeah. He's 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 the he's the dad of the fellowship. He's being a father figure. That like again, yeah. like you like you said, he's using people's full names to scold them. Like mm. like in real life yes. when that happens. And um yeah, and um I was gonna say Tolkien's um inspiration of Gandalf is Merlin. Uh, you know the, the 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 wise old sage who advises the actual hero of the story, kind of thing. Oh yeah, it's. We have arc shit going on with the the dad part of it, well, with with Pippin. The the three significant moments I'd probably highlight is that he thinks Pippin is this stupid, annoying kind of brat idiot, 
And when he gets them all in mm -hmm. trouble in Moria, he's like, fucking throw yourself in next time, you idiot. And then in Return of yeah. the King, when Pippin messed with the Palantir, he's like, he's about to start up his rant of like, you fucking stupid piece of- and he sees that he might be dead, and he's like, oh shit. It runs to him. And then in- Yeah, like, um, he like dials down the anger, dials Yeah, down. yeah, and then uh, near the end of- well, I say near the end of Return of the King, I think it's hour three, I'm not sure, but he's, he's talking to- um, <laughs> To Pippin about like how they they've done a lot of shit for each other at that point. Uh, Pippin's done a lot of good work, and he's trying to calm him down and relax him about the fact that hey, we all die eventually, and uh, we're gonna be alright. Yeah, it's a really well, good scene. For me, I, I, I respawn, but you you you, harvest, you die. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, uh, his relationship with with Pippin is, is this is there's a lot of character stuff that's very uh very careful Wait, in seen, Lord of the Rings. You, you've seen this, you've seen this character development between Gandalf and Pippin. What? what? Oh, he what? wants to fuck characters. Pippin. He wants to fuck Pippin in the butt. That's all that is. <laughs> He's yeah. a creepy old man. Oh God yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Are extra snug. Yeah, Gandalf's into, into racial porn, so that, yeah. <laughs> oh well. Butthole, what were you slapped? In all seriousness, the other characters have just nothing to them whatsoever, which is astonishing considering all of the claims that they were wanting to focus more on development. How would you the honestly describe Frodo's character? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shut the fuck up! How would you honestly describe Frodo? I'm just like, I think we already did this about a half hour back, yeah. so we could just see how he concludes on Frodo. Other than just, he's the hero. Wow. Fuck you! Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Fuck. He's not just a hero, you, you, you fuck him. I'm so, guys, this is the first time I'm actually mad on e -tab. He Frodo literally makes the hardest decision in the film. Yeah. Frodo needs Sam to, like... He literally it, it, makes the hardest sacrifice in the film. It's the it's hardest, broken. um... It... By the end of the series, he had to leave Middle Earth. He couldn't handle that shit. You... <laughs> oh my god. He had post traumatic jewelry disorder. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck this. Oh. What's interesting oh. is that talking about Frodo's character, it brings up the idea that pretty much everyone in this story is saved by someone else, or there's a huge teamwork component of everyone has to work together in order to succeed and if they stick with each other they'll be able to triumph and you know the frodo and sam pairing is the really obvious example of that where frodo he gives into despair sometimes he's like man i we can't do this it's just not i just i can't do it i can't stand up i can't go any further and sam's there to keep him going and, yes, and sam's his frodo rock. is a very hesitant hero at first but he he's dutiful and he loves the shire and everything so he does oh. what he feels he has oh. to do. It's not Sorry, a, he's not looking after glory. Sorry to interrupt. Um, uh, one of the guys in the comments said that apparently the guy, the, the guy in the video now, um, he argues this is his opinion. He, he, he pulled the opinion card on it. Oh, it. well, me, your opinion he, is it's wrong. wrong. Well, yeah, your opinion <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> yeah, Sorry about that. Wrong. Yeah, I, I know how you I know this is a thing with some people. You could just say it's my opinion. That doesn't make it any less wrong. Like, it's saying you there is no characterization opinion. for the majority of these people in Fellowship outside of maybe Boromir Gandalf. It's like, oh, that's wrong. That's actually just wrong. Well, that's what I got from it. It's like, oh, well, you missed some stuff, I guess. Like, what, what do you want me to say? So, his video's right, because it's his opinion. You can't, can you? No! I've asked a couple what? friends who love these movies. Fuck One you! He just said hunt. that, what, what can you say about Frodo except yeah, that he's a hero, yeah, and you can't. And I just said... That he goes to a tragic arc, so he could just fuck off. Like, sh shut up. Yeah, we he... just did a lot of stuff talking about just just off the top of our heads, just being like, yeah. actually, Frodo is all of these traits. Yeah, yeah. like, and these traits it... are you know themes that are repeated in the movie again, many many times. But again, just using this one film, Fellowship, like again, for it Frodo is the the protagonist. Like, yeah, he he you know comes out of his com comfort zone. It's the first you know Hobbit since since his it's uncle cool. to, yeah. to yeah to leave so like it's a big deal they meet an elf it's a big deal and then at the end of just this film he makes a huge sacrifice and decides that you know yeah. the whole fellowship thing isn't going to work and then decides like just in this film he is the hero because of the decisions he's not the hero therefore he's the hero yeah well it's the the other thing is is like 
I, I don't know if he's going to bring it up, but why is Frodo the ring bearer? And it's all because the hobbits don't want to seize power. They 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 want to live, like I said, they want to live a peaceful life. Because why not give it to Aragorn or or well, I definitely not not give it to Boromir because men are corrupted by the power of the ring because they want to serve well mankind. The hobbits they don't they don't want to seize power. They don't want to be dictators. They don't want to you know enslave. They don't want to do any of that shit. So that's why they that's why Frodo can last with the ring for so long because again I don't even think it actually established in the films but the, the actual journey takes like 2 years to actually get there. And um, I think they say 16 yeah. months is it by the end of Return of the King Rags? They said do they say 16 uh, months? 13, 13 months. Yeah. But yeah, the whole point is that yeah, Frodo has to be the ring bearer, or well, a hobbit has to be because they're the ones who won't put the ring on and go actually no, I'm going to serve myself. He never wants the ring. He never, you know well, he even fucking says that at the end, I think, of the, in the third film. But yeah, they, that, that's why. And that's why Fro is the hero, even though he is like the most unlikely of heroes. I know I keep fucking saying it, but... Yeah. Well, true. I would even argue, by the way, by the end of the three films, he's quite complex. Like, um, yeah. you, you get the, the scenes where it's like, we did it, guys, we won. And he's just, he's not looking satisfied or yeah. content. He's very, and it's just like, what's going on there? Um... Keep an oh eye God, on him throughout the cool. films. It's a lot more complex than he's the hero. I don't even know how to react to that. Yeah. He's the so one who fucking spares Gollum's life thanks to the advice from Gandalf, yeah. and that, that decision is incredibly important throughout these films, and it's showing a lot about his position on morality, for one. Um, wait, 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 you're saying that Frodo is compassionate? Well, that's not, that's not a character trait. Fuck off. <laughs> no, no, I was meant to say he hero. A he's hero. hero. Heroic? Fuck, fuck off, right? Like... Oh my god! Like he even <laughs> fails, tech. Like he 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 doesn't even drop the ring. He he goes, no, I'm gonna keep it. It's like there's so many things going on, and you can't even. Party I'm upset. Hobbit who likes to hang around, <laughs> which is literally <laughs> saying he has no purpose and just sticks around to stay in the plot. And an shut. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Does it? Did he even watch the film? Like, what is? Wait, is he establishing no. it's a problem that Frodo just hangs around Hobbiton? It's like, um... Oh, fuck. What? This oh, is, this hell. Is home. I don't know. What the hell is this? Let, let me draw that back. That can't be a criticism. Honestly, describe Frodo's character other than just, he's the hero. And then we did it. Yeah. You can't, can you? No. I've asked a couple friends who love these movies. One said he's a kind-hearted hobbit who likes to hang around. Which is literally saying he has no purpose. He's and sticks around. <laughs> no literally purpose. bearing the fucking ring. What? <laughs> he's what? the one that gets the ring in the he's fire and he's got no purpose. Around? <laughs> I mean, I guess he was what? in the beginning. He hangs hanging around, around. Hobbiton with all the other hobbits in the Shire. That's what hobbits do, I guess. They, they <sighs> hang around. Their homes. Also, this is this is telling us as well that if you don't have a specific purpose as a character, that means you're a bad character. You can't just ex oh. like you know, like Jack Sparrow is is someone who reacts to everything that happens around him rather than having a specific goal in mind necessarily. Like, there's a lot of characters like this. Well, um, that's the point of a protagonist is that their purpose needs to be given to them. I like, mean, Luke he, he's, he's presented Luke, like there's a, that's part of the hero's journey is that they're reluctant to to enter the journey and then something happens that kind of forces Do you remember him. the moment where he's he's set up, he's got his like his hiking gear, he's, he knows his job and he's about to leave and Gandalf just looks at him like, "Oh, like you're you're a good person for doing this because this is yeah, not yeah, going to be yeah. easy." Yeah, he thinks it's going to be a whimsical journey and he, has, and he has no idea what's in store for him. Yep. I mean, Frodo is a rather interesting character. Um so this this is this is what I often say about Buffy, by the way. Um, he's not my favorite, right, Frodo? And you'd be like, oh, you're like he's probably not even close to my favorite. And you're like, wait, what? Oh my god, is he bad? It's like, no, it's just so many good characters. You, you're missing you're missing what I'm trying to say. Okay, like I just this it's hard to choose between them all because they're so well done. All right, that's the problem. But I mean, we can worry. You just said you Frodo's yeah, your favorite, right? I, what? Sorry. Did you say Frodo was I'm your favorite? Yeah, th that's why I'm so upset. There people you go. Like Proof. <laughs> I'm he so just like people who hang around. I'm so fucking mad. Like he didn't watch the movie. Like even even, even the Go even the Gollum thing, right? Like before when Gollum had the big blue eyes, it kind of mirrors what Frodo also with Elijah Wood's expressive eyes. It's like, don't yeah, you well. see what's happening, Mister Video Maker? What the fuck? It's like, oh, Gollum just hangs around. 
yeah, Gollum just hangs around. Yeah. You know who really hangs around? Sauron. He just hangs around. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's just, you know. Greg, you know I'm very he, upset. He doesn't know where to find him. <laughs> he doesn't get I mean, out much. I, I'm laughing also, but I'm really like, did this fucker watch the movie? <laughs> like, no, he, what? He hey, look, around. we'll find yeah, that out Frodo, surely Frodo's by the end. Just hanging around. Yeah, he's just. <laughs> Yeah, he, you know, I w- you know what? no, fuck this. I'm gonna I put it out there. Friend, and he said Frodo just hangs around. Aren't all Frodo characters just hanging around until a story video. begins anyway? Isn't that what everyone <sighs> is doing? Listen, that what better evidence is there than some random, nameless, anonymous person who has an opinion that can't be verified? All right, yeah, exactly. that's true. <laughs> yeah, somebody else. Um, oh, sorry, I was gonna say somebody else uh, pointed out or reminded me as well that Frodo grew up reading uh, Bilbo stories. Like, do you remember the start of the film where he's like, "Yeah, oh, uh, is Bilbo on one of another's stories?" Well, and, and yeah, um, it's... Sam references the uh, when they see the trolls, he's like, "Mr. Frodo, it's it's uh, Mr. Bilbo's uh, troll." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that is it's, it's... that is why he's the nephew. You know, like it, it is supposed to be like a like a hand me down. Like he's supposed to be able. He's going into this journey, yeah, with like some foreknowledge of what kind of things he's going to be encountering. Oh yeah, you you call it the like well. You, I wouldn't call it a direct <laughs> sequel, but it's like a, it's like a spiritual sequel, isn't it? It's 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 a continuation of uh, well, the back. Yeah, just like just like the way Boromir is continued into his into his brother, like his he's he is um uh vindicated through his brother's actions, and it's like yeah, same same way. I mean, like char- yeah. two characters can represent the same sort of like character in the same film, and but that's a that's a pretty common thing, especially when you get a film where there's so many characters that they're you'll even get like sort of like swaps between what kind of elements that they they represent so yeah um also this guy's wrong <laughs> <laughs> just and put that on the edge <laughs> yeah look, look it made like, a thousand fucking percent <laughs> his his videos made rags's facial expression change to one of disappointment and confusion find something more fitting yeah i can't <laughs> smile yeah i should i should have chosen my avatar sooner because it is it's obviously very fitting, but i, I should i only know I'm just, I'm being awkwardly shocked. Yes. That's all I am right now. <laughs> That's actually, yeah, that, that is actually the, the expression. And another friend admitted that he is a generic hero, but so was Shut Harry the Potter. F- well, is, I guess they're what? fucking wrong. <laughs> oh, I'll get the fuck, no, no, no. Eric, I'm not I found th- people who are also wrong like me. Therefore, I must be correct. <laughs> We're not talking about Harry Potter as well. You can why, but yeah, what, what the argument is that? It's like someone called him generic, and that's okay because Harry Potter is too. We're like, what is happening here? What? 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 Who cares about fucking Harry Potter? We're talking about Harry Potter. I don't fucking care about yeah. Harry Potter. I'll, I'll dogpile any motherfucker when they're talking shit about Lord of the Rings. I, I probably uh, are. <laughs> fucking shit. I'm not gonna talking downgrade shit the about discussion my boy Lord of the Rings. Potter. Oh, it's okay to be wrong. Harry Potter was. Oh boy, <laughs> that's gonna age well. Me. That comment, isn't it? Right. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> age like oh. <laughs> The chosen one, but he had struggles and hardships. He was a pretty poor because Ro- Frodo. because Frodo doesn't no, have Frodo. struggle and hardships. No, 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 no. For Frodo. The fucking Frodo getting just stabbed fucking... by the fucking troll. That's Frodo not just hard. Segwayed his ass into Mount Doom. He was stabbed by he the Witch King, a troll. He was like yeah. hunted down continuously by the fucking Witch King, well, terrified no, by him. Witch, I don't know, guys. I, I think you're just remembering the extended Blu-ray edition because in the theatrical edition he was just whistling the whole way. <laughs> he was <now>. just waddling <laughs> around. Yeah, there was. Yeah, I, oh. I mean, <laughs> Don't forget, Remember Frodo in- does literally fail. Sam had to fucking yeah. pick his ass up and fucking get him up there. And then he also he then got, in the yeah. last moment, he also then went to put the, well, he did put yeah. the ring on. He, Frodo failed. He did not yeah, fucking do it. Well, he, yeah. actually, he actually failed t- like two or three times because right before that, he had sent Sam home because of the whole fake bread fiasco. Yeah. And Sam yeah. turned around and decided to ignore that order to return home. So like, that was again. And like, don't forget, Galadriel. Um, Galadriel got back of up. failures on on his part. That's the that's the thing. Frodo isn't alone in this in this trilogy of movies. It's all about everybody doing their part to defeat the ultimate evil. That sort of thing. Like we all need to work together. Yeah. Well, remember the siege of the Black Gate. The whole point is to give Frodo time to fucking get into Mordor. <laughs> Oh, well. But no, and no, 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 they just wanted to have a fight scene. That, that, that's, that's the reason. Fuck, fuck me. Even at the very end, what is, um, 
what Frodo oh. says when he wraps up his part of the book. He says it's been five years to the day since Weathertop, and I can still feel the, you know, the like yeah. still feel the pain that's of being stabbed it's there. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's a wound that will never heal. Like literally, it's poison in him, and yeah. it will eventually kill him. And that's why he fucking leaves. <laughs> no, I I can't believe that he says Harry Potter goes through hardships, and Frodo what Frodo just didn't do shit like yeah the implication is he doesn't go through it he had his finger bitten off <laughs> it kind of hit i mean i mean, yeah i mean just, just the fact that he had by a, ring a spider around him wrapped up in yeah, silk. yeah paralyzed by a spider you, uh, he fought in moria you know like the, the, the every event he was, get, he was gonna get cooked and eaten in fucking um uh goth, by, by goth goth morgue or whatever i forget the i forget Oh, you're talking about in um in Minas Morgul. No, wait, not Minas Morgul. Minas, no, 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 it's not Minas Morgul. Um, it's, little, it's just ah, oh, I forget the fucking place. Um, Kirith Ungol? Detroit. Yes. Oh, same shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I remember that. <laughs> good, good job, me. <laughs> the, 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 the point is, there's no fucking no one in their right fucking mind can think that Frodo just waltzed into fucking Mordor and had the easiest time, and he was dancing and singing and. I know, making fucking rainbows out of fucking flowers. It's bullshit. You can make a compilation. I think there is already. Just Frodo falling over in the trilogy. He falls over a very large amount of times. And if that's not experiencing yeah. hardships, I don't know what is. Yeah, he does wriggle around on the floor a lot whenever my like, favorite, the action actually happens. My favorite one is when um, Aragorn Last begins Pirate. fighting the Urukai and Amon Hen. And I think our other characters are getting alerted to it. The fight's about to begin, and it just cuts to Frodo, and he falls over, and then it cuts to someone else. <laughs> it's just like the funniest well, one. Don't don't forget the hardship of when they're in the pub, and he has a little drink, and then the Took comes with a big drink, and it's like, oh shit, I could have had a big drink. And it's like that's character. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, bro, you missed out. <laughs> <laughs> Poor wizard at times, amongst his significantly superior bestie, he made mistakes in life and in. I don't give a fuck about Harry Potter. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he's saying he's saying that Harry Potter went through all this shit. Okay. Frodo did all not. Right. That's what he's trying to imply. <laughs> it's so dumb. It, it's and like... magic, but it was always there for his friends and family alike. Oh my Frodo god. Frodo wasn't uh... there for his friends and family alike. Yeah. He almost killed himself yeah. trying to save yeah. the world. <laughs> Okay. Let, no, he, he let owned... Sam da da drown in the fellowship. Remember that part, guys? <laughs> he yes. let him drown at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Guys, I'm upset. This is the first time I'm actually upset on EFAP. Like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> please, me too. Yeah, please stop talking about Frodo. Move on. <laughs> Talk about something else. This man, he just wanted to do good, even when that wasn't the easy thing to do. He came across. So did Frodo. Shut oh. the fuck up. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> this is all applicable to Frodo. <laughs> real teenage oh. boy with raging hormones and also had some asshole moments. He felt like a very real person. He As did Frodo. So, oh, oh. Uh, oh, Frodo's a hobbit, so no, he's not a nah, He's not a real yeah. person, he's a hobbit. I'm not fucking, no, no, I'm not buying it, no, fuck off, no. <laughs> he was quite humble and didn't need or even enjoy the fame most of the time. He wanted to stay- Yep, Shut again, applies to Frodo. Not a f you can tell at the end, all of it, he's just, he doesn't want any of it. He, he like did he the right thing. He literally leaves the planet. He cannot. Yeah. Yeah. He leaves yeah, this he, plane he, of existence. Uchi went home to his planet at the yeah. end because he could not handle it. Yeah. Jesus. Do no, Greg. Oh, he's not a hero. Do, 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 do you remember? Do you remember not that hero, the, guys? Do you not remember the iconic fucking shot when Gandalf is about to fall off because of the Balrog, and it shows Frodo scream? That's not him being happy. Just FYI. That he's was him suffering. being too feminine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gandalf, who will rob me now? Know, Fuck it's, like, off, like. it's like, grow some balls, Frodo. Like, yeah, never God, get over it. Have you before? never had a God friend die it. in front of your face before? Jesus oh, Christ. What a, yeah, what a faggot. <laughs> oh my God. And this is the guy that's supposed to throw out the ring? Come on. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Out of that spotlight and was never fully comfortable being portrayed as this messiah. Frodo? Oh, he's just a hero. Just a hero. What are you. Fuck off! <laughs> Just because he's all he's doing his, is saying it, he's not addressing like his smug fucking attitude about it all is actually really fucking me off with this. Like, he's right, okay. Christ. I like hey, how guys, he said guys, it. I so, saw the super chat that said that you know, remember Patrick Willems, you're watching movies wrong. I, I think it actually applies here. Oh my like, god, like the super chat said I mean, this, guy didn't, this guy didn't even watch the movie. I was gonna say that that would be how to watch a movie wrong, it's just you're not watching yeah. it. You watched a trailer, I guess. 
I feel like I need to be in the fucking ICU while I was watching this. Like, I watched it with my nose. That's how you do it. You yeah, know? you smell like, the visuals. Uh, smells like that fine pipe weed from the Shire. I know he struggled Wait. sometimes as well, but he had no other characterizations. Other he than struggled what? sometimes. What? <laughs> uh, he struggled uh, sometimes, uh, but has no other characterization. What is that sentence? Remember in the Fellowship when he looks into the fucking scene, the the mirror, uh, the Shire, um, yeah. mirror, and he's like, "Oh fuck, bad things." I fucking oh my god. Yeah, Gladriel literally <laughs> fucking scares him into fucking doing his job or do or do while well, doing. Well, Just doing FYI, the Shire will burn. He's like, "Oh jeez." <laughs> Uh, remember in Moria, like guys? My friends remember are there. In, not only in Moria, where he was stabbed by a fucking troll. Remember that part when he had doubts about what he should be doing, and Gandalf told him in an inspiring speech that men just do their best at bad times. That nah, that's not struggling. Yeah, yeah that, that that's speech is a lot bullshit. because it was it was Frodo who even said that Bilbo should have killed Gollum when he had the chance. Yeah, Frodo exactly. Ends up yeah. Killing Gollum, being the hero. Harry Potter felt like a real person. You're wrong. Move on. Oh, yeah. no, Harry no, Potter no, no, is your no, no, no. by numbers. Shut up. Uh, uh, just, oh, just, yeah. I, Shut up about <laughs> fucking Harry Potter. <laughs> I Harry don't Potter. care. I oh do my god. Favorite character You're a wizard, now. Harry. But you I see, but Harry Potter I was don't real. I fucking care about Harry Potter. Yeah, Damn. and and Frodo doesn't okay, count. About I just wanted to move what? on to the next thing. Just say something else. Yes, please. <laughs> please. 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 Please stop Even being right wrong. right here, he lets his friends get chased by a shitload of bad guys. What are you- Shut the They f run, f run away and he let for him to escape. He let them. He let them. He I'm angry now. He let them. Bro, he bro, let bro, He watched the movie wrong. He let He watched the movie wrong. Dude, rage. Dude, dude. Guys. The f Everyone on this call just wants to contribute to the fucking All of us are so angry. Guys, I'm upset. Guys, I'm very upset. Can I just say how? Man. Can I just remind people how it goes? Merry and Pippin are hiding in a in a shrubbery or whatever, and they're like, "Frodo, yeah. get here, get here!" And Frodo and Frodo shakes his head, "No, he can't. He has to keep moving." And then Merry and Pippin, they're brave little fucking souls. Yeah. They get up out of their hiding spot and go, "Hey, you, you big ugly fuckers, come get yeah. us, come get us!" No, that it's, would imply Merry and Pippin have characters. No, 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 no. Clearly it's wrong. wrong. Frodo they're let them. Literally causing a distraction. It is the yeah. again. Again, simple movie language is being used here to communicate what is going on, and the guy is just not catching what is happening. And the oh, the right, the, right, the, the word different. "let" is triggering me. Frodo sees yeah. them, and then they like they come up with their plan. They get up, and he's like, "Whoa, what are you doing?" And then it's like, "Go, just go. We're gonna distract. Just go." There's barely a choice to be made for Frodo outside of stay put or leave, because they've offered you a distraction. He makes the right choice. Like I. I like uh, uh, what what does one <laughs> what does one say? What vocabulary can be accessed to describe oh. one's disdain? Oh, oh no, spicy, it's... spicy. I got I got I got sorry guys. Sorry, sorry. Like, Someone's like... watching us. Someone's watching. Someone's like... watching. <laughs> is, like... it, is it him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His opinion. It is fucking wrong. Your opinions are shit. <laughs> <laughs> how, do think, how do you think I'm an asshole? He's, <laughs> he's upset that we've said his opinion is oh, wrong. No. No. I will You're... happily be an asshole to defend Merry and Pippin, two fictional characters. <laughs> Fucking oh, slate oh. me in. Nobody. Oh, yeah. I'm, nobody. I'm getting more info. I'm getting more Nobody info. puts Frodo in a corner, my friend. Nobody puts Frodo in a corner. It's so dumb. Oh, man. It's like, like, he watched the movie wrong. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay? Listen. Like, you just... Apparently he's been oh, oh, the was right. already. Cat was right. Jesus Christ, like... Like Mahler, also what you said, like the the use of the word let, like, <laughs> like Frodo went cold blooded. Yeah, die for me, bitch. <laughs> die for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's so. What the fuck are you talking about? Like he Frodo he was just so... lets his friends help him yeah. save the world. What an asshole. Like yep. I think that that's also why Elijah Wood works there. He's so his face is so expressive at that point. Like also, yeah, it, it, correct yeah. me if I'm yeah. wrong, but not about. 30 seconds ago, he said in his own video, you're welcome to be wrong about his one of his theoretical friends sharing their opinion. Fuck well, He doesn't oh, have friends. It, remind, it, it, it reminds yeah, me of uh, Hightop. 
uh, it reminds me of High Top where he's like, hey man, everyone's allowed their perspective. And then in his Daredevil video, he's like, you're objectively wrong if you say that uh, Daredevil is boring. <sighs> so, yeah. It's frustrating. So whilst he's saying that it's all his opinion, he's literally fucking lying and misinterpreting fucking scenes. And I'm sorry, but Lord of the Rings is not complicated. It is not hard. To, it, is, <laughs> it, is, it is not the prestige. It is not something that you've got to watch again and again to pick up all the little details and fucking understand what the scenes mean with the added context. It's quite fucking obvious. Merry and Pippin get up. They fucking foolhard, foolhardy uh, bravado. They, you know, there was mother, they could, well, they, I can't remember. Uh, has Boromir been killed already or not? No, no, he hasn't. Been. This is setting up how well, he's going to die almost. Mary, right, yeah. right, okay. But the point is that, that, you know, the danger's real anyway. You know, it's not like they see the Orakai and think, oh, these guys are fucking funny. You know, they just escape. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> yes, I'm very upset also. Like. I Maybe he has a Wait. <laughs> Mahler, let's continue the video. Maybe he has a good point. You know, like... Also, I want to I want to clarify. Merry and Pippin didn't know this was their plan. You can tell when they they decide to get up and do it. They're like, "Shit, is this? Are we doing? Yep, we're doing this. We're doing this. This is the right thing to do, actually. Yeah, like it's all yeah. very sudden." Yeah. Mary says he's leaving. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. when he sees Frodo yeah, not joining, him, he says, yeah. "Yeah, Mary's like he's leaving." I'd like uh, to highlight yeah, the, the comment no, from Jedi Brooks. Amon Hen is a masterpiece. He is objectively correct. <laughs> Amon Hen is yeah. fucking amazing. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> How kind of hero was that? I oh, know they offered, but he knows they're pussies and he let them do it anyway without. What is? What Mary can even Frodo says, do? Frodo's Frodo. gonna get up Yo. and say, "No, Urukai, no. follow me." <laughs> Come on. No, Frodo was supposed to use the ring or use the Kamehameha to kill all the orcs, and I'm the hero, guys. Like. I hate it. I hate it. Our uh, care in the world. Our uh, hero. All right. What was 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 the Hobbit supposed to kill off the Urukai? Like, well, don't you understand? The heroic move would have been don't chase them, chase me, and then they they all get captured. No, like it's uh, like he he doesn't even understand the point of that scene. You know, like like what no. what skeptic was saying, like basic cinematic language. <laughs> he doesn't even get that i don't even think he's on the level of basic you see well you see when when gandalf was on the bridge in moria and he sacrificed himself so everyone could leave frodo should have turned around and jumped down into the pit with gandalf yeah like a that, hero yeah i hate it envy frodo literally does nothing but almost died twice and i thought he went through no hardships yeah uh -huh. but it's nothing but hardships now. <clears throat> no no, no he, but literally, I, he literally does nothing but go through hardships. So, I'm just gonna, I know, I know it's a deleted scene, Mahler. you know, when they- Mahler, you're not paying attention It was a deleted person. scene, I know. He does I shouldn't nothing, be, I shouldn't but... be highlighting deleted scenes, but you know when they break into Moria, all the, all the goblins, and they all fight that deleted scene, where Frodo attacks and kills several of them, that, that, the one that got deleted. <laughs> <laughs> that, and then he's like moving around the battlefield trying to make use of everyone protecting him because he's the ring bearer. If he's killed or captured, it's pretty much over. Like, nah, he just did nothing. Nah, nah. Escaping she uh, Shelob's lair, that doesn't count. Nope. Him making it to Mount Doom, it's just, it's all so insane. It's yeah. all just so insane. And it's like after Frodo gets, like Frodo gets stabbed by a mogul, bl a, a mogul blade or whatever, and and only through Aragorn's fucking uh, bloody uh, he well is is who I don't know what the word is herbology elfcraft. Well, yeah, it's, it's all, yeah. Magic. But the point the point is is like people don't survive those the, those kind of wounds, and well, as we fucking know, he, he literally can't bear the pain anymore. He leaves <laughs> when the when the Witch King screams, it like hurts his shoulder, doesn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it does. The sequels, but the first film, he has a blank sheet of paper. Also, and in, in, in the in the Return of the King, you see how the chain where the ring is is like, yeah, like it's, burn yeah. marks around his neck. It's like, way it's kind of like, oh, dude, poor, like he poor Frodo. Um, and, he and I think he just said the, the three films as a whole. There's there's good things to say about his character, but the first one, pretty much, he's a he's blank, blank slate. Like interesting. Oh, yeah, blank That's Insane sheet of paper. Sam is that blank sheet of paper's boyfriend, which we'll get onto later. Uh, and Mary okay. and Pippin, they're I pointless. Think, yeah, I think, I, I along on the right with Pointless? The, uh, homophobia. <laughs> Frodo escaped That's why because I of I, them. I hated to say it, but I'm pretty sure. Every, <laughs> like, everybody's gay and that's bad. That seems to be the theme. <laughs> like, 
but like he has got a bone to pick with um with men having relationships with one another. So. Yeah, I, I like affection is apparently gay. I didn't know that, guys. <laughs> I'm very gay right now for all of you. Right? Bros. By the way. Yeah. Bro, the thing about um, Sam and Frodo's yeah. relationship, it's a fucking, they're like really good friends, it's nice to see it. Rose is it gay to die for your friend. <laughs> it's weird how, gay. just weird moments, a, gay. moments apart, he said that uh, Frodo is a bad character for letting Merry and Pippin distract the Urukai, and then he says Merry and Pippin are useless, even though you just said they distracted the Urukai, which allows Frodo to leave Ammon Hen, mm, yeah. and Boromir has to come in to try and save Merry and Pippin. Like, mm. it's all, it's everything's interconnected, and he just dismisses it like it never happened. Hmm. <laughs> and all for no reason whatsoever. It's like that scene in Shrek. Yeah. How dare you? You're coming with me. Hey, man, if he's going to compare it to a masterpiece like Shrek, I'm actually okay with this. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, so at least, it's not, at least it's not Harry Potter again. So his, yeah. His, yeah. Yeah. yeah, his criticism was that Marion Pippin just come along, right? Like he, he's saying that, that there's no, they just do it, and um, he, he's right. They, they're, they're the only two, I'd say, in the entire Fellowship that are not even sure what they've agreed to. But that's a part of their characters. They're very adventurous, that, rambunctious, very reckless. That is that is the point. Is that they're they're tailcoat chasers. So they saw an opportunity for an adventure, and like literally grabbed it as it was leaving and there are several so, scenes where they express concern for their fellow hobbits they they, they yeah and then they love those guys. then they develop from a couple of idiots that want to drink pints at the bar to fucking heroes that literally dedicate their lives to saving the planet one of them says even even Faramir's in the first life. movie they were always they like they had good hearts and good character they were goofballs sure but they did the right thing and they were brave and they, you know, they, the they end, were good. In the people. end, they did the right Dude, thing. Dude, another heart melting moment is the Black Gate fight. Aragorn runs off, and then those two do. They're the next two. Yeah, they're the, the first ones to join Aragorn. Yeah. yeah. First one like to that, move forward. That's FYI, also Lord of the Rings is great, by the way. <laughs> that, that's I, also. If, if, uh, anything, well, if anything, Scotty and Pippin have the most character development. Did you just say Scotty and Pippin? Scotty and Pippin? Yeah, Scotty and Pippin. Scotty and Pippin. Scotty and Pippin for the three. Yeah, that's a crossover. Scotty Pippin for the three point uh, character development. Dude, I, I love <laughs> That's such a meme right there. It's like, my favorite character is Scotty and Pippin. <laughs> hey, Scotty. The other, the other, Mordor. Um... The other, da, the da, other big significant da, thing to think uh, what <laughs> mind is uh, Mary and Pippin also get the Ents involved. And get... Yeah, they did. Dude, they, oh, they yeah. have a lot of yeah. impact. Uh, fucking, the Witch King is essentially set up to be killed by Mary. Yeah. Like, here, here's the thing. If you're going to complain about the three films, like, sure, Fellowship is, is the least grandiose. The least happens in it. It is all character development. But if you ignore the character development, it looks like nothing happened. Yeah, it's all, you could say it's smaller scale, right? Because Moria is a battle between the characters and a monster. Amon Hen is a battle between foot soldiers of Saruman and our heroes. And then in Two Towers, we have a country or, you know, faction fighting yeah, another faction. And I mean, armies. It, it is the first act of. The story, yeah. so it the whole story is a setup for the rest of the story, but it's, it still manages to give all of the characters development in that time. It's yeah, my favorite yeah. of the three. It's my favorite as well. Uh, it, it's close between that and Return of the King, but I think Fellowship just takes it. Though I want to put it out there that all three are fucking awesome. There's yeah, they're all there's yeah, no wrong I, I, answer. For me, it's just kind of like um, I, I, I was see. the first to love all three. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh dear. <laughs> oh. What? The scenes at the start and at the end are incredible. The villain of Lurtz is so badass, and I wish we could have had more time with him, but sadly he gets Darth mauled and taken up fairly quickly. I mean, he's not really... He's he not is really what he is. He's, he's not he really a character. He is literally nobody. He's just an Urukai. He was he put in charge. No, he is. He's not even an Urukai. He's the Urukai with a handprint on his face. Yeah. Like, that is what he is. Well, yeah, he, he, he's he's Saruman's henchman. They it. they make it clear that basically no orcs, urukai, or goblins have like personal motivation. It's they're in an army because they're essentially corruptible monsters that just they're foot soldiers. None none are recognizable past like a five minute mark. Like, well, you have. I think the, this I think is the, the games. longest one that's the the longest one that's recognizable is the one that wants to eat. 
uh, Scotty Pippen, and yeah. uh, <laughs> and like it, he's the only one that sort of like keeps coming back. But other than that, yeah, they're all forgettable. Well, I was gonna say the only reason I know their names really well, I think, is because of the games. It's not the movies, because uh, yeah, the movies don't. Yeah, you wouldn't know. I, I remember I knew the. Yeah, Lurtz Lurtz. Is not even, he's not even named in the film. Yeah, because I, I was yeah. like, Lurtz is awesome, but I think we watched it with Wolf. And Wolf's like, who the fuck is Lurtz? And I was like, it's the, the boss one. And it's like I already know that because yeah. I fought him so many times in the games. But uh, you got Lurtz, Gothmog. Shaku. Um, I don't know what the one that wants to eat them was called. I don't think he shows up in many of the games. Oh, uh, no. Scotty Pippin. <laughs> Scotty, Scotty and Pippin. Pippin. That's, that's the name. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I, uh, like, he's like, he gets Darth Maul. It's like, I don't, I don't know what... This... Krishnak is the name yeah, of the work. Yeah. Krishnak. Uh. He probably wanted Lutz to have some sort of like big impact on the whole story. That's why he mentioned a Darth Maul reference, probably. Oh, you know what? As well as the top Trumps, that was probably it too that I got to know yeah. their names. Yeah. Odd enough for me, it was the uh, Games Workshop uh, miniatures because I was collecting oh. them when the film was coming out. Nice. And, yeah. When you love an IP, you will buy that merch. <laughs> That's yeah. just what happens. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, shit. If you want to talk about like actual well i don't want to say criticisms it's like it's like with with the orcs in it and well everyone morality is very just set in that these are the good guys these are the bad guys and there's very little shades of gray you know if you if you get corrupted by the ring you turn evil and you either turn into a ring wraith or you turn into you know whatever it like i don't think he's gonna bring that i don't think he's gonna talk about that kind of like you know juvenile kind of right and wrong good and evil kind of duality I mean, there's, there's a couple of elements of gray he, in instead the he universe. just throw complete bullshit out there fucking about like oh yeah these ca- there's no characters and it's like if you want to talk about no characters Lurtz is right on, on there but oh no you like him because he's badass and yeah, yeah he is fucking badass but yeah. you like him because again he, 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 he you want to talk about oh yeah all the characters have to have their names dumped out exposition wise Lurtz doesn't so Oh, so now you like him? Because Dude, he's right, he's right as Aragorn's about to fight him, Gandalf's like, "This is Lurtz. He's a big Uruk." <laughs> and so falls Lurtz. So <laughs> Saruman has sent his greatest warrior to kill you. Yeah, no, no, nah, nah. Fuck off. He's, he, the dude was literally born three minutes before the scene. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, because he's uh, he's the one. They show him getting bored, and he breaks an orc's neck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he he's the most aggressive of his kind. He, yeah, that's why he's know, put that, in charge. He... He's just a fucking nightmare. <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah, yeah. He, he is he's a six foot six fucking death machine, and that's all you need to know. Because as it turns out, you don't need to characterize orcs. They're evil. It, it's um, it's. Obvious. The bad man Adam said Gandalf is gone at that part. It's like that's why it would be funnier. Gandalf just shows up. And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, he's like in the middle of fighting the Balrog, and he's, and he's just like Aragorn. This enemy is dangerous. <laughs> Much the same as Lurtz is. <laughs> you will yeah. meet him in the future. <laughs> Look at him. He's so badass. He gets stabbed and pulls himself further onto the sword, only to get treated like a. So this is yeah. something I would highlight as why he's um, you know more impressive than your average Urukai, but this is not why I would highlight why he's such a great character. This feels very superficial. Yeah, he literally he's impervious to pain. Oh my god, who knew? It's just like I, I, I don't know. Not going to be ascribing stuff quite yet, but I mean, seems like we know what makes you like characters. They do stuff like that. Well, I he kind of—he just complained that he was too much like Darth Maul, and then he gave him a compliment that kind of made him sound like Darth Maul. So. <laughs> I, I mean, this is this is probably what he's trying to say. Darth Maul's cool, but he doesn't have much character. It's like, okay. yeah, and Lutz has less. Well, has less character than Darth Maul. Darth for sure. Maul. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, Darth Maul actually has a. Darth Maul has a character. It's very, very uh, simplistic. It's established in like two sentences. He hates Jedi. He wants them to the Sith to reign. So he's going to do what he can to kill them all. It's like, all right. Good. Kill them all. And Lutz is, I am evil Gloompus from under the floor. I will work for Saruman. <laughs> You're like, okay. Yeah, go for it. A bitch. Also got to love, read the books, read the books. Although, Lutz, best part of the movie, not in the book. Best part of the movie? Best part of the movie. Oh, shut I hate this wow. guy. <laughs> the, the, what is this? That is wow. that's what I just said. He's on I just said All he right. wasn't he wasn't comparing him to Maul as a as an insult. It was a compliment. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's fucking bizarre. What are we watching? Like so, so Lutz, 
What do you even mean by that? Like, him being in the film is the best thing for you? Or his fight with Aragorn? Or he's, Amon Hen as a yeah, whole? Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's, he's the best part of the film because he has a really awesome action scene with Aragorn. And, and that's, that's literally... Gotcha. It. That's literally okay. saying he's cool. it's cool because it's just like Darth Maul. Oh, oh yeah. like, 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 he killed Boromir, so, you know, he, he eliminated a non-character, is it? Yeah, kind, of, kind of like Qui-Gon. Oh, cinematic parallels. I, uh... I mean, shit. When, when, when you see in the Orcs uh, fight uh, Boromir and he's uh, protecting Merry and Pippin, and then Lurt's like a little fucking sniping bitch shoots him with an arrow, you're like, <laughs> oh, you fucking, you pussy, you fucking. <laughs> and, and then he does it again, and again, and you're like, fuck you, fuck you. And then oh, Aragorn gets a really want... satisfying kill on him. Yeah. He doesn't even want to try to behead Boromir. He just. He just wants to sadistically shoot him with the arrow when he got yeah. him at the <laughs> It's I literally think... a game of how many arrows will fit in one man before he stops yeah. breathing. L Liz is like, what is your health bar, dude? <laughs> <laughs> it, it is one of those moments where it's like, just dude, drop the sword. You've done your job. <laughs> 70 bits. Yeah, 70 as, as, as it turns out, Uruks hate men. Like, literally hate men. <laughs> If, because if someone was like, "What is your favorite part of the film?" I'd probably be like, "I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I, I love I all like of Moria. I love all of Amon uh, Hen. Yeah, it, yeah. It'd be Gandalf and, Bal and the Balrog in uh, Fellowship of the Ring for me. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. That is, like, that is the best. Well, uh, it's amazing. There's no doubt. I can't deal with this. <laughs> In fact, Saruman was barely in the first novel. He was only in a memory of- So, this argument oh, doesn't matter. Who cares? I don't care about the first novel. Who cares? Novel. Pack that this shit in. Don't you fucking The movie is different the... from the book. Yeah, Don't yeah. you can't- Don't fucking worm your way into fucking, like, argument back. Earth come bombardier. I didn't see him in a He clearly- wow. He's already established he doesn't he thinks he thinks so little of the books anyway. So don't fucking try and yeah, we're not, we're not. as to why the film's we're bad, you fucking talk about. We won't be appealing to how the films are better if you'd only read the books, therefore you can't appeal to how the films are worse because the books have a thing. Like you can't do that, you're gonna have to try again. So they're not really as accurate as the Some have stated they cut out things from the book, but they also added to it, and from what I can gather, they improved the story. The movie is also arse-numbingly hypocritical, considering the whole premise is that all kinds of races come together as one. They all unite. All races are equal in the fight against evil. Yeah, all races are equal, despite orcs being used as slaves. Not, oh, like, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? What is he oh, talking about? So, all races oh. are equal? That's not the point. I don't, I don't that think that's said. they willing to put aside their different to work together for a greater good. Also, there Thank are, you, skeptic. Yeah, there are evil. There are evil members of every race, w even wizards. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it's not about you know wizards. if you're if you are a race of any kind, you can join us. It's like, well, no, it's about what's in your heart. The race like part were, is pretty fucking if irrelevant. They were, if they were equal, then there would not be one person holding the fucking ring. Yeah, the whole point is, the, the reason why the fucking men can't be holding that ring is because men, as, as an allegory for how men as a whole, we're, we're made up of good and evil, we have to, you know, come through. It's like, we're very corruptible. The hobbits, though, very pure. So, we're gonna get, Frodo's gonna carry the ring, and the rest of us are gonna fucking defend. Even Aragorn doesn't want to touch that thing, and he, and he gets, uh, um, if you remember when he picks up the Palantir in, in the beginning of Return of the King? He, like, loses his shit. He's like, whoa. And um, the implication yeah. is that those things can corrupt pretty easily. Like, how Saruman got corrupted. Um, orcs, as a, as a race, they seem, like, they're, they're just the creatures of, like, evil and pain and hatred in this world. Like, that's what that's what they are. There's not, like, a, yeah, an orc running around yeah, like, hey, my name like, is Bob. They're corrupted <laughs> elves. They're corrupted yeah, they're, elves. They're, they're, yeah. Yeah, they're not so characters they're, in that sense. They, they are evil, no. they're too far gone. It's They're not like humans. They're not another race However, in the sense of... You know, if they an have orc that. was to arrive at Rivendell and say, Hey man, I want to fight with you guys. I'll give you info on Sauron. I don't like this whole thing. Do you really think they would just kill him? It's like the, if an orc wants to be a good guy, then they would be accepted in the fight against evil. But there's no such orc uh. or Urukai. That's not a thing in this universe. 
No. It's like, I, I don't know what else there is to say about the, that. Like, as if, as if yeah, the implication not, is we kill these orcs and like we raid their villages and they're just they're just doing their thing. We all we execute. It's like this is war. They're fighting against us. Well, well, I say it's us. Bu it's bizarre though that he's like he's complaining too though. Like it's like you might want to rewind like half a second because it's like he's saying like oh all these races are equal and he's pointing at the fellowship. And then he goes, except there's slaves. And then he points at literally the enemy yeah. race. Yeah. yeah. And like, I don't yeah. understand. I don't understand what his point is. It's not just I mean, that, not... though. It, it's not just they, they, the films. The films and the books don't pander that. No, at all of this is equal. The no, this is not. This is not Star Trek. This is this is fucking Lord of the Rings. Like there, yeah. nobody is equal in this world. Yeah, yeah the, the elves, elves are, are the clearly the higher in the world. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, aren't there literally fucking kings? In this universe, nobody is equal. And well, not to mention, el elves are just the class everyone would pick. They're immortal. They're really light. Yes. They they're like yeah. really agile. They can walk on snow and other they're bullshit. Extremely they're skilled. OP. Actually, I don't know if you'd want to pick them though, because there is the argument about because they don't actually have free feel, uh, free will like we do. Elves don't. No, that, that, that's... They're uh, they 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 don't have complete free will. That's the lore. Mm. So that they're sort of they're sort of bound to God's will in a certain way. Yeah, basically they are, they're, they're authoritarians. <laughs> Just, yeah, um, sort of, sort of. But the other thing is the fact that because elves are immortal and they and they have like you know well ridiculous lifespans because of that, they also see everyone else you know hobbits, men, or dwarves, even even dwarves are, are, are well also age you know for hundreds of years, but. They see everyone else as like children because they are the ones who have been on the well on in Middle Earth forever, and they have seen and well they have seen races come and go that and they still remain. You know they are well they, you know they are if they were God well I know they're not gods but yeah they they would see themselves as the as the well as the rulers if it wasn't for that. But yeah no it's. it's the films don't. Nobody care. Nobody panders that this is equality bullshit. And, and the fact he's going to bring up that orcs are slaves and all that, it's like, well, mm, um, but that's not something that the good guys are okay with. <laughs> like that, that would be bad. But what, what are we supposed to like? Sarabad doing it. The orcs seem to be happy uh, in the scenes they're shown. Yeah, doing what they're, they're having doing. a great time. They're just like, ah, I just want to fucking kill men, and I hate goodness, and, and the thing, step on butterflies. That's that's what I'm getting at. Like, if someone said, "Oh, well, that's lame," I'd be like, "Okay, well, but we have this in a lot of storylines. Just like I said, foot soldier is is the archetype. They we're not going to explore their characters, but I don't get the impression that orcs have them. They're I don't think so. Evil incarnate. Yeah, well, basically. Well, yeah, well, yeah. As uh, somebody, in, um, yeah. somebody in chat has pointed out or reminded me as well, uh, they were elves once, taken by the dark powers, tortured and mutilated. They they are corrupted elves. They they are not just fucking. Uh, yeah, they literally pulled Urkai what was, out of the ground. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Before, I feel like that's what they're trying to imply. Elves, so, sort, yeah. sort of the way that the elves are bound by God's rule or whatever. The the point is, there's also a devil in the universe, so the devil rules them. So they're. They don't have personalities. They're not supposed to. But if, like, again, I just want to clarify, if we were shown a good orc, our team of the Fellowship aren't just going to arbitrarily fucking execute this thing. Like the, the Oh, no. I mean, well, Smeagol, the good guys. Smeagol is the proof of that. Yeah, Smeagol is the proof that they would well, not even Grima, execute a corrupted being. Theoden offers Grima to redeem himself, basically. Yeah, yeah I, I think the... Could have been a really cool Grima Worm Tongue uh, redemption arc that could have happened. But um, yeah, we don't get to explore every possible thing. That's just this is a weird, weird point. Um, the idea that they're hypocritical because there's no orcs in Team Fellowship. It's like okay. The good race is a white, is a black, and are literally. Oh. 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 The, so oh. good races are white, and the bad races are black. All right, so uh, uh, wow, where to begin? I guess we could start off with all the good races are white, even so, though there are clearly black Gondorians. Yeah, there's the at film. least there's at least the one, and if we're gonna be we're gonna be pedantic about this, saying that it's all an allegory for white good, black bad, then that's gonna throw a stick in there, isn't it? Um, the is is he is he simply referring to literally skin tone then right that's what we're doing because well, yeah, even in that even then that doesn't black. work because there is racial tension between all of these races even though their skin tones are very very similar the humans the dwarves the elves the hobbits they're all 
you know, Caucasian looking, but they're still different races and they have there. There can be some racial you know, yeah, tension there, even though I they would, have the same color. I would more than like I, I would pick that allegory before the one he's going with. I'd be like, so the, the film is trying to say no matter who you like, what you look like, you can work together. Um, it's to yeah, really depend it, on what's in your sense, heart. Given the climate and what's... what it's based off of, that they're all white. Right. Well, but I mean, not even all the orcs are black, though, or dark. Exactly. Even. Yeah, that's the next part of the sentence, which is all the orcs are black. And that's clearly not true. There There's are many of... white and pale orcs. I mean, Saruman is white. Yeah. Um, Grima is white. Grima is um, white. Like pretty much everyone. Yeah. The, if you this... watch through this film and you pay attention to the orc skin tones, a lot of beige and pale orcs. That and, and the see. Easterlings. I mean, we were talking about Grishnak. Krishnak is, uh, let me double check on him. I think he's relatively dark, but I was going to say that the Easterlings are made up of, like, both white people and, uh, I think, half-caste people sort of thing. Oh, like yeah, he's dark. It was, um, in the yeah, I pull yeah, up yeah, the image of him. I'm, here, I'm let me show you this. Oh, yeah. Because uh, I pulled up the picture of him on the wiki, and he's surrounded by three orcs that are not dark. Uh, let me pull it up. I know it's there the Hobbit, are two like uh, grayish ones. One of them's white. I know, I know it's, I know it's the Hobbit, but Azog. Oh yeah, he's, he's known white. as the Pale Orc. Yeah, and uh, Bolg. Um, so yeah, the one who has his arm. Oh uh, yeah, but so yeah, I don't know. This seems um. Some, some Godmog is the someone general, agreed. and he's white. I would, yeah, I would go as far as saying the secondary antagonist of the the trilogy behind Sauron is probably Gollum. He is not black. He is a pale boy. Yes, sir. And well, yeah, and Goth Mog, as you just said, he's quite a representation of, yeah, of like a the, leader, and he's fully white. And the shades are green as well. They, they orcs, unironically, do come in many colors. Well, and yeah, this is a weird appeal as well because like, the, so oh, the, well, you the, know, what, the, I, I got a feeling where he's gonna go with it, but. Well, I was just going to say, like, the reason why enemy creatures and scary creatures are, are portrayed in darkness or are darker is just because harder to see things uh, make us as, as just creatures that like to identify what we're dealing with, they're spookier. Like, if we can't, like, the spider in the cave that's dark, it's like, yeah, why wasn't it all lit up? It's like, well, because it's scarier if we can't quite make out what it is. That's just pretty simple. An army of Urukai charging at you, and they're all like, D almost demonic darkness as a shroud pouring over Helm's Deep. It's just like, yeah, the there's a reason why it's all not lit up. Like, mm. um, but there also, there is also, uh, sorry, I was also going to say that there are corrupted men that, uh, like the, the wildlings also fight for Saruman. Um, the man from Sauron, oddly enough, my avatar, he's not fucking black. He's fucking black. <laughs> a lot of the, um, a lot of the, yeah, the, the, the Mumikil guys, who are they? Easterlings. Easterlings, yeah. mo they're mostly white. Also, someone mentioned in chat. I forgot about them. The um, the the what are they called? The Dundlin men. The the the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the wildlings. Kind of, they're, yeah, they're, you could call them wildlings. They're the yeah. big bearded ones who, in the extended uh, in two towers, they go, "We will die for Saruman." Yeah, he was. They're, they're, they're pretty much all white, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Dundlings. Well, yeah. Well, uh, I I I don't want to entertain this shit, but yeah, it, it's. There's a lot of white people in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, we get it. We yeah, get it's, it. It's, yeah, it's, it's not diverse in terms of like you know Hispanic, Black, Asian, and all this. Uh, you know all the others. I, I get it. In climate, it's a temperate zone. It's gonna have white people. I just yeah. Uh, I don't just, know. Everyone's white there. The good people and the bad yeah. people. <laughs> this, yeah. is, this is what I mean. And so I take away from Lord of the Rings that uh, it's about yourself and your choices. It has nothing to do with how you fucking look. That's that's not what it was going for. Again, again basic cinematic language being misunderstood. And it's a good message as well, because it can, it can <sighs> permeate throughout your life as sort of don't judge a book by its cover. Look, yeah. look, look at... Hobbits are heroes, elves are heroes, men are heroes. Like Everyone can be a hero. You know, it's, it's what you do. I mean, hell, Smeagol saves Frodo, I want to say... How many times does he save him at first? Because he saves him from drowning to the ghost people. Um, He saves... Is there any other time? Because I was going to say Sam... Frodo saves Sam when he falls down the... What are you trying to count? Uh, how many times Gollum slash Smeagol saved uh, Frodo before he decided that he wasn't going to have that shit anymore, you know? 
Because it, uh, it did seem that he was willing to be on their team before uh, the Faramir stuff happens. Yeah, yeah I forget. the point being is that uh, it's all about the choices the people make, and that's how you, uh, well, decide what's, what's, what's to be done. Yeah, and it's not just that, though. It's also the whole, well, I hate to point out to you, it, this is a fantasy. It's not based on real life. It, it does not depict real life events or reflect real life in really any way. I mean, he's already had, he's already had issue with fucking some of the dialogue being out of place whilst comparing it to like how modern people would talk. But you know, it's it, it, that's okay. Just 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 insert your little well, wine. Is it is it okay though? <laughs> I would just say it's allegory gone wild. It's when they they go hyper interpretation and they're just like, this is what it's saying now. It's like, okay, so that was just an idea you had, and your re your references are not accurate. This is the problem. It fucks with your ability to use it as an allegory. But I just you know, it, it, it's annoying, but. Do whatever you want. Lord of the Rings is not about that, but alright. <laughs> These ho Yeah. Equal. Don't you see it? It's madness. And even if- You can't even play a quote of them saying that all races are equal. Like, yeah, I don't even know. Again, it, it, it does- they, it's never insinuated. They never- they... This is, not a, this, this is not a fucking story about fucking race equality. Yeah. The it's elves are clearly better than everyone else. It's kind of, like, it's really clear. They're just the best. Yeah, is it? it Isn't Elrond like, like yeah. five thousand years old or some shit? As, as long as long as you don't get depression, you're pretty much sorted as an elf because you know as, as long as you don't get any like you know fucking chronic illnesses, you'd be fine. <laughs> yeah, and, and to clarify, I'm not saying he like that makes Elrond a better person than Frodo or something. That's not that's not the point. It's just that uh, yeah. they all come with attributes, very clear ones. Some of them can cast fucking spells, okay? Like others can't. Yeah. It's not like Hobbit our can world. Make pumpkin pies. It's not. It's really not the same level. If you want as much into that, how can all races be equal when the hobbits are constantly just shown as the vastly we've, superior we've, race? We've destroyed stuff. Did, did, did you just say hobbits are shown as the vastly Come superior on. race? Oh, maybe superior to like wielding the ring. Maybe that's well. The point, yeah. They're the, they're the superior the in ring. that they're the most humble. It's like, it's like. They're superior in that they're not superior. That's what makes them superior. Not to mention that uh, even resilience to the ring isn't consistent across hobbits. Look what happened when uh, Smeagol no, first encountered Smeagol it. No, dude, li literally like, only Frodo is allowed to is allowed to carry it. That's it's <clears throat> it, yeah, yeah. Each each of the the hobbits goes through a different character arc. Like <laughs> Scotty Pippen, they <laughs> he goes he goes from just be they go from being like coattail chasers to sacrificers at the end of the first film to yeah. revolutionaries in the second and then it, by the end they've both like uh sworn allegiance to different kings so it's like 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 the and the, the point is that they've done that from a position of inferiority physically which character wise makes them superior that's how they're mm. superior and even even in the beginning of the first movie, a lot of the hobbits are portrayed as you know, like Bilbo wants to get away from them. He's sick of how annoying they are, and they want his house. And a lot of them are just normalish kind of people with their own familial issues. Hobbits are all over the place. They're like yep. men, kind of. Well, I would just say that I think that's part of Lord of the Rings is that all of them are all over the place. A lot of different people, a lot of different things. Yeah. they're people. Yep. Quit trying to say something you're clearly not, you hypocritical New Zealand bastard! Okay. Oh my <laughs> God. I don't to make that. Alright, let's move on. Oh yeah, we're all equal even though the hobbits are much, much better, much stronger, much more independent, much- What are you hobbits talking are about? Stronger. What are you the talking about? No what the fuck? How are the hobbits stronger? <laughs> Oh my god. What? Oh wait, I just missed that because I want to get a drink. Uh, did he just say- He said the hobbits- stronger? He said uh, Catholic... hobbits are stronger. Yeah. Well, like physically or mentally. Let's savor it, guys. Let's rewind it. Alright, let's play let's it again. Just... If you want to say I'm looking too much into that, how can all races be equal when the hobbits are constantly shown as the vastly superior race? Quit trying to say something you're clearly not, you hypocritical New Zealand bastard. Oh yeah, we're all equal even though the hobbits are much, much better, much stronger, much more independent, much braver, and basically better at ever braver yeah. Yeah. braver no, they're braver exactly what they're is braver. happening they right are now? Braver. i don't even agree that they're braver but no they are they are in that like they're literally the weakest characters yet they they put themselves in 
as much danger as normal I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I, so the problem with that is capacity, I guess, is what you're, you're talking about. And, like, Boromir and Aragorn do some of the most courageous shit they could possibly do. Like, yeah, it, it's all, like, in regards to their own ability set, you know? Uh, like, again, like, remember the the bell curve with these characters is that they were coattail to Asia, uh, and, and then they end up becoming very integral. Like, the, remember at the end, everybody fucking bows to them. Like, yeah. It's, like, not, cool. it's not an aspect of bravery. Yeah. Well, was, I mean, it, 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 it was, at, at, you know, in part because of their bravery, though. Well, it's just the fact that they have so little to work with compared to everyone else, and they did so great. Yeah. I'm assuming that was like, the point of that. So that like goes against Frodo, everything he just said. Frodo had a whole set of tools. He had the, the special... Uh, uh, special armor underneath his cloak. He had the special sword that yeah, glows. You know, yeah. like he he had he and he and then he also had like a companion that whose job was literally to protect him specifically. He had the hard carry, yeah. Yeah, and hard then he carry. had the hard carry. Like, and then Scotty Pippen literally had nothing. <laughs> oh, of course. Um, but like you oh, have. Shit. Having Boromir say, like battle thirty Urukai at once, well, d solely to defend the lives of two innocent little creatures, sort of thing, and then Aragorn heading headfirst alone into a huge army ahead of everyone else. Like those are moments where it's just like, damn, these characters are brave. Exactly. Mm. It's like it's not even like, it's like it's like fucking Sam fights with a fucking frying pan halfway in most <laughs> yeah. of the film. It's it's just the. the yeah. he, I, I I keep banging on about it. They are not the heroes, or well, they are, but they're not the they're not the heroes that you would imagine. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the fucking point. Because Aragorn and Boromir are the natural heroes. Because if it, if the story was um, from Aragorn's perspective, it would all just be like, oh yeah, it, well, he, it was, some motherfucker would probably accuse him of being a Mary Sue. You know, oh, he, he was born into this. He's flawless. He can fight. You know, he, he, you know, he's he's do a dane. So you know, he, he, he well, he, 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 he well, he doesn't have. Uh, he has a longer lifespan than a normal human. Uh, but oh, and of course, there's so many examples, I don't mean to not mention them, but of course, uh, Eowyn standing in front of the Witch King for a dad. It's like, damn. Or, um... Yeah. I mean, she, I mean yeah, because I, I wouldn't be surprised if he brings up fucking feminism or something in this, too. But yeah, Eowyn fucking... She rocks! And she, yeah, she fucking... Does. Yeah. Well, and in fact, the whole... Uh, it's just yeah. weird to, to be like, all of these attributes, hobbits destroy the rest on them. It's like, I... <laughs> they're, 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 yeah, they're clearly superior. Ah, uh, what is this? Another thing than us. The Nazgul are awesome, and again, I wish we had more time to focus on them, but these movies always seem to push the interesting... I'm really starting to notice a pattern on what he likes versus what he does in, not like. He likes, yeah, very superficial levels of cool. Um, he wants more time with the Nazgul and don't get to me develop wrong. their basically not characters. They're fucking cool. It's, no, it's, he, <laughs> but, only, he only complains about the character moments and then says that there's no character in them, and then yeah. says that these moments that are nothing are better. If yeah, only they had more those, of these yeah. nothing moments. And when we say nothing <laughs> moments, right? What's happening here is they're about to be found. Ah, they made it. That's like the that's the like tension, tension of the scene. It's literally yeah, it's tension. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's nothing. It, it is, is nothing. The, it's a the, jump the, scare. It's it's a fucking broom falling out of the closet when you're looking for a ghost. It's nothing. And as far as I remember, in the films, the 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 ring wraiths or the Nazgul, they're just established as kings of men corrupted by rings of power that Sauron yeah. gave them, and that's mm -hmm. it. And yeah. like, but yeah, they're wraiths, they're and, ghouls. But yeah. characters, there's no characters, but the people that he loves the most are the literal fucking non characters. Well, the ones that <laughs> have the least amount of characters. Okay, we need more alerts. We need more ring wraiths. They're cool. Yeah. Fuck hobbits. I think this guy's favorite movie of all time is Batman vs. Superman or some shit. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh no. You're poking a beast there, Warrior. You're gonna fucking piss a bunch of people off. There's, there's still a contingent of people who adore Zack Snyder's work. Oh yeah, oh, oh, and also, yeah, um, not that you can see their skin, but Ring Racer, they're black, are they? And that, that, that's okay, <gasps> because... Ooh. Good point. <laughs> all of them are white dudes. I mean, Alerts, Alerts is definitely like yeah, a, like a sports brown kind of... You know, he, he, he's very brown. No, no, they sh they show them all in the flashback. They're no, all wait. Guys. Yeah. See, that would be a point that he would actually Again, make. He'd be like, yeah. there's no Ring Wraith on the Fellowship, so what's that about? <laughs> it's just like, that's not how it works. <laughs> 
I thought all races were equal. Dude, what I actually, I actually want that race? now. It's just Derek, the rig wraith. He's like, yeah, I'm not cool with Sauron. He's a dick. <laughs> I'll fight with you guys. That'd be so fucking cool. Characters to one side, folks. By the way, how come they can't enter water <laughs> at one point, but later on they clearly do? Uh, the did you notice the difference in oh my depth? God. Uh, <laughs> how come? Yeah. How come they can't enter deep water, but they can go in shallow water? How, how this is not come real. Can, can walk into a puddle, but I can't chuck her into the ocean. <laughs> what? <laughs> that? Oh my! God. Come on, dude. Do they suffer the same inconsistent phobia of Mr. Voorhees in Freddy vs. Jason? <gasps> in three hours, other than so that's it. He just wanted to point out they walk in shallow water. They do not walk in deep water. They don't jump into a river, but they'll they'll have they'll be on a horse, and the horse is in like ankle deep water at the most. They'll do that, but they won't jump into a river. They're totally the same thing. I, God damn it! Then he's the hero. He's the funny ones. He's the god amongst man who can do anything. He's the calm collector. I thought you said the hobbits were the best. No. Yeah. The god among men who can do anything is okay. Little confused. It's badass. He's the annoying dwarf. I'll get on. Annoying dwarf? What? 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 Not annoying. What? 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 You find John. Oh my god! Awesome. I hate this so much. He's, I hate I've this never so heard Gimli be described as annoying. Oh He's god. so fucking endearing. He's like one of them. <laughs> fu oh. Yeah, and then and he has so many quips. It's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, remember that scene when he stutters when he when she when he saw Galadriel. That was like, oh, it's kind of cute. Uh, We're very dangerous <laughs> over short distances. <laughs> it's over there. Yeah. The whole uh, he's twitching because he's got an axe in his nervous system. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's so many fucking good moments. That still only counts as one. Yeah, he's annoying. That's my favorite. He's annoying, that's yeah, that's favorite. it. I, I, I think he might have watched The Hobbit and thought, all dwarves are annoying, Gimli <laughs> therefore is annoying. Again, I'm pretty convinced he's only seen see the trailer at this point. ...to all of them yeah, later. No, there is no a dwarf. It's genuine development whatsoever. You know, I'm gonna keep comparing to Harry Potter, but when- No. No. Oh. <laughs> Darth Vader, Bro, no. No. Bro, you're the only one doing, you're the only no. one doing that. You are the only- Doing that. Stop <laughs> comparing. Dumbledore, okay. serious black snake, Guys, or even Dobby Dog. Why are we doing like, this? The, he, all he's doing is, I care more about Harry Potter than I do about Lord of the Rings, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like, just also, move on. Also, also, this is like kind of meta or whatever, but when did this video, when did you do this video? I don't know. I haven't checked the upload date. Why? I think three years oh, 20, oh, 2017. Only because I wonder if you say the same about Harry Potter and shine the light up his ass now with uh, with current events with the oh J.K. Rowling's cancelling. Yeah, I wonder if this is now if Harry Potter is the bastion of fucking great whatever that he's holding it. Well, he's trying to hold it to now. I, I wonder. I just just wonder. Curious. Just curious. Oh, apparently he liked the Last Jedi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, all right. Sorry, that's, that was it's a it's a laugh because it all makes sense. All the pieces <laughs> they plug together. You're like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. The universe just dropped on me, and I just fucking felt it. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Gandalf died, and I was just like, uh, 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 what? I, uh, what? Yeah. what? That's not an. That's not a I criticism. Didn't, I didn't cry when Gandalf that is, died, but Dobby I am died. sorry. Oh. I'm uh, sorry, but that is not a criticism. Something happened that I didn't like it, so <laughs> it's worse. Dude, I was fucking no. sad in the cinema. I still remember being like, no, he's like my favorite. <laughs> the wizard, no. Fly, you <laughs> fools. Oh, Slip. No. Skeptic, who talks like that? We Come even, on, bro. all of them fucking lose good. their shit outside of Moria, too. Yeah, why did... Why did Frodo yell Gandalf's name when he fell? Like, enough with the exposition. We know his name already. Like, calm the fuck down. <laughs> Terrible his, writing alert? I think so. Name. He used his full name as it was, a yeah. Dude, I'm half expecting <laughs> him to be like... Know who it is that just died. They had him say that that's because the audience forgot his name. Oh, that's actually a thing as well. Fucking Harry Potter are all, like, pretty much always introduces characters by their full names. Like, uh, you know, and there's many of them. And many of them have fucking... Ronald have really, Weasley! Harry, many of them have Harry really Potter. silly names, but okay. Yeah, dude, the amount of times Harry Potter is said across Although, those films. I'm, I'm thinking also, past 100. Get, if he's gonna compare Dobby, um, 
in the films. Dobby got done dirty. He basically was in the second film, and then he got cut out for the rest of them until they realized, oh shit, he has a, he has a bit of significance in the last film. Better bring him back just to I'm get sorry. him killed. I'm sorry, are you telling me about Harry Potter? Because I <laughs> strictly remember saying I don't care. I don't give a shit about Harry Potter. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm actually... Harry I'm Potter the... be gone. I, we I can, went, I we went from elf supremacist to elves are shit. I, 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 I remember Harry Potter enough to fucking beat him over the head with it how, and how he, he's just pulling it out of his ass. Dobby is fucking shit in the films. He, he, he gets done dirty. He, no, no, you, you, don't you get it? He's saying, yeah, maybe that's the case, but it's better than Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Which is not infuriating at all. <laughs> like, la, 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 I'm fine. Yeah, look, like I said, I don't, I don't think he'd be holding... I don't think his he's, his, he's holding argument, his argument is just, I like Dobby more than Gandalf. That's it. Dobby. <laughs> Dobby. Scotty. I, I just... <laughs> Joby and Scotty. I just got a vibe that he <laughs> he doesn't think so highly of Harry Potter anymore. I just got a vibe. Just, just a little yeah. Vibe. yeah. What, Look, what even the heroes don't try to help him. They're just like, meh, it's gonna come back. Please help. Okay, okay. Oh, what right, do you mean good. help him? Okay, it's okay. He's, he's just wrong. Old, he's he's he just literally. He literally has a bell rug hanging from his ankle. What are oh, they no. going to do? Well, no. Okay, so no, the the, the whip just. Let's like, get the let's just get the references one hundred percent correct for this for this man and for us and for the audience. The situation is several goblins, we're looking at possibly like twenty, are firing arrows at the team. Gandalf is what you could call, I don't know, a ten second run away from the heroes, and he's slipping off the edge. And he's sacrificed himself, so like for them to sacrifice themselves to to save him would be like con uh, completely Double contradicting sacrifice. Actually, his sacrifice. I would, would argue it's it multifaceted. He wants to knock out the Balrog because it's one of the evilest fucking creatures that exist in this world that causes yeah. nothing but pain. Simultaneously, you guys gotta go. Just you, okay? The only way they're gonna go is if I just fucking drop off right now. The the, yeah. the amount of time it'll take to get me and the amount of hurt that can happen, it's just, it's not happening. Just go. But what, what what does fly you fools mean? Get run. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Just run. go. It's not. It's not about. Oh, please help me! Please, I don't want to die. Uh, no, he yeah, fucking like, tells him to go. You tosser. Like, like you said earlier. Like, what is he? Was Frodo supposed to jump down the pit <laughs> after him? If he's like, a real hero with real character. He like he like has a rope attached to him, but he throws a lasso over Gandalf as he's falling, grabs and pulls him all the way back up. Again, Frodo the hero. Yeah, again. Tie the, a rope to Frodo the, and chuck the Frodo end, off. The, <laughs> the end goal is to get Frodo away from the Balrog. <laughs> away from it. Yeah, I, he, well, he even tells Aragorn that um, swords are of no use here because it's not going to die by a simple blade. <laughs> He's uh, it's just wrong. Yeah, Very no, wrong. Categorically wrong. <laughs> anyway, fuck him. I felt nothing. All the fake out deaths, I felt nothing. And the I oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I don't care if you felt nothing. Get on with your tell, arguments. Tell your therapist. <laughs> I think the therapist would actually be concerned. Like you didn't feel anything in Lord of the Rings. Oh. You felt nothing. My mother died. I felt nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have a mental problem. There's no suspense. I want especially when it's obvious it's they wouldn't kill off the heroes in the first hour anyway. Oh, oh. so but we don't know which one of the four like Jesus Christ! It'll, Two of them are uh, arguably expendable. Three we're of them not are actually, arguably expendable at that point. Absolutely, and we're not sure that our guys know what's happening. It's portrayed as the the riders burst in, they get into the bar straight away, and then they go to some beds. If you're invested, you're like, oh fuck, what's about to happen? Oh, okay, fucking hell! Yeah, <laughs> like Jesus, it's like. How do you know that Aragorn isn't going to have some death? How do you know that Eowyn and all these other characters, Aemir, and uh, well, how this, do you know this they're argument not doesn't work have anyway? You have no clue. I mean, the, I mean, none of them are characters, so surely any of them could die any minute, and it wouldn't matter. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Th this argument doesn't work anyway because it it the, it it flies in the face of rewatching a film. You can't do it anymore. Like you just can't because you know everything that happens, so you can't possibly be invested. You can't rewatch or replay or redo a thing. You can't, you can't reconsume a thing. Yeah. It, it, all, all it comes down to is, yeah, Aragorn, presumably it was Aragorn's idea, they, they employ a little bit of deception, and it's to fucking throw off the ring race for a little bit of time, so that they can flee, and that's mm -hmm. it, it's not a fake out death, it's not a, oh my god, did they die? It's, it's been, uh, yeah. Okay, so this anyways, so anyways, the, the point, this is a bad argument, 
because <laughs> it's not it's not even about like whether or not it had an impact like that is a superficial uh criticism but uh, like objectively did the film set this up did it, the film play around with it and then did the film pull the rug out from underneath its feet at the end and the answer is yes so that means like like objectively it works it doesn't matter if you don't feel it the well, point yeah. is that the story and functions properly in that sense the only argument he and presented also, was just um i i knew they weren't gonna die and it's like this is what people say about lord of the rings as a whole like oh you know he's gonna get the ring in the volcano eventually like you know it's like i don't fucking care I don't fucking, I, also I don't care. um the, the the scene he was talking about where the the quote-unquote fake out deaths in the bed that was also to very, very clearly establish how ruthless the ring wraiths are. Yeah. yeah. Like, that really solidly portrays that they, they will just straight up murk these little hobbits. And it's they not, don't give a fuck. They will kill them. It's not um, what I would call yeah, well, a strict victory, tricking them, because when they remove the thing, they scream, they're furious. You're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, remember when they ride to the Shire, and they're like, bargains. And then, they, as soon as the uh, hobbit uh, tells them, or t yeah, tells them, they just... Uh, Take well, off. Yeah. I don't think they well. They also then they just like cut him down as well. I oh, you, no, you remember. That, they don't kill that, that guy. That guy goes back inside. They kill some random dude on the road with a lantern. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously the, they, don't, they don't they don't give a shit about anyone. Like yeah, they don't yeah. care. Yeah, it it serves them no purpose to go in and just kill that hobbit for no reason. They they they're focused on Frodo. Like they know where he is now. They're going to get him. Yeah. They had, they, yeah, because all they had was the Shire and Baggins. That, you know, that's all they had from Gollum when they tortured him. And that's, well, that was their efficiency. They, and they managed to catch him up to, um, uh, was it Buckwood? Is it Buck, uh, the Prancing Pony? That's it. Yeah. Yeah, they managed to, they, they, they catch up to them there. And then they have, well, they kick down the doors and you have the ominous music. And it's, and it, it's scary as fuck. Do we mention these movies are really good, by the way? I just want to make sure we mention that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, no, I thought, I thought they cheated when they faked out that Frodo and the rest of them didn't just get stabbed in their sleep 20, well, it was like 40 minutes into the film. So much for the master race. <laughs> Chick, who by the way has never met Frodo, considering he's been wounded and she's only just met the others, cries when he's presumed dead. He represents the fucking, like, the chance for this world to go on. The fight against darkness. Also, it yeah. is also tragic she's as fuck a he woman. Does. The point, this is setting up her character. The point is that she's like a, a feminine character who's matronly. She cares. She has a heart. She's she, the, this again, like he, he's misinterpreting setup with development. Like he's mixing the two up. Like yeah. this is the, you're allowed to do this. You're allowed to set up a character like this. And then, then you can complain after the setup that something came out of nowhere. Also, is, wait a minute. This is not even the first time he's made this complaint. This is this is after she escapes the ring race, right? She's she's like Frodo, don't give in. He's, oh, he's on the yeah, brink. Oh my god! So she was already fucking invested in him. Yeah, she, she, he's That's... about to die. Like yeah, Frodo's life is more important than just Frodo. So, well, that's what I want to establish. First of all, you can't fucking be critical of a person tearing up over the death of an innocent person. Even you, what do you mean? Like you, of course you can. Fuck off. Secondly, she knows who he is and what the point of his journey is. Yeah. This represents this, this something again, huge. This is again back to the my mother died and I felt nothing argument. Yeah. <laughs> like, why is this woman care that somebody else is dying? What the and fuck? To, to, put, to put it in her perspective, she's like several thousand years old, seeing Frodo die, that, that that's kind of like just seeing like a bloody, you know, a baby yeah. die. Yeah, yeah, and again, like I, like I was saying, like the reason why Frodo is effeminate is because that's shorthand for him being an innocent you know, creature. Yeah, it, like she's recognizing that innocence in him. Yeah, to, to, to have a, to have a hobbit uh, travel so far already, and then well, have, be put in such peril, it's, it's it's fucking heartbreaking to them or to her. But nah, nah. nah. <laughs> I felt okay. nothing. <laughs> you felt nothing. Why is she crying? Don't say just a random death would upset anyone. Because what do you mean? Like, dude. <laughs> Dude, um, I, I've literally, I've literally come across dying animals in the woods and tears. Oh my up. god, that's like, fucking disgusting! Jesus no, Christ! No, oh it's my like, god! <laughs> what? Oh, no. I'm just saying, like you like on stream and everything. Jeez. It's okay. It happens, it's okay. Rags. Nature is better. 
Yeah. Okay. I'm, just, I'm just saying it's it's okay to feel an emotion when you come across something that's dying. That doesn't Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I I oh can, can I just God. can I just highlight <laughs> nah. that that Greg had to say that it's okay to feel emotions yeah. when something is dying. <laughs> uh, it's clearly cuz it's it's clearly just cuz like, Frodo's white. That's that's it. It's just like, that's the why. It is the silly moment. that I have to point that out. That yeah. it's fine to feel an emotion when something <laughs> dies. <laughs> Emotions are effeminate, Greg. <laughs> so you can't do that if you're a guy. Yeah. Is it gay to mourn? Because it's treated like an emotional moment between actual friends with the direction of musical. It's treated as though they're actual friends. Please tell me how you inferred this. Like, how do you define? How do you know that? How what is the difference between a scene where a friend is dying? And a person in general that you care about is dying, and all you have is tearing up. How do you dif how do you discern the difference? How 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 is that done? The amount of tear drops that fall from the eyes. Ah, of course, I'm retarded. <clears throat> of course. Score. She knows nothing about him. How? No, yeah, yeah, she knows a lot about, about him, him at that point. Well, how do you think? Why do you think she's here? Yeah, what do you think she's doing with him? If she knows nothing about him. <laughs> she's like, hey, man, do you want to ride? Like, little hobbits, or stranger hobbits specifically, are just her fetish. Yeah, she gets very upset when she finds a wounded hobbit in the forest. <laughs> like, oh, look at look Oh, at yeah, him. oh, and that's, that's actually the other thing. He's not actually about to die. He's actually about to turn into a ring wraith. Oh, He's right, yeah, that's, a... that is the fate of those stabbed by his, those. His, his, his body is about to be... Tra well, you see the transformation go in. It's not fucking pretty. It's not fun. But, no, oh, that... Like again, you know, talking about like you know, seeing a dying animal. It's not just dying; it's fucking going to turn into a monster at, at the end of it. That's fucking mortifying. <laughs> doesn't matter. No character doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, we know nothing about him. This happens at the hour mark. Oh yeah, because nothing what? can happen in an hour. What? Fucking we don't sixty know ass minutes. About him? What does we, he mean? We know exactly what is happening. Do you know how tragic it is to start your incredibly long journey and get, like, an almost kill wound right at the beginning? This little hobbit's in for a lot. Oh, it's man. fucking... I don't it's care if you don't care. It's a dangerous world out there for a hobbit. Look, what else can we say? I don't care that you don't care. That's, that's pretty much where I'm at. <laughs> like, that's, that's fine with me. I care. Well, don't worry, Mahler. I care that you don't care that he mm. doesn't care. Right. The one hour mark! Yak about the guy! Nothing. I genuinely couldn't care less if any of our heroes, aside from Boromir, died. <laughs> okay. So, what am um, I supposed to do so, with that? Wait, so, how, well, does, how is I Boromir still established don't know what to do with this about? argument. Yeah, wait, wait, like, wait, how, wait. Do we, how do we know, from this guy's perspective, tell us who are watching the video, how come Boromir works for you, but like nobody else does? Yeah, where's Boromir's characterization that is so far superior that it literally just like you know, it dwarfs every like other it, character? Yeah, it erases everyone else, and they just and they they just devolve into <clears throat> pardon me, fucking cardboard cutouts. Fuck it out! I, I gotta stop drinking so much. <laughs> Belch. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I love that he gives this pass to Boromir. <laughs> it's like, you're okay, Boromir. You stand over there. Everyone else, yeah, though, you're, fuck you're you. You're definitely different from the rest of the others who've had no character development like you have. Guys, seven arrows to the chest is character development. <laughs> yeah. Seven arrows. Seven. Each emotion. Oh, nice. Yeah, but if he died, nobody would care because you don't really. Like, death isn't, you know, whatever. Speaking of which, Boromir, played by Sean Bean, he's the only character in this film with any kind of development, and even that's stop. Not he's the stop. third time, uh, third stop. time that's been said. Stop it! Stop! Somebody must stop this man. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 fascinatingly wrong. <laughs> stop it! Like, it's Boromir, not just wrong. Boromir it's does arguably have, like, he has the shortest character arc, but the most powerful. But like, it's you're very not explicit. Like, yeah, there's a lot is, going on with Boromir. But the thing is, to say he's your favorite is like saying the part of the rock song you like the most is when they hit that one hard note. And it's like... Hey man, he is my favorite, fuck you. I mean, I know. And I mean, I meant to... <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. I I would. I guess I want to push back on. I actually do think there's there's a level of complexity. If you take all three films, Boromir's uh, through line is relatively complex. This son of a steward of a great kingdom has got a huge well, yeah, weight in, on his shoulders. In, in retrospect, through you know through his brother's experiences, yeah, yeah. yeah we we get we get a lot of information that it really f I find him quite endearing. That he's this he's he's like a legend and he's fulfilled his like position in his family and his uh, kingdom. 
comes to this fellowship and he's just not taken seriously. In fact, he's villainous almost immediately. And yet, if you watch his actions carefully, he keeps doing really good things. He's just getting more and more corrupted and tempted by this ring, which is entirely yeah. informed by the fact that he wants to save his kingdom. Yeah, there's a lot of really nifty little things with Boromir and what he says and what his concerns are and how he, like, the first, one of the first things we see him doing after they leave Rivendell is he is training Merry and Pippin in swordsmanship yep. because he knows that they'll need it and they need to be trained in this. Like, he legitimately cares. Uh, when they're in the, uh, the Caradhras Pass uh, and the snow's coming down, uh, what happened? What does he say? You know, what about, you know, the hobbits will never survive this. He's, he's not about, no, not we won't survive, but these little hobbits, you know, they're not used to this. They're not going to live. His concern is with them. And he, like, there's so much to be explored with his, with all the little bitty things. It's really, 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 really good. Uh, he jumps he's dying. with Merry and Pippin. He's he jumps dead. with them and uh, yeah. when they get to the staircase in Moria, he's, he's, he's looking after them specifically. Um, he cares about them a lot. And of course, uh, the 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 line that solidifies it all is when he's close to death. He says, yeah. uh, "They took they the little took ones." Them. It's like yep. extremely gut wrenching if you're very invested in Boromir. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, even when Gandalf dies, Boromir is saying to the hobbits that Boromir's the one who has Frodo mm -hmm. and tries to get Frodo out while they're in danger. But once the danger is passed, he wants them to have a moment to grieve. Boromir's a legend. <laughs> Just for now. Amazing. Oh my He's God. Great. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> these, I think these films are really but efficient with these characters. I wouldn't want to imply that we can't do this with all. We did it with Frodo earlier. Like, there's loads no, I, for I, everyone. I, I know. I know. Like, uh, like obviously, we're gonna get to that. Like, um, I don't know. I'm. I think I'm in in my mindset. This game we're playing, like he's just criticizing the first film as a standalone. So I'm trying to stick with that that mindset as I'm like. Well, sure. I think I think there's a lot to work with logic. still for Barmia. Like all, all the moments we just mentioned are all in the Fellowship uh, uh, outside of Faramir's. Uh, well, it's a deleted scene as well, which is uh, kind of a shame. Yeah, you keep going to that deleted scene argument, don't you? But, I just okay. said I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you the extended racist. editions are the real editions. That's true. Uh, if someone was like, the theatrical have flaws, and those flaws aren't present in extended, I'd just be like, why are we not talking about the extended? Why are we talking about the theatrical? If, if you want to make these statements about the theatrical, it's like, fine, I guess. But uh, I would fully recommend the, what I would call, definitive edition. Yeah, also it's going to be coming out in 4K eventually, and that's going to be fucking great. Ooh. Give me that Lord of the Rings in 4K. <laughs> Minimal. Frodo is reluctant to use the ring, and eventually Boromir wants to try to use his powers. He's the only eventually, one. Eventually, he wants up. to. I mean, no, not eventually. He wants from the get go. Boromir yeah. says, "This is a gift. No. This weapon is yeah. set up. It's, it's, it's set up. This is literally characteristic. This is li again. This is literally the setup. He. Oh my. This is setting <laughs> up. Core characteristic. He, Boromir is defined is weak. by wanting to save he his is, kingdom. They're setting up that he's weak to this ring in this very moment. So that when it happens at the end, it's not a surprise. Can't believe it. It's not much something, and then he gets into a fight with Frodo. <laughs> oh my God! This summary's gonna hurt, isn't it? This is and gonna. Then hurt he gets me. into a fight uh, with Frodo. This is gonna yeah, hurt my soul. Then, just, then he gets into a fight with Frodo. Please, sure. Please don't, oh, in don't. defense of Boromir, sum him up so simplistically. Please, 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 please. don't skip all the Do scenes. Do I go take a shit for this? <laughs> he then redeems his own selfish actions by sacrificing himself, so they again kill off the most interesting character. Oh, oh my god. Oh my again? god. Again? Oh my god. Oh the my fact god. that he died is what makes him interesting. Yeah, it's if not, it's not everything die, else. If he doesn't die, he's not interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't agree with that. <laughs> well, yeah, wait, well, that's I... the point of his character, though, is that... Wait, hang on, wait. Are was... you saying that... Honestly, are you saying that's his perspective? I don't agree that because because I completely lived, disagree. His death isn't the reason he's an interesting he would, person. He would he would no he would certainly be way less interesting if he had not made the sacrifice. Because the the point well, is that he still make you could like if he would have somehow survived these wounds, it would yeah. not have made him any less interesting. Because his intention was fully to if he had to sacrifice himself to save the hobbits. If he happened to survive this, we know that he was still committed to doing it, which doesn't take anything away from his character. Yeah, but then he would have just been Han Solo in Return of the Jedi for the whole. No, no, uh, no, no, no. So I, what we've got to no, work with then no. is he's going to feel like he's the reason Merry and Pippin were taken. 
and he's yeah, going to be wanting to fight for them back. And he wants to save Gondor. His, There's loads to work yeah, with still. His impact okay. in the Return that, of the that, King would have been point. massive because of Faramir and Denethor's relationship. And yeah, we got that. Faramir, if he was and alive, remember, he would have completely changed that dynamic. Denethor is a character. He's pretty much entirely identified by the fact that he is still a good guy, quote unquote, but he thinks there's no chance they can win. And that's clearly in Boromir and his conversations with Aragorn. The last thing he says to Aragorn when he knows he's dead is, you can do it, save the kingdom, fight yeah, for our like, people. Yeah, I would have followed you, yeah. you know, yeah, go to Captain, my, my king. Yeah. The implication being that had he survived, I think Aragorn and Barmy's relationship would have been fascinating to watch. Absolutely. Yeah. And Gross. I think the endings for, like, Denethor was even described as, like, a, a, a poison that Sauron is using against Gondor, and if Boromir was alive, that would have totally changed how Denethor would have behaved. Yeah, I th honestly, Barmir surviving Amon Hen, I'd be game to watch that what-if. Absolutely. It's like the, it's, I, it would have been a, I think it would have been a very different, especially, um, the uh, Return of the King. Okay, okay, Mahler, you get that movie, but it's written by Ryan Johnson. No! <laughs> Fuck! He would He's open it with all of the, the characters dying. <laughs> he would have been like, actually, Boromir was shit. Actually. Oh, okay, okay, I concede that there, there's plenty to do with him, but I, I still maintain that the only reason I find him as impactful a character is because he does die. Well, his death is certainly very impactful. It's yeah, definitely it's a, the sting at the end of the first movie is that he dies. It's, it's the punctuation like of what, yeah, I, what I he's all about. I feel like it, it is a very important point because he is, like, I, you know, I, besides Aragorn, he's the most royal one in the party, and the fact that he's the one that died, like, that looks sure. bad for the party. And like that, that's a very important plot point. Like he, he, he is more, I mean, unfortunately he, he is kind of more of a plot point than a character in, in some, in some ways, like not, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, I don't, I don't really mean that like that. But, uh, <laughs> I like the idea that he's looking at me and Rags as avatars and he's like, Boromir, uh, <laughs> he's Boromir and Faramir. They're, they're my fucking boys. All right. Well, Boromir I, is I, my I, boy. I like, <laughs> I like the way that it, that hit Boromir's story is continued through Faramir though. I feel, I like, I like that better that, because then when his father, you know, sacrifices him at the end, it's just like, what were you doing? Like. What, why would that even happen? Yeah, I. it's the thing. If Boromir, Boromir's life and or, or death, either way, like if you if you were writing these out and you had sort of a roadmap for the story, but you're at the point where you decide, all right, is Boromir going to die of his wounds here or is he going to be saved? Even if he's like out of the fight in some way or if he spends the next X amount of time bedridden while he heals, either way, he lives or dies here. Massive implications for both because Boromir is, Boromir is really important as a character for the trilogy. So either way, it does a lot. Uh, and I would, I would say his, his death is the punctuation of what we've learned all about him. This is only a result of everything we know about him. Like, this is always It would have happened to Aragorn had he been in the situation. He would have died to save two hobbits. Yeah, and that's like another it, thing is is that he serves as like a reflection of what can happen to our our more beloved characters. Like, like this again is the most royal character, so like uh, there's a, a, a focus on him that he's supposed to be the most noble, and then just in a very short period of time falls and then and then redeems himself and, and dies. Like to, sh to you know. Uh, yeah, I, you know, can we just let's just move on? Sure. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're talking about how amazing these non characters are for two <laughs> Right, long. yeah. Like, we get, we get right in the next hour. <laughs> can I just say this was the best part of the video so far? Just talking about <laughs> him, him tacitly <laughs> admitting there are things about Boromir that are good and characterization. It's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> we got something. <laughs> wow. A character died, and, and I actually cared. So that's what this feels like. Well, more world what? has just been turned why, upside though? down. Why is, what's his argument as to why he cares, though? Because he said that Boromir he was kind of selfish, cool. and then he was selfless. He just says it's cool. And it, dude, that's what I'm talking about. Cares. Boromir's um, like the no Boromir's I mean, like Lurtz. He's so cool. I'm not a fan of the whole, like, the reason Boromir's arc is meaningful is because he was selfish and then selfless. I'd be like, no, no, that's, But he, no. he does that in, like, five minutes. Well, but that's kind of so. what I'm getting at, though. It's just, like, that's such a surface-level reading. It's like, go into yeah, more yeah. depth it, about that. What, what does yeah. all of it mean? Why did it... Go into the seat... The he talks to Aragorn in, um... Fuck, what's the... It's, is it Lothlorien? The, the woods? Elf City, yeah. 
where he's like he's he thinks Aragorn is slowly sort of warming to him and and the fact that it's all about Gondor and he's like we're gonna save our people we're gonna, and he's like I'll never let the ring get anywhere near that your white city and it's like oh shit like Aragorn isn't entirely convinced that Gondor is trustworthy and it's a huge like wedge between them and that's what again what makes that death scene uh, even more beautiful the, the fact that they have the the closure on that subject and Aragorn is gonna fight for the white city it's awesome. Also, I'd like to bring everyone's attention to what I just posted. Oh, he's he's That's got a comment saying opinions are subjective. Get over yourself. Not just that, but the guy. Well, somebody said that yeah, this was shit, and then he said it translated to I didn't watch the whole thing, and I can't counter any of the points. Ooh. <laughs> oh, right. So the first comment says I could pick apart so many of the criticisms in this review, but it would take too long. And he said that translates into I can't counter any of the points. Didn't watch the whole thing. Opinions are subjective. Get out of here. I want to make everyone aware, we've just crossed into the three-hour mark, is that? Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Don't. It's been 14 minutes of the fucking video. Yeah, <laughs> we, we're almost at 15 minutes, and it's taken us three hours to counter him effectively. Like, this is intense. He's gotten yeah, so much your wrong. Greg, how's your EFAP going? I hope you... Yeah, I'm definitely never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 we did it. We'll make the most of it then. <laughs> we'll be alright. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to, you know, he said he cared where he didn't care before. It's like, alright, thumbs up, good job. No, I'm glad that I came for this one, because, I mean, I knew, like, you're not going to do a Star Wars one, but, like, Lord of the Rings is my second fave, so... Oh, I mean... You said we're not going to do, you... do a Star Wars? You, do you know who we are? <laughs> <laughs> Star... We don't Star really do Wars. Star Wars. They were known. We're known for hating Star Wars and bike and women. Why won't you just buy the toys and shut up? <laughs> <laughs> buy the toys, dig it. The, the only thing I can target hope for practice. Is I just, I just like the idea that you're like, you guys ever gonna cover a Star Wars video? It's like, yeah, we, yeah, maybe, yeah, we could do, possibly. I'll let you know. I only hope that he repeats the same points and we just get to go, we've already covered that, so we don't have to right. spend another... He usually hour. gets faster because, because yeah, that's, we'll, we'll see. I hope um, we would just repeat ourselves, so... And even Saruman has no reason to turn evil! No! What?! Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! No! 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 How is I've never seen someone be so efficiently wrong. <laughs> Every sentence. What do you mean? He's explicit. What? Explicit <laughs> in this scene. I need another beer. It's this, this whole scene insane. explains it so fucking efficiently. Saruman is fully convinced that Sauron has the power to take over the entire world he's, with no he's trouble. He's literally saying, I'm going to pick the winner. Yep. Fuck you, Gandalf. And he says, Gandalf, you should totally choose the right team, bro. And then Gandalf's like, hmm. <laughs> and if you remember, he tries again when they're at the top of the tower. He's like, you should fucking do it. And Gandalf says to him, which should be significant, um, fuck, what's the, what's the full line, uh, there is only one Lord of the Rings, and he does not share power. It's fucking great. Yeah, yeah, because it, it, it comes down to that, it, well, yeah, Saruman is, was, was head of the White Council of Wizards, and after years of studying dark magic, he became, well, he, 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 he became um, infatuated with the powers of the ring. Well, yeah, he's, he's, and, uh, he's also corrupted by the Palantir as well, Gandalf says. Like, yeah, you have yeah, no idea it's, who's it's, it's watching. It's the same well, as Denethor. It 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 poisons the mind. It 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 feeds on your worst and darkest desires and makes you well become the well the worst version of yourself. And well, mm -hmm. if you do that to a wizard, you get a pretty nasty enemy. Well, I mean, but, uh, you you guys keep saying even Aragorn wouldn't touch the ring, but like even Gandalf wouldn't touch the ring. Like, no, well, well, Gandalf knows that the power would corrupt him. He, yeah, like yeah, if, exactly. if you forcibly so put that, the like, ring on the, Gandalf, the, he'd be fucked. That, like, it's set up in that he won't touch the ring when he's given the chance to and throws yeah. it in the fire instead. Like, that is all we need to know, that Sauruman can also be corrupted the same way. That's, ah. again, communicating. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, set Gandalf, up. Yeah, Gandalf fears it, its power, and... Uh... Yeah, it just goes back to this goes back to hobbits and Frodo not one in the ring because they don't desire power. They don't desire to rule over men. They they just want to live mm. happy little lives. That's why he's the ring bearer. I why is this guy saying so many mean <laughs> things about my wizard? Movie? 
I want to I want to remind everyone as well. He said that in like two seconds, and we just spent like ten minutes like, being, like back and forth. So this is my I'm gonna whole... assume while I was pissing away my frustrations and grabbing more alcohol that he you guys have <laughs> demolished the whole Saruman has no reason to turn evil. Yes, it wasn't yeah. that okay, hard. good because he explicitly says it. I just wanted to make sure. Oh. Man, he's mates with Gandalf and then goes evil and his excuses. Oh my god, you read this like a child. He's mates with Gandalf and he goes evil. <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, that's... If if the if the volume's off and you peer at the screen once per minute, you might come to that conclusion, I suppose. Mates with Gandalf is pretty complicated as a relationship. I no, I, I get it. Like, they're friends one second and then they're not friends? What does this mean? Nonsense. Again, Lord of the Rings, not complicated. Really not. It's not. <laughs> I was going to say, it's explicit in this scene. Saruman, Saruman gives Gandalf the chance to join him. He wants him to. He, yeah. <laughs> it's like, um, fucking sure Radagast is like, too busy, like, fucking smoking weed in his little forest. <laughs> so, yeah, Gandalf is, like, his, his closest confidant. You know, when, when he goes to visit him at Orphank, um, yeah, it, oh, it's, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> for fuck's sake. When did Saruman the wise of battle reason for madness? Madness! Oh, so that's Gandalf uh, basically saying, fuck you. It's, yeah, not, crazy. it's not him actually commenting in the meta, being like, this doesn't make sense, Saruman. He's being meta. redundant. He's being redundant, yes. Like, he's spelling it out, like, you, you are making me face a decision, you know that I cannot. It's an oh. awesome old wizard way of saying you're fucking nuts. I'm out. Yeah, I'm not yeah. joining the evil team. Your your hubris has blinded you. You are. You, 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 yeah, yeah, you think that it's going to go one way, but that's not how Sauron operates. This is not how it's going to end. You crazy. Well, that's the thing. I really want to highlight that scene on the tower gives you everything you need. Even Gandalf thinks he's a, Saruman's an idiot from his own perspective of like. I want to be powerful. I want to rule with the winners. And he's like, you don't understand. You're not even going to get that. Like, that's not going to happen. Yeah, the Dark Lord does not share power. That's it. That's all you need. Whatever happened to crazy? What happened to crazy? What? what what's happening? He's... Uh, just, mm. just, just. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can't be crazy no more? Do we eliminate crazy from the dictionary? I mean, I'm just pausing now for the sake of copyright, just being careful. I don't know, if, I don't know why we're playing this. But, yeah. Fuck the record! Fuck the movie! Crazy! No, Chris, you do need a reason. And how can anybody oh. take this far? Oh, well, he's not, well, he's well not we went crazy, over it. Though. So. Saruman's not crazy. No, he's not. He's, he's pretty That's clever, why, actually. Uh, Chad yeah. just pointed out as well. Uh, remember when he was complaining about too much exposition, and now he doesn't <laughs> understand the actual exposition? <laughs> oh. Again, I, I've said the story that it's explicit in this scene. It's hard to miss. Fight scene seriously, let alone give it an award. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, it's like Saruman explicitly says, "We're gonna lose. We can't stand against the armies of Mordor. We're gonna join with them. At least we'll be. We're gonna be with the winners. We're gonna rule Middle Earth together." I mean, it's 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 basically yeah, it's explicit. We can... hilarious. for no reason. No. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm assuming he's just gonna. Oh my God. I'm gonna I, you know what? This is ironic, as I was just gonna complain too many cutaways, and it's literally a Family Guy cutaway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like we see the inspiration. Tell me when the music stops, because I don't know if it's copyright free. I'm assuming. Yeah, this is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I knew. I knew when he complained at the beginning that this is why it was silly. It's like, yeah, like. This is the limitation of film, is that you are dealing with two geriatric. I still feel fighting. like this is entirely on the individual. Whether or not you're going dis to discern this as ridiculous is really on how much right. you're immersed. But again, like it, with it, within uh, the logic of the film, like yeah, I feel like you know, you know, besides the the obvious suspension of disbelief that it works fine. I'll take a wild guess that he, well, he's, he's he's used Family Guy as, as the reference or whatever, but. I take a wild guess that he would have preferred a Harry Potter wands beams flying at yeah, each other. Yeah, energy and shields and 
blasts yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I got an impression that that was it. Instead of having a more physical, visceral fight between that would be cool. Geriatrics, this is, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Music still going. Yeah. They should have just punched each other. We are we, are we done? No. 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 That was badass when he did that. Hey, you know what? You should thank him for making this. It means we get to skip a decent portion of the film. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, just like just keep this going. I mean, oh, yeah. like he's humiliating him. That's it's supposed to be silly. He's humiliating him. Yeah, he's won. He is, like, humiliation is supposed to be silly. And it's yeah, part of what makes the unfortunately deleted scene between Saruman and Gandalf in the third film so effective is Saruman attacks Gandalf, he fails, and then Gandalf breaks his staff. He's overcome him. Yeah, he, he, this, this is Saruman teabagging Gandalf. That, that's yes, what it is. yes. It's, it's not... He didn't want to kill him. He wanted, to, he wanted him to join him. Yeah, and what did he do? Ah, he stuck him at the top of his tower until, hopefully, he changed his mind. And if not, well, uh, I guess I guess presumably he was going to kill him. You know? and, and for reference, you can find it silly. It's just, we can't do anything with that. If the individual finds it silly or doesn't find it silly, there's not really much of an argument. It's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, the, the, the actual, well, what has actually happened, the writing, or, you know, the actual, you know, the, con the conflict of interest, well, not the conflict of interest, the, co the, the conflict of ideals, that's what's important here. If you find the actual spin around of the spot, or else he's like kind of like you know, like well, he like he like he looks like he's like paralyzed or frozen, you know. You you you, you can laugh at that; it's fine. It's not a big deal. It's just, but that's but yeah, okay. fuck me. <laughs> ah! ah! Now what's he doing now? Talking the mountain to death? What is going no, on? he's causing an entire. He's causing a fucking blizzard. I command you to make people. So this 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 shot is fucking awesome. It is, and he's amazing. casting a spell, right? Like he's he's using word magic to to cause a thing yeah. to happen, and it's he, it's he, Christopher he Lee bellowing out so, this speech. Like I don't what. He so this one of Christopher Lee's greatest moments. Like the yeah. I, so the finding this silly, I'll be like, all right, this is actually harder for me to see. <laughs> I just think this I is love, epic as fuck. I love that he thinks that he's talking to the mountain though, like. Nothing else is happening in this shot. He's just talking to a mountain. <laughs> yeah, and, and he's like, wake up, cruel red horn, and all this it's other so stuff. It's so fucking awesome. I don't know. Also, also, again. Causing an avalanche and a blizzard, and may your horn be bloodstained. I, I know you'll hate me again, guys, but again, Harry Potter, he's being a wizard. He's being a fucking wizard, but in, when it's in Lord it, of the Rings, oh, no, that's just fucking It's actually cool, cool yeah. It's, I think well, this yeah, should well, be... Well, yeah, I mean, it's actually cool. I think... I think there should be a one British person per EFAP rule, but whatever. Oh? <laughs> well, we have... What are we... Oh, yeah, that's actually... We've got... The only the only double-up we have this time around is British. That's interesting. Uh, Welsh motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Like me in the Star Wars prequels! Wait, what do you mean? People, people who like the prequels loved Count Dooku. Like, oh, like... Uh, you know what? I read about Christopher Lee for like incidental Lord of the Rings research. He he did a concept album about yes. being Charl. Yeah, it's it's like a heavy metal take on Charlemagne. Like he's old and he, dude, he's he one of the best humans that ever existed. Christopher yeah. Lee is definitely one of the top tier humans. Well, yeah, he's one of the, he used to play chess with Tolkien. He's a, he's I think he's the only actor who worked on the films that actually had met him and oh, he, I was shit. friends with him. Yeah, yeah, no no joke. Um. The, 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 oh, I, I, could, I could talk about more trivia, but I'm I'm gonna let this dickhead speak. Not not yeah, you, warrior. Sure. <laughs> um, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'll, yeah. I'm, I'm referring I'm referring to dickhead on the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are, are we gonna fight? Uh, uh, no, let's not. Let's. I'm. I'm just. I just want to say that Christopher Lee. Is, that yeah. He's awesome. And yeah, yeah great. He, that means you can't criticize the Lord of the Rings. Yep. That's that's yeah. Not, yep. <laughs> I am, I am emotionally biased if you. If I'm going to stand for Christopher Lee. For Christopher Lee. I, 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 I will re at you. <laughs> Not only is there no character development, but there's no story um, structure either. The movie is just walking and talking. I, I'm ahead of You can't be serious. <laughs> we, we, have, yeah. we have dismantled this argument already. 
What are you like? This is parody now. The movie has no structure. It's just walking and talking. It's like they have a destination. He didn't they even must say no structure. There. He literally said there is no character development. It is just walking and talking. I, didn't we, you say, I could have sworn he mentioned structure, like no story structure or something. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I think he said story structure. structure. I command you to make people like me in the Star Wars prequels. I yeah, Count Dooku is amazing. Is there no character development, but there's yeah. no story structure. Like okay, unironically, so yeah, no so story structure. With, yeah, he said Count both. Dooku. Though there's no character development and no story structure. So he says both. But yeah. <laughs> like, do you? What do you do? It like if you honestly want to make an argument for why Lord of the Rings is very flawed, don't open with there's no character development or story structure. That's probably not the best it's, way to start. It's just walking and talking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. This, that's <laughs> Shakespeare, it's just walking and talking. Game of Thrones, just walking. Dude, 12 and Angry Men is just 12 dudes in a room talking. Star Wars is just <laughs> flying ships through space. And it's just sitting in spaceships and jabbering on about bullshit. It's just like, so what happens during these talks and walks? Anything of interest? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't, no, no, no. No, no, shut up. <laughs> Can't talk about that. Either. The movie is King and Talking. Oh. <clears throat> J-R-R. Walking. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was. Oh, God. Why are you wearing that jacket inside? Maybe um, you should stay a while. I, I just want to apologize to chat if they were hurt by that, just in general. Like, he, yeah, it was pretty... I, I will admit he's made a couple of jokes and a couple cutaways that made me laugh, but it, it's starting Name to Name two. Grade. It's. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, will, I will just say that I was wrong as long as we can continue from wrong. our conversation. <laughs> I will just say I'm wrong. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry oh. I brought it up. Oh, boy. Just like you could be guilty for old tweets, we will make you guilty for old chuckles. <laughs> New chuckles <laughs> are no longer allowed as well. Oh, you laughed about something in the past. Oh. Still going, huh? It's she weird because it's not even... Long. Yeah, it, I would say it, it's too why, why is there dark synth music playing? Because he's because he, made he a joke. rhymed Tolkien with walking, two completely different words. <laughs> oh, I, I well, I so I it's it, like I, really amazing that he did it. I was gonna say he, yeah. he did dildo. I thought I thought he should retire after that. <laughs> oh, he, I, I agree, he should have retired after that. But <laughs> yeah, here we are. Here we are. Oh, just to clarify, I'm not bitching that Lord of the Rings is too long just because it's three hours. I like many movies that. I'm glad that's. Oh, here we yeah, go. Definitely. But I'm sure. Please don't name. Please yeah, don't name every movie. Here we Good, go. Because a long man bad would be the icing on this. Please, <laughs> please, <laughs> please stop. Titanic, naming. Titanic, Green Mile, Titanic. Is this the first one? Titanic. First one was Titanic. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm yeah. just gonna pretend I didn't hear that. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that he's like, look, look, Greg, okay, look, I, I don't hate long stuff. Titanic's good. You're like, no. <laughs> the Godfather, Wolf of Wall Street, so shut your mouth. Yes, you know me. But Fellowship has enough legitimate story to only fill an hour and a half at most, which... Wow. Okay, well, okay, 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 okay. That is true. A lot of streamlining can be done in editing. Like... You that, could, that however, is not, that is not incorrect. Yeah, you however, could. that is still not a great argument for it should be shorter. Yeah, because what you do is you lose a lot of the world building, and you 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 will lose character work, and you will lose a lot of stuff. Like the point of these movies, like the again, the Blu-ray is four hours long. Like you're supposed Worst to be to guess, living, right? yeah. living, experiencing this world, like. People love this world that much. like Yeah, and the reason for that is because they put so much time and effort into it. I, I as mean, far as I'm concerned, through it. what you have to do is highlight several moments where nothing was achieved and it was of no relevance to the progression or understanding of the story. If you can do that, yeah. um, I'll agree with it. But if, I, if you highlight a scene to me, and I can e easily come up with like one or two reasons for why this is needed, important, or necessary in any way, shape, or form. I'd just be like, you failed. You know? And by the way, there probably is. Um, like, for you know, it's off the top of my head, Gimli uh, blowing at the, the, the ghost hands in the third film, you could probably half that. He does it like three times, I think. You could probably do it so he does it twice. I don't know. Just something, something tiny to shave off. But these are the kinds of things I think we'd end up with where I'm just like, I don't know. 
could could do that. If you've got like a landscape shot and it's fifteen seconds, and he's like, "That should be 10 I'd be like, "I don't know, man. I don't I don't know that we can make these decisions where we're just like, "This is how long a landscape shot should be." It's like, <laughs> okay, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Someone else is like, the, "No, it should be five. The, like, hmm. the, yeah, because as long the as one... these films are, they are pretty efficient for all that they're trying to do. There's not a lot of waste in these films. Not not in the original cut, at least. No, I wouldn't say in any version there's waste. I mean, yeah, like, we, we just but watched the extended ones back something. to back, and yeah. I don't remember a seed where I was like, this is so unnecessary. True. And even, yeah, like, like I said, even if they character, were... It's always adding to something. I was gonna say, even the Gimli one, that's just, uh, cause this one in chat being like, blowing up ghost hands. <laughs> it's like, so, in, it's cut out the theatrical one, but on their way to meeting the, the king of the, the ghost people, they're, they're getting spooked out by all the different stuff, and like little little hand sort of ghostly shapes are heading toward Gimli, and he blows them away, and it's, yeah. uh, it's funny. He's stepping on the skulls, and he and he hears them crack underneath his feet, and it really spooks him, and you see it in his face. It's like, even that is, it's doing something for character. It is funny to watch. It you, Everyone's like, yeah, that's Gimli. And people like that. And you've got to remember a lot of, because the way he said walking, and like I'm assuming he's going to, like pacing is also a thing. We can just, in you know, consume, you, you take in a lot of stuff, and then walking shots, you can be like, ah, this is Lord of the Rings. This is what we're at so far. Think about all the stuff we're doing and where we're heading. Like, it just lulls in the um, the theatrical experience to allow you to acclimate to what is to come. It's, it's, it's the whole music thing, ups and downs. You don't just have a line, right? And so it's very hard to be like, this seed right here should be in it. But of course you can try. And I'd be willing to, to hear out whatever argument you might have. The sequels follow suit on. Very often the story comes to a complete standstill, like here. Nothing spoken is adding anything Wait, what? This wow. is a character so, moment. This, this is the scene I was talking about Boromir earlier. Boromir and the King of Gondor? <laughs> this is like the fucking like setup to Super the important. Whole, like you are the king of the universe thing. Super important scene. This is not one to reference. <laughs> like move away from this one, buddy. Find a different one. Uh, this this <laughs> dumb scene where two kings talk is so pointless. <laughs> these characters. Nothing these people are saying is telling us any more about them. Or oh my god, it's the oh complete opposite. God. It's actually the opposite. No. It's no. it's so interesting. It's fascinating. It makes you wonder when he was getting the footage for this clip. Like, surely the audio must have been playing, and he must have listened <laughs> to like how. This is brilliant. I don't know how We've, you do it. Like we went over this ahead of time, so we don't even have to explain it anymore. It's it's oh, in this oh, stream. Oh. <laughs> like, you can go find. Yeah. This that's what I'm saying is like we keep having to run into the same argument over and over again. But not not just that. I thought Boromir was his bezy, so why is this a shit scene? Man, this I, thought, is... I thought Boromir was the one redeeming character because he had character development and all this other shit. Yeah, but, but he's also uh he's also someone who has shitty scene. scenes that don't do anything, so like he's a badass and he has a sword and he like killed all the <laughs> orc I mean, he's, he's got a horn too, don't forget the horn. Yeah, that's what made him cool. The whole, whole made him yeah. cool. Hey, the whole of Gondor could be here for like fucking 10,000 miles. It's. Yeah. 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 Listening to this fucking scene again in retrospect, it's just so fucking meaningful. No. It's, 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 no. It's such a good. That's the thing. Like, this scene tells us so much about Boromir and Aragorn learning about his legacy and his duty and coming to grips with it and. How much Boromir cares about Gondor and how he does want them to be united and oh, it's, it's just fuck this guy in this video. It's so wow. terrible. Racist. Uh, I hate white people, but that's okay. So. Or progressing the story whatsoever. It seems Peter Jackson just assumed talking automatically meant character development, but it, it seems like, you assumed oh that talking oh automatically God. meant this criticism. Character. This, this is fucking character. scene is so good. It tells this us is, so much about this Boromir. Is, again, this is character set up. Set up. Uh, he keeps mixing up set up and development. He don't even. He doesn't recognize that it's either of them in this moment. He's like, it's just yeah. nothing. This is a pointless bullshit scene. Like, why? Are, why, oh. why are they talking? Where are, the so <laughs> Where are the orcs? Where are the orcs? Where are the hordes? Where are the hordes? <laughs> Why? Why does he have zero arrows in his chest in this? Scene? Yeah, I'm counting the arrows in Boromir, and I'm getting about zero. So let's fucking speed things up, okay? Like this shit. Let's fucking go. It's like arrows to enjoyment. This this you know diagonal line. It's like yeah, that's pretty much how it works. He wants to see Boromir on just some stone patio saying, 
I never liked arrows. They're <laughs> pointy and long and they get everywhere. <laughs> and that would probably be amazing foreshadowing for him. That would be, that would be such good foreshadowing, <laughs> yes. Like, oh, you go, Luke. Boromir has a fear oh. of arrows. <laughs> he just doesn't like arrows. <laughs> I wonder what will become of <laughs> So good. And, and then, and then Lewis could be his like metaphorical nightmare, you know, his, his worst, you know. Oh. Lurtz is just an arrow. It's just a particular He's arrow. A walking named arrow. Lurtz that haunts his dreams. <laughs> he, he, he files his teeth down to like arrowheads. He, he has a he has an incredible distrust of Legolas, not because it's an elf, but because he's really good with a bow. He's like, I never trust an archer with their pointy. What kind of man arrow. is good with a bow? In the next fight, do you think you could? Um, did you think you could like use your swords instead? Uh, that'd be great. Cheers. <laughs> Look, I really like my bow. He's like, I, I know, I know, I know you do. I, I've noticed you really do. <laughs> Oh. He just has this disdain I, for Legolas throughout this, the Fellowship scenes. We're all just like, why though? It's like it all gets revealed. Oh. He doesn't. I feel thin, sort of stretched. Oh, like the plot. Mm. All right. Riveton. <laughs> like, again, again, technically fine. No, I, I disagree. Okay. I disagree. The we've uh, got. I mean, like te technically, you could. If we. The plot up. Look, look at all the locations they go to, and what happens along the way, and then tell me how long that should be able to occupy, and then I'll tell you. No, I know, like, you, that's you, insane. We, just, we get into the cyclical argument of, but like objectively, you could add more time. It's just. It let's let's really count again. I don't think there is. You need to get actual specific moments and scenes and stuff to show me that that aren't doing anything. But so, for example, you and I are going down to the shops. They're five minutes away. How long will this story take? It's like, well, it, it depends. Like, you know, it could be like a, a half second. Or it could be a cut, or it could be that we have a really long conversation. It could be something happens along the way. Like, the, this is weird. It could be like a montage. A, okay, but well, I mean, if you like, if you like, took all the slow mos, and sh shortened them, maybe t took a couple out. That's like, that's like ten minutes of the film. <laughs> it's just but uh, again, of... like there are reasons we have them in the film. They're not there just. No, to I know. I'm not. I'm not saying that it's bad that they're there. Like this is this. You're, yeah. You're, I'm just saying technically, he's right that technically you could he, he tighten could, the yeah. plot up. Yeah, like if you were saying I'm going to destroy America if you don't shorten these movies, it'd have to be America because if it was like shorten these <laughs> movies, or else Peru's gone. I'm just like I'm keeping the movies as they are. I'm <laughs> sorry, but if you're like I'm going to destroy America or something like that. I like oh fine I guess I guess we could shorten the slow mos down a little bit. Is that enough? <laughs> can we stop there? <laughs> hey, we're not cutting anything out of Moria, okay? I'll kill you. Yeah, Moria is. I don't <laughs> fucking care if America is the cost. You, they, a man's got to stand for something, okay? And Moria is that thing. <laughs> I even made a point in my notes that at the these notes are fascinatingly oh, bad. I oh, was, I was kind of skimming them as you were talking. Oh, okay. I, I, Oh, wait, white wait, guy wait. friends with Gandalf. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. 46 writers are awesome and cool, but they never get adopted upon. They're Garth Maul's Elijah Wood came. What the fuck? Dude, these... All right, we're going to have to go for the top, I guess. This is... It. Just... If I told you right, I was reading out my notes, and these all have timestamps. This is it. What time do you think we have? This dialogue bores me. I can't give a shit about the story. Who knows? White guy was friends with Gandalf and turns evil for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> this is like our window into his terrible, terrible, oh my boy. horrible Oof. method of making videos. Why has he and just got nothing, quotes? Literally nothing happens until Boromir sacrifices himself. <laughs> okay. Right, because I compare these notes that he has to the notes that I have on The Mandalorian. And it's like two entirely different universes worth of it, it. It's just so, so different. The, these like, are the most worthless notes ever. Riders are awesome and cool, but they never get yeah. adapted upon. Adapted, adapted upon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, compare yeah, yeah, to my it's... notes and take his, and you're like, oh, okay. I guess he really gave this a lot of thought. I... <laughs> Like also for for the for for the part with Saruman in 40, 4123, he says like there's no explanation, right? But in forty one fifty and forty two, 
That's that's like we must join with him. It would be wise, my friend. You could imply that there's a threat, right? I mean, come on, man. There's no you reason. Wrote, he says this is the you, reason. Yeah, you wrote <laughs> this down, like. Also, it is, it is quite obvious that every time, well, he 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 listens to the dialogue. He even writes it down at times, and then he literally just dismisses it. I highlight he's got. 5150, Frodo always sounds so feminine. Shampoo my hair, do my nails. That's the... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Lord of the Rings destroyed. I mean, what else, what right. can you say? I mean, if that's not a takedown, I don't know what is. Awesome shot, but if as if it landed on his finger. He's talking about when Frodo falls over and, and grabs oh, the ring yeah. with his finger. Okay. Alright, let's, let's continue, I guess. <laughs> Eight minute mark, the happened was that Frodo got a ring, made some mates, and went outside. I completely forgot that OAP fight that happened just a few minutes before, but still, that was all that had taken place. In fact, when compiling the script... I oh, what is this? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel it needs more. Can't think. You know them things in Fellowship that look like Dementors? Why is everything Harry Potter? Are they called <laughs> Riders? <laughs> They're the Nazgul. Sean B equals Boromir. Yeah, is it Frodo he fights in the Fellowship? That's memorable, I'm asking you. Lol, did you just not watch it? Yes, it is. I zoned out at the nine hour mark. Lol, well, like the did you watch it? It's like, You're a robot in pretty bad weekend. Yeah, I can't. Oh, really? Let, let me move yeah. us to Singapore a sec. Don't worry, chat. We'll be fine. Singapore will. As it always was. Alright, try again. <laughs> Hello, is it good now? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> the guy he's talking to also misspelled there. There, the Nazgul. Like. Well, but who. So the guy he's talking to. Like. <laughs> is like, well, did fucking... you just not watch it? Yeah, I don't... yeah that's funny. Like, well, did you try to watch it? <laughs> Also, like, I zoned out at the nine hour the mark, which is halfway through. Okay. Also, just out of curiosity, curiosity what, where are they, where are they talking on this? Because it's all in caps and it's all Wait. like. This kind of looks like Skype, right? Or is it someone else? Facebook? Like, but, I don't know. I don't know. Well, well it's just, it's, like, the, the font is like. Well, it's, it's a particular font and then it's all in caps. But I, I assume they're not, they're not, you know, they don't talk like that in chat to themselves, like all caps, do they? Customized. Just, just a minor yeah. thing. It's not, yeah. you know, it's not a big deal. I'm just, we are just curious as the what this is taken from. I had to ask my best friend who loves this movie about certain things in it because it was so memorable. I'd already forgotten what happened. Just a I don't give a fuck if you don't remember. Like, yeah, if you review it, you need to know what's in it. I don't, That's just like, like the the base bottom line. Yeah, like why why are we talking? Like I don't remember it. It's like okay. Then you need to watch it fucking again before you make a video on it, numbskull. Wait, so, like, so like the I don't remember it, though, that can be a valid argument if the premise he set up is that the plot moves too quickly. However, yeah. that's the exact opposite of what he fucking said yeah. two fucking seconds ago. You'd have to pick a film where the most important aspects of the film are like throwaway lines. And information and in general. Nothing right, is like. focused on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so bits in of that information sense, dropped in. Well, the prestige yeah, would be an example would... of someone being like, I couldn't remember all of the different. And I wouldn't really blame them for that. I would just be like, yeah, it's hard to keep track of it all, but you can do it. And that's almost because of information overload, because yeah. there's so much going on at, at any one time. Right. If you, if it, you say, you know, I forgot it because I was bored, it's like, okay. What? Oh, that's your yeah, fault. You yeah, like yeah, we can't do anything with that. Yeah, that's. Mm. Yeah, it's like no yeah. one would accept this from this is not what a reviewer needs to do if you're well, bored then you're just gonna have to get the fuck over it and learn your information because yeah you can make this argument about As every reviewer, film ever you can just be accurate there's not a there's not a story you can't make this argument for you're like yeah i was bored i didn't remember it like, okay you know, star wars is boring this is lord of the rings is boring fucking there are films i really like that down. i forget like all the details I mean, we rewatched the patriot and it was fucking great, and I forgot a lot of the stuff in that film happened, and it's good stuff. Good rat. <laughs> July 4th is the time to, to, to announce it, I'd say. Yay! For none now live who remember it. This lack of noteworthy events is a frequent thing throughout the films. The plot, which is already... 
I th I think hobbits leaving the Shire on a quest to save the world kind of noteworthy. I mean, and a lot of the stuff is made doubly noteworthy in hindsight. And I think when when we talk about the Shire in particular, why it takes them so long to get out of it is for starters to establish the fact that it connects us to this world in a meaningful way. It means a lot to the individual characters that are involved. It gives us something meaningful to get back to once it's all wrapped up. And it reminds us along the way. Remember that great, awesome place we were at the beginning? Well, the, the yeah, this yeah, is the also Shire. Spoiled. The Shire is the place we're supposed to care about the most. So it yeah. wouldn't make any sense to not spend so much time here. Also, and that's we, a failing of the we, new Star Wars movies. Because dude, we that... don't come back here until the very end. So like, like we gotta we're back home. We have, yeah, we gotta have like this feeling of we gotta get back home when this is over. Um, the so I'm I'm pretty much stuck at the position of like so noteworthy. It's like so the opening, that's pretty epic. The huge wall between what is essentially light and dark, and how dark hasn't been snuffed out just yet, and that's that's the world we're in, and most people have forgotten that this is even the case. Pretty foreboding, isn't it? It's like ooh, um, and I think earlier he even said it was an awesome scene. So I a little bit lost there, but like, no, noteworthy moments throughout fellowships, just like, man, there's, there's a lot to choose from. Um, I think most people yeah. would probably mention the, the, obviously Barmia's death, the cliffhanger of the end, the, everything in Moria, the Balrog arriving at Rivendell. A lot of these location shots are supposed to be awe-inspiring. So again, whether or not you pick them to be, like, big moments or not, it's really down to the person. I don't know. It's just lots of stuff here, and it feels it weird just, to argue what I remembered, you know? I'm just like, oh. It just establishes Middle Earth and that, the, you know, that is vast beauty and, nat and it, you know, it, it's full of nature. It's not, it, uh, it's, it's whatever. Yeah. Um... Ready, but it just goes on hiatus while they talk or walk and pad out filler time. There's literally no need for these to be three hours long. And no, Can it I just point out, like, all, all his comments and criticisms are, are the same like I, it's time to stop right like yeah he that's a, that's why i keep saying he just keeps yeah. repeating the same basically like yeah. four arguments over and over again well yeah. it's, everything's boring thin everything's lame everything's boring everyone's walking where are the cool fights that's basically <laughs> where the all cool where cool are the <laughs> where yeah. are the arrows to the chest where are the cool raiders and literal monsters where where are the monsters so they can fight like that's all oh god I feel like I could watch a mini series about just hobbits in the Shire doing yeah. hobbit things and like getting connected with individual hobbits and their relatively low stakes but personally very important projects. Don't yep. give Amazon ideas, Rax, please. <laughs> they can't fuck oh, that no. up, right? Yeah, they right? Fuck that. They just not like to say that is not a cool idea in his own right, but just don't give him ideas. Like, God. Bent because as explained, they're not talking about anything that could even build oh. tension. There's even a point. They're not they're talking about, about anything end that of can. The world. They're not they're... talking about anything that can bring tension. What? It's the like, the like world you said. I'm pretty. Fucking end if we yeah. don't destroy uh, this ring. Hey, they're discussing yeah, they're the end of the about world. Laundry. They're talking about laundry day. It's like, oh, you know those is... elvish linens. They oh, they're really light, but oh, not machine washable. Of course, which means they're dirty. Am I right, guys? No tension. Yes. Ugh. Why, why, why must you do this to it? Every th he's like establishes a moment or a scene, character, whatever, and then you'll just say the opposite of that thing. <laughs> Be like, well, there we go. It's like, but that's not what it is. Points where the big climax is about to happen, and it's all shot and edited like it's coming up, only to go back to more talking. I mean, I guess you could say. So they're chasing them at that point. That's what that is. Yeah. It's, it's scary that they're that close. Yeah, we are being pursued. Yes, we are being chased by people who want to kill us. This sets up the fact that they get caught up to. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. That's a, of... that's a big action scene at mm -hmm. the end of the film where an important character is killed. Oh my goodness. Tension, stakes, setup. Oh no. Yeah, that's that supposed good. to build suspense, but I'll see it as more of a cock tease considering this happens at the two and a half hour mark. How would that be a cock tease? Yeah. It's, it's the First, setup anything, to the big battle just, is about to yeah, come. You, anything, you just had the Balrog. Then. Like, yeah, the, the appropriate oh, analogy would be edging, not a cock tease. Yeah. Oh, yes. Cock tease, pretty gay, bro. Just, just saying. Just yeah, pretty, how can you uh, even call it a tease when you get everything you want? He's already talked about, like, Lurtz and Boromir's death being his, like, favorite things. Oh, oh my god.
Do you think he realizes that one of the reasons he might like Lurt so much is because, like, we saw Lurt's before getting pulled out of his ground apartment or whatever, and he was <laughs> set up, and he's super amazing and strong and whatnot? Like, and then he's we... a super... <laughs> like, he's from the basement. They just, they just grab him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to bother! Of course he does. Here, she turns into a demon and then goes right back to normal for no oh reason! God. No, she, no reason. So no ring. reason. The ring oh my she's God. wearing does that. She's no a reason. ring bearer. No she's reason. literally a ring bearer trying to fucking scare the shit out of Frodo. Well, she is. This is her test where she has successfully rejected yes. the temptation of the One Ring. Yeah. And this is it's, it's super scary for Frodo to see a woman like this be you know, be turned into that for a moment as she's fighting off the temptation and what it could mean for the world. Like, this is very impactful for Frodo a lot, but also for Galadriel. Like, it's a big deal. Even her, of all can people, can be seriously tempted by this ring. Can I just say, it's explicit. Once again, she, ex she delivers a speech about how she could be so powerful. She could be yep. in all control. And then once it's all over, she says, I believe something along the lines of, I've passed the test. Yeah, I passed the test. Yeah, yeah she, she basically says that, uh, yeah, she'd be stronger than the foundations of the earth and all she'll love and me in despair. It's... Yeah. Yeah, I'd be a big queen and everyone would fucking love me and they'd follow my TikTok and all that bullshit. Mm -hmm. and like, no, see, if, I don't want it. If you, want it. if you see a character like Frodo as the guy that hangs around and does nothing, the <laughs> scene would make no sense to you. I guess so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's just this angry lady here and she's like fucking spazzing out. She's going to some she's... shit. Like, what's up with that? Like, take your pills, am I right? <laughs> oh. It affects Women. nothing! The scene... It affects nothing. It affects oh. nothing! <laughs> Oh! Oh, except so, if Galadriel had fallen for the temptation of the ring, God it, everything knows what changes. Would have happened. Do you know what Galadriel everything gives changes. our team? She gives them weapons, tools, all of which get used. She even gives Gimli yeah, they hair. Get, they get a big buff. They get a big oh, yes. buff in this scene. Yeah. The fact that she doesn't fucking take the ring is incredibly important, but okay. Man, yeah, this is and, fun and, 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 to a degree. Again, keep just... up about it. Establishes why Frodo is the ring bearer. Why he has, to, why he alone has the task to do it, or has to have. You know, it's forced upon him. Yeah, it's, we, well, he, yeah, we keep reestablishing what the ring does to people. Frodo is not like volunteering for this because he thinks that he's going to get a free trip to Disneyland. You know, it's. <laughs> Though he should. <laughs> to be fair, he would be well, yeah, I mean, for most of the ride, so yeah, it would be a waste. Definitely. Yeah, he deserved the fast track pass too. Yeah, and Sam. And it's not Mary tall enough it. for the rides. Aww. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. The he, he should be. He should be exempted. They should add a booster seat for him. <laughs> yeah, booster seat. It begins booster and seat ends with the coaster. overall story not changing one single fucking. What do you mean? How would you know that? How could you know? Like we see these things play out. And he's okay, like, it would. Yeah, if Gladriel and Celeborn wanted to just take it from him, they would have done that. That would have changed the story in a dramatic fashion. No, because that's anything, not what happened. So therefore, it didn't matter. Oh, okay. Like, like the the special effect. Like if you want to like get really technical, if you want to say like the special effect, like because it was so um, abrasive or whatever. Like maybe it was a little. Uh, unnecessary, and you just needed to show her sort of like lust over the ring a little bit, and that's all you really needed well, think, for that moment. Yeah, portrayed her potential dark side. I don't know. Yeah. I, I always took it as just like fear the ring. It does. It, it may just look like a piece of jewelry, yeah. but that thing is fucked up. Yeah, even an elf who's lived this long and is this important and powerful and wise, even Galadriel can be corrupted by the ring. Yeah, I, I will want to point out as well that. Um, you you guys are familiar with who Tom Bombadil is, right? Yeah, I know of it. Right, okay. so yeah, 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 so yeah, Tom Bombadil gets cut from the films because Peter Jackson thought that it would uh, diminish the significance and the power of the ring because Tom Bombadil um, could literally put the ring on and just go, it's a piece of jewelry, ha ha ha, I don't give a fuck. Um, and I kind of, although I'm gutted that he wasn't in it because he's also, he is an interesting character in his own right in the story or the books, um, he does kind of like break the suspense or the or the the or the well the you know the evil of the ring. It it just it just becomes a oh so it's not actually 
it doesn't well it doesn't corrupt everything it just you know it it, it can it can just be it can just be worn by some people of course you know because he looks well he looks like a fat dancing bloke with a massive beard so it, it, again it kind of it doesn't well you know it, it, he's not he's not some well he, he is a magical creature but you know he is he's a humanoid so nobody I don't think audiences, especially non-book readers, would not they wouldn't they wouldn't get it. So I always think that, that that was a change that was actually for the better for the films. Um I think I think it could be interpreted as quite <laughs> yeah. strange for a lot of viewers who should be like, oh, huh, okay. Because the film definitely wants to make it clear the ring is not to be fucked with and it affects everything and everyone. That's some evil tism. This is the whole film! Tiny little plot, but then it's just pointless things happening! But people think they look cool, so it's deemed a story oh driven. God. <laughs> people think it looks cool, so it's deemed a story. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Legolas paddling that canoe is so fucking cool. <laughs> this is what people reference when they're like, dude, the coolest fucking moments of Lord of the Rings, paddling them fucking boats. set out boats. from Rivendell with those gay-ass canoes. It's so his cool, man, the way they paddle. Arguments Isn't just it make less and less sense as we yeah. progress through this. Yeah, we don't really need to do anything with this. We can just move on. It's just like... <laughs> but they have nothing to do with anything! It's so padded with filler, I mean... Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Ooh, he said the Balrog CGI looks fucking awful. Wow. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Yeah. Really? Pick a film from 2001 that looks better. No, the, the Balrog holds up. The, there's only one shot I know, I know, that I, I know think it, does. it I doesn't does. necessarily hold up, and it's when it's there's a shot where it's walking behind Gandalf. It looks there's there's criticism to be levied there to a degree, but the rest of it looks fucking amazing. Still, like if it released in a movie today, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Again, find me a better film. Well, find me a film that did CGI better in that time period. Maybe the um, Matrix. Maybe. <laughs> I like the I feel nothing when Gandalf dies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good for you, I guess. Fuck face ducks under arrow that was five feet above his head. So if uh, an arrow is heading towards you and it is five it. feet above you still, ducking is still not unwise. Just gonna oh, yeah, put it out there, lads. Also, that means he knew about that and he still questioned why they didn't save him? I, I really don't think he understands what's happening because the notes for the Galadriel scene, he goes... She turns into a fucking demon. What is going on? Then she goes back to normal. What was the purpose? Like, he's, not paying <laughs> he's not paying attention, guys. Like, also, look, he's got, we should go back. How? You're surrounded by arrows. Didn't he, in this video, question why they didn't save Gandalf? Uh, didn't, 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 did that oh, happen yeah, or are we making did. that up? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Sorry, what, sorry, what was it? There was a point, I could have sworn, I might be wrong, but I remember supplying the defense that the reason they didn't save Gandalf was because they were getting s surrounded by goblins firing arrows. Yeah. And then he and said in, this, in these notes, we should go back. How? You're surrounded by arrows. Yeah, well, well you said that they ditched him. And again, it's, it's no, it, it, was, it was a sacrifice. It, Gandalf told them to fly, like, you know, run. Yeah, because we, we, so, yeah, we did more than just the one argument, so... Also, yeah, well, we should yeah, go yeah. back is from, um, I, can't, I can't remember which character says it, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's perfectly reasonable, like, to be like, we should, we should do something about it. Well, yeah, hey, you know, Gandalf might need our help. Yeah, yeah and, and of course, the, the, the rational thing is like, no, we have to push on. And, yeah. uh, the, the it's, a, it's, it's, a punctua it's a punctuation, so that when some idiot comes along and says they do nothing for no reason, it's like, no, there was a reason. That, that there was an understanding that that was the better thing to do. Oh my god, dude, it says no point to this. Dragged out shots of their faces, dragged out everything. It's showing them reacting to losing fucking Gandalf. Yeah, they're, they're all in despair. Please don't Ryan Johnson this and be like, we know they're sad, we don't need to see the reaction. It's like, they're, all, <laughs> they're all grieving. All of them. Like, in their own ways, you know, it's, you know, Frodo and the Hobbits, like, you know, are definitely more emotionally affected than, like, say, Gimli was, but they're, they're all grieving. What the fuck are you saying all about? One by one, it will destroy them all. She's talking about the franchise. Dude, Lord of the Rings as a franchise did phenomenally. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, he, he, well, yeah, he even pointed that Look out at this. Start how successful it was. White wizard oh, well. talks to awesome-looking mud person. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah. Well, at least it, first off, it's person of mud. So let's <laughs> let's tone it down a bit, dude. And it's not even in the books. So what is is? Are you insinuating Jackson's a racist? Is that is that what you're gonna? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just—I'm a big fan of mud people. I hate this video. <laughs> too, too <laughs> awesome mud person. <laughs> All right, these these notes are next level. Uh, please point out where at one point did like the fucking anyone in the film like discriminate against orcs as mud people. <laughs> <laughs> such a such a weird experience. This video. Just look at the actual notes I made whilst watching. We did. They're horribly <laughs> bad. These are bad notes. <laughs> these notes bad, are. Man. These yeah, are. Honestly, they have. Oh, they're worse than worthless because they're just bad. Very funny though. Very insightful. Oh my yeah. mind! I was so frustrated that Jackson couldn't fathom storytelling anymore. When you make a film, each oh, scene oh. has a purpose. Right. Uh -huh. A reason to uh -huh. exist. Yeah, okay. Well, that, that's uh -huh. why they're there. When you write yep. a scene, you're like, okay, this scene happens, so this makes sense. Yeah, that's this what scene this happens, film so, so, so this. Can I, I agree with him fully. Let's see what he's gonna he's gonna conclude It'll on. Take yeah. place later. In this movie, there is a scene where its purpose is for the heroes to realize the ring must be taken to Mordor to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. It lasts oh. eight minutes. Okay. No, so there's the a lot more going on in that scene than just the purpose that. Purpose establishes yeah. so much. They, he literally complained that they spent so much time doing exposition in this scene. What, so between us, what gets achieved in this scene wholly? I would say like we get character work for pretty much everyone. Yeah. Like, it shows the corrupting influence of the ring, also. Yeah. Like, it, it revels in people fighting over it. Um, yeah, we have we have a bit of back and forth as to what to do with the ring, because it's, yeah. not, just, it's not instantly concluded, destroy it. As, so, as Boromir pointed out, let's use it, and then yeah. we have to explain why that's a bad idea. And, and also, so, and also the fact that Frodo volunteers yeah, that wasn't yeah. this is what I mean about known. like that nobody at that at that conversation knew that a Hobbit was going to volunteer to carry the ring. Yeah, and it, and it works that it's a Hobbit because all the other races have issues with each other, but nobody really cares about Hobbits. Nobody believes the Hobbit is going to do it because it's for their own interests. It's like everyone's yeah, like, yeah. Oh. I remember, if I remember, it it kind of takes a, a shot from Frodo's perspective, and he sees all of them sitting in a circle squabbling, and then he goes, "I'll take it, I'll yeah. take the ring." You of course get Baromir saying they should use it against Sauron, which is very, very like I said, this this is establishing who Baromir is and what he cares about. Very important. Yeah, I mean, you know, the if, fact if, that if, they're all willing to work together to defeat it because this thing is more detrimental to everyone than it is to any like singular faction or area of uh, Middle Earth. Like, there's so much going on, and yeah. it pains me that he's oh, like, yeah, we, "You could have just had them say we gotta take it to Bordor, good." Yeah, it's characters, it's stakes, it's all kinds of different things. It shows how deadly and evil the One Ring is. It gets everyone to bicker. It almost instantly corrupts Boromir as he approaches it the first time. It gets his contrast with Aragorn. We are introduced to Gimli and Legolas and Boromir as characters. It shows the hobbits and them banding together. It establishes the Fellowship. It goes into Gandalf's uh, using the black speech of Rivendell for the first time. It, there's a the lot of The black speech of Rivendell. Rivendell. No, of, of no the Black Speech in Rivendell. Oh, I thought you said of Rivendell. Ah, I was okay. like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 no. no yeah, no, absolutely right. The black. It's, it's eight um, minutes. A lot happens. I would downright argue that this scene is efficient with its time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this scene is absolutely a and lot. And there's a lot happens. of visual well, this storytelling. Is, this, is, this is the most, this is the pivotal scene. So, I mean, oh, yeah. if... Any well, yeah, scene the, deserves yeah. to be long. Though. We go if from one movie scene, to another movie with this scene. This establishes the name scene, of the film. Yeah, yeah this deserves is the, to be long. This yeah. is the one. This is the weird the Suicide Squad scene of the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. Like, are, <laughs> yeah. are we some sort of Fellowship of the Ring? I don't remember that. <laughs> <thing about that. laughs> Gimli goes, oh, we're some sort of Fellowship of the Ring now? Oh, that perfect yeah, some movie. Kind of this, suicide Squad. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Minutes. It's that when the shiny miniseries does it, it's awful. Fuck the conversation. You can say this in four. Why is nostalgia I'm not critic Doug your? Walker. I'm not this guy. That's his barometer for what people think of things. Like, okay, we haven't even did this like, one guy say it. I don't think we've even covered nostalgia critic on the 93 episodes of EFAP yet. We're getting there. It'll happen. Yeah, we <laughs> maybe came close once, but yeah, oh, I don't no. think so. 
words, we're stuck bunnies. Why is that so hard? But here, it's okay. Eight minutes, I can have sex four times. I, I was gonna, oh, okay. oh wait! I, 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 I don't want to lose off. You haven't had it once. But that's <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, go ahead. Well, that's why he said uh, can. Does it? Does anyone get the vibe that he? Yeah. Uh, his big inspiration is Doug Walker. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I, yeah. I would say he's uh, Doug Walker's like a strange son but, at this point with his style. I like, like, I, like after the skit at the start, I'm getting an impression that uh, that's uh, that's who he, uh, you know looks up to. His hero. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I, um, I guess we've been over it, so let him continue saying this scene has nothing in it. He's wrong. Time's yeah. in that time! And this is the scene that sets up the entire adventure, and it takes place at the hour and a half mark! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> This is the scene that sets up the whole adventure. It's too long. Oh, I wanna, there's so much wrong with this. First of all, the adventure <laughs> started before this started. There's just... Like, we're going to Rivendell. That is that is significant for anyone in Hobbiton, alright? That's that's the way this these story, the, the three films go. The scale just keeps getting higher and higher. Um, secondly, fucking, it takes, like, till the end of the film to even talk about destroying the Death Star in A New Hope. How shit is that? Yeah, yeah. I guess... At the two and a half hour mark! <laughs> it's <laughs> like, yeah, that's New Hope. point of the movie! Yeah. TLJ introduces the big bad supremacy right at the beginning. It's way better. Yeah. The Does fucking 90 minute mark! It takes a feature length time to get the goddamn fucking- Chill out, yeah, bro. Yeah, because, 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 because I'm sorry to say, these films are worth it. They are fucking well, worth building up to this point. Yeah, even if what he said was true. It would still it's be like, worth it. But like, I like plenty of films that are only an hour and a half long. That you know, that, you know, like you know, scene by scene by scene. You know, quick, 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 done, done, done. You know, I, 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 there's plenty of good ones that do that. Some films this... can take their sweet ass time. In fact, you well, know, if we if we can binge watch TV shows that last for fucking hours and hours and hours, why can't films? It, well, is, it, is it literally just? Yeah. So here's the oh, thing, on, though. On, though on, yes. So now I'm gonna go back on what I said before. Is that this is. This is one of those moments where you do need to remember that this is a three movie structure. So yes. you don't want the scene that sets everything up to be right at the beginning. That that in the first doesn't... tenth of the series. Well, in the like, same way we... that the ending isn't five minutes, ten minutes, twenty, because it's ending so, three so films. Th so like structurally, this works best as the pivot point into the third act in the first film because it's still like a first act moment in the trilogy but but we get time to get invested in the characters and the adventure before we even know like how difficult it's going to be and that frodo is going to be the one that makes the sacrifice or well that, i mean you, know, you can even say in this stuff. You could even say that it helps to this first it's basically the first sixth is what we have here and the next five sixths of the series is them after this point. And even then, in that first segment, the first half of the first movie, we get establishment of world building, our care for the characters, the stakes, and all that stuff that's really, really important. And if you don't have that, then you get the sequel trilogy where I don't care about the world or the characters. So nothing really means anything after that point. You gotta nail those things, especially in the beginning, yeah, he, to get me on board. His criticism implies the adventure ends at the end of the first film. So it doesn't. It's yeah, like we still... started! And what was that about? Lisa Schwarzborn? What a fucking stupid name, anyway. Never lingering for the okay. sake of wow. admiring its own beauty. Oh my God. Who's your cocaine dealer? Because I sure as hell need his I number. Like... Man, I just because he's never Schwarz to bomb doesn't mean you gotta make fun of it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Cinematic Venom, stupid name. <laughs> Literally taken means Words nonsensical. The movie does nothing but show off the countryside and puts everything else on hold. It's like someone's whispering in Jackson's ear. Didn't he compliment this at the beginning? What yeah, he, talking about? the model. Maybe it was just the, the the technical aspect he was complimenting, like the models and stuff. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, so Peter, it, should we write more to, story? No! <laughs> Pretty sights, pretty sights. Let's just put loads of shots of New Zealand. It's it, a fucking. What uh, is Alex? What is an establishing shot? I, he's 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 flipping out, man. <laughs> and he's literally looks cool. Literally as fuck. complaining about establishing shots.
Because if he yeah, didn't have this just, shot, you know what he'd be doing? He'd be going, where are we? What the fuck is this? Where are we? He'd be doing that instead. Well, yeah, if I mean, we look at the still right here of Rivendell, just from this shot, you go, man, I sure don't want this place to be destroyed and overrun by orcs. Like, what an amazing, well, idyllic, wonderful place this is. Yeah, let's let's go film critic mode. Sue, so what is this shot telling you? It's like it's bathed in sunlight. Well, it's, 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 it seems pretty it's hidden, a, it, safe, also, and warm. Yeah, it's a hidden it's a hidden spot. So like, the the thing is like, when we cut to the hobbits here, it's like, don't worry, we're safe. It's like in a Rivendell. Checkpoint. It's a nice it's a nice hidden place. Yeah. Well, wouldn't it be nice to see? how it's hidden so we don't just like have to stone. guess but look at the like there's more going on than just oh my god bored of the of the water and trees <laughs> it's like okay all right buddy yeah uh. you don't like there's a reason they would have had this shot beyond just hey we got to establish where rivendell just put some picture on there yeah I don't know. this is where our characters are this is where the story is taking place like really really basic shit and it's more than just fucking just trying to show off how beautiful New Zealand is as a country. Come on. It is nice. Holiday commercial! Hurry, Peter! No, no, no! Pretty get a helicopter! You're complaining about it's this? Not story. Establishing shots are not story. We're, we're shown the architecture because we don't even know. We need. So I'm getting a little bit confused now. Like, why, we don't even. What, why kind of Mori is so <laughs> memorable is because of the, like, that great hall with the endless pillars going into the dark. Like, wow. Like, what a place. Like, th That's this insane. Is, this is an action <laughs> scene, though. Like, he's like, oh, <laughs> stupid shots. It's like, what do you mean? Like, yeah. I was also going to say, you can distinctively um, point out and observe the differences between dwarven architecture and elves. Dwarves live underground, and you see all well. You see, you see all the imagery and, and the, everything that they have down here. Elves, they live completely different well lives up in fucking well dreamlike fantasy places. Yeah, the the architecture of dwarves is very rigid. It's very ordered. It's extremely organized. It's utility it's, uh, instead of beauty. Yeah, very utility based. It's very it's blocky. It's 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 like Minecraft world. And then you yeah, go yeah, yeah. into Rivendell, and things are bendy and they flow and they're they're with natural, nature. You have yeah, houses, they don't cut you have houses built in trees. It, it's yeah. they're, they're, they are one with nature, whilst dwarves are underground. Under, well, they're underground. Yeah, they have uh, to make is. the caverns, and they make things, and they cut into the world, and they assert dominance that way. It's yeah. very tell, great, great contrast. And you don't need to read the backstory. You don't need to read the Similarion or any fucking else. You can just literally tell by the fucking shots. But oh no, we gotta show off. <laughs> to do more crane fuck it fuck it who needs a story who needs a script i'm fucking dope for this review was he just reading the from his phone then for that like i don't it's it's getting weird because it's just like so the one you just highlighted is like there's no story it's like so they're exiting moria because they're being chased by a foul fire demon that was awoken by a bunch of dwarves that were too greedy and dug too deep and it was it was a place that cuts them right through uh kahadras which is where they want to get past in order to get to their goal what what is, what about that's not story? Yeah, because they're uh, they're doing all of this as part of a quest that they have to do to do this one thing, and they've established what the stakes are and what we're trying to save. I like what is story I, to this person? How would you have done it? Yeah, define story. <laughs> Help me out, because I'm getting confused. We won. What? Oh. Fuck this script. What the fuck? The director didn't give a shit! Fucking just- just- You okay? <laughs> it really is. The director on, didn't give a shit. Wow. Hang on. Um, that is like the last thing you could accuse Peter Jackson of. I don't, like, never heard uh, never heard that before. He looked kind of like actually pissed and what we've seen so far doesn't support this reaction. I'm just like, what's wrong? Are you okay? I mean, like, I would, even as much as I hate TLJ and think it's an abortion of cinema, I would never <laughs> say that that sure. Ryan Johnson didn't care. Yeah, he cared. Yeah, yeah. You know, he, he cared about the wrong things, but he, he did care. Yeah. What a, all right, well. <laughs> I wish spend it all on, on crane shots! Who gives a fuck about writing? Just crane get the fuck You don't shot. spend money on a script as a writer. You just, you write. It's time. Yeah. Not money. You need time and skill. You know how much like buying buying successful writers really is going to get a guarantee of shit the script. Also, story is established by a fucking book series. It's so strange. Like, 
I'm looking <laughs> through the... Top, oh. he, he, right, what is it? Get to the job. I forgot. I'm fucking movie quotes now. And then just, who cares? You know, who cares about writing anymore? Do you remember when, when people cared about the story? Like, yeah, it's I not these days. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, love, I love. You like the Last Jedi, mate? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What does he mean? Like, it's like Lord of the Rings was a really good time in terms of oh man, writing. Remember that? Good old two thousand one through three. <laughs> writing two thousand one through three. Rep. Like, like, La 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 Land, nominated for Best Original Screenplay. It's got the most overdone fucking story in the history of the galaxy! J -j -j no one cares about original story, I don't understand! This book, this book is cancer. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, man. Like, he's right. kinda, I, all I hear is re... Uh, yeah, I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let him move right along, I guess. <laughs> You okay? <laughs> you dying? Oh, no! I think I have established I'm not. I, I'm not it's like, I'm well, not. since you asked, no, I'm not. No, I am not okay. <laughs> I am very bothered by this. How? You know Grimo's not in here? Okay. Yeah, that's a shit, actually. I mean... I'm sorry. Um... Camera's out of focus. That. Let's continue. It's weird that, like, the background is always focused and not him. I think the camera doesn't want to, you know. Like... Well, you could turn off autofocus. No. Camera. I'd like oh. to think, that, yeah, the camera doesn't like him. I'd like to think yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, I agree with that idea. <laughs> and this is almost every scene! How oh, look at that glorious moment there. Uh, it's already off screen now, right. but okay. I was wanting more! I was screaming for the closing credits an hour and a half in! The okay. <laughs> Okay. Right. Still waiting for another argument. Sorry. We're still, we're still just throwing random things. Sorry, out your now. ADD doesn't mesh well with the Lord of the Rings, my dude. Funny mm. enough, that that's also my sentiment about this video. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the movie is just like, constant padding and constant filler for no reason. One of them. <laughs> that's your fucking review. <laughs> No he keeps saying things like a criticism and then he'll end it with for no reason. And it's always, always like, no why do you keep reason. saying that? They it's... want to destroy a ring for no reason. <laughs> They're walking and talking for no reason. No reason. <laughs> oh look, elves, they've got pointy ears for no, for no reason. reason. <laughs> oh, hobbits are so short for no reason. The white man with the <laughs> mud Island people is okay. evil for no reason. <laughs> He is just so fucking dense. I'm just gonna say. The first For no reason. lessons you learn is <laughs> less is better. Writing 875 pages doesn't make it better writing. It makes it lazier, if anything, because although it took you better writing, it makes it better oh. writing. How would, how would that be lazier? <laughs> what? Hold Making your horses there. Pages is lazy. Now he's saying J.R.R. Tolkien's lazy. <laughs> he's literally he's a human Tolkien. Is he a troll? Lazy. Is he a troll, guys? It has to be. <laughs> oh, man. It can't be real. Look, you're just not this listening to his arguments, real. okay? You just can't count to them. Tolkien survived the trenches of the Great War to get this guy's fucking video. If you <laughs> think about it, writing 800 pages is lazy. <laughs> That's why my script is only like half of one, because I work hard. <laughs> I hate it. I have so much hate. <laughs> right, you couldn't convey that message in fewer. You needed to stretch it out as long as possible when it wasn't necessary. Clearly that's not as long as possible. All right, so let's, if I was him, God, I'm already shivering at the thought, but if I was him, <laughs> And I had my terrible opinions and horrible hairline, and I was trying to convince everybody that I was correct about these movies. Then I would say, here's an example. This scene and this scene are totally redundant, and here is why you don't need to have both of these scenes, and it's too long. That's what I would do if I was him. That would be my attempt to convince people. I highly doubt he's actually going to do that. Because all this is surface level. There's no... There, there's no point where he dives in and really explains things it's just a lot of assertions and claims with no, nothing to back it up for no reason <laughs> well it's for because no reason. He's, he's not lazy he's yeah, not yeah. like J.R.R. Tolkien he's not lazy like that guy yeah 
800 pages, what a lazy fuck. <laughs> <sighs> Almost very. And yes, it. I got this impression with the books as well. I feel like they were oh. just as poorly written, unnecessarily padded out, and the dialogue just as. Oh, no. oh boy. I'm going for the books, boys. You're going for the books. So you here. have chosen death. Yep. Yep. Don't even yep. want to go there. We're just like. All right. Nope. Just... Nope. No. No. God. Jesus Christ. This is wooden and phony. They're the way. The movie even has a six minute intro! Six minutes! Didn't he compliment it? Oh no. Wait. What? Wait, so how long is an intro allowed to be? Just question mark. Hey, here, let me double hey, check. It, I got my file open. Six, six minute intro in a three hour movie is. Bad. Hey, hey, here's a thing. Alien? You guys remember Alien? It takes I like do. fucking like seven odd minutes until a character says anything. That's and bad. The yeah. intro is amazing. But, including, uh, including intro like um, logos, it's pretty much seven and a half minutes, and then we zoom in on Bilbo in the Shire. So yeah, so that's that's too much, right? Check. Can you check your book of how long things have to be? Because we often get told things are either too long or too short with no qualification. Uh, and I, I'll I'll freely admit as well, right? I did think that. Um, before Frodo sets off leaving the Shire, it does take ages. I, I I'll really admit that in the books, but if it's just the the film the films the, the films do cut down things and but for I, no I reason. <laughs> considering he is he is making out he's read the books, I don't I, I don't fucking believe it. I don't fuck he, he can even watch the like if he, if the films were so boring and so uninteresting for him to keep forgetting, how the fuck could you read the books? Because they're way longer again. There's no fucking chance. He would ne He must have read. Like, if if he read the book, it would have been fucking cliff notes on someone's fucking stupid, you know, bloody uh, li literature page or something. There's no fucking way he read the books. I don't fucking believe it for a second. He, he, he didn't watch the films apparently. So the, the, I, well, I, I I cannot. I I. He's lying. <laughs> he's I'm lying. fucking saying it. Like I said, he's man, he watched lying. the trailer. It's just the trailer. The intro, there's something from the intro. I think that's what he saw. He saw the trailers, and that's all he's gone by. Which, you know, fair enough. I, I can't see you doing much better. If you, well, actually, no. <laughs> if you, you could probably praise the trailers. I assume the trailers are pretty good, actually. I just, you know, I've watched them in so long. Minute. No one saw my movie. I'm sure it will come back and bite me in the ass if I don't mention it. My film had a six minute intro. But the difference is, that was made uh, uh, when I had no uh, idea about how filmmaking uh, worked. <laughs> What? I won't what? Watch he's the still got the. He's what? got holes in his wall. He lives in squalor. <laughs> what? Is, that, oh what is this argument? What is this? Nonsense? What is this argument? Oh, what is this argument? This movie. Like, was sh this movie's bad because it has a six-minute intro. For example, my movie had a six-minute <laughs> intro, and I'm see, terrible I'm an at making movies. I'm, not lazy. I'm, I'm awful. Terrible. Don't do what I do. <laughs> like what? Like what is that argument? For no I, reason. <laughs> I don't understand this argument. Don't compare yourself to fucking Jackson or Tolkien. What? You're, 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 you're in my <laughs> What? 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 Like, I, gotta, I gotta admire his Bro. gumption, though. Like, yeah, he, he just compared. Yeah, he's right. He just compared himself to fucking Peter Jackson. <laughs> John yeah, I'm just I'm baffled. It's like, I know it's bad because I did it when I was bad. <laughs> okay. What are we watching? Also, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to watch your movie. I'm going to watch The Lord of the Rings again. Just to yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm morbidly curious about his movie. No, it's not. No. Rags, Rags, I'm warning you. I From this, just this scene, I, I don't think it's a fun experience. Look, look at the cinematography. Yeah, the, look at the, the windows. You see, yeah, you see the picture. It, it, we get a piece of the environment. We get the dirty hole in the wall. We get the <laughs> dirty rest of the wall. We get the fucking radiator. We get the electrical panel behind his head. We get the right. Coca Cola can on the t It's we all. This is world building. I was about to say this it's is like world it's like we we would actually assume if this was a film we'd be like oh look at what we're being told while he would be like what. <laughs> what do you mean? What's He's this got a second chair in the room, as if there will ever be another person in there. I mean, there's so much to pull from this. He, I'm, t I'm telling you, man, it is mm, this guy. <laughs> keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on him.
Uh, uh, Alice just said that we need to get free to save for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> and poor schmuck on the internet. This was by Peter Jackson, a real professional director who- So it means you know fuck all about what's working here or not. Thanks yeah, for I, confirming I, that. I don't- I don't know what point did you say Jackson was one of his favorite directors, or did you just say that he made two of his favorite films? Because uh, one of them was, um... Yeah, he made two. He made two. Yeah. Ugh. Fuck yeah. <laughs> mm. You can make us do cartwheels through fly vomit whilst reciting songs from High School Musical wearing outfits from Top Cat in the snow with Lil Wayne as a backup dancer and everyone would still praise it as being genius! No. No. Oh. Yes. No. no, that was funny. That was a joke. No. Oh, that was a joke? Oh, I yeah, think, wait. yeah, I think that's wait. probably what I was, I think. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha. Yeah. Um, <laughs> truly, truly a funny joke. So, th this is the thing. If you go through each, like, ten-second stretch of the intro piece by piece, pretty condensed, it tells you a lot quickly. Yes. Setting the stage. But they were all of them deceived. The ending is more dragged out than Face Off, and even has eight minutes of closing credits as if they have- Really? We're complaining about credits now. Credit? Uh. <laughs> credit? Even the credits are too long. Man, Peter Jackson was a dipshit. He just yeah. said he should have worked he on this. He should have <laughs> fired more people. Yeah. But then there would they, be a they, fired they people section people on the credits. Long. Staggering, honestly. And soak the life out of us enough already. This is the only other sequence that actually attempts to build some character and story development whatsoever. The only one uh, worth. No, it's, oh, it's not Wormir's death. Why, it's not. Why is this the one? It's not story development, though. It's well, it, this is so weird. These categories are so strange. So this scene is Gandalf teaching Frodo that you don't just arbitrarily kill. That yeah. You need to, you know, weigh it up, make the choices, and to show pity and uh, spare people's lives where you can, and that shows strength. Like, it's a big old character building moment. Like, the idea that, because he said, like, a super story moment or something, I just, I, I, it's uh, category-wise weird to me, but okay. But again, like, this is throughout the films, like, meaningful stuff like this, and he only seems to pick up on some of them. That and cool, cool mud people, that seems to be his, his jam. Mm. Well, if you take any scene from this movie, and I tried to find out beforehand what his opinion on it would be, I would have no clue. No, I would be I, just rolling the dice dude, at that point. Yeah, I, I, know, I was I expecting know. him to be I, like, I, they get lost at a at a fork in the road, if you will, with, with three <laughs> options, and it's just a waste pointless. of time. They all sit around Wait, for no what? reason. The America, but that's it, and it's nearly two hours in. The beginning in particular has such weird directorial choices. For instance, Gandalf gets a ridiculous amount of extreme close. Did you see the difference in all of those right. shots? They they explicitly right. show you his current state of mind. Yeah. This is after he's discovered that the greatest power and evil and weapon in the world is in Frodo's chest. He's fucking terrified. <laughs> he wants to sort this yeah, out. Well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't he like go? Where did you hide the ring? Is like, it secret? Is, he, is, is it safe? Secret? <laughs> yeah. he, like he's he's hoping that Frodo didn't just go. Oh yeah, no, no I tr I traded it for some turnips. If the camera know? had taken three meters of steps back and showed him grab Frodo and go, is it secret? Is it safe? We'd, we'd be like, oh, what's going on? I guess he's upset. Yeah, okay. But if you zoom it right in, he fills up the whole frame. Gets you right in that emotional space of being stressed. Yeah, yeah like blessing, when yeah. when somebody's face fills the screen, it means the their face is important. No, it's just bad filmmaking. Yeah. No, it's just weird yeah. directorial decisions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weird. What I can't think of any reason why they would do this. It's so weird. Yeah, there were no face close-ups in the book. Yeah, how did? <laughs> 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 that would be funny. Asterisk, Got like it. imagine the camera getting really close to this character's face as they say that. <laughs> in the in the book, their face fills the screen. You're like, what? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Tol Tol Tolkien wrote, "Reader, put your book to your face." When you're reading <laughs> Every conversation ends with fade to black. Fade to black. <laughs> Roll so, credits so and it's just one dramatic or intense and yet let's have a look. Oh, so again, no. so this shot is him saying Frodo will decide our fate. 
and you yeah. get to see his exact state of mind about this. He's relatively content with leaving it in Frodo's hands because Frodo is trustworthy. And it's cold as fuck. Also, yeah, it's cold. His beard's all icy. Look at his wrinkled old mug. So when we do genuinely see tense moments like this, which builds up to a close-up, it doesn't mean anything because we've had a dozen before- Wow. Oh. oh. Did he just dismiss okay. everything? It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't make sense for no reason. Is it? Is that literally what, what he has wow. been? I'm telling you. No, no what, he's, yes. what he's saying is that that first close-up you have in your film, it better be the most fucking important close-up you ever had. Because every close-up after this is going to mean less and less and less. Because that's how that works. For example, yeah, showing a shot of characters walking, the first one, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Second one, I'm not feeling it. Third one, mm. ooh, now we're in bad territory. Mm. Walking just hurts to see. Yeah, I, that's, all, that's all we do is just, we just walk. So. For no reason. <laughs> no reason. For and after it. And the weird that actors only get a few, so I think Peter Jackson secretly has an Ian McKellen fetish or something. Uh, ding, another... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it, what is this gay panic like? <laughs> so weird. Not to mention that, yeah. Dude. Not to mention that he is gay. So it's just like, y y y are you? Uh, what are you trying to get at, you mate? Gay <laughs> yeah. wizard. Well, nothing wrong with a bit of schling schlong. Just test it out. I'd say he doesn't need to be afraid. Man knows his way around. Uh... Oh, never mind. You get the. Also, it's just just random thing. It still blows my mind that Sean Connery could have been Gandalf. And he thought it was too stupid to be Gandalf. Well, he thought the story, he thought the whole thing was stupid, so he didn't he didn't take the part. Well, you just imagine Sean Connery as Gandalf. I don't know. Maybe it could have worked. It would you never be as good as Ian McKellen. More, more. <laughs> Try you four. Fuck Try. you, four dragon. <laughs> Yay. It's, it's just one of those what ifs, but it's just, it's just it, it, it was. It, it dwells on my mind daily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, children, this is a story about a great filmmaker called Peter Jackson. He used to write great stories with great dialogue. But one day, he discovered a book. And all was lost. Destroy it! Oh, another close-up! Wait, are you advocating that he should have destroyed Lord of the Rings books instead of adapting them? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I think he's saying that the source material is bad, also. Like, the set. They're so well made, and yet we spend so much time staring up Gandalf's nostrils that we really can't appreciate them enough. Okay. We can't appreciate. It's the them same enough point again. So. What? what? I don't know. Pain. It's just pain. Okay. He's just repeating his oh, points for no this reason. reason. No. Uh, uh, Lord of uh, the Rings fans live because they can't get any pussy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, but if. You, you're, you know, you aren't exactly the sex symbol of our age. You no, know, like, I know. So I don't, I don't know if it, it is. I don't know if I, questionable I don't wardrobe, know. dirty ass room, uh, horrible hairline, <gasps> bad accent. I, I just don't know. I just how, how, don't know. How, how many, um, how many girls would you take back into that room without the hole in the wall? And do you think the girls would be like, <laughs> yep? It's probably he, he probably has holes in the walls because that's where he buried them. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. It's a joke! It's a joke! In addition, these characters yeah. just burst into spouts of random laughter over nothing at all! What the oh hell my god! god. For no this reason! Is literally, can't help this itself, is literally you? the reuniting of two close friends. For no reason! <laughs> they love each other for no reason! He like really can't help himself. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has no self awareness. This is again set up. How can you, you possibly the assess? Hobbit, this is for no reason. Seen, if you haven't seen the Hobbit, then you know in this one scene, these two are kindred spirits. That's all you need to know. Correct me if yeah, I'm they're wrong, they're, they're, but he asks long, who's long, there, yeah. and he says an old friend. And it's yeah, like well, Gandalf, yeah, well, and then they embrace, and they laugh, and they're happy. Oh, it's Gandalf, yeah. my friend! Yeah. Yay! Yeah, because he goes, how about an old friend? And then he's like, oh, oh, not one of those dickheads who wants money off me, or yeah. my, you know, my, my fucking grieving oh, Sackville Baggins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then... Yeah, what the just... hell are you laughing at? I mean... Hey, Rob, do you want a drink? Oh my oh, god, no. hello. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Put him away. <laughs> I don't even know... What? <laughs> <laughs> Even his guest doesn't like him. No. <laughs> his guest is like, why'd you make me do this? 
Oh, my goodness. What unfortunate facial hair. Yeah, drink will be fine, thanks. Okay, cool. I'll do that now. I don't like, know if that guy needs to be story, drinking. I just cannot on, get invested. He, he wanted to make a drink joke, but he 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 couldn't be bothered to get the. It comes in pints. He he, he couldn't get that in. Couldn't yeah, get that well, in. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, that would have been. I'm, I'm disappointed. Infinity honestly. hadn't seen the film, so come on. Did <laughs> it? <laughs> it's not that I have anything against the fantasy genre. I love Harry Potter. I love Legend of Zelda. But right away, this loses my interest. Oh, yeah, Why did he like bring a... up Legend of Zelda? Who cares? Why? Well, Stop. he said like it's not that I hate fantasy. It's like nobody would have assumed this as like. Oh, I... yeah. Stop. I like Harry oh, Potter. I like keeps Legend doing of this. Zelda. He keeps listing things he likes, but they're such arbitrary lists. They're not informative to like the Weird. conversation. It's in the same way. category as him being like, I didn't feel anything in this scene. I was bored here. This is something I like more than this one. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I don't care. Mm. All of that's useless. So bland and wooden that I just can't get invested into any of it. And you know, I really tried to enjoy this. I really did. Mm, I don't believe you. Did you? <laughs> doubt did you. Yeah, did I, you I'm doubt. gonna press X to doubt on that one. Cat, can you get an X to it, doubt? It's an adventure about jewelry. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's even worse even, than I what can't. we fucking said. It's, it's an adventure about jewelry. <laughs> 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 he, actually, he actually ruined us on the, the oversimplification of the Yeah, because he beat me out. Didn't I say, like, they have to destroy a rig? Uh, he's yeah, destroy an adventure, adventure about, about jewelry. jewelry. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. at least yours is worse because you have, like, a goal in mind. This is just <laughs> open to interpretation. Oh it's just God. an adventure of... Like concerning jewelry in some way. It, it's wow, like that could how be anything. It's like how you describe a Barbie straight to DVD movie. Like it's, <laughs> it's an adventure about jewelry. <laughs> like, uh, basically, <sighs> as a, as the eldest of four who have watched many, many, many Barbie movies that were released straight to DVD. Oh, they wow. are basically adventures about jewelry. <laughs> Lord of the Rings is a, is a movie about jewelry intended for children, I guess. <laughs> My god. Jewelry intended for hobbits. What, like, do we even have to just, just pick a movie? We do, we can do this to it, it's not hard. I'm sorry, I any of that seriously. I don't care if you take it seriously. It's... Like the There's space literally, thing. literally people killing each other with swords and shields. No bother. Doesn't bother me. Harry Potter has people with little sticks waving them at each other and saying words to make magical things happen. Patronum. How utterly ridiculous. I can't possibly take that seriously. Wingardium. At least jewelry is cool <laughs> compared to little little sticks. Like who the fuck cares about sticks? Stupid. I hate it. It's the worst. You're a hobbit, Frodo. Oh, and someone's just highlighted, is yeah, the MCU, so that's just entirely about jewelry, I guess. A big gauntlet with jewels in it. Ah, but it's multiple jewelry. It's ah, jewelry. and it's goldeny. <laughs> well, I guess the ring's goldeny. Fuck. Uh, yeah, and the villain's purple, not black, so... Done. <laughs> Don't touch my ring. Also, leave my that's necklace the alone. the fucking seat. Oh Don't. my god. <laughs> I mean, that's what he took away from it, I guess. <laughs> Don't touch yeah. my ring. Don't touch my ring! Don't touch my ring! No touching my ring. Why is he doing a supercut of that's the ring? That's why I'm not holding it with my hands. Because he doesn't want to get fucking no, corrupted by it! he had to take it out of the fire! Dude, he had to take it out of the uh, fucking he's stupid doing, He's literally just doing it to highlight that it's about jewelry. That's why, that's why he did yeah. this. Yeah. Just hell. to prove that he's correct. <laughs> that it's about jewelry. As if anyone's gonna disagree that the Lord of the Rings is about a ring. It's like, yeah, no, I, I agree. <laughs> and it's also about a lord. Yeah, and that it's also about all of the other important characters of the world. <sighs> These ones are perilous. We should go back. How? You're surrounded by arrows! Who the hell wrote this shit? Oh, that's what he means by surrounded by arrows. I guess he forgot the arrows in uh, Moria. Because yeah. these were the arrows he was talking about. Um, yeah, well, so if you remember, Gimli is a character that's characterized at that point for many different little things, but one of them being significantly that he's not a fan of elves. Uh, 
He's suggesting we go anywhere but with the elves. Oh. Yeah, and also the assumption is not that they're being held prisoner, but just being stopped. Like, mm -hmm. like, the, like in in that situation, you don't just necessarily assume that you're going to be killed because, like, if if they're going to kill you, like the arrows in you before you know those guys are in the trees. Like, they're stopping them. They don't know that it's an arrest, and they don't know. Like, also these guys are all like superheroes. Like, you see how that they how they behave on the battlefield. So, like. Yeah, it looks dumb because he's surrounded by arrows, but like, like you just assume that like some sort of plot armor. Like he's saying that because like his ego, his it, that's part of his ego is just like he could get out of it. That's the way he's. Well, seeing yeah, it. he's he's also announcing outwardly to his captors that yeah, it's we're totally open to just leaving. We'll yeah. we'll leave if you want mm -hmm. us to. We'll go. Yeah, like we're not we're looking just, for trouble. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's 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 a it's a. Ex, you know, a negotiation essentially. Yes. Yeah, it's like it makes sense if you think about it for three seconds. Whoa! <laughs> three. Wait, wait, a minute, guys. wait, 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 guys! Wait a minute. Are you telling me that cinematic Venom didn't pay attention to the movie? Whoa. So what? So we we're kind of memeing about how he didn't watch the movie, but the further this progresses, it really does seem like he yeah, didn't well, actually watch the movie. Yeah, it kind of does. To right? touch base, he's it's taken like twenty five minutes for him to cover the Fellowship of the Rings. So it looks like he's going to give like what half an hour to each uh, film. I imagine. Yeah. I can't wait for Two Towers and and the Return of the King. It's it's going to. I think Two Towers should be. Oh uh, no! What I'm going to be interested. Oh, so, sorry, I was going to say, I'm going to be interested in what he has to say about that, because yeah. obviously Two Towers and the, and the Return of the King are definitely way more action oriented. Yep. Um, you know, well, I, 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 can't wait for him to, I can't wait for him to have issues with Helm's Deep or something. I, I can't wait. It, it's it's going to be, I, and by I can't wait, I mean, fuck me, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but, so that's the other element I think that we should probably highlight, is he's clearly only going over criticisms in these micro ways, like, the, he's, he skipped over so much good shit, or he didn't remember it. <laughs> like, either he's way. incorrectly trying to highlight nitpicks that aren't even nitpicks because they're not accurate. Yeah, like, let's say there's 20 things to talk about in this particular project. He's talked about, like, 1 through 5, and then 7, and maybe 18, and he said they're all bad when they're not. Like, that's basically all he's done, and, and I feel like Fellowship is probably going to come to a close, considering where we are in the timeline. Like, yeah. Hmm. One, it will destroy them all. She's talking about this franchise. Yes. Oh, that was in his uh, notes. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I was going to say, oh, did you make that joke? But no, no, it was, it was foreshadowed in his notes, yeah. And like, uh, and like Mahler said, this franchise is very lucrative. I, I <laughs> did don't really know. well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just pumping out Lord of the Rings stuff. I like mean, if, every yeah. year. It's For example, if... if, if I ever wanted to make the statement that uh, TLJ and TRS destroyed Star Wars as a franchise, I'd be like, oh, Asterix, like, it still can make loads and loads of money, I just mean that it's damaged the franchise, I think is what I would say. That's all. You're gonna lose people's interest. Lord of the Rings, the movies, like, I, I don't think you could argue anything other than it bolstered Lord of the Rings as an IP, yeah. it only went up, it didn't... Like, what, what oh, was... Yeah. You know, like I don't, I don't really get that. I, I was, I was going to say that um, from the films, it it um, reintroduced the uh, the books into the top uh, bestsellers again. It, it 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 well, it cost so many people invested, and they loved it so much mm -hmm. they wanted to read the books. And I mean, it the just books were bestsellers again. In fantasy, I mean, this was the vehicle, just like Game of Thrones probably was for a lot of people that got a lot of people interested in fantasy in much the same way that. Battlefield One probably got a lot of people really interested in World War One and its history and stuff about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. No, it was a funny joke. For no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sure. It's cliche when Joel Schumacher writes it. You know you want to. You know you want to do every cliche oh in the book. Stop using it. Stop referencing this. Stop criticizing. You know, you YouTube is aware of. <laughs> is he doing the? The nostalgic critic style with the blank wall also is that the same yeah but That's he doesn't he doesn't have any it. blank walls they all have blemishes <laughs> yeah but they're all dirty or they have holes in them or burn marks or just this is why filthy. i guess you could say he's a discount nostalgia critic that's pretty much his role on youtube kind of yeah he's not as good as nostalgia critic 
That would be generous. Say it! Say it! Say it! Fuck! What? Curses! God damn this movie! But when Peter Jackson writes it- Curse you! Fuck! That's not even the same thing. Oh my god. What's wrong with- What's wrong with Boromir saying curse you? You're no, not allowed he, to literally no, he, say he, that. He, from Boromir's he, he, perspective, Frodo oh. running away and not giving the ring to him, Gondor could be doomed. No, Rags, he would rather have said, Boromir have said, fucking Hobbit, or some, or some well, modern yeah. shit. That's what he wanted. Just, just to... Yeah. That, would be, that, that would be fucking awesome. Um, yeah. He's got to say the H word, Frodo! Look, yeah. if... if, if RG, if, Frodo, get the fuck back here! Like... <laughs> If um if <laughs> if the frame was like bird's eye and you had both of his arms in the air and Barmy shouted curses, I'd have been like, damn, that was awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, we were shaking his fist. Yeah, no. Yeah, see, you, 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 you yeah, right. And that, but, and that scene is intentionally camp. That was the point of that scene. Like those two scenes could not be like, in, they're not even in the same league. Well, yeah, the the Joel Schumacher's well, Batman and, and Robin is all camp. Yeah. Like, but but yeah. here's the thing though his ultimately his argument is that well since nostalgia critic said it's bad in Batman <laughs> that means it's, oh, it's no. bad in Lord of the Rings. What That's a strange stab to that live by. That is the whole argument. Is he a copy? This is just a theory. Is he like copy pasting arguments but not understanding why the argument exists in the first place? Is, that, is, is he like Cosmonaut Variety Hour? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, <gasps> oh. Hmm. I don't know about that. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Did you not see our video on him? Like that's oh. what he was. Oh, he's been thoroughly covered. He's he's about we as good as cinematic him. venom, I'd say. Yeah, they're pretty close. One's just more well spoken, sort of, but that's uh, yeah, and better kind editing. Of the only difference, really, when it comes to quality, they're about on the same level. Fantastic, brilliant, best screenplay. I think the film's problem is this. I love the Harry Potter universe because we're pretty- No. <laughs> Harry Potter universe is fucking lame. Harry Potter and the chamber. I don't, I, I don't care to comment on Harry Potter. I just don't. I, like, I, I'd have to rewatch the films. But I just, he just unironically structured the sentence. So here's the problem with Lord of the Rings. So I love Harry <laughs> Potter. <laughs> 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 Did he actually? Let me roll it back. Yeah. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, sit. You know you want to! You know you want to do every cliche in the book! Go ahead! Say it! Say it! Say it! Curses! God damn this movie! But when Peter Jackson writes it... Curse you! Fantastic! Brilliant! Best screenplay! I think the film's problem is this. I love the Harry Potter universe because we're pretty much lumped in at the very start of the saga with the- Yeah, you're right. Just wanted to clarify. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, here's the thing. I would have gathered he was born by him just, like, being a character. I would have guessed that he at one <laughs> point had been born before that. By simple virtue of existing. Yeah, wait. I would have assumed. <laughs> wait, wait, not... this is- is this argument Lord of the Rings sucks because it's not Harry Potter? Well, you, so, <laughs> yes, exactly. Look, be, look best exactly. fate's interpretation. He's going to establish something Harry Potter does, and it's something Lord of the Rings does not do, and it's something that all things should do. Is probably what he's going to be trying to do here. Okay, no, no, no. For no reason. And we have eight films to see the Harry Potter mythos expand and grow. Here, everything's Please already been developed, so we're thrown in halfway through. What do you- you can make that exact same argument in reverse. The Harry Potter universe has already been developed. Wizards and, and castles that house them and teaching them, it's all been done already. We're just jumping in now. You know, we don't typically start our stories with the Big Bang, or the equivalent of. That's not really how anyone does anything. Um, this is the most important journey for Frodo Baggins. To have watched Frogo, Fro, Frogo, Frodo Baggins from Frogo. birth to now Got would have it. been probably not as interesting. Gonna put it out there. Which is why I don't quite didn't just make The Hobbit first. You know. But all of these backstories could have been made answer. interesting. More interesting than the books at least. However, in J.K. Um, Rowling's universe, Potter's adventure meant something. This Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> These fucking Potter what? fanboys. I I'm done. Hate I'm, Harry Potter. I'm done with the Potter and the Nostalgia Critic meaningful? references. Well, he said, oh, yeah. he said like, so. Smaller. We're just How is this minute smaller? <laughs> I'm done with the references. Like, Put them away. Like, m Tolkien based the, his story on, like, deep ancient mythos and stuff. Like, that connects humanity to the past.
but Harry Potter means something. <laughs> If it, like of all the things you could say as comparison, well, you know, Harry Potter means something. You're like, uh, really? That's it? You just okay. That was like it's a hard thing to say out loud. I can say that much. This one quickly throws Frodo and his mates in. Like, oh well, your uncle buggered off. Sorry, mate. Is a ring. Off you go. It all. <laughs> so now it's too quick. I thought it was too long. Yeah, now it's. Just... I around for no reason. Guys, is he not a troll at this point? Like, is Feel, he feels a little troll, yeah. Yeah, like it. He, he his arguments. I think don't he's make just, sense. He no, could, I think he's just really poorly expressing his inner thoughts. That could also be it. I which, agree. Which comes across as trolly. <laughs> it feels so rushed and forced. Again, weird for a three-hour movie that drags out everything out. Oh, he highlights it himself. He's like, it's all so rushed and dragged out. <laughs> like, okay. House and Rush is the actual initiation of the story. Fellowship to me has an awesome climactic third act, but you have to sit through an wait, extraordinarily wait. dull. He said that he said that the, they rushed the initiation, but he complained earlier on that we only get like the fellowship fellowship setup like in the last third of the film. Like, what the fuck? He he, he also complained that the intro is too long, so I don't know. It's, it's really hard to keep track of exactly what the problem <laughs> is. Look, it's not Harry Potter, okay? It's not meaningful. Yeah. It's like, when you try to piece piece all of the pieces of logic together to, like, create one coherent, like, problem that he has with the movie, I just, I'm not getting one. <laughs> two and a half hours to get to it. Elijah Wood's acting is terrible, but he's the only one Shut other than up. Uncle Dildo. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's you his don't know what you're talking about. It's his opinion. Leave him alone. Liter oh, I forgot what that. He literally doesn't know what he's talking about. Wait. Sean it's Aston not is Harry okay. Frodo is very... bad because he's not Harry Potter. Like, shut up. Harry Potter? <laughs> Potter. Harold Potter. <laughs> Best movie ever. <laughs> punchable face, and his character is so annoying, but gets worse in the films to come. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! He did not. Let's just oh, we're gonna oh. we're gonna roll that back there. Elijah Wood's acting oh. is terrible, but he's the only one other than his uncle Dildo. Sean Astin is okay, but has a very punchable face, and his character is so what? annoying, but gets worse in the films to come. Oh, what? I, his character? I oh, fuck I, off! Actually, I guarantee fuck you. Off. I guarantee you, he gets more annoying in because he gets more gay. I think that's what his argument is going to be. <laughs> because yeah, yeah, he has had a huge dude. problem with it so far. I got that 50 on that one. That might be his hottest of takes. He's just said, Sam gets progressively more annoying and has a punchable face. It's like, wow. Yes. yes. Yes, we've already established that we don't like him because he's too gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... And he only gets worse, so I'm not really enjoying where this is going. <laughs> Fucking hell. Mr. Frodo, I need my dick sucked! Oh my god, you were right. Uh, <laughs> please he gets, never he's just too me gay. To again. <laughs> please look, look, never. The next invite person we cover, I'm sure it won't be it just it won't be bad because gay, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting with it. Literally seconds later. Literally seconds later. I, I hate this that I literally predicted it. <laughs> he's, he's bad because gay. It's such a bizarre fucking criticism. I can't, I can't stand this shit. Frodo! <laughs> Where are you? I need to sit on your penis. Come <laughs> what? Oh no! It's so much worse. Just stop oh, it. So Just say anything bad. else. What's it on his penis? Oh, guys, it's so I bad. bad. Guys, is it gay to have friends? <laughs> it's gay yeah. to have friends. <laughs> Having friends is gay. That's why I had to pay these people to be in the skits in my movie. Oh my god. I paid the first one off with drugs, I paid the second one off with just more food. <laughs> Come on, are you telling me that like Frodo's obsessive stalker? No, he's a good no. friend. He's he's a, he's a, he cares uh, about him. He, he, wants he to save almost died to be with Frodo and protect oh him on his journey. Do you like know a... what a stalker is? I, I, I'm so I'm so spent to have to fucking just fucking defend Sam. This is like <laughs> has this guy never had friends. Like I'm gonna hashtag vlog a bit. Like when when I first got my heart stomped on by a girl, 
my friends came to my rescue. Like, is this concept foreign to this guy? Like, you mean your, your stalkers came to your rescue? <laughs> oh, fucking yeah. hell. For no God. reason. So, so when it, you became an incel, your friends came over. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then you did the game. Oh, they convinced me that gay is the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He told me, like, you know, uh, hey, weekend, you know what a bottom is? Yeah, but, like, that was a <laughs> Dude, I, I, it's funny that you're just like, oh, you guys are in, like, coming up to the five-hour mark. It's like, guess what argument you gotta defend next? Sam is a worthless character. You're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, though, it's just this consistent mischaracterization of just, like, pretty much everyone, like... Uh... He didn't fucking listen to anything that happened in this movie! <laughs> he has no idea! Everybody is a nothing character to him! He thinks they're all just people who have stuff. Yeah, and, well, he also hinted that uh, Gandalf was creepy because he, um... <laughs> Because he cares about people! <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, for God's sake, Sam, leave me alone! This is why I got the restraining order. I made a promise, Mr. Frodo. A promise! Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamble. Well, clearly gay, I guess. Yeah, yeah very gay. Oh, come on! How can people deny this? Like the walker what? said. If Sam and Frodo were actually gay oh in God, the story... Are you still going <laughs> Jesus Christ, if Doug Walker said it, then... <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's practically your god. I can't breathe. <laughs> I wouldn't care. Hell, it'd be cool. Maybe they'd be the good. first gay characters. In Why do they have to be gay to be friends? What is wrong with you people? No, What's no, they have to be gay. You can't just have people be friends. There has to be some sexual component to it, <sighs> especially if it's LGBT. Uh, gotta, I, gotta have it. I know, I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but all you weirdos who ship every fucking character friendship in every fucking franchise, fuck off. Just leave. They're friends, <laughs> okay? They're good friends. Let's just, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Phantom. First fantasy film with an openly gay couple? That'd be great, but Peter Jackson claims it was all unintentional. How was any of this written, acted, shot, and edited without anyone realizing the gay overtones? Because, what do you mean? Because that's not the <laughs> point. That's not the point. You you, you highlight you, stuff like, I don't want to leave you, I'm, I'm here to help you, and it's like, wow, that's gay. It's like, that's, you, you're, what? You can't, it's like, clearly gay overtones. It's like, what do you mean? Yo. You're gay. <laughs> I think he just he's just seeing the gay, you know? He just sees yeah, gay everywhere. Sam is fucking uh is gay. it I forget the I forget the uh, the is it Molly the other the, 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 the woman that he marries, he he, he he yearns for her at this point. He's already he's, I think he'd already mentioned to her at one point that he wants to go back to the shy and see her. Yeah. And he wants because he could isn't it yeah, yeah, he he stares at her in the pub when they're drinking, he, he, he he's he, got he, the he horn goes. for the whammon. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Not... He, he looks over her and she smiles at him. If I remember. Yeah, yeah. He, he's not fucking well, gay. They, they walk. This is right before Frodo uh, sees goes to uh, Bilbo's house. Um, I think anyway. No, it's right before Gandalf comes back from Minas Tirith. Um, they're in the pub and 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 Sam says. Uh, he's worried about, like, some other guy talking to her, and then Frodo's like, don't worry, she can see an idiot. And then he goes, oh no, she can? Like, implying that he thinks he's not, you know, worthy of her. Um, and the end of yeah, the film, yeah. he steps up, and he's like, no, I'm gonna ask her out. I'm gonna do it. And it's like, aw, nice yeah, little laugh yeah. there. Yeah, because Sam is a humble, shy little hobbit at the start, and then he grows into a fucking courageous badass, like, for a he, hobbit. He asks her out at the end. He He gets up, and he goes, and he asks her out. Uh, yeah, no, the clearly bar gay. scene at the very end, yeah. Clearly gay. Yeah, He's just repressing it. Chat, he, he marries her and gets a few kids. Or a lot of kids. Two, and at least, becomes, but... Clearly gay. He he's a fucking player, player he'll more. Well. He becomes um, I need... Well, I need well. to... I need, actually, to head out uh, for 4th of July things. And <laughs> I don't know if you'll be here when I'm back. Maybe. Maybe <laughs> not. But, uh... I'll, I'll be gone for a while, so if, if I'm not back, then this is a goodbye, at least for now. <gasps> it's been fun, Mr. Have, Ragu. Perhaps oh I shall see goodness. you in the future. Indeed, you shall. Uh, Wait. That would be where you see me, yes. Mm -hmm. I suppose. Um, yeah, it was good to see everybody. Weekend Warrior, and uh, so, Armored Skeptic, and yes, uh, you, Smiler, bro. and everybody. So, have fun going through the rest of this video. I wish I could stay. But it is no, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Eggs.
You bet. I'll catch y'all later. Bye. Bye bye. Well, it's probably a good time to check in with how's everyone doing. What are we? How are we looking here in terms of um, longevity? How's everyone? How is everyone? Well, I think I have a feeling that he's just going to be making the exact same arguments again for the next yeah. two. So, like, I'm not saying don't go through it, but maybe let's just lightning round some of it if we hear the same arguments again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we will try and move through this faster. All right, lads, we but can like, do it. Like I said, because there's more action in the next two films. It, it's it's it, I, I fear what he's what actually he's gonna have to say about these ones more than the first one. Because I, I I can dig that. Yeah, you might find the fellowships like you know slow paced, uh, drawn out. I, I I can I can understand why people might think that. But he just, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Enough said. I'd, I'd rather that he's a troll than a person <laughs> just misunderstand <laughs> the whole movie. You're like, I really hope that's... I'm sure at the end of this we'll be like, you got us. You got us good, buddy. Yeah. Failed it. I'm glad okay, you always been a And it would only really get worse. Uh, yep. oh. Worse. That's the word he chose. Not worse. it becomes more overt. It only gets worse. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Family is the Jar Jar Binks of the trilogy. Unintentionally annoying as all hell, but gets worse in the films to come. <laughs> Gimli is Jar Jar Binks. He's, he's, he's the annoying. <laughs> what, what was his bone about Gimli being annoying? He never showed I it. don't know. He's the annoying one. <laughs> Everyone knows Gimli's the annoying one. Because <laughs> he no, smelled no, the poopy. I th <laughs> As for my opinion, which I know they're not, I'd say we were taking the long way round. Nobody wants your opinion. Piss off. Nobody wants yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I just oh. <laughs> Looks like the third oh. table. The table oh, no, has sorry. been turned to <laughs> That is harsh, man. That's harsh. I guess this guy is the annoying character in YouTube, you know? Like this. He, he, is, he, he has eroded my filter to the point I just, I can't, <laughs> I, I just say it as soon as it comes to my fucking head. It's like, no, fuck off. <laughs> There's even an emotional death scene, but how can anybody be emotionally invested without fuckwad blubbering in the background? Oh, oh shut up! <laughs> what? His cousin Barlin. The, the, the cousin that he is hyped up about, he can't wait to meet. And how that he'll give us a warm welcome, as in, you know, he, we, we, we will be greeted like family because, well, they fuck it. Well, he is anyway, obviously. By extension, the fellowship will be greeted because, well, they'll, yeah. No, 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 he, he's blubbering. Again, the, look at The crown jewel saying, of the dwarf kingdom has been destroyed and ransacked and his well-known, yeah, yeah. respected friends he's saying are dead. That He's saying that I can't feel sad during the sad scene because the annoying character is also sad. <laughs> again, again, another character no. showing emotion. The annoying or character emotion. Is sad. <laughs> you know, like guys, what emotion is he supposed to feel? Yeah. Guys, guys crying is gay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, it's gay. <laughs> no, no, but it's not just that. It's not just that. It's Arwen was crying about Frodo, but she didn't know him. And now Gimli is crying over his cousin. Oh, but he's blubbering. Oh, pick up your fucking, make your fucking mind up. Not pick your mind up. <laughs> oh, it's as I feared. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Gimli. Uh, um, it's the same for you, bitch. It's, it's not <laughs> same. It's not, like, it's, it's not like his entire like world has come apart, slaughtered. Yep. Yeah. You know. Cool. How dare like, Gimli feel what, like, Who do you think this is going to appeal to? Up. Like, why would you do this? Why would you be like, he's Gimli's annoying? Why? Because he offers that they should go through Moria instead of Kahadras. You're like, okay, that doesn't really have a through line at all. And he's like, also he cries when his whole family have been killed. You're like, okay, not following. How dare he, how dare he cry? Like, <laughs> what a nerd. Not as funny as Bill Cosby mixing my girlfriend a drink at my next party. Orlando Bloom is okay. perfect to everything. He's I, the I, ray of this trilogy, but gets worse and more boring in the films to come. There are times when the CGI are awful. Oh, uh, well, that's that then. Orlando Bloom is the ray of this uh, trilogy. I okay. I I don't want to. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we could just move on. It's like fine. There was yeah, no yeah. argument. It's just yeah. Like yeah. here, but 
others when they're great, like here. The fight scenes look amazing, don't get me wrong, but they don't mean anything. There's no investment in there for oh. me. They're really- What? I, just, just the no. fight scenes suck because there's no meaning. Like, we already know that none of them are going to die unless th they do, and that they're not really fighting for anything other than the things they fight for. Yep. Yeah, that point. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> really, is I specifically want Frodo to die. I just don't care if he does. I don't care yeah, about yeah, any of these people. Yeah, you've said that a hundred fucking times about every bloody character. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I don't all he's care. demonstrated is he has no idea what characterization any of them have actually received outside of oh. vaguely on Baromir. What's crazy too, though, is that Frodo could die, and that the story could continue. He's not mm -hmm. integral to it. The ring is the integral element. Like, well, as we saw, Sam took he, the ring he when he thought he was dead. He, he legitimately keeps forgetting that the ring exists, and that that's the point of the film. Oh no, he knows. Remember, it's all about jewelry. That's the one. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yeah. It's all this, even when they fake out his death for the millionth time, Sam sounds disappointed. He's alive. Damn it! Where's my point? That was disappointment. Relief. Okay. Yeah. yeah I, I, Are we I, watching I, the same movie? <laughs> <laughs> He's seen something else. Well, like, well this is apparently true. nobody acts well in this film, so. Like, I Cop think he is Excuse trolling. Me. Like, you can't say that. Oh, he sounds disappointed. What the fuck? Well, I think if you like Please. hate something, you're not going to be registering, like, what's happening as is. Instead, okay. you'll have a spin in your head, sort of thing. Like a filter. Yeah. Possible. Yeah. Like are amazing, system. but that's all I can really stomach from this one. What the fuck? So do we, Frodo. So do we. What do you mean we? <laughs> Get me out of there, <laughs> jeez. Uh, what do you mean we? <laughs> you're, you're in a very small minority. Just he knows like, this like too. Him. The intro like was all about how he's in a minority about this. Like an army of one, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Well, him and Doug Walker, yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure Doug Walker loves, loves Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I mean, I'd be surprised if he wasn't. I, I, I'm no sure idea. if Doug Walker watched this, he'd be appalled at how he was using his <laughs> arguments. Doug, that's go. what you said One film in the down. video. There we go, that's guys. Not really Lord of the Rings. That was Fellowship One of the Ring, we did it. One film down. Here we go. Ooh, a oh, skip. No, another. Oh, I'm yes, good. This is time code that we can go over without having to pause. <laughs> this yeah. is excellent. I don't know about that, though. I don't know if we're not going to pause, though. Oh, I'm all inside Swiss house. <laughs> what? Okay. But he already watched the movies! This he already is like... knew there was... I can carry it for you. But I can carry you! Oh, man. Like, the joke is... Oh god. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Isn't that gay? Guys, yeah, that's that looks gay. super gay. Guys, that looks You're so gay. Yeah, it's super gay. Oh, Their man. bodies were touching. That's Did you see that? Yeah. Their bodies literally touched. Like, he's so disappointed. It's clearly his gay. You're like... Yeah, that was clear disappointment and anger. And for no reason. <laughs> for, for no, no reason. reason. <laughs> and he looks satisfied. For no reason. Like... Pretty good, dude. This this whole thing is gay. <laughs> Knocking on doors, pretty gay, bro. Are you Mr. Bull? Oh my oh, no. good god, look at these oh, two. Look at people. Is that like a small cowboy hat she's got? <laughs> what is that? I don't know, she's kind of cute. Like, oh, look at her. Look at her. Uh, look like, like, what is his hat? What is is like a hat? What's going on there? It, it looks like a. It does look like a police woman's hat, but it's not. It's it's like being sat on and it's kind of like bent up. Yeah, it's, like these hats are throwing me. Yeah. Well, 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 yeah. We've had some complaints. We'd like to ask you some questions. Is it okay? We can come in, please. Okay. What exactly it. is this all about? You want to watch their chase, sir? What? You do not like Lord of the Rings. That's it. <gasps> Is it true, sir? Can you not give her a mic? <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to have to turn it up for her, I guess. Like, you, 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 can see, you, you can see his mic's pink, um, attached to his hoodie, but he can give her a one, just a uh, whatever. Yeah, so, you know. yeah, I don't like Lord of the Rings.
You mean you don't like The Hobbit? No, I don't like Lord of the Rings. You mean there the animated films for no in the reason. 80s? No, the Peter Jackson film. I can't stand them. They're terrible movies. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I want the police to say it. Do it. Yeah, kill him. Do it. Kill him. He has to be stopped. Kill him. Do it. Ex extra legal point. shit. Do it. Yeah. Just, just arrest him, please. Get out. Yes. Oh. Hey, yes. thank goodness. My yes. the, look, look, the review is saying, guys. Oh, oh, God. Yes. Oh. You they don't even show the window. How dumb is no, that? I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine with this. Just keep killing time. I was going to yeah. say more of this, please. Less of a Lord of the Rings arguments. <laughs> Pretty good. Police brutality. What is going on out there? Oh, Rob doesn't like Lord of the Rings. What? Come on, little hobbit. It was a great shot. Um, it was a great shot of the pocket. wall. It was a great shot of a random wall while she was leaving through Do it, kid. like the tiny corner of the That was the best part of the video right there. Oh no, no, no. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh my god, that was legit. At least that you was like real. Star Wars. Yeah. No, that's bad now. <laughs> Liking Star Wars is bad these days. Look at all this time. Oh my god, we're, this is we're glorious, guys. Here. We're making so much progress. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm enjoying. I know. I know. I'm now. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go left. All right, that's the joke, right? Oh. oh. Now you only have to defeat one of them. This is... Can he do it? Uh, I, 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 I'll be back now. Anyway. <laughs> Is he gonna like review the film out here or something? Oh god. Okay. Yeah, I think so. If you're still with me this far, it's now time to get my thoughts on the two towers. Oh no. Oh no. Never stop. Wait, wait. So he's gonna no, shit on the two towers with bad audio in the middle of the uh, forest? Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, no. He, his his chain his chain is rubbing up against the lapel mic, so it's no. gonna <laughs> We're all very sad about this. At least, uh... All three okay. films were impressively shot simultaneously, all being filmed between October the 11th, 1999 and December the 22nd, 2000. However, the now mm. famous special effects of Gollum began as early as 1998 since the Weta Workshop... Sorry, I just really can't take that name very seriously at all. It's very gay, isn't it? Very gay. It's such a... Such a weird criticism. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Like, he, he, he's really going out to show how masculine he is. Like... Okay, bro. <laughs> I don't like silly names. Like yeah. he, he really is insecure about yeah. his sexuality. Can I like, remind you guys? So there's a spell in Harry Potter called Stupefy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if we're talking about silly names, I don't know. We might have made a mistake. How to convince New Line that they could actually create these effects? Andy Circus was on set, though the same shots were filmed again without him as well, and provided the creature's movements and voice. And despite originally wanting the character to be completely CGI, nothing more, Jackson loved Circus's performance so much he used some of his movements as well. The actors also gave a much better performance when Andy was physically in the frame with them, as opposed to the empty ones. And when it came to animating yeah. Gollum, it took. I mean, this is seem this seems to just be like. I'm assuming this is a compliment to the films. This, this, yeah, this is this is what we call a movie review. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it took around four hours per frame to render. You guys got a lot of patience. Speak quickly. But if you think that's bad, Treebeard took some time between twenty-eight and forty-eight hours per frame to render, and it wasn't even worth it for that one. I mean, Gollum oh. looks incredible, and I doubt anyone could ever dispute oh, that. Only but like. Treebeard only like one of the most interesting characters in lore ever, but yeah, that no, no, wasn't yeah, worth it. Also, Treebeard looks pretty <laughs> damn good. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah, whatever. It's like right. the king of the fucking trees. <laughs> fuck, fuck it, I guess. There's a lot of shots where he looks so fake, it's embarrassing. He's, he's a living tree. It's gonna be hard not to look, you know, not real. I don't know. He doesn't, no, he, he doesn't look like a real living tree. That's the problem. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I should clarify. Trees are living. What I meant is like a fucking, you know, humanoid <laughs> tree. <laughs> like not. <laughs> All right. So what's uh, what's his uh, what's his first? I mean, yeah, first it's first? it's fine. Like whether or not Treebeard looks perfect, I'm just like, yeah, okay. Just a lot of time wasted. Realistic is his problem. Uh, 
The Two Towers was released on December the oh, 18th, 2002, kind of and though not as successful as the first right one, oh, of course, it was incredibly well received. Earning $64.2 million dollars just in its opening weekend, and against a budget of just $94 million, the movie earned a truly staggering worldwide total of $926,047,000. Wow. Should have been more. Wow. That's by that's today's a... by today's standards, that like with inflation, that beats most like. I was going to say, like, actually, it would be interesting to know how much that would be now. But well, it'd be pushing into like what one and a half billion, probably. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. One hundred and eleven dollars, making it the highest-grossing film of two thousand and two. Number. The Battle of Helm's Deep has been named one of the greatest screen battles in movie history, and Entertainment Weekly named yes. Gollum the third best CGI character ever. It was nominated yes. for a significant. Yes. So. When you say greatest CGI character, is that a reference to the fidelity of the, the graphical nature of it, or the character itself? Like, it can be both. He's just annoyed because he doesn't like. It. <laughs> <laughs> like on one hand, right? Like how good. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like done. I'm I'm done trying to understand the logic. He does not like him, so it's dumb. It's, pr That's it's probably gay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so all I'd say is Gollum still looks really good today, and uh, I, I yeah. just don't know. It, it won't be able to last forever, of course, like CGI ages, but like it's, it's pretty fucking impressive. As for one of the best CGI characters, yeah, I'd be curious to know what beats out Gollum. His character is pretty strong. Significantly uh, less six Academy what, Awards, well, successfully the winning best... Andy Serkis did. Well, What's the like, thing? There's uh, a lot. King Kong, Smog. But, um, I mean, Gollum's up there, man. Yeah. Gollum is up there. Yeah. Caesar. Mm-hmm. Yeah visual effects and best sound editing. It went on to win BAFTAs for best oh, yeah, costume Jones, design, best yeah. special Good visual job. effects, and orange film of the year. The fuck is that? Best film starring a ginger. Does that comfort you? The Two Towers continued okay. its accolades by winning an Empire Award for Best Picture, a Grammy for Howard Shaw's Musical Score, a Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation, an MTV Movie Award They're for Best Visual... They're all dumb for doing it. I'm happy Why? it won all of these awards. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well deserved. Performance for Gollum and three Saturn Awards for Best Fantasy Film, Best Costume, and Best Supporting Actor. And the famous line. <laughs> was voted by the AFI as the 85th greatest movie quote of all time. They must have caught our scent. Now, this one is a lot better than the first one. Alright. I didn't say this. I didn't say this when we were all saying which was our favorite, but Two Towers is my favorite. I think that it. I think it, like it's it's a kind of like a I, I always sort of like the middle point, the low point of stories. Like uh, I wouldn't fault anyone like, for picking like, any of the three, honestly. Well, if I yeah. like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not not to say that I would compare. It's like a very different story structure, but oh, sure. Um, but yeah, that's mm -hmm. well. That, that that's kind of the vibe I I, I get with it my, myself. Um, Empire being my favorite in the uh, in the uh, uh, original trilogy. Still sucks, but it's a lot better. Uh -huh. Again, beginning with the positives. The scenes with Gollum, I was actually really invested in. So we have one half of the story being Sam and Frodo being led to Mordor by Gollum, despite Sam not wanting to share his hot piece of ass Elijah Wood with anybody else. And during yeah. their journey, Gollum grows to love Frodo, just as a friend. You don't understand. But then Gollum feels betrayed by him, so at the end he reverts back to being a manipulative little fuckhead and wants to screw them over. While that story is going on, you get the other boring characters walking around and. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, just, just, just take it. Just, just. <laughs> a much less interesting story in my mind. I'll get onto that Be in a strong. bit. For the stuff with Sam Frodo and Gollum, I really enjoyed. I was actually more annoyed when that... it cut back to the other characters because of how the much Rohan I was enjoying this part. The Rohan part is boring? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. If, he's, if he describes Helm's Deep as boring, we're gonna have to end this stream, okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's no, the right. Rohan. The Rohan part is the most, one of the most interesting parts of the whole series for me. It's fucking great. There's actually character development here. Really good character development too. This actually, for the first time in the series, had me wanting to see where this was going. I do not think that will be your fate. Obviously having Gollum tagging along causes friction between the two, which they both pull off really well and have tremendous chemistry. Elijah Wood's acting has vastly improved, although... Release him, always good. Or I'll cut you through. Yeah, what, what, like... You, you know, you guys know, right, that they, these films are just filmed back to back, right? They didn't just like, yeah, yeah I was just, one, I and was then... yeah. just going to say that. It's not like he showed up one day. It was just like, well, oh, we're filming the second one. I guess I will act differently now. Well, yeah, oh, he yeah. wouldn't even, they, they, they were done out of order, like, necessarily. Yeah. They had to be. Yeah. No, guys, he said, 
in his fucking intro to this two tower segment, he said that the films were shot in one like for several years, right? Well, he he must like, assume yeah. they shot it all chronologically, and and you know Frodo, well Elijah oh, just got no. better and better. That's 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 it. Yeah, it's 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 just weird to differentiate when we know full well that it's yeah that how it was made. It's 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 not like. It's not like they were like shit. Elijah needs acting. Uh, he, he, he needs an acting skills or acting teacher. Let's uh, let's draft someone in. We we know that's not the case. But whatever. I would argue what happens to his character though is a thousand times more interesting in this one. Though. Oh yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and and Sam's character, and yeah. Oh and, yeah, and he is right. The, the inclusion of Gollum is what causes. Well, is what develops it. It, it you know otherwise it would just be them to just you know. Well, yeah. Being gay. Well, yeah, they're just being Doing gay, gay stuff. Yeah, that'd be boring. One, that delivery was terrible. Two, does this really look like a face you're going to be intimidated by? Release him, or I'll cut you. No, uh, you're not. not, not pointing at his you're, throat in the intimidation factor. You are, you are never supposed to be intimidated by Frodo. Yeah. That's never supposed to happen. This is this is him trying to intimidate yeah. Gollum. It's really the, the yeah. sting that's doing it, right? It's not really yeah, him. And, well, and yeah, that, <laughs> and at the end of Two Towers, like when he does the thing to Sam, like it's it's tragic. Like when he, like at this point, it's like what he's just trying his best to not fuck up. But at the yeah, end, he's, yeah, this yeah. is a game. This is a game face he's got on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but at the end, he's just like, oh, yes, why are you doing this, Sam? Like, it's so yeah. different. Like, yeah, but when it happens in the end, yeah, that's right. It's it's like yeah. a, a, a falling of the character. Yeah. It's, uh, it's like poetry. It rhymes. It rhymes. Yeah, exactly. It does indeed rhyme. <laughs> he did this to yeah. defend an innocent, and in the end of it, he's doing it when yeah. an innocent is trying to defend him. Yeah, like, well, it, and it just shows that the ring is taking its toll on on Frodo. It it is yeah. it is corrupting him. It is poisoning yeah. his mind. But nah, he's, he's gay. Yeah. <laughs> nah, gay. gay. Moving nah, on. Gay. <laughs> this is a heated gay thing, you know. Sexual tension. <laughs> okay, Frodo. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I'm scared. Loving those microphone noises. The. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. Got, you know, he's got he's got his chain uh, around him, isn't he? Mm. Oh. I hate you. But the pacing in all of these scenes are actually tremendous, and yes, Gollum is fantastic as well, especially with the split personality stuff. The scenery still looks amazing, but it's starting to get old. It's like this has now just become a <laughs> nine hour. On, what? It's, it's getting, getting old? old. Oh, well, 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 going back to what? Isengard. Oh, Rohan does not look now. like Rivendell, does not look like the Shire, does not look like Lothlorien, does almost, not look like almost Moria. Every, almost every landscape. Too, is different from the yeah. first movie. They're yeah, trying. The they're doing that on purpose. It's to make the, the world feel enormous. You bitch and moan about the landscape shots and how they are just fucking, you know, just sucking New Zealand's dick. But then now it's getting boring. And uh... it's probably gay. <laughs> the land is gay. gay. Commercial for New Zealand holidays. We get it. You have a helicopter. Yeah, this is how you advertise is... New Zealand holidays. You show a mine yeah. getting is... flooded. <laughs> What the fuck? Pretty sure that's CGI. Isn't that CGI? Yeah. Like, well, the, I, there's a good well, deal of CGI going everything. on here, and the miniature, yeah, miniature elements. It's I a mean, whole combo of movie magic, and it's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, that's the wrong. Like, the heli, yeah. the helicopter, the helicopter is like the least important part of this of this yeah. fucking <laughs> picture right now. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure from this, it'd just be like on a table, and yeah. they would just have a camera. Well, yeah, like a little bloke just standing with a camera. That's that's all they needed, but it's, it's not always helicopters. And can do landscape shots. How about you focus on the goddamn script more instead? The oh Stop showing me oh amazing God. shots and criticizing them for we, no reason. We it are just... No, Mahler, it's boring. <laughs> no, it's boring. Makeup and sets are fantastic. Sorry, that really bit just there. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. pause it. A bit of Mordor just then. I was like, so which bit of New Zealand's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Enough of these landscape shots, dude. Too much New I'm, Zealand. I'm already, already sold on New Zealand. Yeah, I'm, I'd love to go. There's a sequence where Saruman basically slaughters an entire village, and to its credit, it's done quite well. I mean, I still feel no emotional investment to the story or the characters, but it's well uh, shot, edited, and directed. So I can see why. Angry white people attacking other well, Wait. innocent white people. <laughs> Not evil. 
But, it, but like, this is what I mean. There's no substance in his review. He's like, so this scene is good. Why? Because it's well shot, I guess. I don't care about anything else. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, his, his, problem, uh, his, problem, his problem now is this is a good sequence, just he's not invested. So it feels like it's again. He's never gonna be. But like, even if you're not invested, you should be able to identify what's being attempted. What it in is literally the is, words. Yeah, what mm -hmm. it is that is stopping you from being able to achieve a state of investment. Yeah, there must be. Even, yeah, he's not even saying that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But like, I just, I just don't like the stuff that he likes. Is always very surface level. It's just like, uh, I don't know. I guess I like this. Cause he was selfish, and then he's not selfish. The, the, the mud person was cool. Um, this this place. Boromir was Boromir had character, but we're not gonna. Well, we're not gonna extrapolate and explain why or anything or show it. We're just gonna have one or two, well, sound bites of him saying something. The scene is good because it's an action scene and you can make out what's happening. And you're like, okay, well, all right. Others might feel more for it, and it's done well. This further proves to be a problem, though. When we're supposed to be mourning the death of another secondary character, we just don't give a shit because we spent so little time with them anyway. In no! You get all of the information you need to understand why this is meaningful. Theoden's been poisoned for a significant portion of time, at this, and, and it's cost him his, his, his line. His only son is now dead. Yeah, He's been he, out of the fucking says, works. But... Yeah, and he says no father should bury their children. I think yeah. that could be that, that's quite understandable, even if you're not a father. You know, even if you don't have very kids, effective, you and you can understand why that is heartbreaking. But, and uh, just in Lord of the Rings' style, every time we get a new character, we immediately get their foundation. Theoden's is he feels right. inadequate compared to his his forebears. Or, uh, yeah, exactly. right. It's a, again, this is character establishment and not. Not a moment when you're, you're yeah. He thinks this is the payoff. Like this is yeah, it. This, this is, is what not, we. You're, yeah. you're not you're not expected to feel this. Just you're supposed to understand that this is his mindset. Yeah, and it all comes uh, to fruition in the third film. On his on his exactly. dying breath, he's gonna he's going to meet his fathers without shame. It's proud. I love Theoden, by the way. He's awesome, but loads of the characters yeah. are too. So <laughs> that's where we're at. Like that speech, fell deeds awake. That that line is just so cool. Like, he 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 has a lot of cool speeches. I'm just gonna say. In fact, the film is so memorable, and for the record, yes, I watched them alone with my full attention, and I still couldn't recall much the next day. I had to look up who died, considering there was so. Oh my god! Well, I had to look up who died. I didn't watch. The I, I I really don't think he watched the film. I really yeah, don't. I know. <laughs> I've never, I have never heard that criticism of a movie before. <laughs> I had to look up who died. I had to look up who died. <laughs> God damn. <gasps> Such a vital part of the story, they weren't mentioned in the Wikipedia plot entry and I had to go to Google. Yet in the movie, it's treated like this huge dramatic plot Just point. Just make to notes while you're watching the movie. <laughs> Write the characters' names down. This ought to be like, dude, so... <laughs> Memory is a thing, okay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring a notepad. And remember, scene like when he comes back to his senses, he's asking for his son. Like, you can put those sequence of scenes together, right? Like, I don't think you watch the movie. Like, I, I really, I really don't Appreciate think. It. Like, Appreciate like, didn't read the book. <laughs> yeah, like, where's my son? Like, he he says that, right? He looks for his son, I mean, like. It's, it's very focused on it. Um, it's very clear. Yeah. I don't understand how he missed who who it is that died. Is he just talking specifically about his name? It's Theodred, right? Yeah. Yeah. But you don't need to know his name. It's not yeah, important. You just, need to know, you just need to know that Theodred who he is, is upset about it. Yeah. yeah. And if you have yeah, some... Yeah. yeah. I think it's the the acting of Theodred's actor is so good. Like, he, I, I felt something when he cried. And I, I watched... It so many times it still it still gets me, you know. I felt nothing. I felt nothing for no reason. Cedric, no fucking reason. 
no fucking reason. The battle scene, yes, again, it's amazing and tops the first one. The effects and sheer choreography that went behind it, the cinematography, it's astounding, but it means nothing because I feel nothing for these characters. It means nothing because I feel nothing. That's, yeah. that's, that's the, yeah, he said this, like, what, eight times now? That a scene just is nothing because he doesn't care about anybody we, in them. Wait, are we counting we the... drinking game with this. Yeah. Are we just counting the two towers part, or are we counting the, the, the fellowship starring part also? Jesus Christ. Well, why would you care about Helm's Deep? Can you even name a character in that scene? Like, what? <laughs> Jar Jar Biggs over here? F fuck that Jar dwarf. Like, Jar Jar, what? annoying, punchable face. Uh, Ray, yeah. and who's the who's the guy with the sword? Aaron or something? Aaron's Aaron. Aaron. It's Aaron's yeah, it's half the cast is in, behind this wall. Fucking hell! Half, half of the cast is behind. Fell deeds awake. That was a thing. Um, do you know the uh. One of the Orohirim who accidentally shoots the first Uruk, and he's the one without the eye, or yeah, he has a missing eye. Oh no, no, it's, it's a different. I think character. those are two like, different you know, people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but the, the I think the guy who only had one uh, one eye, um, and that was real. It wasn't like a prosthetic. Well, it wasn't makeup or anything. I think he recently Ooh. passed away as well. Um, I swear oh, I read man. that recently. So I, I, I know, I know, it's more of it. I just uh, this another thing I just remember reading recently. Still, this is the major oh. issue I have with these oh, movies. Right. It's wait, 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 and so Somebody hmm? in chat said, "What if, what if this guy will compare the Battle of Hogwarts and and two towers?" <laughs> oh God! Like, like, oh, no! Stay like, away from Harold <laughs> Potter, please! <laughs> oh no! Like, I, 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 I would I, just I, write, like, I, I, I would lose my shit if he actually does that. Yeah. To have all of these well planned, but I just don't care. Yeah. You've had two films and you still can't get me to care. What are you doing here? Sick. You, you, this isn't criticism. I personally don't like it. What is your problem? Like, what, what, did, what did he think we, like, when he wrote this, he was like, yes, the, the audience will be convinced by my grand argument of, I didn't care. See, that is a conclusion, but he doesn't even build up as to why he doesn't, like, yeah, I think you brought it up, right? Like, he doesn't even break down. Like, why well, he it's thinks stable. He thinks that his argument is, Frodo is, you know, characterless, Gimli is annoying. Um, well, so what has he said about Aragorn? Has he actually said anything about Aragorn? It's, it's, it is just that he doesn't like the characters. That's it. It's yeah. not that it's not that they're bad, and it's not that the movie doesn't set you up to feel investment for them. It's just that he personally does not like them. Yeah, because Legolas is a uh, Ray, and Gimli is the annoying one. Um, Elijah Wood can't act. Samwise has a punchable face and is gay. Uh, Merry and Pippin. Uh, yeah, don't know what, you know, literal nobody. Yeah, yeah, I think oh, yeah, there's like, nobody. Yeah, there. yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think he said anything really about Aragorn. And then obviously Gandalf is just uh, close up shots of his nose and you can see his nostrils. <laughs> Which is, that's bad, okay? That is bad. bad. Six hours bad. you can't get me invested? Why should I welcome you? And the battle scene, as cool as it looks, it also outstays its welcome and ends up dragging so oh, much. No, no, no. It yeah, was actually, <laughs> of all the fights, I think that it was the one that was the most perfectly, like, perfectly paced and yeah. could not possibly have been shorter. I, th I honestly think I, I could have gone for it being longer, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I fucking yeah, love yeah, Helm's Deep. Could not, not that, it not could not that. possibly have been shorter. Not just that. Not... Oh, go on, go on, dude. No, 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 go ahead. I'm just repeating the same three oh. words. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was going to say, do you remember how much there, there's so much hype? Well, I don't want to call it's not hype, but there's, there's so much dread and ominous about the, about the battle and how Legolas and Aragorn have that little, well, that little, that little spat and how like nobody's going to live throughout the night, well, through the night. And then Gandalf says, you know, you know, at, at the break of dawn, look to the east because kind of like a fucking, you know, guardian angel that he fucking is, he comes down and he brings the light and he, well, he banishes the darkness or the evil, and yeah, it takes the whole fucking night because guess what? It's a fucking siege. It doesn't fucking just go over in one minute. It's not pew pew no. pew done. If That's anything, I mean. if yeah. anything in if anything in real life, the siege would have lasted weeks, like weeks. Like they, the Orakai army would not have moved in on the wall like as their first move. But like, oh yeah, they're gonna you know. starve them out. Yeah, yeah. So like, so the fact that this fight is only like in like what like 20 minutes of the of the runtime or whatever like that's not really like 
significantly yeah. that long for this kind of. We path. also the yeah. the stakes uh, altering throughout the fight. Helm's Deep and Palenal Fields, they both do it. Where um, it's like we're kind of we're, we're winning. I think we're win oh god, we're losing. We're losing really. Oh no no no, yeah. we're coming back. We're coming back. Ooh, down we go again. And then it, it, both of them end with a oh thank fuck we did it. Yeah, yeah and th I mean that that is sort of what makes it like Empire is that they do lose this fight, but that they get out alive, and that that's yeah. that's uh. <laughs> There's just so much build up towards this, and and again, like you know, yeah, you you you, know, you could you say that yeah, they could stay well, they could have like lay siege for weeks on end and just starve them out. But again, what did Aragorn say? They are here to erase the world of men. They they don't they, they they're not. I don't I don't I don't think Urukai are patient. I'm just gonna say you know. Yeah yeah. Like, well, I mean, it is it is fantasy. Like uh, oh yeah I, mean, I know yeah. Every entry into this saga needs to be three hours, Jackson. It really doesn't. The character of Worm Tongue, I actually thought was awesome. He looked great and had a really ominous on-screen oh, presence. Oh, again, it's about that. like so superficial shit. Like, it looks cool. Like, please do more of this. Cool. I beg you. Please tell me about Grima's character, please. Felt could have easily made him the main antagonist, but as explained previously, all of the interesting characters could have easily so have made him uh, the main antagonist. What? <laughs> what is he? What? What it does hit that mean? They could not have easily have made he, him the main. Antagonist. He's what well, he's Sauron now. <laughs> it's like, God, yeah. okay. you, wanna, you wanna literally rewrite the story because you like this character so much? And, and, I'll, and also, yeah, I was gonna say Brad Dorif, yeah, he is the ultimate slimy character. Brilliant. Yeah, he does he's the, perfectly cast. Um There's fucking more to it than just him having fucking well, like, greasy hair, you muppet. Well like <laughs> like I I, I I yeah, you could easily make him a main antagonist of a film and that would work. It, if that's what he's saying, then I guess I agree with well, that. Well let's roll him back. We're gonna roll him back. Let's see what he's so much. Not every entry into this saga needs to be three hours, Jackson. It really doesn't. The character of Worm Tongue, I actually thought was awesome. He looked great and had a really ominous on-screen presence that I felt could have easily made him the main antagonist. But as explained previously, all of the interesting characters are given side roles and just disappear into the abyss. Yeah, he is literally arguing that they should have wow. re rewritten the story. Did you catch? He said all of the interesting characters like don't yeah, get characters. Right. And it's just like, dude, you I don't even know how you function anymore. Like your determining factor for good character is cool looking. How does how is like, Grima yeah, Worm Tongue cool looking? It is a, it, it is a hundred percent yeah. aesthetic, yes. Oh look at that, another uh, another black goblin or orc in the screen. Damn, yeah. Definitely black. Right here, this character looks fucking amazing. And then he speaks. Why can't we have some meat? Imagine if they did whoa, that with- Whoa, 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 are you f- <laughs> it's, it's, Why are we here? <laughs> what do you want from Orcs? Do you- what, you wanted fucking posh British articulate accent? What, what the fuck off? Like, <laughs> as, as, as a Canadian, that accent sounds identical to this movie reviewer's accent. I can't tell the difference <laughs> between the two. <laughs> I like, I, I like how understand. every Orc and Urukai up to this point have had, like, monster voices. That he's like, look at this one, stupid monster yeah. voice. They don't <laughs> like, sound okay. human, because they're not. <laughs> Like the yeah the orcs yeah I'm pretty sure like all of them have like all of them have really deep voices in comparison to orcs like orcs are like and then orcs are, and orcs are like but <laughs> fuck fuck if I know <sighs> Darth Vader's voice find the passengers of this vessel I want them alive oh wait shit so he just compared random orc three to Darth Vader yep okay okay. No! Orlando Bloom's character really goes overboard with being a fucking god here. He really has no characterizations other than being perfect at everything. And the amazing thing is, it gets worse in the next film. Why is there even a struggle? Just give him the ring. He'll destroy everyone with a. Did he miss the scene where Legolas shares that he thinks this is a like no hope situation? Like the the yeah yes Legolas personally comes through this unscathed, but. The point of this battle is not for Legolas to survive it. Like, they still fail to to keep the keep. Like, they lose it. And Legolas, out of the three of them, is like the in in tune with Middle Earth character. He's much more um, like like you, the attributes of Legolas are, are are supposed to be representative. Of, I imagine of of elves as a whole. Like, he's always got something 
uh, partially mystical to comment on in, in in the situation. He's definitely a, a fighter for good. His relationship with Gimli gets significantly developed in this one. But I mean, yeah. the three film structure is establish relationship, develop relationship, and then pay it off with that. One wonderful moment in Return of the King. All a nice through line. He and Aragorn have... Like, this is what I mean, like, the three of them together, I wouldn't argue that they're particularly complex and well-traveled. It's all it's all very understandable and straightforward and endearing. I, I, just, I just don't... Like, being like, oh, it's just nothing, he's just, he's just god-like person. I'd be like, hmm... Yeah, not just that, like, Legolas has, like, fucking thousands of years of experience ahead of all of them. Like, in combat, he, like... <laughs> yeah, as someone just said in chat, Legolas is a 3,000-year-old warrior elf. <laughs> he has to yeah, be OP in battle, otherwise it wouldn't make fucking sense. Yeah, if, if he was constantly getting bailed out by the superior hobbits, hmm, yeah. <laughs> if, if he needed Samwise... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, fucking, true. If he needed Samwise with his fucking frying pan to save him... Uh... <laughs> Simple flick, and still have like he's modeling for a fucking magazine. Let's hope it lasts the night. There's some. Hey, I mean, I mean, ca I mean, casting Orlando Bloom to be the the pretty boy elf. Uh, makes sense makes to sense me. To me. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, also, I, yeah. I know that um, I know that Aragorn was uh, going to be. I forget the actor, but he was going to be an older actor at first. But then they were like, uh, no, he actually. Well, it does sort of work because yeah, he is due a day, and he's not. He's like what eighty three or something like that again. I can't remember. But eighty seven. You know, the one, yeah, one, of the, well. one of the biggest compliments I'd have for the whole production is whoever the casting director is, I love you. You casted Lord of the Rings like pretty much pitch perfectly. Yeah, yeah there's um, there's almost not a single character that doesn't fit like one of the earliest descriptions, like yeah. almost perfectly. Oh yeah, I was biased to these movies. Definitely. Like everyone makes fun of, <laughs> but yet they're okay with this. Why do you oh, think they're the same? Oh, yes. That's real. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. That's no. that actually it's happened. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes. more true, yeah. If you go more with some broke his toe kicking that for real because yeah. he thought it, he thought it was a prop, but it was actually a real. Well, it was, it was made of steel or iron or whatever. Like, he actually fucking broke his foot. That is the genuine but, reaction. But let's pretend that's not true. Let's pretend for a second that that isn't. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, and it, the, it wasn't wrong. a real reaction. How is what 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 Viggo Mortensen does there the same as no? Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's after not. after spending most of the film trying to fucking rescue Mary and Pippin from certain death, they find well, they believe they find her uh, on a. Pile of scorched bodies of orcs, and, as, and it's like as Gimli says, we it, failed. We failed them. Yeah, yeah. It it is again. Well, we know that it's not true, but we know, but but we can see through their for the characters. Believe it or not, there are actual characters in this film. What um, a what it, a highlight! It, it, it is. Chat yeah, is very frustrated, as are we. And this Liam Kennedy just posted kill. <laughs> That's all it says. It's just kill. <laughs> kill. <laughs> It's okay, chat, chill out. This is, but yeah, he's he's so very, very, very wrong. But when Lord of the Rings does it now, nah, fantastic masterpiece. Two towers. I'd rather he be. Knows how to compare shit. Yeah, and people often say, you know, why Lord of the Rings is a masterpiece because of that moment where Aragorn said, "Ah, that's why." <laughs> like he keeps comparing stuff that that is not comparable at all like the contexts are different like he can't even establish why he's using darth vader as a comparison he can't even lay the foundation for that and he keeps using nostalgia critic as a crutch like he yeah. can keep this so i can critique <laughs> this aspect of this movie even though the contexts are wildly different like like i, I don't i don't get it like it's like Oh my god. In this, then what's this? Are you mad? I think oh. the problem with the films is it's cool that so many people love them. It really is. And I truly wish I could enjoy them. But I find <laughs> them all completely forgettable. All these stupid oh. names, it's impossible to remember. And oh, this is too many stupid oh, names. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't for a second pick on names in fucking Lord of the Rings when you fucking suck the dick of Harry Potter. Don't. Like, did I He's even watch the movie? It's that forgettable to me. I'm obviously not the only one. The movie. Why would I care that the guy who says he can't even remember like plot points can't remember character names? I'd be like, well, that makes sense. Of course, you don't remember anything. You don't remember anything. <laughs> so yeah, just... and he didn't be. 
And he didn't read the books. It's, it's hard to believe he read all of the books and watched the films. There's no fucking way he has the attention span to get through the books. It's fucking no. He watched the movie. <laughs> He literally opens up by showing us Gandalf's death again, assuming the audience didn't give a shit to remember. No, this is different. What? It's different. It's Gandalf's it's POV. Different. That's the point. It's it's different. We we only see the first time like him fall, but we see what happens after the fucking fall. No, Greg, it's the same. <laughs> because he said why, so. Why why? Why? It's not like the Battle of Hogwarts. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> it's not, you know, heterosexual like the Battle of Hogwarts. <laughs> Remember the first film either. It only came out a year later, and he's gonna go watch the second Lord of the Rings movie before the first one. They did. Speaking of which, yeah, Gandalf's back. So, uh, what was that on his trailers? A film with such fake emotional stakes, Gandalf will sacrifice himself for his friends, only to somehow come back to life, making it not really a sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, Gandalf! He's not the same uh, entity when he returns. He makes that very clear, as well as that his time is to be spent to finish his his job, which is to essentially act in favor of the light on Middle Earth. It is. A, a, I'll completely agree. It's very uh, carefully thin. They, they're trying to avoid addressing that there's a higher power and where exactly wizards get their their, their power from. I would say, but uh, there's enough to yeah. understand the events. Also, Screen Junkies? How embarrassing. I mean, I got he's Screen Junkies, Nostalgia Critic, and, uh, I don't know, non-gay media. That's his consumption. It's the ultimate trifactor. <laughs> now they're fucking cop-out! He dies just to come back! And yes, I knew it happened in the books. That just means the books were a cop-out too, suck a dick! <laughs> oh my god. Mm. <laughs> okay, it's, it's not like a character has ever had a death and rebirth moment in a story nope. before? Also, 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 just, just, um, I know, I know we don't want to talk about it, but, uh, yeah, Harry Potter comes back from, from death too. Just yeah, to but say. that's okay. He literally, he literally comes back to life. He literally gets killed and comes back to life. But in that, it makes sense. And that it's, it is totally explained and, it, you know, it's flawless. Yeah. No, Sorry. but, but he likes Harry Potter. So that's good. Yep. Yeah. He yep. doesn't that like Lord of the Rings. So that's that. Unless, like, of course, he hates that too. You know, there's a chance. I doubt it, though. <laughs> well, well, there's no, there's no gay relationships. In also, he, of, he made of, it very clear. Of, Gandalf of, didn't know he was gonna come back. This, no, it, it, in fact, terms of what even, it meant, he didn't even under, He didn't even understand what happened until like uh, uh, Peregrine Took and what's his name. Doesn't he, Pippin. doesn't he say he's he's back? He is as Saruman was supposed to be. Like that's that's yeah, his that's position in the world now. Yeah. Yeah, because there's there's actually like three wizards. There's Sauron the White, uh, Gandalf the Grey, and then I can't remember the name of the there's third Radagast one. Radagast, and then two Radagast blue the wizards, brown. right? Oh yeah. well, yeah, the brown, the brown one, the brown one. Yeah, the Radagast the brown. White, gray, the other brown, two, blue, uh, blue. And oh yeah, and I forgot. I forgot about the two blues. Yeah. That's well, that's that's funny because Gandalf literally forgets their names too. I'm yeah, sure. he forgets his own Forget fucking name. Sure. Remember, he's like Gandalf the Grey. But yeah, the point of the. They're like they're basically like the angels of the universe, so they each like. Yeah, they, the yeah, they, 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 are, they are they are the servants of uh, heaven in, in like in Tolkien's like you know allegory for all of it. Harry Potter and the half gay prince. <laughs> 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 that is a lie. We also see Gandalf actually falling or flying or whatever down the. I thought we only saw a repeat. Uh, I'm confused. What's happening? Oh my god. Cliff, and we see what happened with some of the worst CGI known to mankind, and I feel like it takes away the- Get out of here! What? what a, you need to be more specific, because it looks fucking fantastic, and they're carefully shot to not, like, focus in on what they- The films come across as they know their strengths, and they were fully aware that CGI ages. That seems to be the case when you watch them. Careful with yeah, a lot of the CGI and, and, and creatures. And in, fact, and in fact, you know, if you want to talk about like the Hobbit, that that that's what that that that's the the failing of the Hobbit so much is that it overuses the CGI versus using again what he even pointed out himself the like the amazing set designs and uh, what well, the craftsmanship from uh, where the work, workshops. You know, they, they they built so much of you know they all right they didn't literally build like you know Osgiliath for fucking you know uh, Minas Tirith or anything, but they did build sections of it for the, the actual stage or the, you know for the sound stage when they're filming on it. They, 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 
yeah, they, they knew their strengths and they were like, all oh, right, well, we can't build a literal battle log, so we'll fucking CGI it. And yeah. I understand Ooh. being hyperbolic, but worst CGI of all time. Oh, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it, when, when, when he. When he goes back to, I wanted to like him. I wanted to like him, and then he says stuff like that. You just like, you know, it sounds like you wanted to dislike it as, po- yeah. as much as possible for your video. D- d- the mystery of what happened to him. Maybe. I mean, I don't think he should have ever came back at all. But if he had to, surely him just showing up later would have been a much more surprising twist. Oh, it was just a dream. Not what? What do you uh, wait? No. Wait. It was so, just a dream. Wait, to reorder this, right? So what he just said was, wouldn't it have been better if Gandalf had just appeared in Vangorn instead of showing us this, because now we know? It's like, what do you mean? We don't know that he survived falling in free fall for what seemed like miles with a giant mythical dragon beast. Like, what do you... No, all, all we learn is that he defeated it. That's all we learn. We don't even no. do we even get that because this is before we find that out. Oh I'm wait, sure no, no, he, he, he does he does explain that to the no no. no. The, so in the, in Frodo's in uh, you know flash yeah. whatever whatever Frodo's experiencing there, we we can assume it's yeah. his imagination of what may have happened when you know the last shot is the Balrog and, and Gandalf about to fall into the water, and then it's later that Gandalf gives us the second half of that story, if you will. So he's saying. Right, yeah. That because right. they showed us this first half, it ruins Gandalf showing up in Fangorn because it's like, oh yeah, we knew he'd do that. I guess it's like, what are you talking about? Every the whole yeah. point of the Fangorn scene is to make us think it's Saruman. Also, um, somebody in Discord just uh, showed this uh, a link for what happens when you Google terrible CGI. You get, well, oh. there's actually a shot of Gimli in that. I don't know why. But that's not even it's not even CGI, but. One of them's Harry Potter. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not collecting points on this. <laughs> One of them's Harry Potter. But yeah, yeah, amongst others, you got the Incredible Hulk, not the um, not the latest Marvel one, the uh, just the, like Hulk. 2003 one or whatever. Uh, the Scorpion King, yeah, because the rock. Everyone knows that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Cats and Sonic. Yep, they were particularly bad for films that came out like you know this decade. But yep. Uh. Oh, Jar Jar Binks. I was enough, yeah. Um, white dude from fucking uh, from yeah from, from the Hobbit. God, my brain, my brain's shredding. I think I think I've got his name already. Uh, yeah, Azog. You mean or that's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously, yeah, and you got um, Wolverine's claws in the was that X Men Origins? Cause I think they were really bad in that one for some reason. Oh yeah, his claws when he's he's clanking them. To, yeah, they look fucking terrible, and I don't know what happened when they made it, but yeah. Yeah, despite the fact that like in the first, in the very first X Men film, they looked they looked fine, and then like they somehow got worse. It it's that's always a like a mystery to me. But oh, uh, it is as someone said, isn't that Mummy Two, not Scorpion King? That is the Mummy Two, but it is the Scorpion King. Is is oh sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. And then in the actual film, the Scorpion King, he, he's well, it's just the Rock. It's not he, he doesn't he's not. That's the your prequel King movie. Yeah, yeah. I think exactly, they made a yes, whole bunch yeah. of other ones that didn't have the Rock in it as well. Thing. <laughs> An excuse. To oh yeah, sorry. I'm gonna roll him back so you can hear his point out because it's so weird. The mankind, and I feel like it takes away the mystery of what happened to him. I mean, I don't think he should have ever came back at all. But if he had to, surely him just showing up later would have been a much more surprising twist. Oh, it was just a dream. Not an excuse. They still showed us oh. something we didn't need to see. It's stupid. So, uh, comments. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> the worst thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I can go for a pee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what they used to call me. And now I have to address again the relationship between Sam and Frodo. Oh no. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Guys, but it's I have okay to. to have guy friends. I'm just, I'm just yeah, gonna have hopefully to we'll be able to mostly like, just, yeah. just, just let like, this play again, out. Again, we all, we all reiterate that we do not agree with this criticism <laughs> that these characters are too gay. Like, okay, nor, yeah. would, <laughs> nor would that be a problem yeah, exactly. if they were. That's what we mean. Like, like who is the assumption in this statement? Yeah, it's like, we don't agree with the criticism that they're gay. It's like, wait, criticism? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, criti- the criticism that this is like a problem yeah, yeah, yeah. for the film. It is, like, this is not a problem for the film in any way. Like, okay, let's say they're gay. So what? Like, it's like, he's presenting it like it's a bad thing also. <laughs> like, like, like <sighs> what he said. It's like, it's... Again, an openly gay couple would have been awesome, but the fact that they deny it, it's cringy to watch some of this stuff. I mean, just look at their very first scene together. What is it, Mr. Furl? Come on! Oh, 
is uh, fellas, is it gay to touch a shoulder? If you put your hand on another gay. man's shoulder, gay. Fellas, is it gay to sleep with clothes on with your buddy? But fellas, is it like, what the fuck? You gotta be careful around this guy. <laughs> you can be like, hey man, and you like shake his hand and he's like, oh. You're like, what? Oh. What? <laughs> what? Why don't you look at me like that? Just the way they look at each other, the way they see each line, you can't dispute this! Nothing ever I dampens just your disputed spirits, it. Does it Sam? Nothing ever dampens your spirits. Clearly gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, did I just come back to another gay reference? Yep, too gay. Clearly Frodo wants yeah, no. to stop Sam's dick. Clearly. This is, Clearly. This is the part where he really complains about the gay. This is too yeah, much yeah. of the gay, come on now. And the worst is right at the end. Frodo wouldn't have got far without Sam. I was being serious, so was I. I feel really uncomfortable right now. What? That's because Why? you have an Why? issue with... Perceived guys, gay. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Perceived gay? Guys, it's is not... it gay to travel with your friend to the ends of the earth? Can we, can we just... <laughs> S -S Sam has saved Frodo's life several times at this point, and he's stood up gay. for him, and he's, he's supported gay. him, and Frodo gay. went to stab him relatively recently, so Frodo's like, gay. hey, you're kind of like Honestly, the reason that we're here. Honestly, yeah. an experience like that would make us all a little gay. Yeah, definitely. Also, um, I do love the bit in Osgiliath where Frodo's about to put the ring on where in front of the ring race and uh, Sam does a, like, a proper rugby tackle. I yeah, he does. <laughs> no, and, and Faramir actually recognizes just... Sam. Like, like when they're going, like, gardeners in, in Hobbit town, in the Shire are, are pretty fucking awesome or something like that. He says that. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, well, he goes, who is he, your yeah. bodyguard? And he's like, yeah. he's Gardner. Like, <laughs> Gardner. Like, Gardeners are awesome. Fire basically says that, and and this guy is saying that Sam is one of the worst characters in the trilogy. Like, so how can you say that? Dude? And I want to, I really want to drill this home, right? So he's presenting us. He he keeps beginning these segments with being openly gay would be awesome, and then he proceeds to say, "Ew, look at these gay references." It's like, what? Is, yeah. I'm confused. What are you trying to tell me? Like, is he actually advocating that we are told these characters are straight, and yet they have many moments in which you could interpret gay? This is bad because yeah, it's well, inconsistent I, with their sexuality or something like I that. I think he, I think he only said like it would be great if there actually was a gay couple in there because literally that is exactly what Doug Walker said. But I don't think he understands why Doug Walker said that. Because yeah. he then he then follows it up by saying it's cringe. Look at how cringe it is. It's really weird. Uh, yeah, he just copies Doug Walker without understanding why Doug Walker said it. It's consistent. Like that's the pattern. Like his head male oh, pattern falls in it. Got, got oh, it. the two towers this no. much. Sam does get more of an actual underlying character and isn't just a sidekick anymore, but good god is he annoying! The one time he gets a character and he does nothing but whine and comp- The one time he what? gets a character- What? <laughs> what are what? you talking he wasn't, What is- What? He wasn't whining, he was distrustful of the creature that was stalking them. What the fuck? <laughs> Do you, do you, I want to remind you know, this man. Right? Do you know what the first the interaction point? they had with Gollum was? Gollum trying to steal the ring slash kill them. Yeah, like the point of the second film is in internal conflict among, you know, different tribes of men, among the fellowship, among Sam and Frodo, and like it, they're, everybody's at conflict with each other. Like, yeah, he's going to get a little whiny, you know? I don't even. But... What is he referencing specifically? I'd like to know what, what is whiny about whatever Sam says. Because if you're one of the people who is like, no, nah, Gollum's good, man. He's, he's, he's good. Sam, stop being a dick to him. It's like, maybe I could, I I mean, could sort of see that, but annoying? It, well, also, also, in the context of the film, like, the audience is on Sam's side in this. Like, Frodo is being too flippant with trusting Gollum, and Sam is being smart to distrust him. Because uh, even though it's not Frodo's fault, or Sam's fault that uh, Smeagol ends up like turning on them. It was Sam was right in the end to distrust him. But by the way, saying a character is annoying isn't really much to work with either, because you can find anyone annoying or not annoying. That's not substantive. It's like I like what is um, 
what why what they are saying maybe is out of character or it's conflicting for the sake of it it's not actually informed by anything they feel like and then i would be like okay that's more interesting than i don't know they're annoying it's like oh this is from the same guy who describes gimli as annoying by the way Look! he's led us into a swamp there are dead things dead faces in the water is that not worth fucking pointing out <laughs> there are corpses in this swamp that we're traveling through it's about to say shut up. Dude, uh, there's okay. dead yeah, bodies yeah. in the water. Play it, play it, play it. There's dead bodies in the water. Shut up. Oh, that, that's actually um <laughs> one little thing that I, I do chuckle at is that yeah, Sam gets Sam says that he's led us into a swamp like when he's like halfway in the swamp. It's yeah, kinda like... that's something that we've pointed out before. It's funny. <laughs> it's like it's like Sam, why, why do you have such grievances now? He's like, Yeah, you've been in the swamp for what looks to be like fucking miles. <laughs> But, yeah, no, no. Shut the fuck up, you pansy! Oh my god. You pansy, it's only oh, no. No, a million I'll have no bodies. one to lick my butthole later! I no, guarantee no, no. you this man has never seen a dead body in his life. You yes. are not a pansy for being scared of dead bodies. Bro, it's not that even is... like a dead body like in a funeral. It's like a dead body dumped in a swamp. Like, it's yeah. not... It's like so... You won't be shocked? <laughs> Mr. Badass over here? <laughs> We got a badass over here. Oh, it's just a dead body, bro. But then he also plays a clip. <laughs> what, are you, what are you, gay? Come on. You be, see, we make this joke, right? It's like, oh, you've been hyperbolic parody. It's like, okay, no. So what you just saw, and I'm going to rewind it to show you. you ha we're on the topic of Sam being annoying. Frodo is slowly about to fall into a swamp filled with corpses for reasons. And Sam says, Frodo! And then this guy's commentary is, oh, gay. Just watch it happen. I'd kick anymore, but good god is he annoying! The one time he gets a character and he does nothing but whine and complain! It's a bug! He's led us into a swamp! There are dead things! Dead faces in the water! Shut the fuck up, you pansy! No, no! No! I'll have no one to lick my butthole later! No! Gay. I hate- <laughs> I hate this guy. I hate this guy. Just Come gay. On. You're like, okay. Gay, I guess. God, I'm so uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Make him sick, you will. <laughs> Behaving like that. Leave my boyfriend alone. His cock is mine. Ser no, <laughs> it's like he, he. It's not even like it's one thing to tease the gayness. It's he, like teasing it is fine, but he's like he's going like. He's going hard as it's going hard. He's going the Literal. whole way. Yeah, Literally, like penis inside of penis inside of whole jokes. Like. Yeah. Jesus Christ, and no subtlety to it. It almost, it almost feels pointless, but it's just like, so Sam wants to cook the food. He's very well versed in cooking. He uses a frying pan to hit people and he has all the pots and pans all over him whenever they go around. He's, he's good with this shit. He's annoyed that Gollum is tearing into a, a rabbit in front of Frodo, not only to make him sick, but he's also fucking up the food. That, that is why what happened there happened. Instead of just going, this scene, gay. I just don't know what else to do with my life. <laughs> Why is this happening? Seriously, there's a huge difference between being a protective friend and a bona fide stalker. But in all fairness, Sean Aston does continue to. He's not a stalker. Oh my god, shut the fuck Stalker. stalker. Companion. Stalker. Companion. No, no, no. It's like stalker. every shot of Samwise as he's over the hill peeking. At, <laughs> at... <laughs> he's known he's as the Gollum of the. Peaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except for this line. I don't believe you! It's so random and such a pussy outburst. Um, so it's Gollum trying to appeal that he can be trusted, and Sam says, I don't believe you, and shouts at him because he doesn't trust him. I don't know why I have to explain this, but uh Because he didn't watch the movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> just <laughs> may as well just start playing the scenes and be like, there you go, that should help. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I forgot he doesn't like pussy. The others just come across as boring Not a gay joke. Why does he have to? Why does he have to keep like every chance he gets? He throws in a gay joke. Every Are they really time. shit gay like, jokes? Yeah, I think the the dissonance is like a, very apparent. Like what Mahler pointed out, like it's okay to be gay, but he's like passively aggressively shitting on being gay. Like it's it's time to stop. <laughs> to uh to piggyback on what Scorn in chat said, um, doesn't yeah. I think at one point. Theoden puts his hand on Aragorn's shoulder. Were yeah. they gay? 
for yeah, bro. The, think they were know? gay, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. I mean, it would have been fine if they'd made them overtly gay in the film, but doing that, ugh, disgusting. Yeah. Thank you for listening to my review. <laughs> it's just, that's, it was extensive, I know. <laughs> Archetypes with no other traits outside of that. By the way, why does Mary always have the same expression on his face when he pushes his chin out as far as possible? It's like he's eating in class and has to hide some chocolate under his tongue to keep it from the teacher. Frodo, I'm acting. I'm, I'm Mary, just so you can tell us apart. This is a high quality review. Uh, yeah, like, uh, this is like <laughs> one of the parts that I actually chuckled a bit because of what he said, not laughing at him. Like, I mean, you know, it's good yeah, we're not wasting time. I'm the one with yeah. the chin. I don't know why I said that. And once again, Frodo has the voice. nothing. He has all of these oh, tremendous it. scenes. Frodo has nothing. Dude. Oh, shut dude. up! The whole movie shut is Frodo up. losing his shit. He's slowly getting yeah, more and, and more and more dragged down. Yeah, and like how Fr Frodo and Smeagol Golem kind of mirror each other with the blue eyes. I think that wasn't by accident. I think that was a decision by the director. You, 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 you oh god. Want. Well, yeah, okay. he learns Smeagol's history, which is yeah. easily going to become his own history. It's fucking, like, you've got to be careful. Yeah, it's like, like... His his eyes are the only thing left of him that are even yeah. like Hobbit, so that's sort of the point. Yeah, that's, that's the, the highlight. Point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it, it grounds you, and it shows you that there is a connection between these three characters. But, Greg, he said it's nothing, so it has nothing to be... Nothing really happens for Frodo oh. in this movie, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, okay with Sam and still has zero personality. We see Smeagol and Sean Aston grow as people and characters, but Frodo <laughs> remains at the start line as a blank plank of wood. What do you mean? <laughs> it's just wrong. The padding and the okay, filler is could, still a massive problem. You could problem. say this that, one... like, okay, I'm not saying that he's right. You could make a statement that is Frodo has no character. And you could say that at this story point, he could have done this, but he didn't show anything. Like... But he doesn't even do that! Oh, do you mean like substantiate oh. a claim? I agree. Yeah, I mean, I keep saying that, Butler, but it's really frustrating. Like, it's like, oh my god. But... Please Butler, substantiate. this is the first time in ECAP, I'm, I'm actually, like, kind of mad. <laughs> you, that's the third time you said this, I can tell you're very angry. The fact you have to repeat it. <laughs> yeah! It's, it's the only thing that's keeping me awake at this point. My, my frustration. <laughs> Blood boiling. My, my rage. <laughs> Fell deeds awake, like not for wrath or ruin, like and for the world. And, like, uh, oh, fuck, fucking hell! Uh, this one is genuine development, so it doesn't make him quite as angry as the yeah, first one, but it's still a huge problem with false endings. See my notes again. Just roll. False, false endings. endings. This is the second what? movie in the fucking what? trilogy. False endings. What? False endings. <laughs> Yeah, let's have a look what, through. What? Let's go from the top, I guess. Uh, he's just got a Talking quote. Fucking intense Frodo close up. We can see his nose hairs. Fuck off. <laughs> so you got. Um, These are no soldiers. Again, hyping up the big climax, all getting ready, an hour left of the film. They're just talking and not building suspense. Not talking about anything of worth, even though he's highlighted that we're establishing our team don't have soldiers in them, just farmers. How is that not establishing suspense that we're gonna get fucking blitzed by Urukai? But okay. And the also, this isn't, isn't this around the time where Aragorn decides that if he dies, it's fine because he dies with his people? Like, and I shall die as one of them. I shall die as one of them. That, that's fucking yeah. nothing, guys. That, that's a nothing burger. Well, it's in reaction to Legolas telling the audience, yeah, we're gonna lose. <laughs> it's like, no suspense, boo. Boom. Not to mention the uh, Gimli emphasizing that these aren't just mindless orcs; these are Urukai. Their armors fit, yeah. their shields are broad. Well, you know, guys, it's nothing. Like, <laughs> you just said Legolas to kill everyone. Don't you know that? Is, I just I love guess. how there's infinite references to how he's wrong <laughs> every time. <laughs> it's like In his own fucking notes. It's, like, it's kind of Ooh. amazing, isn't it? Like. <laughs> um. Someone breathing on the mic a little bit, or oh, my bad. I'm. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was you. I like it. <laughs> it's gay. <laughs> We're very pro gay. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> um, this is a good sword. Wait, what? That's as bad as I don't like sand. No, it's. Huh? 
So this is that's when Aragorn is holding and swings around the kid's sword that he's talking to, and he says, "This is a good sword." That's apparently just like I don't like sand. Right, <laughs> bro. What the fuck? <laughs> like, it's nothing like that. I don't. Yeah. Why does he keep doing this? I don't understand. You need to connect them. You can't just say it. You need to explain yourself. Gimli still not funny. Um, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> He's got, should I describe it to you in quotations, and that's it. It's just, it's just the line. You know what? He'll probably shit on the toss me. Yeah. yeah. And I'm gonna fucking explode. I'm just... Uh, how, how, uh, tell a bit, he makes the, the toss uh, me reference as a, like, uh, you know, toss me off reference. Oh, sure. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, sure. Is that a gay thing in, in Britain? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna do it, yeah. At, like, 6,000%. Yeah, tossing someone off is like jerking them off, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, fucking Jesus. Uh, Christ. come on, we can take him, it's a long way... Yeah. The Ring Drove Your Brother Mad. Yeah, the movie was pretty bad. Oh, oh that oh, rhymes oh, too! It's, <laughs> like, it's like poetry! It's like poetry, it rhymes! Val begins Fast again. I, I, I love how like these insights uh, set us up for disappointment later. I was gonna say, we're gonna see some of this shit. Uh. Yeah. I don't know why he shows his script, he really shouldn't. It's really not helping him at all. Uh, we can see his nose hairs, fuck off. Okay. Wait, uh, yeah, you, you made that joke, uh, you made that joke about Gandalf. But Great don't scene. you know? Don't you know, Smiler? Oh. You, could, you could use the two jokes. Dude, I found the that. ultimate burn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh god. The I ultimate, so you got, it. quote, it's like great stories, Mr. Frodo, the ones that really matter, end quote. You mean, not like this one? Fuck. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Lord Jackson of the Rings will never Brian. recover. Oh no, Peter Jackson is like, drying himself <laughs> with hundred dollar bills. Oh no, he shadowed my story. <laughs> oh, he's crying tears. Oh, he's crying. I wonder if people will ever ask to hear about our story. Unfortunately, yes, they will. Damn, dude, just rolling yeah. out these burns. Like, like, sh 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 rapid fire wit from, yep. from the man himself. Like, gay. all the credits, the credits, Jackson. False climactic cock teases and pointless, unnecessary talking about nothing. Can you give me a citation? No. Just one. He's he's just ranting. Yeah. Just a line. <laughs> just just a line. <laughs> At the one hour and forty-four. Wait, was that an example so, of just random talking? No, that was the point where where Smeagol like researched no, himself. Yeah, he like, thinks it's an example of like, oh, just meaningless talk talking. It's like no, what? Uh, no, I, I thought that was just kind of like him just like telling the film by using the film. But like, oh, one of his. Film. Okay, oh, yeah, it okay, could be. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah. I would rather possible. assume that. Yeah. Four minute mark. We get this voiceover narration about the powers of the ring. And it still doesn't properly explain the powers of the fucking thing! What do you mean? What do you mean? What's he talking about? What scene is that? What explaining the powers of the ring. I mean, so, I mean, th this is genuine right now. So, if someone asked me, you know, Mola, what are, the, what are the powers of the ring? I'd be like, so if you put it on, it can make you invisible, but it makes you like a beacon to Sauron. Um, yeah. Being around it makes you like desperate to have it it's like it's like a source of uh intrigue power and desperation you just desperately want it and it'll deteriorate you it'll almost as far as i can tell it can make you immortal but it'll essentially destroy you um and if sauron gets it back then he can regain his full strength that that seems like is there anything else yeah <laughs> i don't know like it <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what he's talking about really. Is he? Uh... All right, yeah, it, it, it rules them all, right? It, it's the power to rule all. Just saying it has the power to rule all doesn't explain the powers. No, so it makes him really powerful, and he has no, control it, over it, it, every other ring bearer because he designed it that way. Also, you don't need, need, you you don't don't need to explain how. You don't. But need they to explain did. How well, 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 hang on. Well, like, it, he, well, you don't explain doing? how magic works because it's magic. Like, the, it's if he's just, talking about like, how is it that a ring, nothing. how is it one ring has more control over other rings or something? I just like, Not they're the, the rules. It's magic. The magic rings. I, I think it was. Yeah. It's okay. Go ahead, Smiler. Just... Oh, I was literally gonna say, um, the 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 very first scene or the very or the very first introduction to the whole films. Yes. Uh, yes. What, what, what is Saron doing? 
He's he's wheeled in the ring and he is mowing people down by swinging yeah. his mace like his fucking nothing. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, you don't need you don't need to know how that's happening. You just need to know that that's what happens when you wear the ring. That's the yeah. And of nobody course, nobody else is doing that, so presumably it's significant that this guy can do it. And I again, how. Yeah. the greatest leaders yeah. of the dwarves, the elves, and men have all been given rings, and they're all deceived and corrupted by the main big old fucking awesome ring. Yeah, but there was another ring. Yeah, what was that? I don't ring? understand what's hard to like. That's all in the prologue, though. I don't even know what, what's going yeah. on. Yeah, because well, it is Im yeah, immortality, it's right? It, it lets you live forever, hence Gollum. But it also sends you insane. What? Who? Who would want that? That's what. <laughs> also, <laughs> what the also, also, it doesn't give you. Well, it didn't give Gollum immortality. It gave him an unnaturally long lifespan. That's what they say is unnaturally like extends his life. We don't. I don't know that it gives you immortality. Uh, it, it, well, well, it's it's the same as Bilbo. He, he is yeah. the oldest Hobbit. He, yeah. He, and then yeah. Yeah. When he got the ring out, he aged immediately. Like. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. He, Guys, well, he ages from when he left Bag End yeah. to Rivendell. He's already aged significantly. Yeah, yeah like, and then by the end of the last, uh, well, the last uh, couple of scenes, yeah, he's, he's, but, he's but I like he just said move. he just said yeah, the ring makes you immortal, but it also like turns you all horrible and shit. Why would you want that? It's like what did you did you miss all of the three movies? The ring, it's not a yeah. rational love. <laughs> no, you're, that's the point. Is you you don't want it you just think you do that's the, it's that's like the meth yeah <laughs> yes it's like it's like it's drug. any it's a... fucking destructive drug it's awesome when you're high but it fucking kills you yeah you've seen Gollum's teeth haven't you he's got, he's, he's got the mouth of a meth head all the way <laughs> like, like that's such a simple concept it's, but it's... it's such a simple simple concept it's incredible to have someone be like what like they watch the three lord of the rings films and you're like what do you think it's like they were shit why why would anyone want the ring it's so shit like, it turns you into gold <laughs> like he likes last jedi what does he think's happening to kylo <laughs> ren in that film like all of the like, development who, who would who would want that who would want the dark side if it makes you crazy and ugly but it gives you power. You're like, whoa. Oh, it's deep because the film explains Have this it. ring, million, but it will also send you fucking insane and crazy and you'll basically kill everyone. Damn, insane and crazy. Even ones close to you, you lose your sanity, lose your body, you just become this demented, deformed fucking creature that has no threat. Yeah, sign me up, mate. Sign me up. Why would anyone fucking want this? I don't get it. It's a fucking film. Oh. The ring wasn't designed for mortals to wear it, though. Yeah, it's just Nobody, like the idea that mortals, it's a, like a shop window. Mortals were never supposed to have it. It was not. Yeah, like, Sauron, didn't, Sauron never intended anyone else to wear it. He, he made it for himself. <laughs> the side effects. That's just it's the, the, the 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 consequences of other people wearing it are just like, well, fuck it. You know, you little. You, well, yeah, you were meant to wear it. Yeah, and also every other fucker that's not Sauron. Just turns invisible, right? It's it's not like uh, everyone can use it and become like a, a fucking dynasty warriors mode, killing everyone. No, it's 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 a trick. It's but, like... but he's selling this like that's a big deal with the ring is that we want people to want it, so we better give it attributes that are desirable. It's like, wait, what is what is this framing? That's not what it is. That's not at all what's happening in this story. What are you talking about? What the fuck? This none of this makes sense. The ring is treacherous. Okay. All I ask is to explain what else it does. I could do the same. I just, uh, I just wish he took off his chavy chain and fucking. Yeah. <laughs> so annoying. Like, Somebody. <laughs> oh, it turns you invisible and makes you immortal, but then it doesn't do anything else. What the fuck? <laughs> it, yeah, it, yeah. Tri it trick. It tricks you into surrendering yourself. to to fucking Sauron. I, I thought yeah. it was pretty clear when you just have characters, it is in their hand and they stroke it saying, my precious. What do you think that exchange is right there? And if he's like, yeah, I don't know, they're not getting anything out of it, so why? That's, that makes no sense. It's like, they are satisfied, they are content, because that's the point of the ring, is to make you feel like this is what you want, but it's not. Yeah. And as soon as it's gone, the anxiety is is unbearable. Like, you, 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 you saw it with Bilbo, you see it with Gollum, pretty much. Well, yeah, Gollum is, is <laughs> Gollum is like on like the worst come down ever. <laughs> and, oh, God damn it! 
fuck's the point in being immortal if it doesn't give you any other fucking powers? What's the point in being immortal if you don't have other powers? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, because that is that one is definitely not something that people could ever desire. No, Look, no, no. That is... Can you picture anybody on this planet desiring immortality? Uh, also, not necessarily also, you also, can't also. die, just that you live for as long as you you know you do. There's nothing that yeah. strikes you down naturally. Also, also, I just, just I, I gotta do it again. Harry Potter, Voldemort, creates the Horcruxes to achieve immortality because if he split his soul into seven parts, he couldn't be killed. No, idiot, That's he has he other powers. It. He desired other to powers. be immortal. Other powers, he can yeah. cast spells. No, 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 he, he desired immortality and that's what he did, so go fuck, oh, oh. calm. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm, once once when when Rags comes back, I'm gonna ask him that question. Rags, what's the point of immortality if you don't have other powers? And see what he says. See if he thinks that I'm I'm serious. Uh, I'd be curious. I'll try and sell yeah. it as though I'm serious. Yeah, and the plot um, continues oh, to I was put gonna in... say as well. Um, the ring also, you, you know, it has a mind of its own. Yeah, it you know it calls to you. It you know it it liberally falls off Gollum's finger at the right moment so that it, it parts with him. It, it's you know, it, 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 all right, it, it can't sprout legs, but it can choose when he wants to. Well, the idea is that Sauron is in it, technically speaking, right? Like it's yeah, Sauron. Sauron is manipulating you to do a specific thing while you have it. And... It's a slow motion mode with just words coming out that aren't connected or furthering anything. Jackson could have Frodo and Gandalf go out for lunch and he'd make that scene 12 minutes long and people would still claim it's intense, story driven and has impeccable character. I mean, I'd watch it and then uh, I, I would actually listen to what the characters say but, and then I'd yeah, probably say you're fucking me, wrong because they don't just go for lunch, they talk about something. Let me, yeah, let me watch that scene first and then I will tell you what I think. Forgive me if I don't <laughs> take your word for it, Mr. Venom. <laughs> <laughs> To you say this? Gimli really takes the annoyingly unfunny character in a hyperdrive. Everyone I've asked finds some of these lines hilarious, but I've found scenes in Schindler's List funnier than this. Oh, all right. Oh well, boy. Oh, oh, all right. Well. Oh. It's a little oh, tight across oh, the chest. Like, no. Keep breathing. Watch the key. Breathe. That's funny, though. That, that scene was funny. Well, like, well you know, that's all this is. He's going to say it's not funny, and then we're going to say it is funny. Done. Not the mention that. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, at least I'm going to set it up by saying the, the joke is. Like, I, I can't believe I'm going to explain a joke. Oh my god. Do it. <laughs> the joke is Aragorn and Legolas are striding along easily, and he's just barely keeping up. And he's, he's cheering himself on. That's the fucking joke, you. You fuck like not just not just that. It, it, there's also a little bit of builder pr uh, prior to that with Gimli kind of boasting that dwarves are natural sprinters over short distances. Uh, yeah, and don't then... don't forget the shot, the wonderful shot and where now... Aragorn is kneeling and he he notices like where they're going next, and then the camera moves up and we see Legolas is there too. They both sprint along. The camera hangs and then he just falls down the hill in the background because oh, he's trying yeah, to keep yeah, up. Yeah. He... Yeah, he just tosses himself off again because he just can't fucking be bothered to run. It's, it's a lovely bit of... It's the kind of shit you see in the Cornetto trilogy a lot where the you don't realize the camera is almost a character. It's uh, working with you. Yeah. It's trying to make you entertain. Yeah. Uh, it's not just Gimli just going, Oh my god, I'm a dwarf. I have short legs. This is unfair. Inequality. Wah, wah, wah. That, I, that would be, I that feel would be bad that I am not as fast as my fellow peoples. You're like... Okay. Yeah, who are also like have <laughs> legs longer than my torso. <laughs> See, so that burp comes after um, Theoden says, I, th I think it's, uh, he says, Theoden, not Aragorn, is the uh, leader of Rohan or something like that. It's a, it's a very serious moment. And then it just cuts to give Lady burps because he's not really paying attention. He's just eating. But okay. Cut a bip out of cut. Is a bip funny? That's the question, I suppose. Because <laughs> all bips are the same. It, it, the answer is yes, it is funny. Yes. Don't see many dwarf women. And in fact, they are so alike in voice and appearance <laughs> that they're often mistaken for dwarf men. Come on. It's very funny. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh. no, 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 Cry. He's got to the fair, he's, he he's he, he would have he, 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 he was uh this is uh what's what's the expression he 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 missed out on the boat with the uh that guy with the glasses uh 
crew. Oh yeah, well he, this he is the thing, you can tell, this, this, fit right in. this person is a there product are... of that guy with the glasses, I would say. I know, there I are... know. There, I mean, you could make the argument that uh, Gimli is the most absurd in this movie, but there's two reasons for that. One, he has to be because it's this is the darkest of the three, but also because it's the darkest, it also just gives extra con- contrast to the fact that he's being so goofy in such serious situations. But I think that it's played off perfect because, like, it is. It's just, it's a burp. It's him cheering himself on. It's him saying dwarf women have beards like those are like yeah. very tame jokes like, so tame not just tame. that but like whilst uh, Legolas is uh, very doubtful and uh, kind of like well I won't call him a quitter but you know he, he kind of gives off the vibe he wants to quit at times um, Gimli uh, no he just he just stole his arm you know you know, he, he's, he's, a, he's a true warrior you know he, he just keeps going you know because that's what that's what he's going to do yeah, I don't, I don't know what else we can do other than we've explained the jokes. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> there we go, I guess. And it's not just the unfunny lines, it's the dialogue itself! Oh, they are so alike in voice and appearance <laughs> that they're often mistaken for dwarf men. I was just going to say, I love this exchange. It's awesome. It's, yeah. I love this exchange. It's one of my favorite parts of the movie. It's the beards. Oh, thanks for explaining that joke because you clearly think the audience are too. Fucking thick to get it. So that was banter between Aragorn, Gimli, and Eowyn. It's strengthening their relationship because those three go through different things uh, throughout this film and the next one. See the nah, fact that Aragorn was talking down and explaining it. The, the, Aragorn whispered it. So the the point is not just to explain the obvious that they have beards, but by whispering it, he's they're implying that it's an extremely sensitive subject to the fucking. Dwarf yeah, people. Not to mention, that's back. the one aspect that I think naturally, as an audience, you'd be questioning. You're like, wait, so Gimli's like mainly beard. Do the women have beards? And he goes, it's the beards. You're but like, that's oh the, shit. But that's the thing. They, they probably don't, though. That's the thing. They probably well, it's, don't. And this is what I mean, like, both ways it could work. So. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't matter even. The point is that they're, that they're just having a funny interaction with each other. And, it, and it's just like, it's a, it is a great character moment for the three of them. Just in case you get oh, like and, and, and another point, like I, I see it, I only see purpose in Lord of the Rings. So I'm like, why do you think that happened between those three? It's like, well, who ends up telling Eowyn that Aragorn has, you know, gone missing slash died? It's like, oh yes, Gimli. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you gotta you gotta establish that, you know, they've got a connection. I'll explain it, because you're, you're fucking your best screenplays ever! Best fucking writing ever! So this one awards, off. but fucking Shawshank won nothing. Okay, well, right. lots of things that should get awards don't get them. What can you say? Yeah, we should just be thankful of things that do road. get them do. What, what, God, what, what be Shawshank? Because there's a lot of films that, like, come out the same year that get overshadowed or, well, by other great films, but, you know, ugh. I mean, at the end of the day, I, do you guys actually give a fuck about Oscars and shit? No. I try, no, I try not to. I get upset over them, but then I remind myself it doesn't matter. Like, like he's clutching his pills like that. Like, you know, there, there's some like you know really deep meaning behind it. And I like, I know I've like referenced that you know they like they they invented the award for anti circus for this film, but I don't fucking care. I don't fucking use that as evidence of this being a good or bad film. Like, I don't do it for any fucking film. Yeah. It, 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 it's <laughs> we everyone knows the fucking the the um the the Grammys and all that. It's all just circle jerking each other. We all everyone knows that. And besides, every, the every, two characters in, uh, in Shawshank, I'm pretty sure they were gay. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. For no reason. <laughs> pretty gay. For no reason. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like play. You just said, yeah, clutching his douche chain more. Like, douche yeah, chain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, just, oh, just for trouble. people, it, it's, it's a chav chain. It, it's what chavs wear in the UK. It, they, they wear bling, you know, like mm-hmm. chains around their necks. And they... You know, it, it's this it's this wannabe gangster. I'm not to say that he is definitely that, but it, it's the kind of people. It's really cool. When what they're wearing... Well, what, it's when, it's when you see people wearing like track suits out as like kind of like you know like um, streetwear or um, kind of like you know well well they're like casual wear and then they have like chains and all that and jewelry and like you know bling bling you know like you know they might have a golden chain or, or shit. It, I, I don't oh, know. It, like, those people are like detestable, honestly. I forgot to ask, uh, Greg, Christmas or Halloween? Which is better? Just choose. Oh, 
Oh, uh, Halloween, I guess. Yes! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I forget, wait, we can worry, you voted on this already, right? I said Christmas. Yeah, it's okay, yes. you can be wrong. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm I'm correct. Wait a fucking minute. Wait a fucking yeah. minute. Wait a minute. Hey. Wait a minute. What are you, Chris Cinematic Venom? Like Chris Cinematic Venom. <laughs> <laughs> celebrate Halloweeners. Celebrate. We got another one. I'm, I'm enjoying the moment. Okay. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> we left none alive. We piled the carcasses and burned them. Does anyone want to guess what his point's gonna be? How this is bad? <laughs> I'm just curious, <laughs> like... For no reason! Oh, no, wait. For no reason... <laughs> no. No. Uh, well, for, no, I'm just listing. Well, like... like oh, okay. Ones. Like, for no right. reason, I don't right. understand what's happening in this scene. Like, they're just talking. They're talking right. and walking. Like, those are, like, one of the two things I can think of right now. Uh, what, what else? Um... I, I would take a guess that whilst uh, Aragorn does his like kind of pathfinding where he tracks their um, well the the tracks and all that, I, I bet he's gonna go. But they show the scenes like you know well like interchangeably with uh, Merry and Pippin uh, fleeing the well all the orcs and he's just gonna be like we know they're alive. I guarantee. Or, yeah. I mean, I'm he assuming it's going to be about the selection he just showed us, so yeah. I, I don't know if it's like, it's it's obviously there, you can see the smoke, or something like that, I don't know, let's just, let's enjoy it. Uh, chat, chat also said, I don't care. Like, All right. Like, that's yeah. <laughs> he doesn't yeah. care about this, because, yeah, actually, that's yeah. probably it. Oh, Rax is on his way back, he might be in time for the two of the king. <laughs> no, 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 well, well, when I said I left none alive, we clearly meant they- Wow. Well, oh. Oh, wow. Rats, you're right. Water, you're right. <laughs> so like, just to make sure everyone got that, his complaint is Aragorn said, well, he said there were two hobbits. Did you see two hobbits? And then he says, we left none alive. And Gimli's reaction is dead? Like, yeah. Very normal reaction. Very, very, normal. very, very, very normal reaction, in fact. He's upset that Gimli clarified dead because Gimli's not actually concerned with making sure that's the case, he's just so fucking sad that they didn't make it in time. Yeah, that's that's literally, like, that's a normal thing. Like, that's the left side of his brain telling the right side of his brain, this is the news. Yeah. Nah, Gim Gimli's just slow. He just needs things explained to him. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is how I think a lot of people view my work, where they're like, look at him, he's nitpicking to the point of make, taking someone saying clarifying something as like bad exposition or something I'm how can you like how could you make a complaint that makes you look like an asshole like how like <laughs> he can't he can't even be compassionate enough to understand the significance of that line it's like don't you get it you didn't care Gimli, yeah like like Gimli is sad because his friends are dead like what the fuck this is top tier meme hard. right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, no reason. <laughs> it's kind of perfect. That's kind of perfect. It's hard to choose sometimes. It's pretty good. Holy shit. <laughs> good meme. High five. <laughs> they went on meme, fucking guys. vacation! Oh, you're dead? We're dead? Dead? Wait a minute, by not alive you mean dead? Why are you even here, Gimli? F fuck you! But what do people defend this writing? That family over there, he they were eaten by- fuck you to Gimli, like, three or four he times. He really now. hates short people, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what it is, man. He hates short people and he hates gay people. Yeah, very... so, any short gays out there, I'm sorry. Oh, man. F, F in the chat for- Yeah, they're probably, not, they're probably not- F in the <laughs> chat for the <laughs> short yeah. gays. F, F, in, F in the chat for the 5-5 five five and below gays. Oh. <laughs> by lions and then ripped their innards out and and set them on fire yeah lions could do that oh no are the family okay that's the fucking same fucking thing if any other film had this writing so he's he's really belaboring this oh but he's god. just wrong oh just, my god yeah you're just wrong oh god. people would shit all over it and that's my problem if Uwe Boll wrote this, if M. Night Shyamalan wrote this, people would be huh? all over it. But because it's Lord Uwe Boll! I like how he pretends what? that we've got this what? worshipping situation what? with Peter Jackson, when this is what made Peter Jackson, like, a, a household name. He, he, the motherfucker just said, if Uwe <laughs> Boll made, made this, you'd love it. 
we we'd be criticizing his, his point if if it had been. Oh, right okay, the... okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm like slipping in and out of sanity. Yeah, I know. it's okay. Yeah, that's. A... <laughs> I, get I get it. I get it. My, my brain is <laughs> as well. It's, it's just cool. Okay. Because it's Peter Jackson praised as brilliant writing, and that's what pisses me off. People no, just brilliant blindly accept. It's praised for brilliant writing because it's brilliant writing. You, oh my god. Also, like... it goes both ways, man. You are saying we blindly love it, you're blindly hating it. Yeah, exactly. Another point in this mad, mad episode of EFAP. Muller is wrong. The Frighteners made Peter Jackson a household name. No, Lord of the Rings made him a household name. There's no way people uh, knew him. What's the What's well, the that fucking case in point, we can worry doesn't even know what the Frighteners is. <laughs> the people, the, you know what? what makes someone, like, this is the argument I think was brought up with um, Hal from Malcolm in the Middle. It's like, did Breaking Bad make Brian Cranston a household name, or did Malcolm in the Middle? What do you guys think? Uh, uh, well, okay. I would, I, uh, I'm not sure, honestly. I would say it's Breaking I would Bad. Say I would say Breaking Bad was the was the thing, like. But even then, he wouldn't have even gotten there if it wasn't for Malcolm in the Middle. So, but yeah, I'd say Breaking Bad it was the. Yeah, it's just one. it's just yeah, what makes people like, very aware of the person, and it's just, like, as far as I'm concerned, Peter Jackson is Lord of the Rings, uh, and I yeah. wouldn't I wouldn't want to take away that his other work is is either great or led to Lord of the Rings. And the same for Malcolm in the Middle with, with Breaking Bad. By the way, it's, I've, I've watched all of this stuff. I love all of this. It's all, it's all awesome. Brian Cranston is an amazing actor. But um, he, st he starts appearing in all kinds of movies all over the place in big roles, and people know his name after Breaking Bad. That's what did yeah, it. I, I was about to say that Breaking Bad certainly established him as a, uh actor who could do drama, not just, uh, well, be Hal, because obviously when he got cast as a... Walter White, everyone was just like, what, Hal? From Bre um, not from Breaking Bad, yeah. from Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, I, I remember like, thinking that. I was like, seriously, Hal? Like, he's going to be in a drama? Okay, I'll, I'll yeah, give it a he's shot. Gonna be, he's going to be, you know, well, the guy who turns into Tony Montana. Like, really? Like, most like will that. not refer to him as Walter now. It'll be Brian Cranston. It's just because, like, he's that's who he is now. He's a fucking fantastic actor. And the same with Peter Jackson. Everyone's like, yay, Peter Jackson's behind a movie. Well... That didn't last very long, because uh, he, he's attached his name to some stuff people... Know. Like, a lot of people aren't a fan of the King Kong movie. I think it's... I, I like it. Uh, I'd have to rewatch yeah. it to really know what I... Think about it fully, but then the, the Hobbit movies, a lot of people pissed off at that. A lot of Lord of the Rings fans fucking hate the Hobbit movies. Uh, I was looking at a thread about yeah. the 4K Lord of the Rings, and uh, the top comment said, if they come as a six-film uh, package, I'm not going to buy them. And I was like, oof. People just, uh, they want their Lord of the Rings. And, uh, of course, he's a t his name is attached to, uh, what's it called, Mortal Engines? I know that that film did yeah. horribly bad. I don't know what his involvement uh, well, is on well, that one, though. Yeah, but no, he was a producer. It, it's, um, they used his name to hype the film up, like, you okay. know, from the creator of Lord of the Rings. They and lost and money there. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, they did. Yeah, and, and that, that film is, is shit, and it's a, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to rant about that film. It, it, it sucks. <laughs> anyway, back to great arguments. Yeah, Lord of the Rings, because it's Peter Jackson. They didn't think for themselves, oh, actually, this line's a bit shit. I can admit when there's bad writing in some of my favourite films, but everyone else tries to justify this. Mate, you can't even... You don't even... You, he doesn't even get... He doesn't even show examples in this. I don't have to justify why a character clarifying someone's death is, that they are very invested in is something they would do. I don't know how... Like, I don't understand what... What is your argument? Well, it's like, it's, we it's, left. It's, no. it's like when there's like you know comic, well, comedy lines. He, he just says it's not funny or whatever. He, he does. He, he, he's fucking full of him. He's full of it. Unalive, dead. I don't give a shit if it was a rhetorical question. It's a fucking stupid thing to fucking say. Say something about that. So yeah, this is a good sword we're coming up. Here we go. Let's, Here let's we see go. it in all its glory. Oh yeah, that foreshadowing. This is a good sword. It's a good sword. Okay, let me get this straight. Everyone shits on Attack of the Clones for this line. I don't like sand. This is the exact same fucking no, line! No, this no, is no. a good sword. It's so he's telling him this is a good sword to oh bolster him. The kid is oh frightened. My God. 
<clears throat> this is this is like one of the most human moments in the whole film. So these they're they've conscripted fucking children. Mm -hmm. That's how desperate they are. And yeah. he this king, this goddamn king sees a frightened child and he is he is boosting his ego and giving him giving him confidence because nobody else there is. Like fucking this Aragorn is, just handed me what he why, calls a good sword. This is why Aragorn is my favorite character. Like Aragorn is the fucking man in this He's scene. pretty awesome, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, reassuring, he's reassuring him, or he's trying to anyway. That yeah, that that sword might well, might, well, when he when he has to use it in the moment, it might save his life. And then he talks to him about his uh, because then he say like his father made it, and then he says um, he says his name something something of something. I I I can't remember the exact line, but yeah, yeah, it's good, and it's it's not comparing to the Santa. I mean, shit. Uh, which which Riddick film is it where Riddick fucking spins around the blade and he's like, oh, it's perfectly balanced. Oh, oh no, that, well, that's fuck, no, that's fucking Thanos, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> the, the point is, it is, it is not, it, is, it, is, it has nothing to do with fucking I hate sand. Like, everyone knows what that line's about, yeah? It's, it's to do with Anakin and his past living on a fucking desert, you know? Yeah, you and, and contrasting it with her smooth, silky skin. It's very romantic. Yeah, Aragorn on the other hand, you know, a very skilled uh, swordsman. You know, if he picked up a sword, I'm pretty sure I would take his opinion, like, you know, seriously, whether or not it's a good sword or not. Well, that's part of, like, and... we don't even know if he's being honest. The point is to give the kid hope, to give the kid strength, to give some the kid... He's yeah, like... fuck it, yeah. In such a desperate situation, it, it does it matter? It's like... It, it... You either hold you either hold the sword and fight like a man, or you're fucking dead. You know, it doesn't well, matter, like, does it? Part of what makes Lord of the Rings what it is. Like it doesn't just. It's not like it's, it's not everything is so grand. It's like it all comes down to individuals working together. Like it's very important that we all. I mean, I think that's a part of Aragorn's like speech as a king when at the end of the third yeah. one. <sighs> okay, when Godzilla states the obvious. That's a lot of fish. What? That's Jesus, a lot of fish. Dude, you, oh Wait, my, this, oh, this oh is my a good. God. This this is a good sword. Is not the same as this. No, that, uh, he's, there's but, a but follow up again, to that line. He's citing yeah. this as nostalgia yeah. critic is the be all and end all of criticism. He has know, said so this is that's a lot of fish is a bad line, and he's concluded that this line in Lord of the Rings is just as bad. And nostalgia critic didn't call it out. That means Nostalgia Critic and everybody who agrees with him, which is everybody, because that seems to be how he views the world, is wrong yeah. and hypocritical. My, my spine is going to bend in half from the cringe of appealing to a fucking Nostalgia Critic. I know, he keeps coming up. That's a lot of fish. So? I could have just as easily said, that's a hat. That's a wall. Oh yeah, yeah, that's shit, right? That's a lot of fish. What a shit line. <gasps> fucking, I don't like sand. That's a shit line, right? But fucking... This is a good shot. So what? That's a tree. Oh I'd be really I'd like. It would be really curious to have him address the counter that he's doing it for the kid. Like, I just don't. Understand. Do you think he would take that in, or you'd be like, "No, nah, it's bullshit." Dude, he, 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 he hasn't absorbed anything. He's got a fucking smooth brain going on. It's wow. That, that's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Fuck you, fucking. Oh no. This is a good coat. He's is that a good line? Literally. It's like in the great stories. Like, he's he's like thinking. He's like taking the scene literally. Oh no, that's what's yeah. happening. Like he's not understanding the context behind it. It's like well, yeah, it's it's a very similar like misunderstanding to the to the subtle conversation between Sauron and and uh, Gandor, Ganondorf. 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 Yeah, Ganondorf. Yeah, Ganondorf. Yeah. Ganondorf. Yeah. Ganondorf. Yeah. Yeah. That, was a, that was a better. <laughs> yeah, and then he Falcon punched him right off the end of yeah. the tower. But yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah we, we, we've touched on this a couple of times, but he's, uh, he's really awful with, like, subtext of any kind, even the simplest kinds of subtext. He's just like, no, don't say it. His only lines is absolutely literal. Which is, again, something people say about my stuff, and I'm just like, oh god, I hope you don't see this in my video. <laughs> oh god, this is the worst thing ever. The ones that really mattered. You may he's, this is the joke from his script. Where he's gonna, he's gonna oh riff God. on Sam's line. I mean, like, not this one. Oh, it's just like in the script. Yeah. Why did you show it? <laughs> Why wouldn't you just, I don't know. And the film can't even follow its own bullshit. Up to this point, we've seen Gimli do nothing but be the butt of everybody's jokes. Ha ha, he can't see over he's the He's the comic relief. 
Well, I'm curious how he's gonna lead. He's about to establish that this is contradicted, right? So let's see where he goes with this. Falls downhill. So he's treated like a joke. I would easily believe Mary and Pippin could take him in a fight, and yet here he easily snaps the neck of an orc. What's yeah. on the floor? Because he's a fucking. He's complaining. He he's snaps complaining them. that the comic relief is not a total tool. He. Okay. I want. I want to really get this straight. He's on the floor, and he uses both of his arms to break a creature's neck. This is impossible yeah. because he's on the floor. He, he's the why? comic relief. But why would that make it... You can break anyone's the, neck at the, any position the, if you get your arms slap... on their head. I mean, he's just assuming that, like, Gimli does do slapstick, like, he falls down that little hill. But, yeah. like, that's not... That's not to establish him as an incompetent fighter. He's fucking tired. He, he's been already, running for three days and nights. <laughs> we've already established he is a more than capable fighter. However, we've also established that he cannot travel great distances on foot very yeah. efficiently. <laughs> yeah, he has, <laughs> that, that is, is what slightly limited or limits well, him. That's the first argument. One is comic relief character shouldn't be good at fighting, which is bizarre. Second argument is how can you break someone's neck while you're on the floor? It's like, well, his arms are around Very the guy's... Very easily. Yeah, like, <laughs> as he does in this clip. So I don't... Both arguments worthless. But then, it, oh, cool. but, then, but then also the argument is, how can you both be the comic relief and also... Capable not die in this very specific situation. Yeah, he said Merry and Pippin could probably take him on because of how comic relief he is. Like, your logic yeah, isn't no. resembling Earth logic. Are you serious right now? <laughs> the, yeah, yeah, because he thinks he doesn't understand what the language is actually telling us about the character. <laughs> oh, bullshit on that! We must weather such things as we have always done. See, great face. How can that be your decision? Face. How can that be your acting? That's awful, and what's with the intent? So he's pissed off? I don't know what else to say. He wants to help his friends. And he's pissed off that the trees have decided to stay out of this shit. Because he knows how useful they would be. Well. <laughs> well, here's the thing. It's pretty gay. Pretty gay. It's close-ups again. Character. It serves no purpose. Why Luckily would... it's one of... So once it's again, the oh face God. fills up the this screen is, he, because we need to get a full cool. force of exactly what he's feeling. We could do a, like, a cinematic Venom bingo. Like, <laughs> I don't understand the face of Well, I mean, the, you know, when, when your criticisms amount to too gay, uh, too many close-ups, and no characters are in this, it's like, hmm. <laughs> feel like this is going to be pretty easy for us. Also, hi, Rex. Hello. Oh, the disapproving oh, uh, dog face is back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You haven't really missed much. <laughs> it's been the same no. shit. <laughs> So, based off of everything that we covered before I left, I I suspected that it wouldn't actually improve. You're it, right. It didn't. It actually no. got worse, if that's possible. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, you want to ask uh, hmm. uh, the, 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 the question? Oh. So, uh, wait, let me, uh, sorry, I, f I forgot it. Uh, Rags, what is, like, what's the point of immortality if you don't have other powers? You know what I mean? Like, what would be the point of it? Oh boy. Um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the point. That's that yeah. Uh, <laughs> so dare I say it, but immortality is a pathway to many other abilities <laughs> that some would consider unnatural. <laughs> so he actually says in this video, in relation to the rig, uh possibly giving people immortality, he says who would care if you don't get any ball powers. Wow. Um <laughs> it's, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, uh, whew. so yeah, um, if there is a conversation to be had that I think is interesting, you know, if you could be immortal, would you uh, discussions about what would it mean to be immortal? Would you eventually would all emotions just eventually become dull? Would you stop finding joy in life? Would you that 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 all these other questions you could talk about? But it's like, oh, if I can't fly or shoot lasers out of my eyes. Then, yeah, why well, live forever? Yeah, no really. Point, really. That sounds like it comes from someone who's living a really like shitty life, and <laughs> so like, they go, <laughs> "Oh, I could have this forever." Oh, great. One of the only ones, at least, that are noticed to be a problem. Oh, except for this one. And no, showing what? us his nose hairs does not make him more. Why is he outside?
Oh, there was a skit. He got chased oh, outside yeah. by the police because the police won't let him not like Lord of the Rings. They shouldn't. Yeah, I'm a fairly libertarian guy, but I gotta draw the line somewhere. Yeah, we need that in place. Leave him alone! It continues the totally equal racist shtick despite orcs even yeah, slaving away carrying said. hobbits. Oh, oh, wait, oh yeah. Yeah. Well, lucky we've addressed all that being bullshit, so we can move oh, right, right along. <laughs> it's again because uh, it's frequent for all of the films, so fuck it. Much like its predecessor, it did not follow the books entirely, considering the character of Erkenbrand, which sounds like a designer trainers, was completely cut out. There's a scene where Aragorn falls off a cliff and everyone... Oh, uh, right, okay. Yeah, so he's already neglected that, uh, like, for example, Elrond had two sons, and they were the ones who um, brought Aragorn the sword. And also, I think I think it wasn't Arwen. I think it was them two who rescued him uh, at Weathertop. I can't remember. But th th there's, can't there's, there's, lo there's a lot of characters. Like I, like I mentioned earlier, Tom Bombadil, completely cut. Um, there's, there's quite a few of them that, ha that were cut either for, well, because there's two... Because they did well, they didn't serve any difference or purpose, or they just uh, <laughs> he, 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 he picks and chooses because he wants to pretend that he actually read the books. He didn't fucking read them. <laughs> just and saying. also, Elrond bringing Narsil to um, uh, well, the uh, camp. Aragorn, it helps to establish that you know some Arwen stuff. You know why he would help him, why he has a, a, a doubly so a vested personal interest and. In, you know, him succeeding and that sort of thing. So, I mean, it does add to the, it, it does add to their dynamic. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, there are plenty of changes. Um, some good, some bad, I would definitely argue. Uh, that'd be, an, well, that'd be an entirely different uh, chat, though. But, yeah, no, he, he, he's, he's a big phony. <laughs> just a big, big phony. Wow. It's just, just ripping his cred I, I, away from him. I'm trying I try to, I try to dial down the anger because I can't keep going. <laughs> drains you. Leave him alone! It yes. continues the totally equal racist shtick despite orcs even slaving away carrying hobbits. I won't bother mentioning this again because it's frequent for all of the films, so fuck it. Much like its predecessor, it did not follow the books entirely, considering the character wow. of Erkenbrand, which sounds like a designer of trainers, was completely cut out. There's a scene okay. where Aragorn... So, he didn't, like, establish... So, like, this thing in the book wasn't in the movie. Moving on. It's like, right. wait... It's... Yeah, like, really establish why the film's bad, though. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for us. It's just like, oh. Because he earlier said that if they take something bad from the book and put it in the movie, it's still bad. It's like, ah, so now you've opened up precedent that there are things we cannot have from the book and that be a good choice. So just saying they don't have this guy. It's like, oh. Was that guy a really good guy? Was was that really, like, what happened? I don't know. Okay, moving on. Going yeah, off a cliff I, and everyone I, I was going to say, um, Erkenbrand in the book, uh, all he does, well... All he does is he set out to go find the ro the well the rest of the Rohirrim that uh well that got banished when the Greek Grimer was in charge. In in the film, it's Yuma instead. That's it. That that that's his character that is so de well that is so dastardly taken out of the well cut out. That's that's it. it. It's 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 fucking nothing. Again, it's a character that doesn't need to be there. It it's great, you know, especially in the box where you, you got you know plenty of time to do whatever the fuck you want. But in the films that are lasting, well, that lot they reach this fucking long. It's not. It's not a character like. Oh man, I really wish they brought Erkenbrand in. I'm so disappointed they didn't include him. It. It. it, it nobody's fucking crying over him. Come on. I guess people want it said that this is a man who loves the Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker, but he hates Lord of the Rings. Yeah. All right. Was it uh, <laughs> the sword? Was it? Am I confusing the sword name? It starts out as Narsil, then becomes Anduril, so the name of the West. So, the shards right? of Narsil, and then when it's reforged, uh, Elrond refers to it Anduril. as Anduril. But I actually, right. uh, for my script, I mention Anduril in my in my uh, TFA Part 3. And oh I my wanted goodness to gracious, clarify, when is that going to be out? <laughs> uh, I shan't say until later. Um, the, the the sword name, though, the, the, I looked at a post and it said that uh, both names are valid. They both mean and represent different things. But uh, for safety, I go with Anduril because that's what uh, that's what Elrond calls it when he gives right. it to Aragorn. And who am I? Who am I to say that he's wrong about swords? Elrond's pretty pretty just... pretty baller, you know. I think he'd know. Man's had a sword in his life. <clears throat> One for fucking ages of my ad assumes he's dead. That wasn't in the book, but Jackson included it to build tension. Okay. It didn't work because everyone knew Aragorn didn't die, so it was ultimately oh, didn't but know. we saw Eowyn's reaction to it and what it meant to the characters and oh, we didn't man, know uh... that he 
the characters yeah, well, didn't know he did Again, this that. argument doesn't they're, work. He's saying we can never rewatch a movie. We can't rewatch movies. They find him. We can't rewatch movies. Because we'll know what happens. So there's just no reason. Mm -hmm. We already. I fucking hate these arguments. We obviously knew Aragorn wasn't dead. This isn't. You know what's funny is like I think the one time I used it was uh, Black Panther because I was like, but they played a trailer for Infinity War before you see Black Panther in the cinema. And it shows him in it, and then in Black Panther they're like, "Oh, he fell off a cliff. He's dead." It's like, "Well, no, he's not." Oh. <laughs> we, and it's just funny and awkward, but yeah. As you silly fat man. Why do you do that? Oh, call him names. Arwen leaves Middle Earth, giving up on love, but her character in the book never does that and would never do that. My point is, I could. What? Oh, okay. I don't what? know uh, what. Oh, what? A, what? That's not a what? Uh, is he wrong? I think he's wrong. Wait, let me just speak all that <laughs> back. Sorry, guys, it was ultimately wrong, pointless. You silly wrong. fat man. What do you do that? Just gonna, just gonna play that again because I, I, I'm Call lost. Arwen leaves Middle Earth, giving up on love, but her character she doesn't leave Middle Earth. So she doesn't. <laughs> like that's no, not. Yeah, she she doesn't do leave Middle Earth. Do you remember the part of the movie when she's not gone from Middle Earth? <laughs> she marries <laughs> Aragorn. Where she never this? left. Hell and yeah, the part where we're at the end where she's not gone. Is it, yeah. Wait, is it the sec? Is it two towers or Return of the King? Where Elrond, decide Elrond tells her that she's Aragorn. gonna. Not only will she eventually die alone, but that Aragorn will die, and that it's death, death, death. That's all it is. And she's like, "Oh shit!" So and she considers leaving. So all that, all that, yeah, all and that's then, happening is she, that she has joined the party. Yeah, yeah, and then she has leaving. the vision of a son, and she's like, "There's not yeah. just death. There's life." And then Elrond is like, "That future is extreme. Is like waning. There's very little chance that future will ever happen." Um, but they try, and and yeah, so she's. The, you could you could actually argue the film makes it very clear she's staying for love. Absolutely. Yeah, blatantly, blatantly clear. There's a whole vision of her like watching him die, and then like that, like what that makes, what that uh, is selling or uh, making obvious to the audience is that like she has to go through a great deal of pain to be with him, and then so when she stays, it is because she's willing to put through, you know, put up with that. Which that is like again, simple film communication it means obviously that's love she loves him well, she's committed to him the tragedy of arwen is that slowly but surely she realizes that her immortality doesn't come with extra powers and she has to <laughs> cope with that oh man like elrond has to sit down with so, her one day in rivendell and like listen I daughter guess, uh you just get to live forever that's i guess it. there was a frame with his eyes open and closed too close to each other <laughs> <laughs> we ended up with this creature. Oh no. <laughs> That's actually terrifying. I don't know what it wants, but it sees bad movies everywhere. Never does that and would never do that. My point is, I could sit here and list all the things changed from the novels, and people would still claim they're accurate to the source material when it's clearly not. Why the would case. people claim no, that? No, nobody's Why arguing claim that. that? Yeah, Literally nobody has that. argued that. But, like, who cares if they... Do? So if someone says, no, they're actually pretty accurate compared to most adaptations, you'd be like, that's probably true. So what? It's faithful. <laughs> it's pretty damn faithful, but saying it's faithful and saying it's accurate are two very different things. Yeah, and and who fucking cares? The whole point of this video is to prove that the, the films aren't good. What is it going to do with the books? Why, why are we booking it? I don't understand. Well, if Marvel can have Spider-Man come out and be on Iron Man's team, despite in the comics being on Captain America's and never being okay with revealing his identity due to his Aunt May, and everyone ignores that and calls it the most faithful adaptation to the comics, and no, they I've don't. I've never heard it called the most faithful no, they adaptation don't. to the comics. In fact, all yeah, I hear is all we ever fucking about hear. How it's not yeah. like the comics. Wrong. <laughs> everyone tells us it's not accurate. Yeah. Uh, Cosmic you, you Variety Hour thinks have... Civil War is bad because it is, doesn't follow the comics. Yeah, you guys had an entire saga over this. No, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's my, it's my least favorite uh, of that, uh, that uh, era of Marvel films. I'll kill you. No, it's it is like it is <laughs> because the whole film is just to set up that stupid fight. I will actually at the hit you. I will take your head off. And it's, <laughs> and you have to admit that it is so clunky. I will break off your neck while on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the, War, yeah. the best Game MCU Fury? movie of the Civil War is the best in the MCU. One. It's unbeatable. <laughs> no. Somebody, um, 
Oh, Wasn't Greg, there gays in the film to talk about or were we mad about? Uh, Greg, <laughs> Greg, didn't you just not care about the movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Civil hey, Roll, wait. Civil did you War think is so good? It's suspicious. Did you think For that no Cap reason. and Iron Man were gay? Is that why? Is that why it pissed yeah. you off? Iron Man followed Captain America. For no he's like, reason. He's like a stalker in the movie. <laughs> oh my god, let's get back to this. Can, can, sh let's just end our misery and just continue this fucking video. Anything's possible! I'll end by saying the Two Towers is by far superior to Fellowship, but it's still littered with the problems the overall really? trilogy suffers okay, from. And if it so were two hours long, I'd call it a great film, but it has an extra hour of padding. <laughs> I'd call it great, but there's an hour of padding. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, fuck, after, that's a lot of padding. After, after all that, <laughs> from being great, is there's an hour of <laughs> but other than that, it would have been great. So close, yet so far. Okay, again, uh, you, you, you complain about like one uh, random two or three character being cut, but this padding, it's, it's like, so what, what, you wanted every fucking character in it? I mean... I never some... heard him blow his horn, though, so... Yeah. I mean, I mean, some. I'm sure there were some book fans who really did want to see every character in the, in the well, in the flesh. It's, uh, oh, fuck it filler, and there's even an extended cut for an extra hour of padding and filler. It takes skit, it too. down a great notch. Ew, oh, yeah. he's been reviewing perfect. he's been reviewing theatrical versions then. Oh. Ooh, no, why? Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh. It makes it just a chore to sit through. Two shit films so far. We're doing well. He did not like two times. How? Oh, I'm Jesus sorry, Christ. How the act <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I was thinking, how is the actual woods cleaner than your room? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> oh. You know what, uh, yeah! you know what, fellas, I'm on that. Oh, no. But this is good, guys. This, this is progress. We, we, you know, this is like speed running it. Yeah, this is a good thing, honestly. Well, he's not Harry talking about the Lord of the Rings, so, Harry yeah. Music. I hope it's not I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure his friends had fun doing this. Running the yeah, yeah. Good. At least his friends had fun. When they found yeah, out that it was to criticize Lord of the Rings, they were probably like, oh. Oh my goodness. Couldn't you have done this in Such your... an awesome shot. I swear Film Brain used to do stuff like running around in the woods in his back neighborhood. Let's end this fucker. What oh wait, oh guy? he's up in the tree? Is that no, what? what is Look say. at the overexposure, holy shit. All right. Like, yeah, guys, I was confused. I guess he's up in the tree now. Just one left. We did it. Oh Despite shooting all of them at once, seriously, how the hell did he manage that? Jackson claims Return of the King was the easiest uh, to I mean, make. I was gonna say, did you, did you guys, uh know the whole thing with Peter Jackson and like how he went like from like morbidly obese to being shredded well not shredded but you fucking like thin down like loads from like the, the stress and that it, the film's put him through like, you, I you look did not know that you're saying the you stress of the production made him lose weight is what you're saying yeah yeah the, the sheer intensity of how much work he put into it he, he fucking yeah he fucking like dropped the like well ridiculous amount of weight well yeah. it'll be great forever so good job <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean like, well, you know, yeah, well, it's not anyway, it's not good to lose that much weight that quickly, but it was in you knew you knew how fat he was, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Since it contained the climax <laughs> story. <laughs> all right, all right. Despite this claim, the movie had the most reshoots required, was obviously the most emotional when it came to casting crew farewells behind the scenes, had nearly three times the amount of visual effects shots than the first two had, and this was also the first time a director ever shot extra scenes for a film after it had already won an Oscar, shooting final avalanche shots as late as 2004. Okay, George Lucas. Whoa, why are you not praising that? Talk yeah. about ad admiration for a man who has dedication to his craft. Okay, George like, man, Lucas. Even if it was a shit movie, you have to, you ha like, come on, throw him a bone. All right, George Lucas. I don't know. I can't 
help it. Many weeks were spent on cutting scenes out, one of which was famously controversial by even fans of the series as Saruman appears nowhere in the theatrical cut of the picture. In the extended edition, he finally gets killed off, but it got dropped because, I don't know, maybe Jackson wanted to trim down the runtime to just 16 hours and this one took it a bit overboard. Uh, Why were you not? He, he didn't I'm... want to. It, it, it was the theaters basically forced them to because they did not want to fucking put a four hour film on because guess I would, what? I would still question point. why this scene I, didn't I make it in. I remember what it was like back then though. Like this was unheard of to have a film that long. And, yeah. And this w this was the trimmed version. So. Yeah, this was almost. I, I remember when ago. I went. I remember when I went and saw it. It literally had a break in the middle. It literally had a, like a, a five minute. Yeah. Break exactly. Exactly. The the theaters were paranoid that people would not sit through a movie that long. Yeah, and and again, the, a filmmaking or or, or or film business. Uh, for every time they played this film, or well, played one of these films. They missed out on playing two, well, two other films in in the same theater. So, well, you know, you paid for the same price for the ticket. Well, they they lost out, even though obviously millions watched it. They still lost out because they could have squeezed into one hour and a half film flicks in the same time. But you know, it. it so yeah, it, they, yeah, I'm pretty sure Jackson and uh, well, the whole the whole production had to cut it down for that very reason. And then thanks to obviously <clears throat> DVDs, uh, you, well, we got it all back. Um, and unfortunately, yeah, one of them was that, yeah, Saruman got done dirty by being completely cut from the last film, and then his fate is, you know, completely left unknown. And that's the thing, I think well, there are I mean, things I would cut before this. This this is pretty yeah. integral. Oh, yeah, yeah, not sure. I, I, I would do something different. Like, I would do it differently. But uh, that, that that's the reason, you know, that, you know, it's likely to leave it, but, you know, that there is a reason behind it. It's not just um, because... I don't know, because I don't know, you did like Christopher Lee or some stupid reasons. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I didn't even know. actor Christopher <laughs> Lee was angry about this, and there was even an online petition to restore the scene. Lee admitted he'll never understand the logic of deleting it, and his relationship with the director ever since was chilly to say the least, but they would make amends later for the Hobbit trilogy. The movie was finally finished on November the 12th, 2003, mm -hmm. and even Peter Jackson himself never had a chance to see the full film because he had been so busy. He literally saw the final cut himself at the premiere on December the 1st. He was quoted as saying, Yep, it's good. Pretty good. <laughs> And the man knows quality, I guess. I don't know. Like, yeah. yeah, he sure is. It's pretty good. <laughs> You're a lying rat! The premiere oh. was so anticipated, an estimated 100,000 people lined the streets, which is more than a quarter of the city's population. Yeah, this thing was huge. Seeing Return of the King, yeah. knowing it's the end of this story. Lord of the Rings was top shit right there. Good times. And almost the amount of people who have slept with my wife. What? Zero? Um... He I don't insult his wife. All right. Yeah, like that's not self depreciating. I mean, if it was you. I'm trying to figure out. Like what? So the joke is oh. that your wife's a whore, or you're not sleeping with her. A good husband, or <laughs> that she got plowed by half of New Zealand. Like, all right. Good job, bro. Like, yeah, we're all just like, hmm, okay. <laughs> But, but, but Gimli's jokes are shit. Yeah. <laughs> the movie ended up grossing a worldwide total of 1,119,929,521. Damn, beat out Rise of Skywalker yeah. in 2003. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking colossal. Wow. It was colossal. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, um, uh, somebody did uh, ping me the uh, adjusted inflations and. Uh, where is it? Uh, but, 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 let me copy the images. Yeah, I would be curious to know just for inflation what Return of the King made. Uh, just did 1.7 to 1.75. And then you got the... So, kind of estimates is like, it, it, for inflation, like 4 billion plus, like between wow. the three films. Yeah, like, you could say 1515 for the first two, and then <clears throat> 17 for the last one, which makes a lot of sense. That's pretty fucking colossal. Yes, sir. Yeah. One dog at the highest grossing of the trilogy, the second film in history to earn over a billion. At the time, the second highest grossing movie in history, currently the 14th highest, and it was the biggest financial success for Time Warner until Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 came out. Ha! Huh, Harry Potter wins, oh. case closed. You don't mean that. <laughs> why? Why?
You hurt my soul. I haven't even seen like the last three or four Harry Potter movies. Oh, they were the great they ones. There's no like... gayness in it. Oh. Return of the King is such a crowning oh, achievement, straight. such yeah. a visionary use of all the tools of special effects, such a pure spectacle that it can be enjoyed even by those who have not seen the first two films. If it didn't take 45 minutes to end, it would be my best do... picture of the year. As it is, oh, it's, it's just, just one of the great end. achievements. Oh my God. No, the ending is 20 minutes. It is a 20 minute ending to a 12 hour series. No, it's like a 10 hour ending, yeah. come on. Like, it's like a, it's like 13 <laughs> hours, it's ridiculous, 10 million hours. Film history. Because when we rewatch to... this, I s the ending starts where Frodo wakes up in Rivendell. Yep. Right. Yeah. That's where the ending starts, and that's all. Um, that's basically twenty minutes. Mm-hmm. Eighth and, greatest movie of all time, yeah, and Total great. Film polled it as the third uh, best. It, sh it, it should have ended with uh, Gandalf going, "So Frodo, any plans now?" And then Frodo just goes, "Nah, cut." <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Dress Park theme would be suitable for the end of that. Yep, would work. Yeah, any, any time I, anytime I see any complaints about like the length of the ending, I just just I just roll my eyes. It's, just, it's like mm. only behind the Matrix and Fight Club. The movie went on to be nominated and won all eleven Academy Awards, breaking an Oscar record. In addition to picking up four Golden Globes, five BAFTAs, two MTV Movie Awards, two Grammys, nine Saturn Awards, the New York Film Critics Circle Award for Best Picture, the Nebula Award for Best You're Script, not convincing and the Hugo. Me. Yeah, none of this. I don't really care yeah. about any of this. Like, it's cool that it won those awards. Yeah. I'm just like, okay. Yeah, it's great. But like, if you're trying to, especially if you're like from a tactical perspective, this is an interesting strategy you're taking. Yeah. Yeah. Award for best yeah. dramatic presentation. Small chance of success. What are we waiting for? Also, again, also, again, also, again also. though, he's building this up. Like, he's showing how beloved it is, so that it will, in his mind, increase the impact of when he. Pulls the rug out from under this film's Whoa. feet. Shows us the truth. By by saying it's gay. I mean, he, he's That's destroyed he's... Fellowship and Two Towers. I yes, I, I by, fear to know. By literally complaining about the gay. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a prevalent <laughs> issue. You know, get rid of that gay. Also, just to piss off his uh, fanboyism, uh, Harry Potter, the whole tr uh, well, not trilogy, the, the whole the whole films, never won an Oscar. Huh? Oh, of course, right. they're not good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, they're almost as bad as Civil War. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Just listen to you. <laughs> well, how dare you, sir? Hey, fast. Comes the finale of the saga so bad, this ridiculous, overacted, disappointing mess is known as the good one. Is it the best one? I think that couldn't have been the actual Honest Trailers. I'm assuming it's the Honest Trailers for, I would assume, Revenge of the Sith. That's the only other thing I can think that that would be applied to that this is the good one, because everyone- Who the fuck thinks the Lord of the Rings trilogy is so bad that you have to have, well, this is the good one? Then no again, one. I haven't watched Honest Trailers in a billion years, so I, I don't really know. Mm. But alright. Yes. But that's not saying much. That's like saying the shit that I took last night was better- Oh, Avi Jan, there you go. We've got our try- like, the, that's- he's hit all the marks now. He's, yeah. he's almost like, um... The the movie critic of 2010, I guess. No, oh, that's before even that, man. Like, I guess well, it's before. Like, yeah. Well, it, it's ha it's as a result six. of watching all of them for a long time, you know. Oh yeah, no, actually, no, yeah, you're, yeah, that's fair. Because like, I'm pretty sure the first AVGN was, it was like 2006, like when they start, when he started it. Out. Go you know, fellas, going I got back. <gasps> this has been. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Sorry, I didn't know that this was going to be 27 hours long when I signed up for it. But well, that would be a quick minutes. episode, but yeah. It's going to be I know, longer I than the extended trilogy. <laughs> I know I joked that I wouldn't come back, but uh, I'm looking forward to the next time. So thank you very much for having me. Oh, that's oh absolutely, man. You've been a fabulous fun, guest. It's been fun having have you. Have fun debunking the same four arguments. <laughs> well, I was... Uh, 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 for, <laughs> for another five hours. Yeah. Before you, uh, <laughs> before you go, do you want to tell the EFAP audience about what you do and way to find you uh yeah uh they call me the armored skeptic i have a youtube channel on the internet and um most of my stuff is just general skepticism uh about uh, atheism and some social issues but now i've been doing a lot of like fun stuff uh conspiracy theory stuff so mm, a little bit more uh, fiction about. so come check me out Thanks for having me, guys. Had a lot of fun. It's funny, uh, I actually watched the Tiger King documentary because you covered it, and I was like, wait, I'll watch it first so I can see you cover it. Holy shit, that was a, that was a journey. That, um, Quite the ride, eh? I, <laughs> dare I say, best documentary in history. 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's um, it's got like better drama and twists and turns than Game of Thrones. At least it's better written for sure. Um, yeah, it's, it's real. The, the, the editing, <laughs> the editing is almost perfect. Like very well told story. Yeah, I was impressed. So yeah, check that out and his channel and his coverage of it. It'll all, well wait. That's so I'm a skeptic, and I'm a media. Do you cover? Yeah, armored. Armored Media as well, that's where the movie reviews are. Yeah. Both links are in the description, and uh, Skeptic's in, in the chat uh, to link to it. Uh, thank you ever so much for coming on for for a full... How long was it? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2... That's it. 7 hours. <laughs> seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, have a good night, everybody. Yeah, and we'll see you around. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Y'all so gay. Yeah, affection. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Affection is gay. <laughs> Saying bye is gay, guys. Remember, remember that shit. All right. Yeah. Uh, he, he's back home with it, I suppose. <laughs> I just hope that the shit I took the day this. before. No, I think Greg is right. It's the same for arguments. Yeah, I feel like this will be quick because he's probably just going to do the same shit. Like before, no, there's good it's things funny. in it. Like, there's a pattern. He's going to say all of the accomplishments of the movies. <laughs> and say it's wrong with his four arguments that are the same. Because we didn't watch the movie, not really. You say it like his arguments aren't incredible. <laughs> oh, Sorry, the, the gay Somebody... is... Yeah, yeah. Saying it's the gay. Oh. <laughs> Somebody said in chat that that bye was too long. <laughs> <laughs> Bad things in it, so let's just end this fucker. Almost yes. uh, let's yes, see please. here. Uh, Treebeard looks a lot better. Peter Jackson continues showing off his fantastic helicopter skills. He is very proud of that helicopter. Congratulations, Peter. You You're right. He's, he's bringing back the old he's arguments. Fucking jokes. That's the third time he's used the helicopter joke. You, you like helicopters? I mean, it's it's an gay. Incredible environments that lend extremely well to world building. Can you can you seriously imagine like actually talking to somebody who thinks I came in the wild and they and they bring up that Lord of the Rings has too many helicopter shots and you, can you? I wouldn't know how to deal with it. My, yeah, my, you're almost like, what do I even like? What? My spine would bend in half, my head would go up my ass. I couldn't take it. <laughs> That's how you know it's game that over. Would... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and then oh no, I can't believe that. It... Yeah, no, fuck it, go on, go on, fuck it. <laughs> Should be. I'm sorry, all right. The musical score continues to impress, and the battle scenes are absolutely mind-blowingly phenomenal. Simple well, shots like this, where the camera well, follows the body going down the stairs and then another one coming up. That was fantastic, and all of the choreography is done with such tremendous precision, yeah. it's unreal. Yeah. So you get this subplot okay. of Denethor, the father of Boromir, who happily claims he wished his other son, Faramir, died instead, leading to his depression. Wow. A subplot and a story arc in, in the movies that- Where, where have you been? <laughs> where have you- yeah. yeah. They yeah, do this also, for every um, character. They make sure to establish yeah. them the moment we meet them. Also, it's not just that. Denethor becomes bitter and uh, consumed by grief after the uh, after the death of his wife, and then he also has a pan uh, a pan uh, I can't pronounce it now. A panaltier. Palantir. Palantir. Fuck me. I, it's, yeah, yeah. The point is that yeah, after his wife dies and he obtains that, Sauron feeds on his grief, and then yep, yeah, it turns him well. Into a t twisted, broken man. Uh, but yeah, let's 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 see what. He has well, this to is say. the other pattern we've noticed. If ever there's something he likes, he'll pretty do a, do a pretty bad job of explaining why it's good. For example, the choreography and camera work is so good. There's a person who dies. They go down the steps when they die, and the camera follows that, only to follow a guy coming up the stairs. It's like. Uh -huh. but mock the helicopter shots of the insanely right. good environments. And this is the thing, I, if someone was to make that was one of like 15 different things you highlighted about how a scene is working, I'd probably be okay with it, but just being like, hey, it won a bunch of awards, Treebeard looks okay, there's this shot I like, and Denethor has a character. It's like, what is this structure, dude? Like really work harder on like like just making it all smoothly flow instead of just being like I don't know thought 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 thought. I actually cared about. Wow, that's incredible. It wasn't in the books, was it? No. So there's a scene where Denethor demands that Pippin sing, so he does so beautifully over this war montage, and it's my favourite scene of the entire movie. It's beautifully compiled together with great. And it really sticks in your. 
it's fucking a lot of that in Lord of the Rings okay. you've already missed, but okay. Yeah, yeah, this is the first time it gets a thumbs up from this guy. <laughs> okay. Memory, which is the first time something like that has actually happened in this entire trilogy so far. Uh, these shots look pretty awesome. It has some really intense- uh, this sucks. This is, he showed three yeah. horribly mangled shots put together. <laughs> He's like, these shots look good. Uh, yeah. Suspenseful moments when Frodo was captured by a spider. What? Why do you care? We know he's gonna survive. Oh, oh, oh look what <laughs> weird head around. Didn't he oh, establish oh, this no. in both? The the... <sighs> Whatever. No, it it's works Hogwarts with Shelob. Hogwarts wartime, guys. <laughs> hey, spiders. Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? It's actually really intense, and this stuff's great. Sam shows up and starts to fight it, and it's pretty damn flawless. Wait. Denethor Wait. attempts to kill himself. Did he just like it because it kind of reminds him of oh, Harry Potter? No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. There's spiders yep. in Harry Potter, you I know? I think that's the reason why he likes it. Oh fuck oh. me. Saffron finally yeah, takes his son with him. Again, I actually give a shit about a subplot for once, so this is a cool sequence. No man can kill me. Oh, he doesn't. I'm guessing. So he's getting the pros out of the way, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we could we could choose to better explain why these things work. I'm just more in, in, you know, inclined to be like, let's just, we'll just move on. Yeah, let's just I freeze on by. And feminists yeah. everywhere, queen. Who called it? Who called it? One of you? Was it Al? Was it you? I did. Yeah. I did. I did. Yeah. yeah. He did. He did the thing. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Themselves. <sighs> in all honesty, that line was fucking awesome. It's like the Ghostbusters like thing of scene of movie reviews. That, like. He did it. Keeping off Braveheart, this speech is still intense and motivating. These special effects are great, and the final part when they finally make it to the destination, this scene is fucking amazing. Frodo becoming overtaken by his powers, putting the ring on. I thought Frodo was like oh, a blank oh. character. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so you, would, you would, would you argue that the journey was worth it for that scene then? Because, well... Oh my god. Nah. Yeah, it, uh, it's quite the climax, you know? Nah. It, 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 it took a while to get there. Nah. But it was worth it, and the climax is is also awesome. It's uh, it's almost like the films are good. Nah. <laughs> so good, in fact. Fighting Gollum, it's nothing. So, I guess it's better than fight. Two Towers. What? I mean, it's got a lot more positive things he in it. But it's oh, also like, filled with wait, a lot of negative he, things in it. He he missed the part that that point of the movie is tragic. Like, he he thought that Frodo fought. Like, he thought it was a straight-up fight, like, the way he's talking about it. But really, it's not. It's like, Frodo put on the ring and fought Gollum. That's how he said it. It's like... Well, yeah, I think he would be like, it's such an awesome action scene. We'd be like, oh, yeah. no. Oh, no, bro. no. Yeah, if it's an awesome, a awesome action scene, then that's uh, more important than anything. Oh, no. Let's just get this over even. with. You miserable little maggot! Let's begin with Gollum. Now, we start off with his origin, which is really cool, but then everything established in the last film is completely eradicated. I do like how he talks to his reflection. What know? do you mean? What? Everything that was established is eradicated. What is, what is he talking about? Section here is quite eerie, but then we get a flashback to a murder he committed, and a murder we just saw just 15 minutes ago. Do they think their audience have short term memory loss? What does he mean? Do you do? What I like you to fucking do? <laughs> He, he even himself he even admits it that he's got he's, his memories are sick. I was, I, was, I was about to say like, wait, you couldn't remember character names, and now you're like, wow, the film assumes I've got bad memory. <laughs> like, um, no, we don't know if it's an assumption at this point. And uh, yeah, they do flash him killing uh, Deagle quickly. This is, this is like Joker level shit, where I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, they played it for a couple of seconds. I hope you survived about two towers was that Gollum was this creepy, mysterious, and threatening creature, completely conflicted with the split personalities. In Return of the King, he's reduced to having no personality other than being sheer evil. But so, the end of two towers, he oh. commits to the plan of killing them. And he acknowledges himself. He, he knew this. That's the whole scene, is that the quote-unquote, like, good half of, of Smeagol feels betrayed, and he no longer wants to serve the master. Yeah, and then he, and then yeah, right at the end, he, he plots. Well, yeah, he, he comes up with the plot to, oh, I'll take him through Shelob's lair, and then Shelob will kill them, and then I'll get the ring back, and she spits out the bones. Smeagol does resurface temporarily. He's like, please don't. He's really sad, and everything sucks. And then Frodo says, I have to destroy it. And then Smeagol makes his choice very clearly. He doesn't want the ring yeah. destroyed. 
Yeah. He wants it. Mm-hmm. They're not even intimidating. Like a little kid who got disciplined by mummy. So to get his revenge, he makes her out to look like a bitch to daddy. What's this? I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I don't even know how to respond to that. He... So uh... is... is... Did you, does Gollum strike you as like as a as a as a physically strong? Uh, no, he's he's a weak, pathetic little creature who has fucking. Look at him. <laughs> he's 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 nothing but skin and bones for fuck's sake. He has a does he, is he taking issue with the framing of Sam? Or I don't understand what's happening. And it's, and it's like yeah, how how is he gonna? He's not going to beat these two in a sword fight. We've already we've already established that even Frodo can throw his fucking like at, like you know his twenty pound ass across the fucking screen. So what is he going to do? How does he how does he how does he divide them or separate them? You know he, he weaves he weaves the scent. You know he, he, he well yeah he, he's Espionage. turning Frodo against them or he's turning them against each other. That's what he's doing because he's a he's a he's a, he's a sniving little fucking yeah. bastard. You know and. He knows exactly how the ring works more than anyone. Yep. Yeah, because because he's yeah, the he only one. He knows exactly what Frodo must be thinking. Well, yeah, because he he's the one who's had it for the longest period of time, like you know, not counting mm -hmm. Sauron. Crumbs on his turtles, his whole turtles. This horrid, fat horrid runs. So as we just said, he's trying to divide them. I don't understand what else you need. Yeah. He's yeah. playing the victim. He's, he's, he's pretending to be a victim when he's not. Seriously? This is one of the antagonists. One of the bad guys we're supposed to be threatened by, and he just- So he's not a big oh. hulking creature with a sword. He's a different kind of antagonist. You fuck. Yeah, he's he's like Grima Wormtongue. Yeah, you, 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 you'll never beat- you, you'll never take anyone down with a knife or a sword. Well, actually, you might- yeah, you might be a little backstabbing cunt, but... Yeah, he, he's not going to beat anyone on you know physical prowess or what or you know or skills. It, it's all about cunning and well manipulation. I'd argue Go it's figure. what makes him more interesting because he's not like the other antagonists. Yeah, he, and he, he he's not a big snarling beast monster. <laughs> he makes up nasty lies. That's a line that the villain has said. Can you imagine Darth Vader? Oh. Why would a completely different character say that? Oh, Jesus. Is it because Nostalgia Critic like, used it to compare something? No, yeah. I, I Darth can't Vader, imagine him saying that. Darth Vader and Gollum are different. Newsflash. <laughs> I don't know. But they're both villains, so they should definitely conform to the exact same fucking... Uh. There's only one kind of bad guy, okay? Yeah, they're all bad. And again, yeah, I just... Can you imagine Vulture and Sauron saying the same things? Yes. Oh, they must be shit yeah. bad guys. Also, Rax, you didn't you didn't see this part, but like he really liked Grimer because he looked cool, and it's like Grimer is uh, as as Morlin said. He looks yeah, cool. Grimer. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 that's 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 the reason. That's it. Yeah, he looks and cool. Grimer, like like Gollum, uses the same kind of tactics because again, as we just said. They're not. They're not physical warriors. That you know, they don't fight with their swords. They fight with their words. You know. Keep your fox it, tongue behind your teeth. It's in the name, worm tongue. Yeah. Well. Yeah. We. 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 Especially with Grimer. You know, it is literally the name. <laughs> well, apparently that's not even. He, he could be pointing that out as overt, but I don't even think he picked it up. Well, no, because he didn't. He didn't watch or fucking read the books, did he? <laughs> Saying that. Only one ever told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. I mean, at least this fills time. <laughs> we can yeah, pass it. Closer to the end. No, Obi Wan is a horrid, fat Jedi who hates Vader. Weird. It's just like you know, Vader wouldn't say stuff that Gollum would say. I don't know how to explain it's that. It's like they're two different characters in two different contexts with two different sets of attributes. So no, strange. Rack. They're, they're both villains, bad though. Guys, so they're the same. And mix up nasty lies. <laughs> Vader saying nasty lies. <laughs> hey, can you can you imagine Hans Gruber saying, um, fucking, uh, John, I am your father. <laughs> can you imagine him saying, no, because he makes no fucking sense. What about Hans Gruber saying, join me and rule the galaxy. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, you're, you're nothing but a, a petty common thief. I'm an exceptional thief, actually. Ugh. Yeah. It's almost like villains can be fucking characters and have oh oh why 
No, nobody, nobody's like confused here, right? Everyone's on the same fucking page. <laughs> I think we're all on everyone in chat and all four of us, we're all just looking at him like, well, Rags' expression, essentially. Yeah. This is what Gollum's become. I've heard the defense that the cloak. I'm sorry, more he spoke this way in the second film. I don't understand. <sighs> yeah. It, it, I, I don't like this. It's taking its toll. They, they've been traveling for fucking a long time now. And and this they, is how and, he's always talked. Know. I don't understand. He's trying to. Okay, you know, we said it already. <laughs> he's trying to tear them apart, Lisa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The more they get, the more insane he becomes. But my problem is, he's not turning more insane, he's turning more one-dimensional. He's acting- Oh my god. Right. He's saying Frodo is acting more like a little kid? No, oh, no, I thought he's a golem. Oh. And, 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 and uh, news, really? news flash, Gollum is kind of one-dimensional, as in he literally only cares about one thing well, in the entire fucking universe. He had, one yeah. thing. He had dual personalities, the time... but they both commit to wanting to kill Frodo and Sam, or at the very least Frodo. By the time Gollum is in our story, he has had a long, long, tragic tale. Yeah. Like, we're not getting to him at the beginning of his arc, you know? If someone wanted to say he's one-dimensional in that he's motivated entirely by the ring, I'd be like, okay, that's how we, that's Gollum. That's, like, the character. What remains yeah. of Smeagol, the good-hearted hobbit, has been overrun almost entirely by Gollum, the personality that came out of the desire for the ring. At least that's the, uh, uh what I think is, is, is present I mean, in, pretty, in the film. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, of course, not, we could have reached him, it's just that he, he interpreted what happened with Faramir as a complete betrayal, and the other half of him, the desire for power, is, is more than overwhelming. Not, not to mention, as well, that, um, but well, because Gollum has obviously lost the ring now for a, 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 well a certain amount of time, um, there is also the, the whole Smeagol personality coming, you know, kind of coming back into uh, play. Like it, it's I don't I, I don't actually know if uh, Gollum had conversations with Smeagol and well Gollum and Smeagol conversations with himself all the time, but I, I, I could roll with that fact that yeah because he's because he's kind of weaning off the ring you know because he's well you know. He's an addict in in that sense. He's around it, but he's not like got it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. remember, it only happens once Frodo calls him Smeagol and treats him with right, the most right. yeah, kindness yeah, yeah, that yeah. anyone ever has in the past you know, five hundred years or whatever. Yeah, he's, he's yeah he's invoking his humanity or or his hobbity, <laughs> you know? just like Darth in Vader. Hobbity. Guys. <laughs> it's just no, like just Darth, like Darth Vader. Vader. Exactly, exactly like Darth Vader. You can see the characters are very similar. Like yeah. a little kid, which he didn't do in any of the last film. Here, I just can't take any of his scenes seriously. Oh, here we go. And take it for me. Is he fucking singing? What is that? Well, he's certainly happy at the prospect. Yeah, so think think of being getting like, wee, like he's fucking excited that he's going to be getting the one thing in the world he wants more than anything. No, and his there we go. We explained it. Stupid. Like his argument that. Gollum Smeagol is now childish. That's also in the second film, bro. Like, yep. It's like he didn't, he didn't watch it. Remember, remember the, remember the when he's like, take it off us, like, and he's dragging himself across the floor, and he's just like, yeah. oh, got the rope. Oh yeah, not, not to mention the. My only wish is to catch a fish. That's from. The no, film, no, right? that was from Return of the King because it was stupid. That must be Return of the King. Uh -huh. <laughs> the thing about his view on these films, which is interesting to me, is the whole like, you know. He said that Sean Astin's acting improves, or was it Frodo's acting improves? Uh, Smeagol's yeah. character changes from one movie to the other. It's like these were all constructed as one long movie, essentially. Like the fact that he's Wait, choosing these knowledge? breakages in where things like switch from one to the other. I'm just like, it's very you're you're placing that on something that really doesn't have that. Yeah, it's an arbitrary line because this is not a TV show where it, it's split over seasons and you know. The cast, you know, returned or anything like yeah. that. No, th 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 this was one long, big production, as he fucking pointed out. It's so again, I yeah, Elijah Wood. I'm pretty sure did not get like you know acting lessons to improve him. For well, the it wouldn't make sense films. anyway because he recorded several scenes out of order. So now, what? How does yes. that work? He yes. was good sometimes and then just not sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, well. Tommy, liar! You're a liar! Ah! The intimidating character from the last film is now comic relief. Why was he? I'm very confused. I, I would actually argue no, he's way more intimidating no, in Return really. of the King than he is in Two Towers. Gollum's intimidating? <laughs> what the fuck? 
I, th I guess he's referencing when he was crawling across the, the, the rock saying he's gonna, like, kill oh. Sam and Frodo yeah. when he first meets them, but for the rest of the film, he's an ally. Yeah. In Return of the King, we're made very aware that he's going to kill these people, and that anything he does to look frail, innocent, victimized, and to split them is all a part of a greater scheme, which I would argue makes him more intimidating. So... Where are we at, folks? <laughs> I'm just like, what's what's happening in this wonderful world? There are still there's seven minutes oh. left. Let's just, let's just finish this shit. Yeah. Like, yeah that'd be good great. job, Pete. Do it, Mr. Frodo. I won't wait around for him to kill us. I'm not sending him away. Oh. You don't see it, do you? He's a villain. What the? <laughs> Again, if this line was in any other movie, people. So villainous no, and villain. No, he's trying to convince Frodo no, that he's, he's probably, being had. He's probably referencing that that's like a, a meta word, right? Like you wouldn't refer to someone yeah. as a villain, but they—that's a part of older they, language. And also, no, these two that. specifically have talked and do talk about stories of characters going on journeys, absolutely, and heroes. So they would be very familiar with this terminology in particular. Mm-hmm. Would rip it. He's a villain! He's a villain! Batman! Joker's oh. over there, Batman! Go get him! Once again, you just pull it out of its context and then say, look, it doesn't make sense here. <laughs> Good job. No, no shit. <laughs> you know yeah, what? Batman, Batman knows Joker's he's a villain. A villain. He's a villain! Send him to the asylum, Alfred! He's a fucking villain! I can't rip off this branch. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> No one in any movie ever literally says he's a villain. This dialogue is defended. He's a they villain. Just did. They just did in this movie. Yeah, that it's like one nine billion dollars. <laughs> so your argument is instantly. Like proven. There are two defenses <laughs> of the use. <laughs> Someone in chat just said soy. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> <laughs> Gollum is the child, and Sam's the fucking jealous boyfriend. Don't touch him. Gay. No, no. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again. Passive oh, oh. aggressive against the gay. Or oh, as anyone can, well, should be easily able to identify, is that no, again, Frodo on this journey is slowly being corrupted by the ring, is slowly, it's slowly poisoning his mind, and Sam being the faithful companion, not boyfriend or other gay references, is trying to keep Frodo's mind clear and, and you know, steer him on the right path because, yeah, he's warning him of Gollum and that we should get rid of him. And Frodo, which we can only get the idea from that, you know, maybe he's sympathetic to Gollum because, well, he definitely is, we know that. And also, you know, he, he, may, he may also like empathize with him because he's also got the ring now, he's also understanding that, you know, oh shit, you know, Gollum loves the ring and I love it too, but no, 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 it's good. It's, it goes back to being Sam just being a gay, jealous boyfriend. That, <laughs> Stupid that, Sam, the gay one. Sam gets ga gay wise Gamgee. There we go. Gay wise Gamgee. That's the, like, if that's what you take away, that the Sam is gay, or 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 or, or it's it's an undertone for being gay. That's fuck, man. I don't know what to say to you. Yeah, exactly. He's a nasty man. This dialogue is horrendous. He's a villain. This is a good sword. Is he dead? dead. This is a good sword. Oh, very nasty. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he said that uh, when Aragorn is um, uh, fucking like ham hammer, whoever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he says this is a good sword. He compared it to I hate sand and um, shit. What was the other one? Oh, uh... he compared it to it, it's a oh, it's just as bad as a line as I hate sand and also what was the other one? I can't remember. Well, the the point was, you remember when Aragorn oh, that, has that's a lot of fish. That's yeah, it, that's yeah. yeah. He's he's trying to give that. reassurance to this one kid. Yeah, there you go. Home. That was that was oh, exactly we, what we, we all we, said we, too. We this. Apparently, you yeah. You I guess you watched the film. I don't know. Weird. Oh, I, well, I meant when you watch the EFAP, but you're away because that's literally <laughs> our point. It's always but it's like, it's you know... the point. Like, there's no yeah. yeah that's. I, how could you not interpret it as that? I'd, I would be shocked if someone gave me another interpretation of it. Well, his interpretation oh, no, was, yeah. Aragorn walked up to a kid and said, hand me your sword, and then he went, wow, this is a neat sword, and then walked away. Yeah, and he equated that to Anakin in Star Wars saying, I hate sand, and he equated it to Matthew Broderick saying, that's a lot of fish in Godzilla, and also he sprinkled in the Star Wars crit, because that's obviously where he got it from, because... Mm -hmm. Also, he had film brain references, too. Um...
An AVGN. So it's, it's... An AVGN, yeah, yeah. So he, he's almost like he's almost got the you know the well, yeah, the twenty ten uh, kitty squad or oh, whatever. <laughs> yes. I can't guess a shell. Enemies. Are you kidding me? This... It's Gollum. It's how he talks. Yeah. <laughs> Very nasty. Full of enemies. Oh. Oh, well, you're expecting him to watch the movie, which is too much. Darth Vader oh, wouldn't no. say very nasty, <laughs> so it's a flaw yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know who would probably Yoda, but he loves Star Wars, so he says that he he loves fantasy and he references Star Wars and Yoda talks well, like a fucking idiot. Well, yeah, Yoda, <laughs> yeah, Yoda, yeah, Yoda talks gibberish, but. Oh, yeah, and that's... Yoda's like an old wise character, but whatever he says has to be said by Gandalf too, otherwise it's stupid, right? That's how that works. But a character who is like a li well, is like a fucking crackhead. Oh no, that's just that's just nah. <laughs> this was a piss take line in Fred. It's Judy. She's been kidnapped by kidnappers. Well, no, when it's in Lord of the Rings, it's acceptable. Wait, so what? So, I'm, I'm a little confused as to what he's actually. So comparing Gollum said this. it's a dead city filled with uh, nasty. What did he, What did I say? Is he said nasty something? Nasty. Uh, very nasty. Wait. I can't remember. Um, and full of enemies. Dead city full of enemies. Very nasty. And he's like, "Wow, that's that, that's like saying you were kidnapped by kidnappers." Yeah. Don't I don't I don't see the connection there. Eh? You're gonna have to lay it's that out for me a bit yeah, better. It, it, yeah, it, it's <laughs> the difference between them. The difference between you. them is like fucking like Earth or Mars. You know, it's it's just completely. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so far <laughs> region. Acting. <laughs> Oof! That's very loud. It's using arguments for the same guy, also. Jesus Christ! Like, how can yeah. how can how can something so long feel so lazy? You know, like. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm curious what the. Do you want to do it again? What's his point going to be? We didn't guess it right last time. We were too. We. we he's playing this I, scene. When he's talking about, with what he's showing now. Yeah, he's showing this, and he's going to criticize it. We did this before, and we got it wrong dramatically, and we were shocked uh, by what he ended up criticizing. So all bets are off, kids. What, what what is this? What do you reckon? Well, it, it, this just followed after him taking the piss, saying that uh, acting wasn't it. So yeah. So he's going to say something Frodo's acting is bad here. Do you think? Is that it? Something really. Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. He's something about yeah Frodo's face, I guess. All right. Murder. Yeah. It's, it's a uh, maybe a gay reference. I think we decided yeah. it's going to be Frodo is a bad actor. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, oh, that would. Really? Really, Frodo? Because the way you were clutching your chest and acting, I would have never got that. Yeah, so Sam might not have gotten that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean... Frodo, and yeah. he is... Dude, he is shocked. A scream is causing him physical pain where he was stabbed. This yeah, is well, very, was, like, very his, worrying. His, it, the sound alone is, like, well, deafening or whatever. Frodo is actually, like, like feeling it in his chest from where he stabbed him. That That's... <sighs> That's yeah. Good. Well, like yeah. this, this is what I mean. He needs to watch the movie with us, and we can point all this stuff out to him as we go. We can be like, "Oh, so the reason why this happened is it means this, this, this." And he's like, "Oh, wow, cool." And you're like, "Yeah, I know." Next scene. So this happens. This is this. <laughs> We're just like helping him out. It was, it was, I, th I think most of us. Well, when the first film came out, I think I was like eleven, I think, or twelve. I, th I got this when I was twelve. He, he, I, 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 <laughs> presumably, he's like in his mid twenties here. I don't know, but he's a no. And plus, does he not understand that in real life, a lot of the time when people are in pain, they vocalize where the pain is? Yeah. yeah. You're like, oh shit, my toe hurts like a bitch. And then I'm like, Rex, oh, really? I can tell by you, you clutching, clutching your, toe, your foot. I thought it was your fucking arm that was hurting, right? Like, <laughs> how, many, how many times are people limping a little bit and they're like, fuck, my knee just hurts. And then, and then some asshole is like, I can tell. And then you give them the look that Rags Avatar has. Like, wow, wow, dude. <laughs> like, seriously? Like, okay. That, that light will just like, dead, dead, dead. What happened to just letting actors act? Just showing him clutching his chest and acting. That oh my god. <laughs> but he wasn't stabbed in the chest, he was stabbed in the shoulder. Why can't actors act? Why can't you just let them be free? <laughs> <laughs> that that wouldn't have been enough. The because they clearly think the audience are fucking morons. No, they question. I mean, you're not helping no, the argument, are you? Just you, mate. Their intelligence constantly, but people are like, no, it's good, it's good, Dinosaur! Get into the tower! 
Okay, he, he's getting more wound up than me, I think. Then he'll wish he'd never been born. Why don't we just kill this person? Because we're the bad guys. We don't need any other reason. I mean, he's tied That's... up in a big web thing, and they're in Shelob's lair. They're gonna get the fuck out of there. They drop him down, he's knocked out, they pull all his shit off, and they're looking at it. I don't think they give a fuck if he's alive or dead when they're dealing with a fucking mithril shirt. That's my argument. <laughs> I don't know what else there is to it. Like, you just have to... This stuff is, like, just in the film at this point. It's getting very tiring. Uh, like what Greg said, it's like basic cinematic storytelling language. He he can't even get that, or he doesn't see it because of a filter. Like I guess like, we I need someone to to explicitly say this to him in the film. Why didn't we kill him yet? We've been distracted, and we didn't want to kill him in the lair because Shelob might get us, and we actually think she's a threat as fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also, orcs are like, oh, look, look at this non-orc. Should we kill it? It's like, nah, bring it back. I'll see what uh. Nathan. Oh, oh, is he gonna shit on this Christ. speech? Don't, oh my don't God. touch don't, Pal don't. Fields. Like, don't go near it, don't, dude. Don't do, don't do it. Don't Stay do away. It. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Fear, Fear no darkness. darkness. That's something a 12-year-old emo writes. Okay. Fuck you. Considering, <laughs> considering they are literally about to ride into the forces of darkness. Did you miss um, that part where right now, for ruin and the world's ending, death, like they yeah. know they're going to die. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, it is a last stand. It's getting yeah. them, and, and getting them saying, pumped and psyched up, you know? And you're saying, like he's saying, like he literally interpreted that scene as something a 12-year-old would say. Like when he's going to sleep and he has to go to the bathroom. No, fear no darkness. Fear no. I'm not not gonna fear any darkness. I'm gonna walk and go to the loo. Like, or... It's insane. <laughs> Theoden's yeah. Theoden's speech here is like the best. It's and fucking yeah. amazing. Like, I, 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 Dude, having the characters I, chant I, death and actually have it be uprising, like like a a win. Yeah, like, amazing. Yeah. Nah, I, I really want the fear them to kind of step down and just go, right, guys, you know, we've done this a million times before. I mean, obviously the ones who died on the way, uh, nah, yeah. they don't count. You well, know, dark, um, dark. show me your war face, people. <laughs> also, I love, like, there's just so much the movie we're not talking about from his perspective, I mean. He's just like, I don't know, oh, yeah, this, yeah, he, this. He, 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 yeah, well, yeah, he just skipped half the, uh, the Return of the King, yeah, to get to this point. Are you kidding? Off the phone with your principal again? They said you were vandalizing. Took you to his office, and then you yelled at him and called him a prick. I fear the darkness. Oh, that was worth it. I will That's kill you if you touch him. If we fight, I will punch you. These lines are so bad. I'm oh what? My it, God. You're criticizing Awen saying, if you touch my father, I'm going to kill you? Why do I, you what exist? Is, I, <laughs> what is the... Wait, it's her I uncle, have... right? I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. Oh, like, sorry, like... yeah. I, I thought I got that wrong earlier. I guess yeah. not her father, yeah, her uncle. Yeah, Aragorn... Yeah, I, get, I get the remember... point. Oh, I was just saying, you know, when, when Aragorn said that he rode with, uh, or he fought with her father, and she was confused because... Yeah. And, and, then, and he met Fyrdin when he was a little boy, and it's... Right. Uh, Fyrdin's older than you. Yeah, that, that, yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't matter, really, anyway. It's just a thing. I like this review, it doesn't matter. I I would love I really need to know what he would replace this dialogue with. What would you have her say? But no, he just wants them to fight. Probably. It's getting to be hilariously bad, like to the to the point where it's like, you know what when Aragorn says for Frodo, he's gonna go, Well who else would it be for? Like, yeah. Be like, oh, <laughs> for what? Okay. For, for what? For yeah. Denethor? Yeah, right. And he's not even for what exactly? Frodo is a person. Frodo's journey. You don't. They're or not like specific. Mission, Ooh, just you know? the idea or of like, Frodo, I guess. Yeah, for him, but through the extension of that, all of us. So we're a little. I mean, yeah. What Why about, is what Aragorn really for saying Aragorn? for Frodo as opposed to for us all? He's very selfish and gay. Wait, can, yeah, can I just all lives for, matter. Can I also say I'm still not over the fact that he compared. Fear no darkness to some emo kid saying it, like yeah. how, like how could you say that a force of men confronting like 
literally evil beings and, and saying that's the same as being an emo fuck. Like, how could how could you say that? How could you say that those scenes are even comparable? It's like it it it's so stupid. The statement is so stupid. The sentiment is so stupid. It it it's giving it's giving me a headache, guys. It's like. It's like, oh, yeah. it's, it's well, like, it's a matter of like, I wonder what he'll have a problem with next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of fascinating in that regard how how stupid the statements can get. Like, I'm struggling to think of new. Oh, and don't forget more random. Laughter. I could see the same script. I could see the same thing about your fucking script. I... More random laughter. They've won. It's gonna be gay. Oh, uh, I know. Oh, they no. won. It's gonna be the gay. Gonna be the game. Uh, imagine after imagine after everything that they went through, they 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 just they they had a laugh. They 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 shared joy. How dare you? Yeah, yeah. This is such an like an elation moment of just oh, yeah. we fucking did it. Look, it's us, the fucking idiots from the Shire, and we did it. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Well, again, keep in mind, Frodo and Sam they've been not they've been separated since the first film, and uh, what you mean like, Gandalf again, and Frodo? Like, you know, well, well, well. Sam and Frodo being separated from everyone, but also, oh, yeah, right, right. well, and well, and, and and yeah, true. Especially with Gandalf, he thought he was dead. You know, he saw him fall, and that was it. So to see him standing there, yeah, yeah imagine the fucking relief. You know, no, no, they're just laughing, stupid, <laughs> giggling tossers. Oh no! Oh, hey, yeah, more skits actually. Kill some more time. He's gonna laugh. <laughs> He's such a talented he critic. He takes something he out of context. Concept. He just takes yeah, a thing out of context yeah. and does it again, then says, look how stupid it is now. And it's like, well done. He literally, he literally doesn't get why they're laughing. It's like... It's fascinating. Oh my God. Yeah, it's fascinating. And, like, I'll never see anything like this in... Wow, it's like... We, 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 like this is a pretty quick guide on how to do this, I guess. Just call things gay, and then just take then, a thing from a movie, recreate it in a skit, and then say it's dumb. Yeah. Or, or compare it to something that's like also a cartoon or a film or whatever genre it is, even though they're not comparable, and just say it sucks because it's not the thing I compared it to arbitrarily. Like, brilliant. Fucking, fucking brilliant. <laughs> Gimli? Still not funny! Well, this is a thing unheard of! I can say the same thing. This isn't supposed to be the funny bit. This, like, this, what he's saying here, like, this is to reassure himself. It's not meant to be funny. I mean, I can see how you. Someone would find this funny. The, the point is that yeah, he's. Yeah, you could. Since the beginning of the film, not... dwarves better than elves, right? And now we're in a situation where you're going underground and he's more scared than Legolas is. Than any of them, yeah. <laughs> And that's, to yeah. him, that's fucking baffling. And he's trying to amp himself up, like, you, come on, fucking hell, we gotta get in there. Like, Jesus, what is this? And it's just, yeah, it, yeah, it gives me a smile to think about. Game, yeah. yeah, the funny parts here are generally gonna be him stepping on the skulls and cringing with every step. I don't think that's yes. in the... Yeah. He's, the he's reviewing the um, theatrical, and I don't think that's in the uh, theatrical. He's wrong yeah, already. I, yes. Yeah, you are right. It, it, it's not in the theatrical, but... Uh... Fuck. Oh. Well, a dwarf, still not. Oh, oh, I've never killed the end of it. It's just so bad. I'm it's not supposed to be funny. Oh, wait, what? What's. Now, what are we doing? Just he's about to. That's you hilarious. serious? He's that about shit's to. That's hilarious. He's. Oh, yeah, no, he, this is. Yeah. This is like Gimli's fucking fantastic line. This is set up since Two Towers to be perfect. Yeah. I still only count as one. A funny Gimli laugh. Oh, thank fuck! He thought it was funny. Okay. Oh, thank God. His soul oh, is not lost. Enough. He's got it. There's something. Fine. They got a funny Gimli line, and it only took about eight hours. Oh, there's been loads. You just missed them. Oh, I'm yeah, so sorry. proud of you, movie. C can Redeemed. you can you do another funny line? I offer you my service, such as it is, in payment of this debt. I'm gonna pause for copyright safety, but again, do you guys want to guess what he's going for? I don't know. Is that connected uh, to this being one? funny? Yeah. No. Oh, wait. Do you think? What's the joke in this scene? I... Gandalf hits oh, him in the oh, back oh, to get him Gandalf. up. I guess. Yeah, Gandalf just goes, "Oh, 
give it a rest. He does. This, he's not worth your shit. Yeah, he's, he, he, right, he, yeah. he, he kind of okay. like scoops him with a stick, doesn't he? Or, or his staff. Get up. Yeah. You did two in a row, man. Oh, is that the joke? Uh, well, I mean, I didn't know that was supposed to be a joke. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be that you know, Pippin's being very serious, and then it's undercut by the fact that it's like, dude, just we got stuff to do. Like, get up. I guess yeah. that could be amusing in a way. Not just I mean, that, I think it's but, fine. but it's, it's not just that, but it's also clear that Gandalf doesn't respect uh, Denethor. He's, he, no, um, he's not a king, he's a steward. He even says on his way out, which I find to be a, a great line, he says uh, he'll even use his grief as a cloak, I think, or something like yeah. that. Like, Gandalf yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, hates yeah. Denethor. Yeah, he, he, he has no time for him. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Lord of the Rings! They had another funny line! Behind the walls of Mordor, our enemy is regrouping. Let him stay there. And pause for safety again. Um, okay. What do you reckon he's gonna do? He says, let him rot. So I'm assuming... He's gonna take issue. Why do we care? I don't even, yeah, yeah that's, um, that's not that's not a joke. That's so much more just fucking. Well, we'll see. Give, who give who knows what he'll say? Huh? He could say anything. He could say, yeah. "Oh, it's really dumb I... that he's smoking in this scene." Like, who knows? Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let him rot. Why should we care? Wait, what the fuck? They they spent three movies trying to save them, and now Gimli wants him to to die. What? He's no, referring he's to referring. Frodo because Gandalf clarifies immediately after mentioning the hobbits. Gimli's... Wait, G no, he no, thinks no. that Gimli's, Gimli's talking about Frodo? Gimli's uh, talking about Sauron. Yeah, he's game. talking about he, you, Sauron you, and his army. Wait, What's you think happened? he's saying let Frodo rot? No, this, no. That Sauron, right? We can, like, this, that's can't, that's this can't actually be happening. Like, uh, How can you say... No. No. He didn't watch the movie. He didn't watch the movie. Let's, no way. Just gonna, just gonna roll it back let him stay there let him rot why should we care wait what the fuck they, they spent three movies trying to save them and now gimli wants him to, to die he does think that gimli's referring can we, to frodo can we have a moment of silence and, i don't know like, I just, this and, might be the most baffling take f we've seen on efap i don't can you press f for my brain chat oh my god just like, press, I, press f for analysis i do not even know analysis. what to say he, th Wait, he thinks like, Gimli doesn't care if Frodo lives or dies in this moment in the film, guys. In the fucking but, scene where they get the chainmail, they they went, oh, they all went, oh, come on, bro. No, no that, how how could he think this, considering that their plot? What is he? Uh, Gimli goes on this potential suicide mission to save Frodo at, in this very scene. F for analysis chat, like, just fucking press F, Jesus Christ, like... Do you remember when Gimli's reaction to the idea that Frodo didn't make it after destroying the ring? Do you remember how happy he is to see Frodo when Frodo wakes up? Yeah! yeah. Why, why would you think he's talking about Frodo, you idiot? Let him stay there? Let him rot. Like, Frodo's just gonna, like, <laughs> buy an apartment in Mordor? Like, he's like, let's just like. Friend? If he was a friend of ours, we all saw it separately. We talked about it. He's like so weird that Gimli wanted Frodo to die at one point. <laughs> <You're> like what? <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. Why what? Happen? Why do they have beef? What happened? <laughs> what an absurd moment in this video. But thank you for Wait, putting it at this point. So it's a nice little bonus before we hit the end, I guess. What, yeah. what did Gandalf actually say? I forgot already. Like. Like, what, what Gandalf sure says, it doesn't that. fucking matter what Gandalf says in response, because Gimli's clearly yeah. referring to Sauron. <laughs> I guess, yeah, but it's like... I thought... I thought that he would... So, okay, someone actually posted it. Gandalf says in response, because 10,000 orcs now stand between Frodo and Mount Doom. Oh my god. So he that's... thinks that, like, to, yeah. to turn... He thinks the, oh. like, the, the text of this scene is, uh... Gimli said, I don't care about Frodo, he can rot. And then Gandalf said, yeah, but Frodo has a, c a couple of obstacles we need to help him out with, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, what yeah, he, really that's what he thinks the scene is. In, rather, the scene is, we've defeated the, the armies of Mordor, sent them back, they can rot in Mordor. And then Gandalf's like, yeah, but Frodo has to get the ring to Mordor. And they're all in Mordor, so... Yeah, thanks again for establishing. He can't even fucking understand basic comprehension. That's amazing. 
Yeah, like, that, I kind of want to give him an award fantastic. for that one. Like, I don't know. You, you know when, again, again, he, 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 he didn't read shit. He, 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 like, surely, surely he, surely he saw this or saw that a bit and he interpreted it and thought, no, wait, that can't be how, that can't be, that, 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 that can't be what Gimli's saying. And then, he, like, surely he would have Googled it or fucking looked at it or anything. But no, he actually ran with that. He actually went, no, that's actually what Gimli's saying. <sighs> fucking hell. Come on, dude. Yep. I, I, I've run out of insults for it. It's just like, Jesus, you you were just so deliberately just misconstrued in every possible fucking thing and just just inventing your own bullshit. Like, holy crap. But, but you have to... And the other thing is, he clarified it. Like, this wasn't a random thought that he accidentally let through. He was like, no, guys, yeah. he is talking yeah. about Frodo. He's very yeah, certain yeah. here. He's, like, sure that he's correct. Well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. He had to add this little uh, qualifier, you, you know. And yes, he's referring to Frodo. No, no, he's not. No, no he's not. <laughs> just... That oh, is insane. So this spent. is insane. Oh, Some spent. people just decide to make the wrong kind of content. <laughs> Clearly, talking about so. <laughs> Imagine watching Nostalgia Craig and that guy with the glasses crew for so long. I've been infatuated with it that you make a fucking video this bad in 2017. Like holy shit! Like I mean, thanks for proving that, that Lord of the Rings can't be defeated. I guess. Yeah, like... yeah. E e even if this was like, even if the he did this when when uh, it was the height of the that guy with the glasses, this would still be horrendous. Like this yeah. is not. These arguments, uh, most of them are not even arguments. Most of them are just stupid little fucking, well, just, just shitty observation humor yeah. that is not funny. That well, that yeah, no, it's just not. It is just. I just, I, well, and then yeah, you're you're well when you straw man's the fans like as you know dumb retards who don't understand anything. It's like you you don't. I, I think you're projecting so hard, man. You 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 don't get it. You don't get yeah. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, like, didn't fucking watch the movies. There's, there's, there's and, no way. And, and again, I, I gotta stress, it's not a complicated series. It is not. It is. It is not something that you need to rewatch time and time again, rewind scene after scene, and pick up little deals. It is really straightforward. It is like it is. Yeah, it's not the fuck. It's a it's an adventure story, right? Like, well, it's, it's, it's a story about jewelry. <laughs> yeah, it. It's a story about jewelry. I, I, I'm I'm just, I'm just lost to. to, to for, well, yeah, like I I don't mean to inflate. I'm just so staggered by this take. It's this fascinating. Yeah. Like, this is actually EFAP one of the Hall most of Fame. insane takes. Like yeah. ab absolutely hall of fame, hall of shame, right? Like like hall of, like I'm thinking so like oh, best oh, EFAP oh, quotes no. of all time, like the one that said "pretend it's what you wanted and maybe you'll like it." That's one of the EFAP hall of fame lines. I guess they yeah. they have the rhinos because they milk them. That's the uh, EFAP hall of fame. And, um, yeah. and don't forget, guys, oh, no. hall of shame. Sorry, at the start, don't forget, he also started this whole video saying people won't listen to my actual arguments. <laughs> where are they? Well, where, he, you have oh, to make arguments, you can't just make statements. It was, it was clever of do, him. It can't be wrong. It was no, clever man, of him to push this one so late in the game because most people won't make it this far, I think. Yeah. Um, wow, I just, that, that's just fascinating. That's, it's just so fascinating. Uh, oh. Wait, I got, I got something. I'm loving, um, I am loving all your comments as well, guys, who've uh, gone on to, uh, uh, well, poke holes in, in, in his bullshit yourselves. Um, oh, it's, it's... yeah, be nice, though, uh, of yeah. course. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, be no, nice. Well... He clearly is, he really needs it. He needs help. Yeah. Like, you need, you need to be like, okay, yeah. so this argument doesn't work because of this, this, this. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm, I, I, yeah. I'm not saying uh, good job on anyone saying that he's a wanker or anything. Um, you know, I, I know I've, I know I've just completely trashed him myself. But uh... well, I mean, he's he's gotten as good as he's given. He's thrown a hell of a lot of insults to people who like Lord of the Rings, which unfortunately is us. Yeah. Well, here's a good one. Uh, uh, I, I'm sure he's in, in the chat right now. Uh, if this is supposed to be legit criticism, it's terrible. If this is supposed to be trolling, it's also terrible. So it, it's like, yeah, this is... Uh, I was only it, pretending to be retarded. Yeah, this is just fucking horrendous. Just, oh my days. Yeah, this is uh, some of and, that crazy shit. 
and I know people are gonna. I, I know people are gonna. You might go jump to the. Oh my god, they spent so long doing it. It lasted almost lo- as long as the trilogy and all that. It's like, yeah, no, th- we, this is fucking. This is what it takes to give a fair, fair fucking uh, shot at actually breaking down everything. Because we're not just. I, I hope people don't just see us just like just reacting blindly, just going wrong, wrong opinion, opinion. Yeah. I, I think, I think I've, I have fucking. I, how many hours have we done this? I've spent so much fucking time actually actually trying to clarify and explain this and obviously everyone else here is, has as well and and greg and it's it's fuck i <laughs> agree exhausting. with that statement it is just so exhausted and then but then like people will just mischaracterize it like you know especially obviously more and rags is fucking alt-right nazi and all this other dumb shit it's like ugh, fuck and i like and, and we want to talk about like you know Bad characters or bad actors or whatever. Like, how, what's this? What's this bone to pick with the with the the gay undertones that he? One yeah, minute is sure. one minute is gross. The other minute it's you know. Oh, this would be great if he was actually gay. It's a, it's kind of a bizarre video. A lot of people say like, is this the worst video EFAP has covered? It's like it's certainly up there, top five. Do, do, what's, do what's really oh, funny yeah, as it's well. up there. That was really funny when obviously I knew, I knew coming into this or coming in on, onto EFAP tonight um, that. You know, this was going to be a bad. Oh, it's going to be a video trashing Lord of the Rings. I was expecting the arguments about like, why didn't they use the eagles? Does it drop the ring in? I mean, don't get me wrong. He still got like what ten minutes. He'll do that one. I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm like sure, that's still I something would... like a normal person could kind there, of. There make, are normal complaints to make. Actually, there are oh, normal yeah, complaints like, to make. Then you're like, oh, actually, because A, B, C, and D, those are those are the reasons why not. And you're like, oh, okay. yeah, I, I was well, I was anticipating these kind of like logical things where you know it's it's like why couldn't they? Because it's a genuine question. It's not just like you know, duh, don't you know anything about Lord of the Rings? It's a genuine fucking shout. You know, why couldn't they just ride the flying beasts and just fast travel to Mordor? And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, not gonna go into that argument. It's been done to death. Um, but it's it's just, but. But the, the, the things instead is like, like let's break down the characters. Oh yeah, Gimli's not funny. He's annoying. Okay, Legolas is is Ray. Okay, he, he's barely talked about Aragorn. Actually, he's literally. Just I was got, gonna say think, it's odd that he hasn't talked about Aragorn at all because there's so much to say about him as a character and his history and what he yeah, mean, yeah, like yeah. what he means to this story because he's he's very important and he's avoided he's it. So yeah, yeah. Well, out of him, Aragorn, uh, out of Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli, who's the more important character of the three? Who who's yeah. the one that? And Gimli. Has, <laughs> yeah, and it's like Gandalf is just oh well, yeah, close ups of Ian e. McAllen's nose, okay. Um, Frodo and Sam's und- gay undertone relationship, Gollum, uh, uh fucking hell, it's yeah, uh, right, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, th- that's for me. We had to take a huge intermission there because that that take was that bad. Like it, oh, it's, sorry. it put the brakes on EFAP as a whole. I had to make sure oh, yeah. we understood that um, that, that shit yeah. is amazing. He thinks Gimli almost essentially wants Frodo dead in this scene. That's not something, yeah, also, like, th- put, take that out of context and be like, wait, what? This this video argues that Gimli kind of wants Frodo dead? I'd be like, wow. I'm interested yeah. to see how that works. So, sorry as well, I just, I just caught up on some other comments. Um, Don't forget, you also started the video saying they won't listen to me. I, oh, we I will. We do. Oh, Unfortunately, we, we, we have. It has oh, been hard. Boy. I, I can't emphasize enough how, how much it has been difficult to listen to you when you just you just so fucking wrong on air, like so many guards and and you and again you'll use you'll use your opinions to shield away from it. I think it, it's funny though to think about what if Gimli had this weird like secret <laughs> like secret <laughs> hatred for hobbits this whole time. Like, why do you think? He was the slowest to try and chase after Merry and Pippin because he wanted to try and get him killed by delaying them arriving. So he was being the slowest. And uh, when he was uh, when, when he came back to a Frodo at the very end, he was like inside. He was going, oh, fuck, this little asshole's alive. Oh, hey, Frodo. We Look have like hey, the, this scene, yeah, though, here. that he's referring to now. He, he says, like, we have to help Frodo and Sam. And then Gimme is like, fuck Frodo and Sam. Let him die. And everyone looks at him and he's like. Oh, <laughs> get in, you know? Fuck. Let's, yeah, let's go help him. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, give him fuck. Which they could have, by the way. Don't they get one free fuck in these movies? They just never use them. Um, I forget. The 12 A's, right? I think so. 
Were they 12A uh, in the UK? Or they P the PG movies get a fuck? I can't remember. No, no, no. They, well, they definitely get a fuck. They, they might get like a... Uh, a shit? A shit, yeah, but no, no. I'm pretty sure... Well... Pretty mm. shit, yeah. <laughs> Well, the point is you don't need that anyway in Lord of the Rings. You don't no, need, you don't. That's why it's nice. You don't need not harsh language to emphasize, well, to emphasize anything, really. You, you don't need it. It's not... Oh. Art! Why should we care? Wait, what the fuck? They, they spent three movies trying to save them, and now Gimli wants him to, to die. Yeah. What a douche. Well, we've already... we've already... messed up later. If you thought that... Surely you'd spend a long time on this point. You'd be like, Gimli is acting entirely out of character. This is insane. He wants Frodo and yeah. Sam to suffer and rot. What the fuck? This is ridiculous. If you actually believed it. I don't know why you... So yeah. when Frodo and Sam save the world and Gimli celebrates despite 20 minutes earlier saying he wants to leave them out there to die. I thought I'd die fighting... I guess he did yeah. sort of develop it, yeah. He really does believe it. He believes Gimli How? wants them dead. Yeah. He has his own contradicting evidence right here and yet he can't see it. Dude, come on. Like, well, he thinks it is a contradiction. He's saying this evidence proves it's a contradiction. We're like, no. <laughs> yeah, it's, dude. You, you, <sighs> it's it's either a strange, nonsensical contradiction, or it is perfectly consistent with the correct viewpoint. I just <laughs> fascinating. Side by side with an elf. What about side by side with a friend? Ah, uh, nah, gonna let you uh, rock Legolas. Like yeah. Hey, I wanted you to die! Oh my no, god! What the fuck? What? <laughs> and no. how, and do you not think everyone else in the fellowship was gonna be like, okay, so Frodo, like, before we did that distraction thing, Gimli, like, wanted you to fucking die. So, I don't know if he's been, like, drinking or something. I don't know. He's what just, the I, fuck is wrong moments, with you? Moments before, Le the moments before Gimli came up those stairs, Legolas went, wait, you've gotta let your bigotry aside. He's done it's a good lot. that he's right. alive, okay, Gimli? Yeah, yeah. He was like, yeah, fine, fine, fine. It's good that Frodo's alive. Say it, a lot. Say it, say it with me, Gimli. It's a good thing Frodo's alive. Fine. I got it, I got it. I got I'm it. out, I believe it. I'm yeah, done with fine. this shit. And, and also, also, if you read the books, what, 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 what was it in the books? I did. I, 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 I can't remember. I honestly can't remember if that's in the books or not, but... If you if you read it recently to or like whenever you did the video to to, to do this, um, surely that would have been another piece. But uh, of course, it, it. My point was gonna be right that he would all be. So if he thought this was true, he would he would rail on it because that's such a bad thing in this film. If that were true, and I thought he was gonna move on. And what I was gonna say was he's not even invested in his criticisms, right? Because he's he's not even explaining why these things matter. He's just like, oh fuck it, that's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah, yeah, without even thinking. But I was wrong. He does care about this, and that makes it almost worse. He is convinced that Gimli wanted Frodo and Sam to die. And I can't believe that's something I'm saying. This reviewer yeah, believes Gimli wanted Frodo and Sam to die. That is such a... Yeah, it, it is like the... It's the most backwards, most illogical it take is you could fucking take. That you could, and I would... You could take away from this. I would love to put into question now. Like, say, for example, Just Right, if he was here, I'd be like, Just Right, Gimli wanted Sam and Frodo to die. Is that... That's my opinion. Like, is that... Do, do you think that's valid? Do you think that's... That, that is a true opinion? Do you think it's entirely subjective whether or not that can be verified and that I'm... It's just my opinion? Because he's a big fan of Lord of the Rings. I feel like he'd be like, well, that's just not true. And I'd be like, someone out there thinks it is after watching them. Yeah. Don't don't ruin their experience, okay? <laughs> Let them have it. He just... Amazing. Hey. Hey, nine and a half hours and we still have no character. For Aragorn? No, no that's... Uh, okay. I, All right. no. Yeah, Aragorn doesn't really have a character, right. it's true. Okay. I was starting to realize there was no fucking point in rewatching these films ahead of time for this, was there, Rex? Ah, fuck yeah. I, we just had to enjoy ourselves. And I was going to say, we had to watch Lord of the Rings. It's like, well, <laughs> there are worse yeah, things in yeah. life. I, 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 I did I'm, take I'm, half a day, but yeah. I am so surprised that I managed to uh, recite so many things from it, and I haven't watched them in a good couple of years now. It's almost and... like they're really memorable because of how meaningful all of it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I mean, I will <laughs> I will wear my biasms on a sleeve. Huge fan. Huge fan. Um, yeah. I think we all are. It's okay, but though, because we can still be objective about what happened in these film. films.
also the fact that like oh yeah sam's the last one to come up and then it's like you know it's the biggest uh well relief ever for frodo that sam didn't perish in the fucking lava you know he didn't burn up into a little piece of bacon mm-hmm. um and uh, well, drum roll guys who thinks it's gonna be another gay reference oh. dun, 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 dun. let's find because, out because, I, I basically do. like Frodo creams his pants or something. Bet it, bet it, call on it. Hey, I want to fuck your brain. There up, we go. Fellow. All right. Uh, there we go. Yeah. There, there we go. go. Ta da! We did it. Like clockwork. Uh, he's not even. Yeah, is he even going to touch on the ending? <laughs> or that, yeah, the, the, the overdue long ending? Da, da, da. Oh, I'm sure he will. We've got time. So, the characters, again. At least Gimli leaves an impression. Legolas has nothing to him. All right. Oh. <laughs> He's okay. done this before, so yeah. I mean, he has yeah. a he character, a sh- but he doesn't have like a big character development. I would say I there guess? is less but to describe about Legolas than there is most of the main characters. That doesn't yeah. make him a yeah. bad character if that's where he's going with that. I don't know. Sheet of paper with poop stains on it. He's just this perfect wow. angel. How he single handedly takes down an entire fucking elephant and still has perfect hair and doesn't even break a sweat. I- uh, yeah, Legolas uh, is great. Yeah, he's a really good fighter. Um, Aomir takes out two of them himself, so fuck your argument. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and Aomir is just definitely just a human with no... A- Eowyn and Merry take out one. Yeah. It, it, uh, also, they're Moomakill slash Oliphants. Okay, it, people get very Eowyn upset when you call kills, them elephants. Uh, Eowyn kills the Witch King of Agma. Um, well, you know? that's okay, but he can't, Legolas can't well, well, do what he's it, done. Well, yeah, it, it, it's a triumph for moment because she's a woman, but because Legolas does it, he, 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 you know. Yeah. <laughs> Again, he can win the struggle. How can you but... get behind a character when they have no flaws and can do practically anything? They have everything behind them and never Legolas struggle Legolas does anything. have a flaw. Remember in Two Towers when he, he gave in to despair and he said that they were going to die and there's no hope for him and... He he doubted Aragorn and all that stuff. Like I think that's flaw. He even apologized for it. But yeah. he killed people, Rags. So that makes him a perfect person. Hooray! Hooray! Hitler's perfect. Yay! <laughs> Boring and bland characterization ever created. Shut up, you! Right now, Arwen. <laughs> Wait. I mean, that's a fair reaction to what he just said. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, is he? Is he gonna do the the whole love thing with Ar- uh, Arwen? No, 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 let's, let's find out. Why does she have a towel on her head? A okay. towel? He it's thinks a it's a towel. towel. Uh... Just le- leave him alone, he thinks it's a towel. Daddy, why does mummy have a towel on her head? It's a hood. Does he- he Look, has- he's right. wearing something with the hood on it right now! Look, he's not- yeah. he's running out of material, let him be. He's gotta make some kind of joke. He put on um, his hood for this- for one of his stupid skits before I left. The, 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 the jokes are killing it, they're way better than Gimli's. Oh wait, what is this the 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 top three fab arguments? I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. Someone sent me that. Ultimate agent sent me that. I mean, <laughs> Gimli wanted Frodo and Sam. <laughs> <laughs> you get like, the no goal. No one would say that. Is like, oh, you would be oh, forgiven for thinking yeah. so. Pretend it's what you wanted. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a what a. What a legacy Hefab has. And first of all, her acting is so bad. Look at her expression as she stares at her own father. This was my choice. Mother. She's like sick at that point, right? Like, there is no yeah, her light, yeah, her light's fading. Because there's, a, uh, there's lots of ways to describe. She's being very serious. Yeah. Also, this is a very, this she's being very, very serious. This is her going back to tell her dad that, yeah, like, I know you're not going to probably like what I'm gonna do, but I gotta do it. And I love you, well, yeah, but well, yeah, I gotta do what I gotta do. I would argue she's Elrond. being kind of stern. She's like, this is my choice, yeah. I'm making it. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. Elrond spells it out for her that, yeah, if you choose a, if you choose a life of Aragorn, he, he'll, he, he will grow old and die, and then you'll be left on his earth forever. Without and, superpowers. And get... Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and guess what? If you're, if, you're, if you're happy to accept that fate, then... Um, well, I mean, that, that's, that, that's like love if if nothing you've ever fucking seen before you know if you're willing to like do if you're willing to <laughs> oh fuck whatever it's not point explain this dig air to him also yeah um uh Sorry, too much emotion 
Uh, just another thing, yeah. He he references that like Legolas is Mary Sue, but he likes the TLJ. He likes Tara uh, as well. She she literally dies and comes back to life in that film. He has a problem with that, doesn't he? <sighs> yeah. Should we just look at like Lord of the Rings memes after this, just to check? I don't know how much longer I've ever lost. I have so many. I have so many. <laughs> oh, oh. Why should we care about Aragorn's nightmare about her? Why should we care about? What? Why should we care about his uh, nightmare about the the symbolic representation of Arwen being with him smashing? Because he is extremely invested in her, and he's a character that we care about. We've had three movies with him. Like, he didn't watch I, I, the movie, guys. Like, I could seriously. It's like he he didn't watch it. It's it, I get that sense from from the thing. It's like. But it's just like, wait, you want to clarify, like, he makes this point to us, and we're like, wait, 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 do you know that Aragorn and Arwen, do you know they know each other? And he's like, what? Like, oh. Oh, so, oh, uh. They're lovers? They, you, you, you said the point where you're like, can we just, can we just rewatch the movies? Because I, I can't be asked to just repeat all of the scenes to you, I don't know, there's just no point. About this relationship anyway, why are they even in love? Nine hours in and we have- Why are they in love? <laughs> Uh, all right well so it starts off and they already have been in love like we their the romance doesn't blossom here they already know each other they already are in love yeah, the arc in this film well these films is it's a, essentially a forbidden love but it triumphs overall yeah you know their father and him being king and all the other stuff going on in the background of you know the ring it's not a. It, you don't need to know why they love each other, because the it's, it, the movie doesn't center around. Like it is a very, it's a. I guess this is subjective to a degree because it's not like this is a believable romance in the way that they act and behave towards one another. It's not like Anakin and Padme where you just can't see anything. It's very strange, and we watched the that from the beginning as well. Yeah. I have no idea what they love about it is as bland as the screenplay. And to make matters worse, there's no chemistry oh between God. the actors either. They have not one Bro. reason for being in love. The only Oh God, is this Nostalgia Critic? It doesn't work. Or is this one else? Yeah. only reason like, these two are in love is because the plot needs them to be in love. Oh. They're both attractive, know, they're both skilled, and there's a lot of admirable traits that I can see of both of them. But like, I don't... I don't Isn't think that I... why you, they're both? She's hot. She's strong. She's smart. She's principled. She loves her father, but goes against his wishes so that she she can do what she feels is right and follow her heart. Then you have Aragorn, of course. I mean, there's there's a lot to like about this, uh, or to like about both characters. It's pretty easy to see what they would see in each other, especially because Aragorn wasn't he raised in Rivendell in part? Well. I guess my question would be, like, he was yeah, okay yeah. with um, Gimli mourning, or at least the sadness of the death of Balin, or knowing it? We didn't know who Balin was to any of these people in a significant, detailed way, but he was okay with that one. I'd, like, I'd be curious to know exactly what kind of information he needs in order to feel invested about these people who love each other. Yep. Just as a for instance. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I totally forgot as well. I had, to, I had to quickly look it up. Um, Arwen does choose mortality instead uh, by choosing to live and, uh, uh, well, live, live in the realm of man with Aragorn. Cause, oh, yeah, um, he described TLJ Aragorn... as fucking incredible, by the way. Sorry? He Ew. described TLJ as fucking incredible. I'd love to watch uh, his video yeah. on it. But no, the the, the the whole thing is that yeah, Aragorn, uh, Aragorn, uh, Aragorn, and Arwen. Did you say Aragorn? Aragorn for... Remember Aragorn, everybody? No. Sorry, I don't know. I I I <laughs> I, 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 I am starting it. I'm we're run, running on. Movie? I think we're running I'm, on fumes like, now. now. But yeah, Aragorn and Arwen. Again, it's not. It's not. It's not so much in the film, but in the books. Uh, they they they've loved each other for several decades, and I think they they, they I think they've even engaged, and. Oh, it's... <laughs> no, I'm done. 
Go on, go ahead, just do something. Love. Fucked for we have forced acting. If there had been so much as a lick of chemistry between these two actors, I may have bought into this, but there isn't. They have about as much. I don't know this voice. I don't know. I don't know it either, and I don't. I don't <laughs> agree. I think that their chemistry is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I I believe the romance pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. I I've never even thought to question it. I thought it was absolutely. I mean, they, they think about one another. You got the even star aspect and two towers. They get into it with Eowyn being interested in Aragorn. And he's like, oh, he talks fondly no, about right. Arwen. Oh, sorry. sorry, it's not Spoonie, guys. It's definitely not Spoonie. Yeah, that's not Spoonie. Much chemistry is a cheerleader and a chess club president at the fucking prom. This is straight yeah, up yeah, Twilight really territory. Even when they reunite, it should be emotional, but it isn't because there's nothing there. Fuck Hermione and Ron slowly developing feelings over eight films before falling in love. Fuck Han and Leia. Uh, so now we're going to compare it uh, to just I, other I, I, relationships. I, 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 uh, oh, right. Oh my God. Right. Harry Potter and Ginny, uh, they have literally no chemistry or any build up in the films. Ginny gets just sidelined because, well, they. they well, you talking about Ron and Hermione, weren't you? I know he was, he was, but I just, I just want to, I just want to add other things also. Um, Oh god, I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> Ron, yeah, so Hermione and, and Ron, uh, they, 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 their chemistry or, they, or their relationship does not build up throughout throughout the films. And in fact, Ron is so mischaracterized in, in the films from the books. Um, it's like in one, in, I forget which film it is. Um, Snape, ha, Snape uh, shuts Hermione down. He just goes, you know, are you always such an insufferable know-it-all? And in the book, Ron stands up and he goes, he, 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 he shouts like, um, what was the point of asking her a question if he didn't want her to answer? In the film, he looks at Harry and goes, he's got a point, you know? So I remember he, that. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Also, he shut the fuck up because I'm not even a Harry Potter fan. And I, I did read the books. So I, oh, I remember watching, yeah. I've seen all the Harry Potter films. I haven't yeah, seen them in yeah. ages now. And I remember being like, Ron, oh, Hermione and Ron is a thing? Okay. Yeah, Ron, Ron is so... Ron gets well. Ron gets the uh, D. Um, Ron gets uh, <laughs> sidelined as comic relief in the in the films when he is like like definitely the stronger friend between Harry and Hermione, and yeah, how, all it, all it, all of his best lines, all it, all, all of his courage, it, it gets replaced. Well, Hermione gets it instead. Like when Ron goes to in the books in uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, when Sirius Black, it, well, where everyone believes that Sirius Black's here to kill Harry. Um, Ron stands up, stands up boldly in front of Harry and uh, Hermione, and goes, "You know, if you want to kill Harry, you're gonna have to kill us first. In the film, Hermione says it instead, and Ron just gets fucking done dirty in so many scenes throughout the the films. So he can just shove it up his fucking ass. He's just lying again. And and on top of that, he's comparing to Han and Leia, which is a like that takes up a significant portion of their." what you would call B-plot, I guess. I, I'm not... Luke would be the A-plot, I would imagine people would agree on. Uh, Han and Leia's relationship is being developed throughout them escaping the Empire. That's like a huge... That's like... I would say it's a focal point. Like, it's 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 enormous. It's it's The payoff of Han being frozen in front of Leia is like... That's a big part of the movie. Lord of the Rings is dealing with a shit ton of other stuff um, than just Arwen and Aragorn. Like, the idea that... If he was to tell me... Do you think the film could benefit from developing them further? I'd be like, uh, possibly, but I don't know what it comes at the cost of, considering we have limited time, unfortunately. Um, to be like, this other romance has more in it than this romance, I'd just be like, okay. And he does this a lot. It just doesn't really, it doesn't prove much of anything. You're just like, Han and Leia's romance, is it better or worse than Arwen and Aragorn's? And you're like, um... I don't really know why we're comparing them. Not the same thing at all, mm. but okay. Having completely I mean, opposite I mean, personalities, Han and, but ultimately uh, Leia the same. Still have the best line: "The whole uh, I love you, I know." It's, yeah, uh, I mean, there's yeah, loads of good shit in Empire. Empire's amazing. Owner agenda leading them into each other's arms right in front of our very eyes. Why do that shit when you can put two characters together for no reason? <laughs> For no, for no reason, reason. They, they grew up in the same place. Ding, they have an ding, ding. For no When the story reason. begins, they meet up. They constantly think about one another. One of them makes sacrifices. She, one of them sacrifices her immortality to be with him. Like Jesus Christ! Not to mention they haven't seen each other at this point since uh, Fellowship, right? Yeah. Like in person, I mean, at least. Um, but yeah, for no reason. 
It's not even like these stories needed a love storyline. And the only defense I hear is, oh, it was in the books. That's not a defense. No, we didn't try that at all. So, <laughs> ignoring yeah. that one. Any negative criticism of the movies, it's in the books. Guess what? The books are shit too. Okay. <laughs> all right. Not oh, right. boy. No. You just, you just cool. rolled that out. Okay. And the movies can improve shit from the books. They fucking, they change stuff from the books. So they can clearly don't have an issue with changing shit. If something shit in the books, change it for the movies. It's not difficult. Let's just have his head and be done with it. Hugo Weaving's character. I couldn't even remember his name and even. <laughs> uh, Elrond? Fucking hell. Couldn't remember his name. So Elrond is characterized by having lost faith in men completely. And he's abandoning Middle Earth for the betterment by of the elves. And... It's, uh, he's not a hugely significant developed character, because there are several of those in Lord of the Rings, as there are in every story ever, because you can't have every single character being fully developed. And Elrond, thanks to, through his daughter, sees new hope in the world of men. Yes. Yeah. He does the right thing, and he helps Aragorn out, and he eventually, he, he is happy with Ar Arwen, you know, being there. He's at the coronation. Um, you know, he's a very great supportive kind of guy. He, you clearly tell he's very wise, bit cynical, but he's there to help. Um, yeah, he, he is definitely a character. This so. is really quite interesting. I will, I've got a whole um, section on this in my video. I, I would like to point out as well that Elrond in the book is nowhere near as um, grumpy or the kind of like overprotective uh, father figure. In fact, he uh, he does have well, he, he gives his blessing to Aragorn and uh, Arwen's relationship. Um, I can't remember enough to explain why they 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 changed it, but uh, I don't care now. <laughs> I mean, it's, it seems to be mainly motivated by he's almost archetypal of 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 just very a very simple idea, being that he's anti men and then pro men by the end. Aragorn's just like a symptom yeah. of that position. Like, like Aragorn is um vaguely related to Elros, which is who is Elrond's uh, twin brother. Um. It, uh, well, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of detail. <laughs> Even he has no chemistry with his own daughter. Gandalf, I think it's just so boring. He's very distant oh. with his, with his yeah, fucking hell. One hot take at a time. So the oh, Elrond being like cold with his daughter is entirely because he thinks that she's going to kill herself if she can commits to her decisions. He's, he's very it's unhappy. Very protective. But when she drops the book because she thinks he won't help her, and she's upset because she's not going to get anything that she thinks is right, he grabs her hands and then he looks. He even showed the clip of him looking very concerned with her, and then Elrond oh, helps her. Somebody, uh, somebody in chat also said that most of Arwen's and Aragorn's relationship is explained in the appendixes. They changed it to have at least some female in the cast. That's it. Makes sense. And I was like, yeah. And it works in the movie, so okay. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They well, yeah. They don't just you know arbitrarily uh, arbitrarily fuck me. They 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 don't just throw it in just because why not? You know, let's 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 make this runtime exceedingly ridiculous. You know, there, there is reason behind it. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Gandalf sucks. Let's do it. He has no chemistry with his own daughter. Mm. Gandalf, I think it's just so boring. He seems to just wander around and occasionally do something for the sake of the plot, but. Oh, oh, Jesus no. Christ, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it's somebody, Gandalf it's, wanders around and also, does stuff uh, for the plot. Weekend yes, he does, like, Are you there, dude? Characters. You good? A lot of characters end up just, you know, doing plot stuff. You know. Yeah, Weekend Warrior, still alive? Oh. He is idle, so perhaps he has Dead. been carried away by the eagles. I mean, this video defeated, you know, Skeptic, Weekend Warrior. Can really we make it? I was really expecting that argument. I really was. Like, I, well, I, he's I, just I, done I, them all. Everything in... He's like... Everything in Lord of the Rings is just bad. And he's gone through them individually, and all of his arguments have been fucking dreadful. We're just like, oh... Most of this stream has been tr us trying to explain why the film is actually really well written. That's like basically been it and it's, we've used his points as a vehicle to do so that's basically it and we still uncovered a shit ton of the movie all of three well anyway, he yeah he, he glanced over uh, significant chunks of, of, of it too like mm -hmm. like i don't even think he even mentioned like faramir <laughs> at example. least he mentioned the awesome mud people yeah uh, yeah he, he got his um <laughs> he, he got, he got his, his 
he got his shitty little he... gripes that you know, like Tolkien is racist or was racist or whatever. He, he got he got he got those little bullshit points out. Fucking Gandalf riding around for no reason. Terrible character. Ultimately, himself isn't needed. At least Dumbledore was. Gandalf isn't oh, needed. Oh no 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 no! Ga no. Oh, Gandalf isn't needed, like guys. Bullshit. Guys, Gandalf not needed. Okay. Don't need him. He's coming for his yep. Dumbledore comparison. Go on. Oh, yeah, sorry, my brain hadn't even caught up to that. It's like, Harry Potter, here we come. It was interesting. By the way, doesn't uh, this shot kind of look like he's butt-fucking Pippin? Oh uh, my uh, god, more I gay. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't have even thought. I just assumed they were on a horse, so they'd be <sighs> bouncing around it. Okay. It, yeah, ha-ha-ha-ha, just... very, ha-ha, very funny. Like, you. if we watch, well, if, if, if we all watch this in, um private and like you know you, you just hit play and you didn't pause it the entire time god the the, the gay jokes would just get well they, 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 they're insufferable now but can you just oh my god it's just reeling them like so quick one after another it's like you know it's like a, i think it's like one every 10 minutes minimum with him i was gonna say that's like, generous <laughs> sometimes he throws them out like you know five per he's minute a, but uh yeah yeah he's got a he's got a buttload of gay jokes no <laughs> just me then what is it with these characters and random screams? He oh. does have an emotional- Random screams? Um, random? So, so uh, Gandalf was uh, moving from one place to another at a distance in the form of a jump to rescue someone from potential death in a heroic act. Yeah. He yelled as, a, as a form of not only showing that he's, he's, he's about to fight, but also possibly uh, intimidating the enemy. I don't know what else to say. Hmm. And then, don't get me wrong as well, like, you know, I'll, you know, I do like a good gay joke, but none of these are good gay jokes, it's literally just... It just says gay, that's about scenes. it. Like, yeah, gay. Gay joke is a dead joke. Two male characters in the same scene, gay. You, you know, that that's just, it's, that's like the most weak tier bullshit uh -huh. going. Oh, Mary, um, no, sorry, no, Pippin, uh, riding the horse with Gandalf, well, the gay connotations there, folks. Fucking hell. A moment with Pippin, but again, I'm not invested and I just don't care. Oh, don't. Uh, like, God, such an amazing drink. moment and he's like, well, I'm not invested. He, every time he comes across something that he knows is fucking great, his only thing he says is, uh, okay, I'm not invested. I don't care. I didn't feel anything. We, we could go back and do a drinking game for this next time. Just to I want to live. live. I, I, yeah. I, no, I don't. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pippin does finally kill something, and that was pretty cool. But the thing about my... Oh my god! Oh. Why? This is what I mean. The pattern. The things he likes. It's always superficial. Pippin killed someone. Or an orc. That's cool. Oh. He didn't even say... Because he, Pippin saved, saved Gandalf. Gandalf. Potentially yeah. saved Gandalf here. You know? It, it wasn't... A, it was just... Oh, he just killed something. Not the okay, why. Hell, not the context man. of it. Not the fact that the these carries. two had been getting some pretty nifty exchanges. The films try so hard to be epic and try so hard to show this amazing story, but I just don't care. Care. Yeah. Oh my Woo god. You didn't care. Yeah, alright. I just try to make it look epic when it's actually not. <laughs> oh. oh, is it? What oh, is we it? Even Dude, again, he just burns this trilogy to the ground. They try to make it look epic. But it's not. Fucking wrecked. Right. In fact, why should we even give a shit when somebody dies? It's proven now that they can easily and inexplicably come back to life, so- No, no, no he's, he's a wizard. They're a class, uh. they're a race, they're not like mortals. MORTALS! Fucking yeah. hell. Yeah, why the fuck can't they bring any bastard time. back? No deaths mean anything in this! Why didn't they bring Boromir back? Because he died? Because he died. Because <laughs> he died. I mean, like, it... I feel, that's the thing, I, I, I feel like Gandalf is clearly a very special person operating on his own fucking set of rules because he's a magic wizard angel man. Um, so, it's not like... Uh, mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right, final time. When Harry killed the Basilisk in Chamber of No. I didn't, I didn't Dude, fucking he, shit. I was he, that snake was he, fucking he, badass though. I wanted it to live. He's ter he's so ter he's he can't even, he's he can't Harry even argue why he can't even argue why Harry Potter is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Harry Potter somehow fucking stabs a snake. Enough Harry fucking Potter. I'm so I, done. I, I think, I think with my brief escalation just now, I think I fucking did a better job in like, t like fucking like 30 seconds and he's done in this whole time. He literally Has he crossed that? I can. It was awesome. Here, there's just no emotional connection and it's boring uh, and bland. He killed the snake. It was awesome. That's all he had to say about the Harry Potter reference. Why the fuck did this you bring is, it up? And this is Underil, Reforged from Narsil, the sword that Aragorn's great great whatever, I... his ancestor Isildur, used to slay Sauron, that Aragorn is going to use to fight the enemies of Sauron, which represents his royal lineage that he has to take up. Like, it, this, this is, scene this is, has got stuff is fucking happening dude, dude, here. Right, like, this This is uncanny. It's unfortunate that no one has actually seen... This okay. So at the beginning of TFA Part Three, I, I talk about I make a I make a reference to Lord of the Rings, and it's literally this scene. And everything you just said, I say and explain in detail why this scene is incredibly meaningful. It's a whole section. And it's kind of uncanny how this is happening right now. It feel it feels like this, like if someone was they're gonna the people in chat will see my video and they'll be like, did you did you do this because of the coverage of this? It's like no, no, this was all done no. ahead of time. I swear. I might even I'm tempted to show rags it now that after this because <laughs> I just uh, I'll, yeah sure. It is unfucking canny how it's one to one a, a section that I have and uh, unbelievable. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, and I'll, and also this scene also has the dynamic between again Elrond and Aragorn and him wanting to help Aragorn because doing that will help him to save Arwen because his fate is tied to the ring. It's yeah. just, there's stuff fucking happens here. Also, this is where Aragorn learns about the army of the dead. It's a it's yeah. a huge and, and, scene. And if you and if you wanted to uh flex that he read the books that he totally didn't fucking do, um he would also bring up that Elrond's sons are the ones who bring bring the sword, not Elrond. Um but uh, Kill yeah, me. it's it's a totally fine change. That's one of the changes I'm like, yeah, this is mm -hmm. arguable. Oh, yeah, yeah they, they, they cut them out. Uh, and again, it's, I think it's pure. I think it's, it, it, the, it's the, logically it, make, it makes sense. It, it, they don't need to be in it. It, it. It's just two more elves. Well, two more characters. You can only do who, so much in a book. There's they, just, you yeah. get cracked sometimes. There are so many characters in the book. You just yeah. have to, like, they why mean, do you think in, uh, why do you think in uh, The Hobbit, like all of the dwarves are basically totally interchangeable. Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah, they, they oh, fuck. <laughs> I, don't you guys, I don't know how you die guys do it. It's fucking hard work. Bland filler. The orcs clearly like have the shit senses been on considering this entire <laughs> army can't see, smell, or sense the hobbits right next. See, smell, or sense. When were we ever shown that like? Orcs would be able to detect the difference between all of Urukai can smell man flesh, oh, but they, they they can smell that Aragorn and uh, uh, oh. sorry, <laughs> it's actually hard. <laughs> the Urukai are aware that Aragorn and Gimli and Legolas are tracing them because they can smell man flesh. Like you know, they picked up our scent. You know, does this work I... on hobbits? And does that apply to Morgul orcs? So I'm not is, sure, it, but if he cool. was, oh, sorry, go on, Rex. What, what, what's the what's the explicit time he's referring to here? Is it this right here? Yeah, why? Yeah, he's why saying why they couldn't they smell they them? All smell them. In well, because no. if you're an if you're an orc and you're surrounded by a hundred other orcs, you are not going to smell two hobbits. Presumably not, but 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 this this is this is it now. But why would they know the smell of hobbit? Actually... No, no, listen, listen though. If why would they know the smell actually... of hobbit? I think it's a valid point. Listen though, if he did actually um, wanted to fucking take a fair shot at the films, he would have, you know, perhaps you know, another person would have taken the well, taken the shot with the with what I just referenced with the Urukai picking up their scent, and then they were going, why couldn't the orcs do it in this scene? And you know, you'd have a you'd have an example, and then you'd have a point to make about it, and then you could go, but well, why didn't it work in this bit? You know, is it just plot convenience that they didn't smell them? And then, you know, if you wanted to have counter arguments, like Rag just said, um, you know, they, 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 maybe the stench was literally a bit overwhelming for them to ever pick up any uh, tasty hobbit flesh. But if he, he's gonna he, he hasn't done that. He does he, he's never he hasn't done that for one fucking minute in this uh, not film in his uh, in his video. My criticism here would be visual. 
Like well, it's, he said that like, too. Man, like you'd think that they would have been seen potentially by all these orcs coming yeah, out. Yeah, they just need one orc to look up. Though they did establish pretty hardcore that those cloaks are like magically. Yeah, gonna... the elven the elven cloaks uh, blend in, and again, I'm surprised he didn't bring up the how the Easterlings didn't fucking see them. Like, yeah, that's oh, I think what? that's way worse with the Easterlings. Oh, what yeah. they threw they threw a cloak over them and they just turned into a rock, like you know, and you, you could even mention how. You could even mention how, um, like, there's a gap underneath the where where they can see the the shadows casting underneath the rock, and he'd be like, "You can see under the rock, maybe." But I guess that would um, that would invoke uh, invisibility cloak bullshit from Harry Potter. So I guess um, we don't want to bring that up because that might make uh, Harry Potter look bad. Yeah, uh, I'm willing. I'm willing to concede on the visual of this one. The smell, though, I don't know. I don't know about that. It's, oh it's... yeah. Uh, Somebody just commented to me, uh, you know, how long have the hobbits actually gone without washing, you know? Yeah, they, they probably they... just smell like stinky people. Yeah, yeah. It's to them. And by the way, while the army's tackling each other when they clearly have weapons, would you punch somebody while you're holding a gun? Oh, dude, don't. Okay, so, don't. like, if you... Let's get shot in this. <laughs> yeah, so if you have a melee weapon, then obviously there will be times where you want to grapple people, where you want to use your momentum to get them to the ground, where you want to kick them, or all kinds of different things. It's yeah, well, it, well, yeah, yeah. If you if you've got a long sword, sometimes it is like well, sometimes the, the actual environment stops you from being able to swing and use it efficiently. We got, we got some arguments it, from it, the it's previous life one. It's like death. You use whatever you have at your disposal. If it's your fist, it's your fist. That's come on, man. Uh, two hard. things to consider: orcs and Mordor probably have never smelled a hobbit before, and the Saruman Urukai were specifically designed to track the uh, the fellowship. Yeah. Absolutely. Again, you know, this this one again. Uh, if you fucking took those, you could like make. Well, you know, you, you could have you could argue on both sides of it. You don't have to be like, oh, this is just stupid shit. You could actually have something to do with it, but he's and, not doing that. And someone brought up like, wouldn't it be alert though? Just the fact that it doesn't smell like orc would be an alert. And it's like, dude, fucking shit, tons of things will not smell like orc or will. You know, like I don't think just because you smell something strange doesn't then automatically mean like there's a hobbit nearby. <laughs> it's like, I don't know about that. They recognize him by the smell of weed. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> all that dangerous? This like dude looks like sloth from the Goonies. Okay. Oh. You mean that white orc? That pale white orc? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he's sort of. Yeah. Uh, don't, 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 don't. The funny shit is, Peter Jackson worked specifically hard on this character, stating the previous villains looked pathetic, but here. What? He did? Which villain? I. Did he? I, well, I, I just. I'm, I fucking. I don't, well, well, I don't think well, Lurts look if, pathetic. Well, Rish, in the, well, in the Fellowship, you had. Uh, is, he, is he referencing the Orcs? Because Lurts, is, Lurts still looks badass. I was going to reference, you know, the Watcher in the Water, the Balrog, the Cave Troll, I, Goblins. It, it, like, look, assuming you know, Peter Jackson said the rest of them look pathetic, that's why I made Gothmog look like this. It's a weird statement, but I'm not. I don't know if I trust this guy. I'm just putting it out there. Yeah. If anything, this makes me think that he's just uh, he's just has a high bar and he's not satisfied. He thinks he could do always do better and stuff. Mm -hmm. What exactly were his guy, hey, Peter? What should we make him look like? Just make him ugly. You're going to have to do as you're told. I'm constantly expecting him to come out with. Are you also, three arse numbingly long movies in, and we're still doing the whole. You're not coming with me. Yes, I am. Bullshit. When I so he's but going... that was set up really oh. quickly. Aragorn at once he knows that oh yeah they're not going to let me do this alone. They're here and he Might wanted well to. Take them. It's dangerous. Yeah, it's he's going to go and try and appeal to the undead army that are traitors and murderers. Doesn't yeah, want him to yeah, come to because it's dangerous as fuck. But they're not going to leave him. Yeah, and the only thing, yeah. and the only chance he has of doing it is by invoking the sealed deal's air or not his in what the sealed deal's air. He is a, invoking the sealed deal's um sort of promise or whatever. Yeah, he's gonna hold the oath fulfilled. That's it, the oath. That's it. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna appeal to their well, to the oath that they made, and they may say no. <laughs> they may kill him. Who knows? Did Who you? Knows? Why not try to have a plot instead? No, we cannot. Right here, I'm struggling to understand if this was supposed to be funny or not. Oh come on, this was funny. This, this, this was played for fucking. Come on. So you know. I think show i i didn't think it was a primarily yeah, a joke. i was actually I gonna was primarily to show 
capacity of uh, this orc commander. Yeah, the main thing is, like, he will not move for anyone. And then he's like, fuck, I guess I have to. And that's why he spits on it. He barely moves. Yeah, he, he barely moves, spits oh, on yeah, it. Yeah. And he also, doesn't yeah, panic. When, yeah, when the when the rise of Rohan come uh, later on, um, he's 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 barking orders for everyone to get back. Yeah, and he gets freaked out. Fail, because obviously, yeah, orcs will run at the first sign. Of, like with the first sign that they're losing the momentum of the battle, they'll they'll run. You know, they they, they are cowards or they are cowardly. You know, and including he's, himself, he's uh, he was he was scared as fuck when uh, they realized the riders were going to crash into him. Yeah, they had yeah, a scene yeah. dedicated. His face, and that's definitely a you know, yeah, that's right. It was hilarious either way, intentional or not. They had another funny line. What's the All line? This build up and then <laughs> what line? <laughs> nothing. It's a metaphor for the movie. Spitting. That's the line. All this build up and then nothing. A metaphor for the movies. Oh. oh. Could have said oh. that was a. He could have said that was a funny arc. But oh, that, that nice, would have yeah. been. Yeah, Again, no, Frodo clever, has no character. On this Look, video. nothing. Frodo has no character. Okay. He's changed. Yeah, Nearly character. being killed and captured again. We're at the end of the saga, and he still has no character. We've been over yeah, this. No. He has character. You, yeah. just, yeah. you can't see it. I think I'm as limp as a bone fish. Then she has a thing with the. The spider's gonna rape Frodo. Oh no! Why? Why do you do this to me? Ah. Uh... Jay Longbone could have made that joke funny. Oh, yeah. They anyone actually just well, said that. The spider's gonna though. rape Frodo. Oh, he's actually, like, running with that. Okay. And I hate to repeat myself, but again, the plot, the story, everything comes to a complete halt and unnecessarily drags out everything for as long as possible for no goddamn reason. It's a... Uh, no, okay. <laughs> We're all just lost. We're like... No, no, yeah. like, he, 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 can't, he, can't, uh, he can't even reference which what, what bit specifically. It, it's, you know... I mean, with a film so long, you should be able to have plenty of scenes to show it, but he, he, no, he's not doing that. It's a joke by this I point. feel like this is, um, this is kind of like Grandpa sitting in the corner talking about the reptoids and the these things like that, and you're just, you know, you're, you're just kind of nodding along. It's like, yep, yeah, I know. They're, yep, the bad yeah, stuff, man, Grandpa. It's, it's all, yeah, yeah, it's all padding. There are no characters. The worst thing ever. Yeah. Harry Potter is so, so good, Grandpappy. Oh, yeah, yeah, we should watch Harry Potter, Potter again. I like the part with the cup that chooses people for the race or whatever. <laughs> Am I just reminding me, like, my grandfather died before these films came out. That sucks. Sorry. I just, I mean, did anyone know? Like, I just think, we, you know, random shit into my head now. That I mean, he died before they wrote Star Wars, so take what you can get. All he right. also didn't have to watch this guy's review of it. That's a plus. I was, oh, yeah. was going to say, like, we, 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 you know, we're so jokey lucky. about a lot of this, but like, film is fucking awesome at its best, and I would argue Lord of the Rings trilogy is something you should everyone should try and get to see uh, if they're a fan of film. Like, definitely get those in. And uh, not according to this guy though. <laughs> He's not a fan. How even when the ring is finally destroyed, there's still 40 minutes left of film to go. And the sad thing is, the book had even. Let me. It 40 uh, minutes. Let me take a look here to see, because that means there's 20 minutes between. Da -da -da -da. It's probably so, including the credits. Also, um, do you guys know that um, when Aragorn's fighting the cave, well, not well, I, I don't know if, no, well, it's a Mordor troll or whatever, but when mm -hmm. he's fighting the troll at the Black Gate, that's meant to be Sau Sauron. Right, yeah, in the original vision, it was going to be Sauron, which I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, in, in the books, uh, yeah. Um, it, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it happens in the books. Um, but, uh, yeah, they they just changed it because they did well. They just wanted to keep the well Sauron on the on the tower, but there is footage of um of it. Uh, I'm actually gonna have a quick look at it. Oh, quick! Yeah, I, it's because it's, it's I, the I same. It's that. the same sort of look as he has in the prologue, isn't it? He's like on uh, in the battlefield. I remember seeing it, and I was like, eh, I don't know. Hmm. For no reason. He's already so insanely uh, imposing, not just in the look of the tower and the. The, the unblinking eye imagery with the whispers and the corruption of the ring. It's really, really spooky. Because mm -hmm. you see so what ending. it does to everyone. 
Yeah, Return of the King's movie actually cut down the fucking ending from the novel. They cut away from the battle at one point for quite a while to pad out more time, so when we finally return to it, I've just lost all the shits I gave for the action, and I give it- I thought you didn't give a shit anyway. You've only ever talked about how you don't care about any of it, so the idea that, like, I didn't care because the fight was cut away from, I'm like, nah, fuck off. Give me an argument instead of just telling me whether or not you're invested at the time. It's really worthless even less fucks how they're about to have the huge epic battle and they just fucking stand there the act that they have <laughs> this is right before they charge aragorn turns around and says for frodo uh uh this is just the uh, work uh, this this is obviously well it, it never became concept art and just stuff like that um well Behind the scenes, this, this because yeah, yeah because basically, when the cave troll or whatever is fighting Aragorn, uh, he it is meant to be Sauron. Like this is uh, some of the working footage that was well, you know, saved kind of thing. Like yeah. see, uh, so when you have the shots where like um, the cave troll puts his like foot on Aragorn and he pulls out his like knife to uh, stab him, it, that was mm -hmm. Sauron uh, instead. But um, I can't remember why they changed it. I think I think. I don't know. They probably as as the thing is that I think they made the right call, but I think Jackson would have done. I mean, that's the thing. Like everything is done so well. I I kind of am leaning on the side of it would have been great because Jackson was in the zone. I don't know. I might argue that there's a reason he did didn't right keep call. it. Like he knew to keep it, not keep it. Like I I could see it being awkward. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to double check, but I just know that it's well, it's something. But I, think, I do think they made the right call. Like, but you can see how, um, yeah, when when Sauron uh, first summoned or comes down, you see him in his uh, in his uh, kind of god-like form uh, mm -hmm. as well. I mean, I, I, yeah, you know, it, 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 it's a, it's a big what if, but you know, it, I'm 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 still happy with her. Oh yeah, how, what how they did goes with it. Yeah, it was a okay. Yeah, they're just standing around. It's not Aragorn oh, yeah. realizing that this is it, lads. This is it now. This is the last move yeah, we make. It, here's one. You can see uh, the sword. It's uh, well, it's meant to be Sauron, but it, uh, they see Jared the troll on, t uh, on top of the uh, actor who is. Uh, or I don't know if it's an actor or a uh, physical yeah, thing you. to beat Sauron. But yeah, yeah, it. Uh, no, it was. It's, it's just some. Well, yeah, it was something. Yeah, that's cool. This have more than the Where the fuck boss. was this the past eight and a half oh, hours? They've never done this before. They always just went straight in a battle, not giving a shit about oh, life or death. What are you talking fight. about? They, they, no. They, they often, before battle, prepare. What you criticized the speech that Theoden gave before they went into battle. What do you mean? Why, why is it that if we had multiple battles in which they attacked immediately, that we couldn't have a battle where they didn't attack immediately? Yeah. Whoa. Bad, oh, bad, oh, bad. there we are. Uh, Jackson was worried having Aragorn fight Sauron would take the tension away from Frodo and Gollum at the Mount Doom. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I, th I, I think it could that. potentially confuse a viewer as to what the real fight is. Yeah. No, that's not... That. Um, that, that was my mistake. That's, uh, it's, that's, that's the, uh, the third age. That's a sealed fight fighting. Uh, I was going to say it looks like a sealed uh, yeah, because well, you can see Elrond yeah, there too. The elves, yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, that. that's um, that just came up in when, well, when I googled the images. Yeah, mm -hmm. still cool. Death, and now all of a sudden, maybe war is bad. Let's kill some more time now. Maybe war is bad. This oh, film does not say war is bad in the sense of like. It's definitely, the definitely film definitely goes for the. You know, you violence is bad, but we definitely have to fight for the things we care about. And this, like, this fight is definitely justified and we have to fight. Ah, fuck it, time for some awesome fight scenes! And why the hell isn't Mount Doom cut off? You'd think since this is the only place the ring can be destroyed, there'd be an army protecting it, or every possible entrance to the place would be destroyed. I think there's something there, actually, as an argument. Yeah, You'd think, think Sauron yeah, would have think... absolute control over this place because it's the only place the ring could be destroyed. You, what was Gandalf's can... plan? Subterfuge. The whole, the whole thing. I, I get it. You know, you could, you could have like, I don't know, a guard there or something. But the right, whole thing was that Gandalf's plan was subterfuge. Nobody would suspect that there would be a Hobbit walking into Mordor. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I could see it both ways. Um, 
I do think it would be I if I was Sauron and I was like, the only way to kill me for good is to drop the ring in the volcano. I'm like, you know what? Just wall up the entrance, you know. Wall up the entrance yeah, until yeah. keep a keep a ring wave uh, nearby, or you know, because obviously, well, orcs are reliable. They you know they they're just as likely to fight each other than uh, anyone else. So also, you know, as someone mentioned, he was under the impression at this point in the movie that Pippin had the ring, I believe. What? I, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's um, yeah, yeah, he. Oh yeah, that's right, because the Palantir, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, yeah. That's so why again, Gandalf Palantir, takes Pippin with him. So, yeah, this is what I mean. There's there's, oh, there's oh. room here to to figure that that Sauron was doing, you know, not necessarily the best thing, but an okay thing. And not just that, but good point as well from chat. It never occurred to Sauron that Enwood would want to destroy the ring. That too, like you know. Yeah, if it's corrupting influence that makes people do nothing but desire it and desire it, and for the last, you know, for the last forever, it's always corrupted people essentially. Yeah, that's yeah, fair it, enough. It, it, it's got a, yeah, it's got a proven track record that it's almost like a fail safe that whoever to tries to it. throw it in will be like, no, nah, actually. <laughs> Maybe that's what because a lot of people I know he he's gonna do it, but some people point out that Elrond not preventing Isildur from throwing it in is a flaw. Maybe it's because if uh, Elrond was to be the one to throw it, he wouldn't be able to because elves seem to be very corruptible from the brief moment we had with Galadriel. In also, like a, let's consider. What would happen if Elrond killed Isildur? Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. that would be a bit yeah, of a, yeah, uh, elven human you, relationships. Yeah, you get yeah, a war. <laughs> He's like, well, I mean, it, from Elrond's perspective, this is still a win because Sauron's been defeated. Yeah, the ring's still around, but at least like it's going to be kept at Minas Tirith and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, I'll I'll take it because I mean, what am I going to do? And as Emily said, the failsafe turns out to be correct because Frodo does fail. Yeah, doesn't again, throw it in. Yeah, he's he's not well. He's not the perfect hero. It yeah. Too much logic. Okay. Break him. That has the most unnecessarily dragged out ending in cinema history. Twenty minutes for a twelve-hour series. He's wrong. And you know what? I'm gonna do it. I, I mentioned this to Rags, but uh, hey guys, I've I've seen. Just right, do a video on Lord of the Rings explaining why there are this many endings. It's actually good. It's it's one of his earliest videos, or at least it's an early video. Um, it's before he went nuts. <laughs> go, go and watch it <laughs> if you want to know, because I, I my brain's putty at this point. Um, why <laughs> there's this many endings and why what what they're doing. There's a, there's a reason for all of them. They exist very purposefully, and if you want to appeal solely to the time. 20 minutes in, is it 13 hours or some shit? Like, how long is the story? <laughs> I always, again, putty. The, 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 the point is, it's enough. I mean, if you, if you if we were to, like, compare this, like, to a TV show, you know, I don't think anyone would have issue with a 20-minute outro or ending, you know? It's just because it's a film format, and, it, and it's, it's one of the few films that does it. And... <sighs> I don't know, you know, if... It's 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 not it's not quantity over quality. It's both. <laughs> Everything is amazing. As, yeah, I think that's actually one of the bigger points he makes in his video is this plot versus story. And at first, I was like, is this pretentious? And it's like, so plots usually generated by characters having wants and needs, right? That's that's the the simple way of looking at it. The the goal is destroy the ring. That's our plot. Yeah. The plot's completed. The story's not over. We've still got things to resolve, and that's what the endings are for. Um, closure, resolution. There's there's a lot of things to explain the purpose of them and why they're so meaningful. If you're sitting in the cinema like, I saw the ring get destroyed, I'm done, let me go. Just just go. You don't have to watch it, okay? Just go. If you don't want to see how all of everything ends up, like, and it's, it's a, I don't, I'm almost feeling like, just 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 go watch Just Right's video about it. it, it, it he, he's going to explain it faster and more efficiently than I can. And I can't even necessarily pull apart each of the individual endings right now because I'm, I'm, I'm uh, again, <laughs> brain power very low. This has been a ride, okay, a journey. Yeah. It, look, Weekend <laughs> Warrior is dead. Skeptic is dead. I know. <laughs> I'm dead, dying. <laughs> We're so close, okay, guys. So close. Everyone, including fans like of the film, have made fun of it, so I don't really need to. But I'm going to anyway. It's uh, stupid. You finished it. Um, okay, just pausing. He said it's stupid, I don't know, okay. 
Yeah. It's wrong. Quite. There's room for a little more. Says Peter Jackson to his editing team. I mean, yeah, they, 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 they cut out the whole um, scourge of the Shire, because... Uh, well, I think the reasoning for that works pretty well. Yeah, well, well yeah, yeah, because the whole thing is that, you know, Saruman didn't die. Um, he tries to take over the Shire in, like, a last-ditch pathetic attempt with uh, Grime and Wormtongue, oddly enough. It, uh, it didn't go down well, because if you... Um, so you know how uh, Merry and Pippin uh, drink the Entmoot, and then they become the tallest hobbits that ever lived? Yeah. They basically become um, protectors of, or at least Merry. I think Pippin, uh, one of them, Pippin stays in Gondor, I think, for a while. But Merry um, definitely becomes like kind of like the like you know the defender of the Shire, um, because evil is not gone. Um, well, it's not eradicated from what I remember. It, you know, there, there's obviously yeah, still the fight bad continues. evil men, but I think orcs and all that are gone. But men can still be evil and still rape and pillage and. You know, take what they want. You know, they don't have to. Uh, you know, there's not order, but there's not complete order throughout the the world. Um, uh, but yeah, they cut they cut all that out, and I don't know. Uh, it's thank fuck <laughs> after after <laughs> after after all this, it would just be so anticlimactic just to have like that at the end, or just to have that. Well, people will complain about that because that would, you know, that's like that's like at least like thirty I mean, minutes worth. There's a potential to make it work. Or... I just think the ending they went with uh, fit a lot better with the story we had. That's all. Yeah. Nice app. They're uh, just as gay here, so I'm not gonna miss. More I'm gay. Sure you you came right in for a gay. So you, you just uh, uh, there was a gay. So, oh boy! Jokes. Sweet. Here we go. I could help a bit. I could carry it for a while. Oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna do it. No. Oh, he's he's rolling out a really? lot of gay in a row now. Suck your balls for a oh, while. I can suck he your will balls not for a while. Touch him again. That's my job. Thank goodness, Armor Skeptic didn't have to deal with this. He would have died like yeah, twice. Yeah, he would have never come back. We would have scared him off. <laughs> is that true, guys? Is that actually his thirty-seven gay joke, or are you just yeah? Like, you... <laughs> it could actually you be. be... You guys actually count in this? Ha! I mean, not, not... To their credit, the acting well, is Well, we incredible. had to have that reference, didn't we? Except for That's here, when it. Sam clearly rapes an orc. Yeah, yeah with Stinger. Yeah, I mean, so, it's just, it's, just a whole bunch of jokes in a row that are really it's, shit. It's, All right. It's um, a pretty damn good sword. It's pretty good at killing orcs. Clearly, right. just put his penis up the orc's butt. All right. Just saying, we, we all just saw it. Do you remember the taste of strawberries? I fed them to you on a hammer because I nibbled your ear. Wow, we're still doing this, okay. I, 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 oh, sorry, right. I, just, yeah. I guess he thought this was really fucking funny. Mm -hmm. And the film clearly grew defensive of this because at the end... <laughs> the film clearly grew defensive. <laughs> this is at the beginning. This is set up, you froob. Like, are you not paying attention? Froob. Sam really fucking quickly rushes to marry this woman he barely rushes. knows. He rushes to marry a woman he barely Literally, knows. Literally, like... Missed all Two of the different setup. scenes in the big in the in the opening. Missed like, the setup. Oh well. Uh, barely ever mentioned. He's, he looks at her at the party. He looks at her at the bar. Do you catch like, that? He's clearly barely ever mentioned. I think that was his way of being like, yeah, okay, there was something at the beginning. I better mention vaguely that that's a thing to get out of this. It's like okay. Should let everybody know that he's not gay and he's led Frodo. He lets everyone know he's not gay. <laughs> On this entire time. I, I, I did so joke in Discord that it, it, uh, when people pointed out him, him marrying Rosie, I was like, yeah, he's in denial. <laughs> okay. He's random. just like nah. Gimli. Brilliant screenwriting. What is that? And how did Dildo age so much in just four the years? Ring. Oh, oh my god, kill me. It's so <laughs> obvious the ring gives people unnaturally long lives. Does he think this has no nothing to do with the ring and he just really aged badly in a, in a year? <laughs> Glad Galadriel even yeah Galadriel even clearly like Bilbo's once you hit forty it's just you're fucking it's done yeah it's downhill it's, done. Yeah, it, it's like who, Asian woman. who knew uh, who knew Bilbo was Asian <laughs> yeah so because uh, how come it would affect Gollum almost and I, and I I just want to say while we're talking about Bilbo here in this scene like I get teary eyed every fucking time I watch this because it's Bilbo's ending here is perfect he's happy to go on another adventure. Uh, the, there's the goodbyes, Gandalf's going, Frodo leaves, the elves are off on their way, the music's just, it's just so fucking good. Um, I, it's just so good. No, to hear long. people say this bad when I'm watching this with tears in my eyes, because it's so, 
fucking perfect. It really annoys me. Really annoys me. Too long. Too long. Where does that lead? And how did Dildo age so much in just four years or so? Was it the ring? Because how come it would affect Gollum almost instantly, but it took a while to affect Frodo or anyone else? It affects different people differently. Have you been watching the film or not? Funny enough, um, one of the guys in chat just said that, uh, uh, hang on, let me just get it back up. Yeah, he may have watched the movies, but he didn't watch the movies. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Why does Frodo leave anyway? Why? There's no goddamn reason. Oh, oh he no. missed all of it. Of course he missed all of it. He he's, missed the books, though. He should have known this. <laughs> he's missed entirely Frodo's journey. Whatever. I can't be fucked to explain it to him. I know, I know, I know. I'm the script so forgot to give me a reason, oh, so... Go away, Doug. You don't Bye. want to be here. Oh, and look... Uh, please don't tell oh, me... Oh, no. The Star Screen made the same it's fucking a, mistake. Because it's a, it's a mixture of the effect the ring had on him and the Morgul wound, I believe. It is just that you know, he, he has the power of YouTube. I know YouTube power of Google, as as he as he's literally shown us with this screenshot, and and yet he and still yet, doesn't get it. Like it's still not something yeah, he's found. I just and yet, he, and yet he still has that take on Gimli. He still has that. Well, take. that's yeah. <laughs> this really this shouldn't shock anyone at this point. He thinks Gimli wants Frodo dead. <laughs> it, it just is so it, this is so poorly researched, poorly. Analyze. It's like it's, this is fucking beyond. Like, Quinton reviews said that a review is nothing more than a description of an experience. Quinton, do you have any issue to take with this video at all? Is it fine? Is it just a description you, of an experience? Is that all? Fan of the Lord of Rings by chance, or uh, who isn't? <laughs> you know, like, apart well, from this dude. Well, well, apparently, there are some people who take grievances with. I'm just not a fan uh, of Lord of the Rings. Gimli's, you know, just his. His attitude towards Frodo and Sam is just abhorrent. The the desire to see them suffer, it's fucked up. Please end this. <laughs> I said that because I thought maybe I missed something. And the reason given is that he was too traumatized by his journey that he just had to leave. One, that doesn't make any sense. How does it not make what? sense? What? How I want you to I, I want you to uh, Fuck me. I I I need to explain to me what about that doesn't make sense. I need to know. I need some explanation for this madness. I need some answers. This this Lovecraftian video in, in, in its incomprehensible nature is driving me mad. It hurts my face and my brain and my ears and my eyes. It hurts just, a lot of me. I'm just taking a sec to absorb all that we've learned today. How much longer is in this? About five minutes. We're almost there. I just hope it's like really shitty skits and plugins and, you know, please. I feel like we might be the only people channel. on the planet who actually finished this video. Uh, and so many people in chat suffered with us. <laughs> we did it, chat. We did it. Oh my I'm, god, Weekend Warrior, are you back. okay? Yeah. I fell asleep. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's so right. you, you are the lucky one. You. Another person has sleep time officially on EFAP. <laughs> Two, we never saw any of that. Oh. I, I've lost I, what, what, saw any of what, sorry? So he said, if the argument oh, the, oh, is that he's traumatized trauma. from his experience, one, that doesn't oh, make we, sense, oh. and two, we never saw any of it. Oh, go away. Yes, we did. I, I no, just come on. Well, come I'd on. be like, oh, I can help you out. I can help you out. I'll I'll show you, and I, and I hand him the three films. I'll be like, check them out. It's in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it starts out, you know, not too much going on, but then it it, it really really as we go, it woof, there's. Woof. It's not even like it's in the subtext or anything. <laughs> I have seen it's more quite... than you know. You show everything else, but not a vital plot point. I never sense his trauma. I need to leave the. Because yeah, you're not paying any fucking attention because uh, you don't care. That's why I've solved the problem. The riddle. It is defeated. Shire forever. Think, and again, well, Batman runs away. Think, He's a pussy. Luke Skywalker or Frodo care. Baggins like... run away. They're heroes and it's okay. Fine, whatever. What? <laughs> <laughs> you just compared Frodo to what they did to Luke and TLJ. <laughs> what is uh... happening? I can't wait for my shower after this. It's gonna be so good. I'm just gonna carry like I don't like I can't. So this is tough.
Well, maybe get away from Sam. No, Mr. Frodo, you're supposed to kiss my dick. More will come. And the final. <laughs> the gay. The gay. Oh, it's so oh gay. Uh, Fun sure of the movie. Gay. I mean, after everything Wait, Sam did for back. Frodo, I would probably want to. He's got three dick, kids! Like, no lie. <laughs> Like four oh, no, years, oh, and oh, no, oh, no, you find out that he's, goes, he's heterosexual. Oh. This is the meme again, where he takes a line of dialogue and he's like, he just interprets what it in the only way that could true. possibly be nonsensical. Sam, you came back. back to the Shire before, and you're back now? Are you nuts? <laughs> he's like, alright then, you did it. Criticism, everyone. <laughs> did you learn something? Back, oh, dramatic. He, he You've been back years! What? How did. I don't understand. There he is! That's, that's, oh, that's, that's the most truest statement he's made this whole fucking film, uh, show, uh, video. Thank fuck, please be the rest of the film, the video. Please be, please be it. Yeah, I, I want to see some police brutality. Come on. Hold on. Christ, dude. You give a shit for Peter Jackson's fucking directed. No, this is funny, you don't get it. I just don't like the movies! Oh, I know. We know that. Have you seen this man? Oh He's my one, goodness. One of the worst uh, crimes we have ever been. If you have nerds uh, in the room, I'll please stop and go look away there. His crime isn't disliking Lord of the Rings, it's hideously miswatching them. That's all I can describe it as. He... he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he managed to watch a movie without taking in barely fucking any of it. It's insane. And it's he's created a video that nobody will hopefully take seriously because all you have to do is see the movies to uh just wow. You know what? I feel like all the people who asked us to watch this for, for a very long time, they must have seen it and you. they were like, you have to destroy this thing. It's the worst thing ever for Lord of the Rings. It's so unfair. I... Who I don't know who I'm more angry at, the person who made this video or the people who encouraged him to make this video. Yes. Maybe they knew exactly what would happen and this is some super 40 chess maneuver they're playing to get back at him, in which case, bravo. However, <laughs> if they're trying to watch out for him, then like, wow, yeah. what terrible advice. It, it was certainly the long con because there's like three years in the run-in. Like, <laughs> the whole, uh... Well, yeah, you just see, uh... God damn. Yeah, pretty much. No. Like I, 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 I'm like I'm a kind of feeling like quite lightheaded right now. But I did like slice my ear open this morning when I was shaving my head. So I'm just like I'm wondering if like the blood loss is coming back. I was gonna say maybe that helped with this. It's funny, it's right? Alive for questioning. Hey, what are you doing in it? Kiss her too long. There's no way I'm not finishing this video if we're getting this far, okay? Oh yeah, no, no, no. Wait, was that a Madame McCann uh, reference there? Fuck it was, way. yeah. This is a good night. Um, what? Oh. oh. Alright, five. My name. Last name is spot on. And I hate He's a villain. He's a villain. I'll mention it quickly, but after the release of these films, The Hobbit was then made as a trilogy despite being one short book. The first film, for yeah. instance, is based yeah, on just complete. three chapters, and it's furthermore an excuse to just make money with even more the first padding film and filler. Is just the first film... Oh, he's still talking about... Okay, Better okay, think so. about that, so let's just stick to the original trilogy. Oh, okay. I think the movies are coated with filler, unnecessary scenes that add to nothing, story or character-wise, bland characters that have no personalities, awful dialogue that people forgive and ignore for some reason. <laughs> but in that same respect, I can honestly completely understand... He thinks he's proven this, by the way. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. proven it by asserting that they're dumb, by... Saying them again in a stupid voice out of context. We we'll see why exactly it is so successful. I can see the appeal and I can perfectly understand why they're so loved by everyone. They're well put together, I just fault the writing mostly and some of the acting. See, you can all love oh. the films and I just can't. I'm sorry, I really am. I've tried to enjoy these films. I've watched them three times. No.
God, man. Three times. You missed, and, and how, and after three times, you still thought Gimli hated Frodo. <laughs> <laughs> You were con he was convinced, right? Like He was he was oh. sure of it. He double checked. Yeah, he triple checked. He even wrote it in his video. <laughs> how did you do that? Like how, how that is so impressively bad. That is just like And that's like an uh, accomplishment, right? I can't I can't I'm I'm too I'm too done to like think of uh, examples to make up. It's just how could I just no no dude, you you're so, you're so full of shit. <laughs> just, just, just that's just uh, that's my take, I'm done. <laughs> I just... And if that upsets you, I apologise. You love them. I oh, thank, thank you, I, I, I do figure you didn't talk about it. Please do apologise, guys. Can we interpret this as an apology for the video? I'd like to. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I feel like if you want to make a... I, th I feel like you're going to have to do something more meaningful. <laughs> To pay, he needs to. He needs we to need show redemption. We need justice. Oh boy. Bro, I'm really proud of you. You made it through. All three of them. Now, you're forgetting one of the chief reasons. Rob wouldn't have been able to get through the films if it wasn't for Aaron. No, Mr. Rob. Don't poke fun. I was being serious. Why do people... I do... How old is this person? I don't I... know. Is he like, is he 25 or is he 38 or 42? I don't, how old is this person? And why is he desperate to hold on to this? So was I. <clears throat> oh, pardon me, sorry. Guys, we're so close. It's like 30 seconds. Oh, so close. I'm okay with you dragging this joke out for the rest of the video. I don't care. As long as I get to the yeah. end. I'm gonna go yeah. off like Mount Doom, Mr. Rob! Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Ooh, can you imagine him pitching this joke to the friend? And being like, please do this? <laughs> <laughs> the friend being like, I mean, dude, they, they, they're, they have. First off, their their dwelling is basically Mordor in a modern. <laughs> <universe. laughs> but I, you know that thing I keep saying about why do people in YouTube videos have terrible facial hair? I feel like it's it's really getting to trope status right now. Me now, do you? Oh. <laughs> it's true power. Seriously, like I know, I know. Obviously, Mola doesn't do skits, but if he ever fucking tried asking me to do something like this, hey, can I do a joke where you're fucking me? You're like, nah. All right. So first <laughs> off, it would be you fucking me. Let's make one thing clear. All right. I, 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 I would, I would get a piece of paper and I would write a, a six figure, a, a six digit figure on there, and and, and then I would go only if you give me this, because <laughs> I, I. Get the fuck right. in the ass fuck is it? I, I, I would I would need to have some serious compensation to do this, this isn't a powerful look like for him, is, is I guess what we're saying. Like it doesn't but I mean, as long as you laughed, I guess. It, it, it's funny. Yeah. So also, like they really think that this is funny. They put so many gay comments in here. They put they put this. They really thought this was funny. Yeah, like this was hilarious. Like they were they they watched this back over and they were like, oh, oh, oh we have, that is hilarious. Oh, People, someone's a oh, Goodell oh, bit. Oh, oh. What? Have a fucking gay joke? Well, two guys fucking at the end of Goodell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I just no, this video like like do that if you want. As long as as long as you uh... now, Sam, don't poke us. I was being kinky. So I'm I. What? You you you're like this is cinematic venom. After that moment, that's what you do. You're like, hey, that was me, by the way. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, that oh, was it's over. It's over. No, not yet. We still got 19 seconds of outro. No, it's fine. It's, 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 it has to. No, the music's great. Has to be completed.
girlfriends are just gonna watch this. Again. See, they thought it was hilarious. The thing is, this is right, right at the end of like an hour plus long video, so no one's gonna see this. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I hate Sorry. it. We did it. Okay, so, did it. at the end of the Lord of the Rings, um, yeah. you have Frodo and Sam and Merry and Pippin, and they're all in the bar, and they're all sitting there together, and these four hobbits, they, they've been through a lot. They've been through a whole lot, and here they are back home in a familiar place with familiar sounds and familiar faces all around them, and here they are sitting together. and. No one around them could possibly imagine what they've gone through. Yep. No one around them in all the Shire could possibly understand the struggles and the hardships and the pain and the horrors that they've had to witness in order to get to that point. But they understand each other. They're the only ones in that room who really get it. That's kind of how I feel. I was waiting for the other shoe to drop there, yes. Uh... And one of this selection of four is traumatized to the point of, of wanting something else to change. I wonder if if that is representative of, of you, Rags, being like, you know what, that video, that's enough. That's enough, right there. You, you broke it. Like everyone around us is <laughs> laughing and smiling and dancing and having a good time. I'm not and I'm just happy to have made it here, honestly. I, and I just... the pain of my experience I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. It'll never truly be gone. There... They don't even have to worry about it, but it's something that I finished and I still can't ever. I feel like I'm going to be carrying this wound like some proto fucking did. <laughs> and like, people, you've been, chat's been engaged. Like, they, people have been upset. Lord of the Rings, you, you, you gotta bring your A game if you're going to come out Lord of the Rings. The tough one. Well, I'm glad, guys, that we've been through this struggle together. <laughs> Here at yeah. the end of all things, you know. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad that three three of you are with me here. You know. Well, apparently, um, the the extended films combined uh, amount to eleven hours, twenty three minutes, and fifty nine seconds. Nice. So we almost oh, we could have just watched them instead. Yeah. Oh, gee, <laughs> what what a choice to make. <laughs> yeah. Wait, guys, I really have to go because it's night eleven a.m. Um, well, before, do you do your oh best God. to say why everyone tomorrow. should subscribe kill, to you? Kill. Do it. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Mr. The Weekend, The Warrior, and thank you for sh sticking with this chat, and it was a wild ride, and I'm gonna make some more videos about video games and films at my channel, Weekend Warrior. Not not the one about conspiracy theories and that shit, because that's apparently the one that stopped search. Uh, I think I'm still there. Just just find me at uh, I I made the most recent videos I did was Star Wars, so you could find that if you haven't seen my stuff yet. I, and I did a video about Mass Effect Andromeda the way back when for video games. I think that was funny. And that was a good video, yeah. Yep, yeah, thank you. Both you, you, you make good shit, man. And I, I always look yeah, forward man. to the new I stuff guess. coming out. I appreciate it. Oh, Mount Mahler, you know what comes out this month also? What the fuck? That's what is it? Tell me. Trending for PC. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, I'm. I've. Ugh, I gotta play The Last of Us first, but <laughs> I'll be tempted to check that one out. I don't know. We'll see. Have fun with that, bro. But yeah. Thank I'm you. Gonna... Thank you for coming on and for for, for having me. all of the contribution. It's been fucking wonderful. Always nice to have you, man. Appreciate it and. Uh, yeah. As well, sir. Have a good. How, what is it? Night there already? Or it's, it's it is. Yeah, it's, it's 10, 4, 12, yeah. 4 a.m. <laughs> have, have a good yeah. night. I'll, I'll see you guys. Thank you Goodbye. so much for coming, dude. We'll see Goodbye. you around. Bye. Good night. Later. Later. Goodbye. You can do it. Um. Yeah. yeah. I had a um. I had like an hour nap before this. I I can't believe. I I wish I had more. <laughs> much more. I. Yeah. I had to drive and eat and hang out with people and. Came back and mm. right back in there. Mm. Um, yeah. The, the so oh. I'm 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 pretty much exhausted as fuck. Uh, brain power is at, at an all time low. Uh, I I think Rags and I will probably try and do 
a catch-up that's essentially going to be the size of an EFAP, I'd imagine, next week, and we will try and do all of the, uh, we got, we got a few left over from other ones, and then this one's as well. I, I would prefer not to try and do, like, a, a weary half an hour or something, and then sort of close it off. I'd rather it just be in a section, so I apologize yeah, to all the people who've sent. I'm very curious what people have to say about this one. Yeah, uh, like, well, really appreciate all of the, uh, donations. We will get to them. It'll, it'll be on Moolah, uh, it's just that I'm, I'm wrecked. This video took it out of me. Yeah. More, it feels like it was harder than the Cosmo video, and that one was longer. I don't even... This was... How long did it take you so to do that? I... Well, it took us 10 hours of... Is... I'm pretty sure the Cosmo video was like 9 hours and 20 minutes coverage or something. But how long was the video, sorry? It might have been shorter than this one, actually. Uh, it doesn't really matter. The coverage is, obviously... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... It's... it's yeah. Um, but uphill struggle. But yo, know, thank you all for hanging out for as long as you did. Uh, before before we go, uh, Al, would you like to? Um, I don't know. Mention that, who knows? Maybe one day something may come. I haven't, across made, I, your I haven't made any videos ever, but if I did, it'd be better than this. Yes, <laughs> I believe that. I absolutely believe that. I think you'd have to try to make a video worse than this, and even then, I don't think you have it in you. No, I'm not that cruel. This takes a special kind of talent. It's staggering. Yeah, and, I, I, and I would have the, the common sense to talk about something that I actually know about and not fucking, you know, I, I wouldn't be picking up fucking like, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I there mean, are, I mean, there I are mean, things you would to, do uh... that prevent the, for example, you would probably have a friend watch the video before releasing it and then they would be like, hey Al, Gimli doesn't want to kill Sam and Frodo, just FYI. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Oh. How confusing. Yeah, I mean, feel free to uh, sub to me and uh, make me the most subbed guy who's never made a video. Um, it's always funny watching people who have really shit channels. Um, it's, it's funny me. It's funny to surpass them. Or it would be funny. Um, oh, and of course, thank you to Armour Skeptic. Uh, new blood on some EFAB. He was he an was awesome guest. Very engaged and... Uh, and I'm, I'm I'm really happy he stayed for as long as he did. Hopefully everybody had fun. Is there is there anything you guys would like to say before we close out? Uh, no. I I think <laughs> yeah, for if, I will gladly uh gladly will defend the Lord of the Rings movies. Watching them over these last couple days has been a joy there that that's really the best thing to have come out of all of this is it gave us a reason to really watch and focus on the lord of the rings trilogy yeah it really rekindled my love of these movies and how incredible they are um it's it, we clearly studied harder than we needed to who but, being over prepared mm -hmm. much better than under prepared absolutely uh because if you're under prepared you make videos like what we covered I really and... was expecting the Eagles argument. I really was. <laughs> yeah, I know. He didn't even make the Eagles argument. I really. I Every re person who's wrong says that. It's weird. Because he, he, he liked to. I know. I, well, I don't want to go on or drag on, but yeah, I know he wanted to, like, you know, oh, I'm focused on the writing because, you know, everything else was actually fine. And it's like, yeah, and you could even, you could even do the Eagle argument. Oh, and of course. Wait, sorry. I completely blanked when I was asking Skeptic the question. You wouldn't have answered it by now, right, Al? Halloween versus Christmas, or have you? Oh, no, I did. I did. No, I oh, did. It was Christmas. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Okay, sorry. For some reason, I, I thought you hadn't. And I'd oh, so yeah, I remember now. Um, yeah, the last EFAP I was on was the Joker one, but I was. It was uh, yeah, heels. Uh, he oh heels. yeah, yeah. Good shit. I remember. I wasn't. Um, I definitely wasn't nowhere near as active in that uh, one, though. Um, well, like this, you're this, this fucking... video like struck fucking. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna years. say it's it, it's attacking something that's quite close to the old heart for I, all I, of us. I I hope people appreciated my uh, uh, much well much greater involvement in this video. Um, honestly, because like you know, well, well, yeah, I I, 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 hope, I, I hope you enjoy my presence. That's all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was. I, I think it was good shit. I, I especially like that there's, there was at least three parts where he would say something so absurd that the five of us would be scrambling to talk because we're so outraged. Like, how fucking dare you? That was <laughs> wild. That was a wild ride. Through yeah. Fucking crazy town. Um, I guess it's, it's time to close out. Batwoman, Wednesday. Get excited. 
Rags and I will stream either Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Friday, depending on availability for us both. Who knows? And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. About to close out. Anything else you you guys want to say? Uh, no, just no, uh, I just said in chat, but yeah, thanks to everyone and also all the guys who uh, uh, were there to clarify um, some of the bits I was misremembering from uh, the books or had, had forgotten. Um, yeah, because I, I, I read them when I was like, the last time I read them was when I was 17. It was, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. Hey, everyone. All right, then. Um, good, good. Thanks for watching, everybody, and thanks, thanks for the support, and uh, good night. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming.